This is an era of summoning for all people, where everyone can summon power from millions of dimensions to resist enemies from countless realms. However, I smashed my own summon creature with a hammer, simply because it was a weak skeleton soldier, as fragile as a figurine. If I were to face enemies from countless realms in the future, wouldn't they just crumble with a single slap and be turned into soup? Just when I felt hopeless in this life, I discovered that I actually possessed the exclusive talent of Ashen Residue. After a summon creature is destroyed, I can absorb its basic attributes and have a chance to obtain its talent. So, I looked at the little skeletal soldier with a warhammer in front of me. After two minutes of silence, I silently reached out my hand, and the skeletal soldier placed his hammer in my palm. I held the bone hammer, feeling its weight and texture, and then swiftly raised my hand and brought the hammer down. Under the bone hammer, the pure white head of the little skeleton cracked like an eggshell, the phosphorescence in its eye sockets disappeared, and its skeletal frame shattered into pieces. Immediately, a semi-transparent panel of text appeared before my eyes, triggering the talent Ash's residual power and absorbing the residual power of the small skeleton soldiers. I gained a basic attribute bonus, with strength increased by zero. 1. Agility increased by 0. 1. And constitution increased by 0. 1. Did I only inherit one-tenth of the basic attributes? And there is no enhancement to the mental attribute. I sensed the changes in my own state, and although there was some improvement, I didn't feel that kind of rapid progress. However, it seems like there is no limit to my talent. Can I smash another skeleton soldier and absorb its power again? I thought to myself as I looked at the dismantled skeleton warhammer. So I closed my eyes and tried to summon once more. Before long, my consciousness returned to the normal world, accompanied by the power of death. At the same time, I felt a sense of weakness as if my kidneys had been emptied, gasping for breath. I resisted the urge to faint and watched as small, white bones began to appear in the void. Soon, another small skeleton soldier, about the size of a palm and three heads tall, was born. The new skeleton soldier landed on the remains of its predecessor. But unlike the previous one, it held a shield and sword as its weapon, and its eye sockets seemed to glow brighter. I examined the second skeleton soldier and then, with my right hand gripping the white bone hammer, extended my left hand towards it. Following the owner's request, the second skeleton soldier handed over its shield and sword. In the next second, the bone hammer fell, and the skeletal frame of the second soldier mixed with the remains of its predecessor. Two flames in the shattered skull of the skeleton soldier extinguished triggering the talent ashes to ashes. I absorbed the residual power of the small skeleton soldier, gaining a basic attribute bonus, plus zero, one strength, plus zero, one agility, plus zero, one constitution. Accumulated absorption of small skeleton soldier too. I tightly gripped the bone hammer, not only increasing my basic attributes and making myself feel stronger, but also absorbing some of the power from the damaged summoning creatures which has restored some of my stamina and reduced the feeling of exhaustion that made me want to pass out. I can't help but get excited at the thought that if I keep using this talent to stack my attributes, I could become the ultimate being that surpasses the limits of humanity. I forcefully suppress the excitement in my heart and focus on restoring my stamina. I summon again after tidying up the two small skeletons, and then I fall asleep immediately. When I open my eyes again, I am awakened by the sound of the phone ringing. I see a series of unfamiliar numbers and instinctively answer, asking who it is. Is Lo Ru Wei here? This is his homeroom teacher, Wang Yenshan. What is he doing? Why didn't he come to the school for the new student registration? A serious voice of a middle-aged man comes from the other end of the phone. Upon hearing this, my memory rushes back and I remember that I was supposed to go to school today. I quickly respond, understanding the basic knowledge of practitioners and the plan for practicing at school. Then I hang up the phone and hurry to the school. When I arrive at my classroom, there are already about 30 new students inside. I walk straight to the back row and sit down, looking at the stack of books on the desk. I was just thinking about which one to start reading when I hear a voice next to me saying, Brother, you're late. If you want to quickly understand things, just read that new student handbook. The person speaking is a guy with a bit of a rogue vibe. I nod and then take out the new student handbook to start reading. In addition to the basic school regulations, there is also a basic introduction about practitioners. Practitioners can summon the power from 13 dimensions controlled by humans. Initially, summoning dimensional power requires physical and mental energy. Currently, there are four mainstream ways to utilize dimensional power, cultivation, forging, summoning spirits, and summoning servants. The little skeleton I summoned belongs to the type of summoning servants. After observing, I secretly concluded that in terms of energy consumption, 
Summoning spirits and summoning servants are the most energy-consuming behaviors, which can consume a large amount of energy in a short period of time. On the other hand, cultivation is the practice of using dimensional power, which consumes the least amount of energy in a short period of time and can strengthen oneself in the long run. Whether it is summoning a little skeleton soldier or practicing using dimensional power, it requires physical and mental energy. Physical strength is my weakness, an important factor that limits my growth. I have been thinking, even though I continuously display my talent, how much benefit can I gain from practicing martial arts? The information recorded in the new student handbook is not much, so I decided to ask Ruan Yuanliang. Yuanliang, what kind of martial arts practice are we going to do next? Ruan Yuanliang turned his head and said, Oh, about that, we are going to practice Kai Yuan. He briefly explained that it involves using martial arts to guide the power of the dimensional plane to open up the Yuan Fu within the body. The larger the Yuan Fu, the more dimensional power can be accumulated. After confirming the information I needed to know, I took my textbooks and school uniform and went to the office. The homeroom teacher, Wang Yinshan, is a tall and imposing middle-aged man who wears gold-rimmed glasses. When he saw me, he looked me up and down before speaking. Are you Lu Rui? The reason I called you here is to remind you that you have officially started your training as a practitioner. Bring your ID card, student card, and the relevant proof of being a martyr's descendant. Go to the Civil Affairs Bureau in the afternoon to unfreeze the contribution points left by your parents for you. Hearing the homeroom teacher's words, I suddenly realized that this world is the inheritance left by my parents. Wang Yenshan continued, Oh, by the way, your family situation is special. The school has a relevant financial aid system in place. If you can complete the Kaiyuan within a month, the school will provide additional rewards on top of the existing ones as special encouragement. I raised an eyebrow and asked, What kind of rewards? Wang Yinshan smiled mysteriously and said, You will find out if you meet the conditions. In any case, it will be very useful for you. So, you're a riddle person. I couldn't help but complain in my heart, but I still kept Wang Yinshan's words in mind. After leaving school, I went home and brought the relevant documents, then went to the Civil Affairs Bureau to obtain the contribution points left by my parents. There were a total of 100 points, which can be used to buy things needed by practitioners or exchanged for money. Approximately 100, 000 yuan, back at home. While recovering my strength and waiting for the third summoning, I looked through the exchange list and discovered that as a martyr's widow, I could enjoy a 20% discount on expenses. This means that the 100 contribution points I have can be equivalent to the purchasing power of 125 contribution points. After understanding all this, I started browsing the level 0 exchange list to maximize the effect of the remaining ashes. I needed to inherit the unique ability of undead creatures to ignore pain and have super endurance. Currently, my limitation is physical strength. Thinking about this, I clicked on the stamina potion. One bottle of stamina potion costs one contribution point. After drinking it, it can replenish stamina and restore mental state without any side effects. Unfinished practitioners of Kaiyuan can extend their practice time by an average of half an hour with the assistance of the practice room. The description of the potion made me feel confused, worried that I couldn't grasp the specific needs, so I called the class teacher. After a phone call, I concluded that approximately two bottles of official stamina potion would be enough to summon a small skeleton. Without hesitation, I directly exchanged for 20 bottles of small stamina potion. After dinner, I received the potions. I rubbed my hands, didn't wait long, and took the bone hammer to start the first summoning of the night. Induce the undead plane. Consume stamina to summon skeleton soldiers. After going through the whole process, I am panting heavily. While a skeleton soldier with empty hands but wearing a helmet appears. Why wear a helmet if you're coming empty-handed? I mutter to myself. Take off the skeleton's helmet. And then strike it with a hammer. Gaining basic attribute bonuses. Strength plus zero. One. Agility plus zero. One. Constitution plus zero. One. And spirit plus zero. One. Although I didn't absorb any talents. I noticed that besides the normal increase in the attributes of strength. Agility. And constitution. The attribute of spirit also grew. I feel puzzled in my heart, but I don't dwell on it too much. After all, what I care about now is whether I can obtain the talent of a skeleton as an undead creature. So, I take out two bottles of stamina potions and drink them all. Immediately, I can clearly feel my stamina recovering rapidly. Once I am fully restored, I begin summoning the second skeleton of the night. This time, it is an axeman skeleton. I swing my hammer down again smashing the skeleton and its axe into pieces. Obtain the talent of the dead spirit mind. 
The dead spirit mind has an active skill with no consumption. Once activated, it no longer generates emotional fluctuations, ignores pain, is extremely rational and calm, and handles everything with great focus. My face stiffened, forgetting that besides special endurance, undead creatures also possess other talents. After a short rest, I drank two bottles of stamina potion and started the third summoning tonight. Several times in a row, I have already finished 14 out of 20 bottles of stamina potion. Besides gaining basic attribute enhancements, I only obtained the talent of the dead spirit mind once, and it was a talent I already had. Damn it, I couldn't help but curse. Why is it still repeating? However, I also discovered that obtaining a talent I already have can strengthen the existing talent. The dead spirit mind is at one tenth, and it can break through in advance after meeting certain conditions. I pinched my forehead with my left hand, took two more bottles of stamina potion with my right hand, poured them into my mouth, took a deep breath, and muttered to myself, I still have three chances left. If I don't get it this time, I'll have to spend more money. Give it to me. Embracing faith, then summon the ninth little skeleton tonight. Surprisingly, the ninth little skeleton is a gunner, gaining basic attribute bonuses with a strength increase of 0, 1, agility increase of 0, 1, and constitution increase of 0, 1 with a single blow. Ha ha, gunner's luck is E. That's normal. Next, gritting my teeth, I'll drink two bottles of stamina potion and summon the tenth little skeleton. This time it's an archer skeleton, reaching a height of 18 centimeters, with phosphorescence sparks the size of chestnuts in its eye sockets. I hope you have a big head and a higher drop rate. I glanced at the only two potions left in my hand, then coldly swung the hammer and struck the archer skeleton heavily. Gain basic attribute bonuses, strength plus zero, one, agility plus zero, one, constitution plus zero, one, spirit plus zero, one. As I felt a slight enhancement in my basic attributes, a sudden palpitation arose in my heart, acquired the talent undead endurance, passive effect, you gain the endurance of an undead creature, increasing your base endurance fivefold. Active effect, you can ignore all physical and mental fatigue, and continuously restore physical energy through the power of the undead plane, without nearsightedness or sleep. After reading the talent description, my eyes widened in disbelief. At the same moment of acquiring the talent, I clearly felt a closer connection with that distant and indescribable undead plane. Living beings naturally reject the power of the undead. But now, this power, upon contact with my body, is absorbed and used to replenish my own energy. Summoning undead power requires stamina, but the summoned undead power can be used to restore stamina, with the amount restored being approximately twice the amount consumed. Damn, what kind of photosynthesis is this undead version? I was ecstatic, tightly gripping the bone hammer in my right hand. I was so excited that I couldn't control my strength and ended up breaking the bone hammer. After adjusting for a while, I finally calmed down my excited mood. My basic physical strength is now 5 times what it used to be, which is the maximum limit of physical strength. With the active effect of coordinating with the undead endurance, I can let the undead plane help me restore my physical strength, and it takes about 6 hours to fully recover. I couldn't help but think of what the homeroom teacher said this morning, emphasizing the need for me to work harder due to my lack of talent. But now, I'm already looking forward to the first class of the new semester tomorrow. Oh, by the way. Besides the undead endurance, I also obtained the undead mind talent before. I haven't tried its specific effects yet. Thinking about this, I silently said to myself, Undead mind, activate. The moment the active talent was activated, I felt like my consciousness turned into a pool of icy water, devoid of emotions, distractions, and chaotic desires. All I had was absolute rationality and focus. I should now focus on restoring my stamina and continue sacrificing skeletons to strengthen my basic attributes and talent abilities. As soon as this thought appeared, I immediately executed it without hesitation. I sat cross-legged on the ground, using the power of the undead plane to restore my stamina with great concentration. This state lasted for nearly 6 hours, and I didn't feel the slightest fatigue. When my stamina was fully restored, without any unnecessary movements, I began to consume stamina and summoned 5 small skeletons. The bone hammer I used earlier accidentally broke, so I picked up a bone axe and swiftly split all five small skeleton soldiers. With my stamina depleted, I sat down again and started absorbing the power of the undead plane. At around 7 o'clock in the morning, I crashed for a while, then voluntarily released the undead mind. At the moment the talent effect was released, various desires returned, and I realized the emotionless state, like a machine, that I had when using the undead mind. I was startled. 
and suddenly I seemed to have thought of something, and my face became terrified. Lu Rui hurriedly ran into the toilet. Only a little later did Lu Rui let out a sigh of relief. Phew, scared me. Good thing the function of the lower side is still normal. False alarm, Lu Rui realized that he should pay attention when he used necromantic mind in the future, don't really turn himself into a humanoid necromancer without feelings. In order to comfort his frightened little heart and stomach, Lu Rui plans to eat a good meal in the morning. Going out. While walking, Lu Rui took his cell phone to check the ratings of nearby breakfast restaurants. There were six four nine star breakfast restaurants in the neighborhood, and Lu Rui found one called Ijia Fresh, which was located on the school road. A few reviews about this breakfast place were in front of the line. Four points for the food, five points for the beauty. This store owner's wife and her daughter look beautiful, especially the daughter, thief beautiful, goddess face, model body kind of. Miss sister add a friend, just give a favorable comment. Eh, how pretty can this be? Without much thought, Lu Rue went directly to this Ijia Fresh. Store decoration is not bad, about 70 square feet or so, look at the menu is also an expensive look, you can see through the transparent glass back to the kitchen probably look. As for the beauty, Lu Rue saw a woman standing at the front desk. She wore a hairnet and mask, with only one pair of eyes showing on her face. Wearing a white apron and transparent gloves, only the skin of her neck and palms were exposed. There is certainly nothing wrong with dressing this way for the sake of clean food hygiene. But even wearing such airtight, the other pretty peach blossom eyes and white and red delicate skin, as well as vaguely visible concave and convex exquisite body, slender white ten fingers. All the details make people subconsciously feel that this girl is absolutely beautiful. Lu Rui walked towards the front desk, the girl's eyes also swept over, seemed to pause for a moment here in Lu Rui. And Lu Rui is also sharp-eyed, he suddenly noticed that under the other party's white apron, what she was wearing seemed to be the uniform of Tai No. One middle school. A cage of small cage buns, a cage of crab yolk dunk soup buns, lean meat porridge, and then a tea egg. Lu Rue reported the name of the dish. A total of 34 yuan. The girl said. Clear and cold tone, but the timbre is like a mountain stream spring flow that crisp and pleasant. Cannot see the face, just listen to the voice feel very comfortable. Lu Rue take their own breakfast, can see this Ijia fresh breakfast store business is very good, the seats are full of 80%. Lu Rue dining can only and other people share a table. When finished eating, almost to the point of going to school, Lu Rue had a feeling, looked up and saw that the girl at the front desk was really not there. After going out, he really saw a side face extremely beautiful, Jew lips and bright eyes, skin like condensed fat, wearing a school uniform girl is carrying a bag, riding a small electric donkey towards the direction of the school. It should be a girl from another class, otherwise I would be more or less impressed. Lu Rue muttered in his heart, swept a shared bicycle, about five minutes or so, and arrived at the school. Tian First Middle School covered a large area, similar to a university town in terms of volume. I remember the school map, it seems that in addition to the teaching area, there is also a research area and a military area, this world high school students are really not simple ah. Lu Rue spat in his heart, after all, this world human beings involved in transcendent greatness and cruel race defense war. According to his understanding, the destination of high school students after graduating from Tian First High School is the military, business, construction, or to go to a research institution for further study. Blue Star was developing itself and fending off invasions from foreign races, so the time to cultivate talents was very tense, almost to say that it was a race against time, and there wasn't that much of a restful atmosphere. However, the general environment is tense. Lu Rue walked into the campus, into the eyes as a piece of youthful beauty. Not only the students themselves face value, good-looking uniforms are also colorful. Lu Rue last life school uniform is used to seal the value of the face, and this world school uniform is used to show the value of the face. Spring, summer, fall and winter, regular clothes, dresses, sportswear, a full range of models and designs are very beautiful. Women's models also have pants and skirts, and also support size cutting. In short, a whole set down, wearing with the school idol theater. Lu Rue even saw a lot of male and female students coming and going in pairs at the school, not having to worry about the gaze of the teachers at all. The atmosphere is very special. The reason for this phenomenon was also because Blue Star was now very short of population. Opening up dimensions, building civilizations, cultivating warriors, and defending against foreign enemies, all of this required a large number of people. Therefore the entire human federation was encouraging procreation, and even the major countries were having relevant legal provisions. After all, this world is facing a severe foreign invasion test, in a wartime state, there will always be some special places. Lu Rue said in his heart, and he was not surprised. Entering the classroom, because Lu Rue was stepping in, entering the door, it was class time. Three classes in the morning, language, history, geography, all liberal arts content, and only in the afternoon did they get to the cultivation part. 
Just like when Lu Rue crossed over in high school before crossing over, the school would let them read and learn some celebrity articles and poems. The first article at the beginning of the school year was written by the first divine general of the Great Summer Kingdom. This first divine general status is extremely honorable, called Kai Yuan. The transcendental cultivation system of the Great Xia Kingdom also started with the name Kai Yuan. Was Kai Yuan. The beginning of the transcendental cultivation system of the Great Xia Kingdom was explored by the first divine general and his comrades, so the title of the first divine general was Kai Yuan, which was a great honor. The time when the divine general Kai Yuan wrote this article was November 22nd of the year before the new era, and it was a speech. At that time, a large area of the blue planet had fallen, the social order had completely collapsed, and the only remaining human beings were trapped in a corner of the planet, living in a state of fear, feeling that the end had come, and not seeing any hope for the future at all. The general first described the current situation of the blue planet in a sorrowful tone, which was indeed a critical moment for the survival of the race. Then he turned to explain that the human race still has a chance to defeat the strongest enemies with various powerful relies, including the very key to cultivate the transcendental power of the Enlightenment law. In the end, the Kai Yuan God will again use impassioned rhetoric to inspire people's hearts and inspire their fighting spirit, and their blood will surge up. The words of the complete speech totaled 20,000, and the text was excerpted from the last 800 words. The first lesson was very positive. Right after the lesson, the teacher assigned 1,000 words of reading to be turned in tomorrow. The second lesson history, mainly is about the blue star in the history of resistance to the invasion of 10,000 races key events and battles, as well as emerged many heroes and celebrities. The third lesson is geography, here geography refers to the geography of the 13 realms mastered by mankind, its characteristics and specialties. The first realm mastered by mankind is the heaven's choice realm, which is taken from the meaning of the race for heaven's choice, and there are tens of thousands of ferocious beasts with only instincts and no intelligence in this realm. In this realm, the beasts are fighting all the time. The loser returns to dust, and the winner evolves. Lu Rue muttered in his heart as he read the passage. This trait of the winner evolving seems to be a talent that every heaven's choice fierce beast has, right? It's as if all necromantic creatures possess necromantic mind and necromantic endurance. Enjoying the benefits of the necromancy talent, Lu Rue couldn't help but hit on the idea of the talents of other realm creatures. Humans mastered 13 realms, the heaven's choice realm was the earliest for humans to obtain a realm declared in January of the third year of the new era. The latest to obtain the realm is the realm of the dead, obtained in April 33 new year, from the time of obtaining to the present time is just over two years. These are all points of knowledge that will be tested on the exam. Of course, this knowledge is also really useful to cultivators. Lu Rue listened to the teacher's lecture and looked through the textbook. He realized that his whopping 17 points of spiritual attributes gave him some ability to forget everything. Teacher's lectures are too slow. He muttered in his heart, then silently opened, necrotic mind. Attention was focused, the mind was undistracted, and the ability to learn was highly strengthened. When the morning class ended, Lu Rue had already memorized all of the textbook content for this semester's culture class, and incidentally still had the spare energy to distract himself by exerting his talent, necromantic endurance, to restore his physical strength to a full state. Being in the state of necromantic mind, Lu Rue was just able to be extremely sensible and go out of his way to maximize the benefits he reaped. And when it came to mealtime, he automatically turned off, dead spirit mind. Desire and feelings restored, he cheerfully pulled out his cell phone to place a takeout order, and ordered a super burger calorie bomb for lunch. Just as he arrived home, the takeout was delivered. Lu Rue also used his stamina, which had returned to full strength, to summon four small skeletons. Holding the burger in one hand, Lu Rue raised his hand and axed while chopping the four little skeletons. Gained basic attribute bonuses, strength plus zero, four, agility plus zero. 4. Physique plus 0. 4. Spirit plus 0. 2. Talent enhancement, necrotic mind. Strength 9. 1. Agility 8. 1. Physique 9. 1. Spirit 17. 7. Ash legacy power. Accumulated absorption of 21 small skeleton soldiers. Lu Rue sipped his cola and watched as the panel swiped out the information. I seem to have discovered the pattern of basic attribute reinforcement. Comparing to two days ago when he first crossed over, Lu Rue's three major attributes of strength, sensitivity, and body had all increased by two units, and he could clearly feel that he had become much stronger. However, the attribute of spirit was rather special, Lu Rue had only raised it by zero. Seven units. The four basic attributes of the little skeleton soldier are all the same, the amount of the four basic attributes I absorbed from the little skeleton should be the same, and of all my attributes only the spiritual attribute has the slowest growth. Is it because the spirit my attribute is too high, so every time I raise a unit, I need to sacrifice more little skeletons? 
Lu Rui speculated that perhaps the higher the attribute was raised, the more resources were required for each unit raised. And his spiritual attribute was far more than the other basic attributes at the very beginning, basically it was only every three little skeletons that could provide him with zero. One of growth. It was like a sphere, for every one centimeter increase in its radius, then the volume it needed to grow each time would grow more and more. Although there is no upper limit to the absorption of the talent, Ash legacy power, and although I can keep getting attribute growth by sacrificing small skeletons, this efficiency will become slower and slower as my base attributes get higher and higher. So, if I want to maintain the efficiency of getting stronger, I'll have to use a more advanced summon than a small skeleton. Lu Rui analyzed the characteristics of the Ash legacy. As for more advanced summons, there was a biology class in the school's curriculum for students. It was a relatively simple introduction to the many creatures in the 13 realms under human control. Lu Rui took out his textbook, flipped to necromancy, and determined that the small skeleton he summoned was only the lowest level skeleton creature in the necromancy realm, similar to a rabbit in the eyes of a grassland predator. Above the small skeleton soldier was the complete skeleton warrior, which was a physical quality that could be benchmarked against a healthy adult, with a basic attribute close to 10, as well as the ability to skillfully use a variety of weapons, and possessing super endurance. Above this are, the heavy armored skeleton warrior, the skeleton mage, the skeleton magic swordsman, the skeleton heavy cavalry, and the skeleton giant. In addition to the skeleton species, other creatures existed in the necropolis, such as werewolves, bone dragons, witch demons, zombies, gargoyles, nightmares, evil spirits, banshees, arachnids, and vampires. Crap, this banshee's face and body is really enchanting, just put the picture into the textbook, not afraid of being flushed? Lu Rue casually spat out a sentence about the exquisite illustrations in the textbook. There could be too many more powerful undead species than the little skeleton, and there was a dazzling array of talents of various necromantic creatures. The only problem was that the textbook only introduced general information about these undead creatures, but nothing about how to summon them. Probably the school will teach it, right? Lu Rue shook his head and put down the textbook, then gathered up the skeletons of the four little skeletons. Lu Rue hadn't thrown away a single one of the remains of the 21 little skeletons that he had cumulatively sacrificed from the time he crossed over until now. Although he didn't know what these skeletons were used for. However, the state of Dashia has expressly stipulated that things summoned from other realms cannot be abandoned at will, not even if they are broken, they must be collected and then handed over to a specialized recycling station for proper disposal, and violating these terms will result in a considerable penalty when discovered. Therefore, Lu Rue's current intention was to wait for the remains to accumulate to a certain amount before, then pack it up and send it to the recycling and processing station. After doing so, Lu Rue turned on, necrotic mind, and, necrotic endurance, and focused on recovering his physical strength. When it was almost time to go to school, he lifted the, necromantic mind, changed into his gym clothes and took a thermos cup, and Lu Rue went out. In the afternoon, there was only one Kaiyuan class, a big class of one and a half hours, and the classroom was in the school's cultivation room. After Lu Rue arrived, the classroom came in one after another. Waiting for the bell to ring, a middle-aged man wearing a green sports jacket with the word Dasha printed on his chest, with a broad forehead and a sturdy and powerful body walked in. My name is Long Fong, your Kaiyuan class teacher. The middle-aged man smiled. Lu Rue's eyes narrowed slightly, thinking that this teacher looked coolly like a male martial arts star before he crossed over. Which one is the current class president of your class, mister? Long Fong asked. Yu Yofu raised his hand. Do a little roll call then ask a few students to carry the iron stake there, teacher Lang Feng said. Good. Yu Yofu nodded. After completing the roll call. Perhaps it was because yesterday Lu Rue had impressed Yu Yofu, so he was called over to carry the pile. The one who was also called to carry the pile was Ruan Yuanliang. Lu Rue weighed the weight of the iron and wood pile, probably more than 200 kilograms. The main body is 1 meter 7, one person hugging thick, outside wrapped in a layer of one finger thick iron, inside is a very dense special wood. The four students took some effort to lift the iron stake from the corner to Lung Feng's right hand side, and then returned to the team. However, perhaps Lang Feng felt that the iron stake was placed in a bad position, he actually raised his right hand, grabbed the corner of the stake, and carried it directly to his left hand. The whole action was extremely easy, like picking up a light plastic bag. The eyes of the students were not bad, and they saw that the moment Lang Feng picked up the iron stake, his right hand changed significantly. The color became deep black, as if it was coated with a layer of iron, and the nails sharpened, leaving obvious scratches on the iron skin of the stake. How was this something a normal person could do? Teacher Langfoam also showed his right hand to all the students without hiding it. After cultivating the Yuanfu, you can start practicing life skills, battle skills, spirit surrender methods, and summoning techniques. The change in my right hand is the result of practicing battle techniques, possessing transcendent power. 
After saying that, Lung Feng grabbed his right hand towards the ironwood stake with a, there was a tearing sound. The thick iron skin was actually torn apart by him as if it was a piece of paper. Then Lang Feng's five fingers and palm, as fast as lightning like a gun tip stabbed out, hugging the thick iron stake was stabbed through with his bare hands. Lu Rui's eyelids jumped, it was hard to imagine how horrifyingly lethal such a hand and claw would be when it landed on an ordinary person's flesh and blood body. Not just Lu Rui, some of the students around him were also breathing heavily at the moment. Lang Feng gently drew back his right hand and stood with his hands in the air as he continued to explain. My first Yuan Fu, connected to the Heaven's Choice Realm, so I am practicing a Heaven's Choice Lineage Battle Skill, whose name is the Hundred Cracks Iron Hand. There is a point here that everyone must remember, a Yuan Fu of a specific attribute can only cultivate a technique of that attribute. Dimensional power is not a perfect remedy, it is a double-edged sword, if you don't master the right way to use it, instead of providing assistance, dimensional power will hurt you, and in serious cases, you will be eroded by the dimensional power, and your physical body will be deformed, and your spirit will be deranged. These feats are all means of using dimensional power relatively safely that have been worked out by the predecessors after countless attempts and even paying a heavy price. At your current stage, you must cultivate according to the feats, and you absolutely cannot fool around. Speaking here, Lung Feng looked serious and said, Now tell teacher that you have memorized what I just said. Lang Feng once again emphasized the importance of cultivating matching gong methods, and the students responded got it in unison. Lu Rue also recalled his discomfort when he used the necromantic mind, and he understood more deeply the importance of remaining vigilant when using these dimensional powers. Teacher Lang Feng nodded in satisfaction and continued. Apart from being the foundation of your cultivation techniques, Yuan Fu also has another function, which is to store the equipment and servants that you have built or summoned using dimensional powers. Lang Feng raised his left hand and white light began to appear in his palm. After the white light dissipated. A white-furred wolf with a shoulder height of 1 meter 3 and a head body length of 2 meters 3, extremely divine, was summoned. Just by looking at its size, this wolf was already larger than the majority of tigers. The sense of oppression brought about by its size was extremely strong, and there were already girls in the class who subconsciously retreated to avoid the giant wolf after looking at it. However, Mr. Lung Fong just touched the wolf's head. Crouch down, stick out your tongue, and raise your paw in greeting. As his master's words fell, the originally majestic white-furred wolf suddenly turned into a husky, spitting out its bright red tongue and lifting its paw, looking stupidly adorable. Ah, this is my summoned beast and love pet, from the heaven's choice realm, when fighting, it is responsible for will sniff the scent, tracking and soliciting the enemy, carrying heavy loads. Hee hee, it has helped me many times. After opening the Yuanfu, all of your summoned objects can be stored into the Yuanfu, as long as they don't exceed the Yuanfu's capacity limit and are stowed away. As the words fell, Lung Feng raised his hand and the white-furred wolf retransformed into a white light and returned to his body, then said, There are many different types of summons, so if you cultivate hard, you will also meet your favorite summon beasts in the future. These words fell on Lu Rui's ears, he pursed his lips, remembering the remains of the 21 small skeletons in the garbage bag at home. But the other students could look thrilled and excited. After completing the opening of the Yuan, not only could they cultivate powerful battle skills, but they could also summon a mighty and handsome yet obedient and practical battle pet. The student's motivation was immediately mobilized to the highest level. Good now, we'll begin the formal teaching of opening Yuan. As the atmosphere arrived, Lang Feng reached out and took out a basket from under the podium. The basket contained 50 special stones that seemed to be the size of a goose egg but had a jade-like texture. Class president come here and distribute the Kaiyuan stones to the students. Yu Yi Lung took the opening stones and distributed them while teacher Lang Feng continued to explain. In this Kaiyuan stone, there is a special intention stored, and within that intention is the Kaiyuan method that teaches you to use dimensional power to construct Yuanfu. When you hold the Kaiyuan stone in the palm of your hand and sink into your mind senses, you will be able to obtain the Kaiyuan method within it. It is normal for the opening Yuan stone to automatically disintegrate when it loses that special intent. When Lang Feng finished saying this, Lu Rui already had the opening Yuan stone in his hand. Lang Feng told the squad leader to do a demonstration of Yuyofu held the opening stone in the palm of her hand, and after three seconds or so, the opening stone in her hand began to turn into dust. Immediately afterward, Yuyi Lushu opened her eyes and said, This process is very simple, just focus your attention on the opening stone. After witnessing this, Lu Rue recited a phrase, Deadly Spirit Mind, in his heart, and then focused his attention on the opening stone. Almost in the blink of an eye, the Kaiyuan stone in his hand turned into dust. At the same time, an extra metaphysical sensation appeared in his spirit. It was hard to describe this feeling, like a newborn baby knowing how to suckle milk, it was an innate instinct. Lu Rue was like this, after he absorbed the enlightenment stone, he suddenly instinctively knew how to perform the enlightenment. That is, Lu Rue has no worldly desires right now. 
Otherwise, he would have to exclaim, what a magical Yuan opening stone. At this time, Mr. Lung Feng was still continuing to teach. Opening Yuan is like building a house, first condense the nodes, then connect the dots to form a line, build the framework, and finally connect the lines to form a surface. The construction of the framework, and finally, connecting the lines to form a surface, perfecting the framework, so that the Yuanfu construction is complete. The minimum requirement for constructing a Yuanfu is 36 nodes, the more nodes the greater the burden on the body and spirit, you are now new students, you only need to complete 36 nodes level Yuanfu is enough. The school is now teaching you the Kai Yuan method, which also only condenses 36 nodes. In the future, when you become strong and have made enough contributions to the country to humanity, you will be given more advanced Yuan opening methods and can go back and rebuild your Yuan Fu. As the teacher's side spoke, Lu Rui's mind had already sunk into a brand new cultivation. The intention of the Kai Yuan stone and power generated a simple 18 prismatic cylinder in his mind. This prismatic cylinder existed 36 points of nothingness, 54 prongs, and 20 faces. What Lu Rui had to do now was to mobilize power from the dead spirit plane, and to run the Kaiyuan method was to fill all 36 points first. Mobilizing dead spirit power this kind of thing is already familiar to Lu Rui, especially in the state of dead spirit mind, Lu Rui maintains absolute concentration, and can mobilize dead spirit power for cultivation with the highest efficiency. As for the teacher, Lung Feng, after seeing that all the students knew how to use the Kaiyuan method, the remote control in his hand pressed two more buttons. In addition to using Yuan opening stones to assist you in your cultivation, the school also prepares dimensional resonance instruments and Yuan viewing mirrors. The former can weaken the spatial barrier and allow you to mobilize dimensional power more easily, lasting until the end of class. The Yuan viewing mirror, on the other hand, can display the construction of your Yuan Fu, making it easier for the teacher to observe your progress and avoid accidents, as well as for the school to record your grades. After Lang Feng said that, the students present all felt that what was originally quite a struggle to summon the dimensional power instantly became much easier. It was as if someone who could only rely on their legs to commute between two places suddenly rode a bicycle, and their efficiency became much faster. Lu Rui also clearly felt that his mobilization of necromantic power had become easier. Originally, one physical strength could only bring back two portions of necromantic energy, but after the teacher turned on the dimensional resonance instrument, Lu Rue was able to bring back six portions of necromantic energy per physical strength. The Yuan observation mirror, on the other hand, would scan the progress of the student's enlightenment. Originally, only the students themselves knew how each student was doing. But after the Yuan viewing mirror was turned on, the teacher would be able to see the student's progress. Cultivation was considered quite a private matter, and it was more or less uncomfortable for others to pry into the progress. However, when Lung Feng pointed out the problems that a few of the students in the classroom were having when practicing based on the state of the Yuan viewing mirror, everyone had no problem with it. Even with the assistance of the Yuan opening stone, there were still people who would make mistakes. After all, students were not precision machines, it was impossible for them to mobilize the dimensional power precisely and perfectly every time, so it was indeed necessary to have a teacher on the side to look after them. About 10 minutes later, Lang Feng swept his eyes and saw the progress of the students through the Yuan viewing mirror and murmured in a voice that only he could hear. Unsurprisingly, the students who come from good families and have family members who are cultivators are obviously a whole lot faster than others in terms of efficiency in their cultivation. Lang Feng then saw that Yu Yi Flux, who was the class leader, had already completed four node constructions in 20 minutes. Yu family ah. TSK, the Yu family's little princess, as well as the Ruan family and Shur family's children, also completed four nodes, these surnames are all so familiar ah. At this moment, about 30% of the students in the class had only completed three nodes, 50% of the students two nodes, and the rest had only completed one node. The worst remaining students were basically from ordinary families and didn't have the resources or access to be able to build a foundation from a young age. But this does not mean that the 2% of students with poor talent, tie and freshmen are one in a million, the 2% of the students are just less accumulation, low starting point, but after catching up, the possibility of bending the road to overtake the car is not small. However, all of the above, in the eyes of Mr. Lang Foam are considered understandable normal circumstances, but when he saw the students who completed six nodes, he still couldn't help but marvel. That Chen family kid? Lang Foam glanced over, only to see that Chen Fan Yu had already completed six node constructions and was nearing the seventh node. TSK, according to this progress, the Chen clan genius will only need three days at most to complete the opening of the Yuan, right? Teacher Lang Foam lamented in his heart, and couldn't help but think back to 15 years ago when he had stayed up for two and a half months to complete the opening of the Yuan, and at that time, he was still called an outstanding student by his teacher. This is certainly technological advances, students' cultivation efficiency is getting faster and faster, the generation is stronger than the generation of the reason, 
but in in the same age against the situation, Chen Fan language talent with a right to describe it is also not too much. But just as Lang Feng had finished sighing at Chen Fanya's progress, he then noticed another student who was also at six nodes. Crap, where did this genius come from? Lu Rui operated the Kaiyuan method, mobilizing power from the dead spirit plane and began to construct the Yuanfu nodes step by step. During this process, the dead spirit mind played a big role. It was difficult for a normal person to maintain a highly focused state on the same thing for a long time. It was not only because of personality and talent, but also because of limited physical strength, as well as one's innate laziness instincts that prevented one from maintaining a state of concentration. The original 10 points of strength, because of the concentration is not focused, but in the end can only play out the effect of 6 points. This is where the power of necromantic mind lies. Absolute concentration, absolute dedication, shield all desires, maintain absolute rationality, the pursuit of maximizing the benefits, without compromising the completion of the practice. Lu Rui couldn't see the progress of the other students' cultivation, and he didn't know what was going on with the others. But in just three minutes, he completed the first node construction. In addition to the help provided by the necromantic mind, he had nine. One physical attribute 17. Seven spiritual attributes, which also provided indispensable assistance in the process of opening the Yuan. If the Yuan Fu was a house, the physical and spiritual attributes were the foundation. The stronger the foundation, the easier it is to build the house. Under the strengthening of Lu Rui's physical attributes in the past two days, he had already changed from a young man with a thin physique to an adult with a robust physique. The spiritual attribute was even more so. His basic attributes were up to standard and didn't hold back the progress of Kai Yuan that he had given. In addition to these two, Lu Rui also had the necromantic endurance enchantment. For a new student, drawing on dimensional power was originally a physically exhausting thing. However, under the necromantic endurance talent, Lu Rui's basic physical fitness is five times the average level of the students, a class of 90 minutes, his physical strength is simply not used up the kind, there is no exhaustion of the situation. About 70 minutes, Lu Rui has completed 21 nodes, completing the node progress more than half. At this time, he lifted the necromantic mind, picked up a thermos cup, and pretended to take a sip of water. At the same time, Lu Rui was also observing the surrounding students. It was obvious to see that more than half of the students had already consumed almost all of their physical strength at this moment, and they were all starting to take out their portable drinks to replenish their physical strength. This included Ruan Yuanliang, Yu Yellen, and Shi Xian. Chen Fanyu, on the other hand, did not, he seemed to have been carrying out cultivation without stopping, and his physical strength was abundant. However, Chen Fanyu's forehead had an obvious fine sweat on it, and it seemed like the exertion wasn't small either. Class teacher honestly doesn't deceive me ah, everyone seems to have backup hidden energy. Lu Rue spat in his heart. At the same time, Lu Rue also saw that there were 7 or 8 students within the classroom, who were both physically exhausted and did not take out supplemental stamina things to, just sat in place and dryly watched. Seems to be a bit of self-doubt, do not know why the surrounding classmates one by one physical strength is so strong? Lu Rue speculated in his heart. These students should be average physical strength, also do not know the class within the carry physical strength replenishment potion. Well, the old king is also see I have contribution points to suggest that I carry physical strength potion in class, these students without potion should be the family is relatively ordinary, cannot get contribution points to exchange physical strength potion, right? If he didn't have the necromantic stamina, talent, and didn't have the class teacher to remind him, he would be in the same state as these students. If he didn't have the necromantic stamina, talent and hadn't been reminded by the homeroom teacher, his current state wouldn't be much different from these students who were staring at each other with wide eyes due to stamina exhaustion. If that was the case, just in the progress of classroom cultivation, Lu Rue had already fallen behind his classmates by a large margin. Old Wang is a good person, he's really good at reminding people when there are benefits to be taken. Lu Rue sighed in his heart. Although Lu Rue didn't need stamina potions with the necrotic endurance talent, but Wang Yenshan's reminder was indeed a thoughtful consideration for him. After pretending to take a sip of plain water, Lu Rue was about to continue practicing, when suddenly he raised his head, only to see that teacher Leng Feng was looking at himself with his eyes straight on. Ah! Uh. Lu Rue revealed a polite smile, then put down the thermos to continue practicing. Teacher Leng Feng couldn't tell from his expression, but in reality, he had already set off shockwaves in his heart, secretly saying, This kid is called Lu Rue? Which big shot in the province is surnamed Lu? Ordinary family? That's not right, this kid also knows how to use physical strength potions ah. Lung Feng saw Lu Rue's cultivation progress through the Yuan viewing mirror, 21 Kaiyuan nodes. Comparing at the same time, Xin Fan Yu had only just completed the 21st node. Lu Rue even showed a little sign of surpassing Chen Fan Yu. 
That Chen family's genius is indeed gifted, when he first started practicing, his vigor was fierce, in the first one hour, the entire class was the fastest progress of this Chen family's genius. But this Kaiyuan is after all a tiring thing, after an hour, Chen Fanyu's state obviously slipped a bit, the progress growth is not as fast as at the very beginning. On the contrary, this Lu Rui, at the beginning of the momentum is worse than Chen Fanyu some, but has been maintained steady growth. This Lu Rui's concentration is really good. Lung Feng secretly evaluated. In the teacher's opinion, when these two were compared horizontally, Chen Fanyu was a bit more prominent than Lu Rui in every aspect. Even Lu Rui had to drink medicine to replenish his stamina in the middle of the journey, with the help of external objects. Chen Fanyu, on the other hand, didn't need it at all, and it was obvious that Chen Fanyu's physical strength exceeded Lu Rui's by a large margin. However, Lu Rui's advantage lies in being very focused, very stable, he can continuously keep catching up with Chen Fanyu's progress, and when Chen Fanyu's status slips, the very stable Lu Rui can overtake. This Lu Rui is actually an unexpected genius, able to run neck and neck with the Chen clan kids, and has even begun to catch up with the later. Lang Feng was secretly staggered. As a teacher, he was the one who had to record his students' grades. The two geniuses were catching up with each other. As for the other students, the fastest progressing Ruan Yuanliang and Yu Yi Flux had only completed 12 by now, while the slowest progressing student had only completed 4. By the time the 90 minutes of a cultivation class was over, the dimensional resonance meter that provided the school with cultivation gains was automatically turned off. Lu Rui obviously felt that the sense of ease of riding a bicycle and running goods disappeared, and his efficiency in acquiring the power of the necromantic plane returned to the normal situation. Examining himself, Lu Rui has completed 27 nodes. Lu Rui had completed 27 nodes and still had 60% of his physical strength left. My progress is like this, I wonder what is the situation of other students. As Lu Rui thought this, his gaze couldn't help but look towards the very impressive Chen Fanyu. There was no need for Lu Rui to ask, Wan Yuanliang had already asked towards Chen Fanyu in the classroom without any questions. Pushing King, my progress is 15 nodes, how's your progress? 15 nodes. When these words fell on the ears of the surrounding students, shock waves began to rise in their hearts. Of the 50 students present, more than 40 of them didn't have a progress of more than 11 nodes. Ruan Yuanliang's 15 nodes was no less than a thunderclap in their ears. Especially the student who had only completed 4 nodes, he even wondered if he was dreaming. How could the gap between people be so wide? However, the next words that Chen Fan Yu opened his mouth to utter were even more of a landslide for the surrounding students. Me, 26 nodes. Chen Fan Yu's tone was bland and calm, seemingly with no intention of boasting. But he was already sharp, unceremoniously displaying his natural talents to the people around him. But 26 nodes, such an achievement had already left the 48 students present with their jaws dropped. Some of the students who found it hard to believe through their gazes at their teacher, Ling Feng. Lung Feng pursed his lips, first glancing at Chen Fanyu, then subtly glancing at Lu Rui who was silently watching. He nodded towards the students without moving. Student Chen Fanyu is indeed 26 nodes, well, this is a very impressive achievement, put it in the previous class of students, during the same period, the best achievement of the previous class of students was only 24 nodes. Right, placed in the last class of students, Chen Fanyu's achievement could already boast of his peers, but this term was different. However, Mr. Lang Feng's words were a definitive conclusion, and the surrounding students sucked in a breath of cold air, not daring to imagine that the gap between people could actually be this big. Chen Fanyu sniffed, the corner of his mouth rose unnoticeably, standing with his arms folded, not timidly meeting the gaze of his classmates as they sized up the demon. There was a fine bead of sweat on his forehead, and his breathing wasn't too steady. But at this moment, he was like a superstar. After the surrounding students were shocked and accepted the reality, some of them asked Chen Fanyu rather positively about the methods to increase the efficiency of his cultivation. Chen Fanyu didn't arrogantly say this is all about talent, you can't learn and other pushed words, he really seriously shared with his classmates that he had the heart to do so. For a while, most people are not envious and jealous, but listen carefully to Chen Fan language about experience. Lu Rui heard Ruan Yuanliang roll his eyes and muttered. This time, let him pretend to have a good time. At the moment, everyone's attention was on Chen Fan Yu. Lung Feng pursed his lips and didn't bother to look at Chen Fan Yu, but instead looked at Lu Rui who was silently observing. Come over here for a moment, student Lu, tell teacher about any problems you encountered during your first enlightenment cultivation? Lu Rui sniffed and noticed teacher Lang Feng's rather complicated and marvelous expression. He walked over to his teacher and said in a rather vague tone, I feel alright, I quite like the Kaiyuan cultivation feeling, I feel quite comfortable with it, there shouldn't be any problems. How could there be no problem, you are catching up with Chen Fan Yu ah. Teacher Lang Feng spat madly in his heart, his expression almost not taught. Both of them looked at Chen Fan Yu who was in the center of the classroom, talking eloquently. 
Teacher Leng Feng repeatedly wanted to say something, and Lu Rue could hear Chen Fanyu recounting cultivation insights, the specifics of which were somewhat inspiring to Lu Rue himself. This made Lu Rue unavoidably open his mouth and lament. This Chen Fanyu is really talented ah, not only own cultivation talent, but also can teach others to cultivate, I can't. Lu Rue cultivation all rely on their own efforts and many, talent. Talent, this kind of thing can't really teach, hard to teach Lu Rue, he is afraid that he can only a few words similar to dish on more practice words it. But the words fell on the ears of Mr. Lung Fong, he really did not tense up. Dry cough, Lung Fong said. Mr. Lu Rue, you actually don't need to be too modest. Lu Rue sniffed, the corners of his mouth rose, and he implicitly said. Actually, I'm quite surprised, I didn't expect that I'm quite talented in opening the Yuan this kind of thing is quite talented. Right, besides being gifted, what other explanation can one find? So it seems that you have a high affinity for the necrotic plane, are comfortable utilizing the necrotic plane power, and are able to maintain focus on a consistent basis, this is indeed all your talent. Lang Feng nodded, then wrote these words on the teacher's rubric in front of Lu Rue. Then Lang Feng patted Lu Rue on the shoulder and said in a serious tone, Stabilize your mind, keep progressing, your talent is good, don't waste it, if you waste your talent, it's not only a loss for you, it's also a loss for the entire human race. The teacher taught, Lu Rue nodded. We'll keep it in mind. Go and rest, teacher looks after you. Lung Feng smiled. After Lu Rue left, Lung Feng wrote down other student performance evaluations and integrated them into a table. After announcing the end of class, he called the class leader Yu Yi Flux and instructed, Give this to your homeroom teacher. Lung Feng left, while Yu Yehula took the form and casually scanned it. 01, Lu Rue, 27 nodes. 02, Chen Fan Yu, 26 nodes. How many? Yu Yehulu blinked, thinking that he had misread the table, and then looked at it carefully a few more times. Determining that it wasn't his own eyes that were blurry, Yu Yofu's entire body was confused. This. This. She stood in place with her thoughts cluttered for a while, and finally murmured incredulously. How could that Lu Rue be more powerful than Chen Fan Yu? Did Mr. Lung Feng make a mistake? When this form was handed over to the class teacher Wang Yenshan, the old king was also brain damaged. Unbelievably, he directly called and contacted Lung Feng to inquire about the situation. Lung Feng on the other side of the phone was detailed and specific in describing Lu Rue's talent. Lu Rue's physical strength isn't as good as Chen Fan Yu, but it's better because of its strong focus and good affinity for the necromantic plane. Wang Yenshan, after going through the shock and pondering over it carefully, did feel that it could be explained. In the history of the Great Summer Kingdom's resistance to the invasion of the heavens, it was also true that civilian geniuses had emerged to save the day. Birth doesn't determine everything. In the current situation, it wouldn't be possible to really dig out a civilian genius, would it? Teacher, Mr. Lu Rue's grades. Yu Yi Flux, the class president who hadn't left yet, cautiously inquired. She herself has only 15 notes, Chen Fan Yu 26 notes is extremely exaggerated for others, but Yu Yi Lu knew Chen Fan Yu before, naturally she knows that Chen Fan Yu is just so gifted, she is psychologically prepared. But this Lu Rue is really don't know where to come out from, actually forced Chen Fan Yu. Wang Yenshan maintained his classroom teacher's demeanor in front of the students and said indifferently, There is no problem, this is student Lu Rue's talent. The homeroom teacher gave a definitive conclusion, even if Yu Yelu was still incredulous, she began to accept the facts. In her mind, she couldn't help but think back to that boy who was shouted at to do hard labor during class, calm and quiet. And when Yu Yaflu left the office, old Wang finally stopped being calm and immediately called Lu Rue. Tie in no. One middle school is all about physically exhausting cultivation classes in the afternoon, after the enlightenment class is over, it's already 4 in the afternoon, most of the students are physically exhausted, so the rest of the time is free time to either play and relax, go home and rest, or study and recharge. Lu Rue had no place to play, he went straight home, and just after he got home, he received a call from old Wang. He used a tone of elation and thanked. Teacher Wang Ah, you gave advice that was really useful, the stamina potion gave me a big boost to cultivate in class. It's good that the stamina potion is useful, but, how did you complete 27 nodes on the first day? Wang Yenshan cried and laughed. Lu Rue pretended to have a puzzled tone. Wasn't it you, Teacher Wang, who said that I don't have two good grades in this class, so I need to work harder? I took teacher's words to heart, so I practiced very hard and very devotedly in class. Wang Yenshan froze and was dumbfounded. Was this an achievement that could be attained just by working hard? After holding his tongue for a while, he was able to control his emotions and said in a serious tone, Right, 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 effort is important, you have to stabilize your mind, well, keep working hard, you have to know that Kaiyuan is just the beginning as well. Student Chen Fan Yu and his family aren't simple either, things like cultivation require both talent and resources. You have very good talent, but in terms of resources, 
The school is able to provide cultivation resources for talented students, but this all requires you to be able to fulfill some quite challenging and difficult conditions, in terms of obtaining cultivation resources, you have to be mentally prepared. Wang Yenshan reminded. Don't look at the fact that Lu Rui's talent performance was a bit more impressive than Chen Fan Yu, but in terms of resources, in Wang Yenshan's opinion, Lu Rui was truly no match for Chen Fan Yu. Geniuses also needed resources in order to utilize their talent. These were the facts, and although it might be a bit of a blow, Wang Yenshan felt that he needed to remind people. Well, I've remembered, thanks for the reminder, teacher. Lu Rui replied. His parents, two relatively ordinary researchers, were able to leave Lu Rui with 100 contribution points, and how many resources could that Chen Fan Yu, whose family was very unusual, obtain from his parents' elders? Wang Yinshan's words went beyond that. If you have the ability, you can try to complete the Kaiyuan in three days, and the school has special rewards for the first 10 students to complete the Kaiyuan. The rewards for the top 10 are all the same, and teacher estimates that completing Kaiyuan in three days is the level of the top 10. You can try. You don't have to push yourself, sometimes going fast isn't the best, being able to go far is the key. Eyes can also be put a little longer, your talent is very good, lay a good foundation, you can go farther than the vast majority of people. Specific choices according to your own situation, encounter problems, you can find a teacher to find the school. Wang Yenshan was quite interested in giving Lu Rui a planning guide. Lu Rui listened to all, but that within three days to complete the matter of Kaiyuan he remembered in his heart. Ending the call, Lu Rui originally thought about what to eat for dinner, but after communicating, he changed his mind. We'll have a big meal after completing the enlightenment, until then we have to focus on cultivation. Lu Rui was energized and directly turned on the necrotic mind, from tonight to tomorrow, he was going to practice all the time. As for Wang Yenshan's side, he had just finished communicating with Lu Rui not long ago, when he saw that in the class teacher's chat group, there were already co-workers who were showing student results. Class 3, Jin Yang, Class 5, Jia Shuangning, Class 6, Lin Yuan, Class 8, Ying Ruiken, Class 9, Kache, Class 11, Zhang Jie, Class 13, Gu Ziyu, Class 17, Tian Tian, Class 19, Han Mingjie. These are all over 23 nodes students today ah. Wang Yenshan murmured these names softly, mentally uttering a phrase that there are talented people in the rivers and mountains, and sighed with emotion. The more such geniuses the better, ah. At the same time, he also sent out the situation of his class too. Instantly, a colleague sent out a message of amazement. Crap, old Wang, there's a 27 note in your class? I'll go, this kid is actually still in the necromancy department. Your class too, you've got the first and the second all wrapped up. Wang Yinshan pursed his lips and chatted hotly with his colleagues. On the other side, Chen Fan Yu, who had returned home, was in a rather pleasant mood until he received a message from a friend on his cell phone. Snap, the good mood is gone. Ying Jiaqing 26 nodes, Lin Yu on 26, Gu Ziyu 26, and Lu Rui 27 nodes. Chen Fanyu's brain went down, and it took him a while to react, this Lu Rui was actually his own classmate. That is to say, this afternoon, when he was bragging about his cultivation experience with other students, this Lu Rui was watching from the sidelines? Fuck. Chen Fanyu's original face was like a crown of jade, handsome face, instantly red and warm. Brother, you come back, tonight Auntie Lu made delicious, eh, brother why is your face red? A 12-year-old little lowly wearing white rabbit pajamas asked curiously. This was Chen Fanyu's younger sister, Chen Shihi. Chen Fanyu sniffed and touched his hot cheeks, momentarily waking up like a dream. No, I won't eat tonight, I'll take the stamina potion and go cultivate. Chen Fanyu took 20 bottles of stamina potions from the family's warehouse and slightly wretchedly drilled into his room, not coming out for the entire night. Physical strength potions were just consumables that could be used as they were taken for families with deep backgrounds. In the place where Lu Rui can't see, his peers are either gifted or use family resources, even if they come back from school, they are still practicing continuously. While Lu Rui continued to maintain, necrotic mind, he didn't have that many contribution points to squander on purchasing stamina potions, but the talent, necrotic endurance, was the best source of stamina for him. Old Wang had emphasized that contribution points were precious and hard to come by, so if he was just competing for a top 10, Lu Rui wasn't going to dump his family's money just yet. He finished writing the school assignments first, after entering the necromantic mind, he was super efficient in writing his assignments, even that 1000 word after reading essay, he finished it in 10 minutes. A whole set of homework only took him 20 minutes. Then came the restoration of his physical strength. Lu Rue used up the two remaining bottles of stamina potions from earlier, and spent another 80 minutes casting the talent, necrotic endurance, to restore his stamina to its fullest state. Without the school's special apparatus to add support, my cultivation efficiency is one node construction every 10 minutes under normal state, my full physical strength for cultivation can last for 360 minutes, 
Before 7.30 p.m., Lu Rue completed the construction of all 36 nodes. The next step was to construct the framework of the Yuanfu, a total of 54 prongs. Each prong also took about 10 minutes. By the time it was past 11 in the evening, Lu Rue was physically exhausted, completing 21 frames and passing a third of the progress. Lu Rue also don't know how much resources need to be consumed each time the school's dimensional resonance instrument is activated, but it's really very good, cultivation efficiency can be directly increased to three times. If the school's special equipment also assisted in cultivation, then before midnight, Lu Rue could complete the construction of the Yuanfu framework. Unlike the present moment, he was physically exhausted and needed another six hours for physical recovery. However, Lu Rue in the state of dead spirit mind would not have any negative emotions such as irritability, exhaustion, anxiety, boredom, etc. He would not have any negative emotions such as irritability, exhaustion, anxiety, boredom, etc. He would have no negative emotions at all. He would only complete every step of his cultivation step by step, without fail. At 5 o'clock in the morning, Lu Rue finished recovering his physical strength. He used 2 hours for the construction of the 12 frames, allowing the frame construction to progress more than halfway, and the rest of his stamina was used by him to summon 3 small skeleton soldiers for sacrifices. Lu Rue's stamina was depleted, but with the characteristic of, Ash Legacy, he would recover a small portion of his stamina after the summons were destroyed. Click, click. With 3 clicks, the small skeletons were all cleaved to pieces. Gained base attribute bonus, strength plus 0. 3, agility plus 0. 3, physique plus 0. 3, spirit plus 0. 1, strength 9. 4, agility 8. 4, physique 9. 4, spirit 17. 8, acquired talent, dimensional affinity. Dimensional affinity, necromancy. Every necromancy creature possesses the trait of deepening its connection to the necromancy plane and, when casting necromancy related powers, the consumption is reduced and the effect is increased, effect, necromancy plane affinity plus 10%, consumption minus 5%, reinforcement plus 5%. Eh, there's actually a new talent? Lu Rui lifted, necromantic mind, and began to scrutinize his new talent. After roughly reading the panel text description a few times and experiencing it based on his own feelings, Lu Rui roughly understood this one passive talent that could comprehensively enhance the power of the necromantic spirit. Although the strengthening effect is not much, but it is comprehensive, plus I can continuously strengthen the talent, the stronger this talent is, the more benefits it brings. Lu Rue gave his evaluation. However, the necromantic affinity talent seemed to be quite difficult to come out, Lu Rue had sacrificed 24 little skeletons before one came out. According to this probability, if he wanted that talent to evolve, then he would also prepare another 240 little skeletons. But change was good, and the new talent was considered an unexpected blessing. Opening the door on a new day, I should be lucky today. The corners of Lu Rue's mouth rose as he began to put on his school uniform. Because he had a class in the morning, he still had to make a trip to the school, but the classroom knowledge he was able to grasp quickly, normal classes were a waste of time, Lu Rue was perfectly able to use the class time to activate the necrotic endurance, active effect to recover his physical strength for the afternoon's opening class. That's what he planned, but when he arrived at the school. But when he arrived at the school, Lu Rue found Chen Fan Yu standing there at the entrance of the classroom. Chen Fan Yu was specifically here to squat on him. Seeing Lu Rue come, Chen Fan Yu's face stiffened and his tone was rather unnatural as he said. You're very good, I didn't expect to actually have a fellow classmate like you. At the same time, in the classroom acting class President Yu Yi Flux saw the scene through the window, she muttered in a low voice. Chen Fan Yu was a person with a very strong sense of self-esteem and victory, they should not be in conflict, right? Fluorescence. A delicate lowly face came over to Yu Yezhou's side, this was Sure Xin. When the two of them stood together, Sure Xin, a long-legged lowly, was a head taller than Yu Yofu. Sure Xin saw Chen Fan Yu outside the classroom and said to Yu Yilu with a thieving face. Last night Xiaoxi talked to me, said Chen Fan Yu yesterday when he came home, the whole face is red, asked him what happened, Chen Fan Yu do not say anything, dinner also do not eat, a whole night to hide in the room, go to school only go out. Xiaoxi asked me if his brother is in school to recognize which girl to fall in love. Chen Fan language, fall in love? Yu Yi fluorescence almost choked on his own saliva, spit out. Chen Fan Yu is in love? In his eyes, there are only two kinds of people, those who are not as strong as him and those who are temporarily stronger than him. It's not falling in love, but Chen Fan Yu is indeed stimulated supposedly. Yu Yi Flux knew Lu Rue's accomplishments. Stimulated by what? Sure Xian's eyes shone brightly, a look of wanting to eat melon. Because of this Lu Rue? Yu Yofu shook her head, I won't say, this is someone else's privacy. And Lu Rue sighed. Someone came to the door, and seeing that it was the Chen Pushing King that others were talking about. Lu Rue thought about it and replied. 
The homeroom teacher told me yesterday that Kaiyuan is just a start, the road ahead is long, there are many students as good as me, I hope I keep improving, keep working hard, don't be left behind. Lu Rui wasn't an elementary school student, naturally he wouldn't be obnoxious for no reason. Once these words came out, Chen Fanyu's stiff face eased a little, pursed his lips, and said again. The 26 nodes are just what I harvested in class, I still maintain my cultivation after I went home, and I have now completed the construction of the basic nodes, and I have also completed the construction of the 40 channel framework. 40 Dao frames? Lu Rui raised his eyebrows, he had only completed the construction of 33 frames yesterday even after spending 7 hours to recover his physical strength. Chen Fan language this 40 frames was the later catching up? It was actually possible to roll like this? He wouldn't have spent the entire night practicing with stamina potions, right? That must have consumed at least 30 bottles of stamina potions, right? True large amount. Lu Rue's eyes narrowed slightly, noticing that Chen Fanya's black and white eyes had a slight bloodshot look. Student Chen is very strong, I only managed to cultivate for one night with 33 frames. Lu Rue said. Lu Rue said so on his lips, but in his heart, he thought that if he also had enough stamina potions to save that 6 hours of stamina recovery time, then before school, he should be able to complete the second stage of Yuan Fu frame construction. However, after comparing, Lu Rue also kind of understand what kind of level these geniuses in the school are. It is true that they are far beyond other students, but for Lu Rue, he is very sure that he can catch up and surpass them. Old Wang gave him the standard of completing Kaiyuan within 3 days, and the rewards for the top 10 are all the same. Lu Rue didn't know what the situation was for the other class students, and if necessary, he needed to break the bank to buy stamina medicine. Although it was a bit unwilling to give up, a break was a break. After hearing Chen Fanya's progress, Lu Rue felt a sense of urgency that he might have to adjust his original plan. Chen Fanya sniffed as if she was relieved, followed by a bit of embarrassment. I was using the family's stamina potion. Otherwise, my stamina wouldn't have been that. I didn't have that much energy otherwise. Chen Fanyu seems to feel that he is a little bit of the meaning of victory. However, Lu Rui said, I'm the same, last night when I practiced cultivation, I also used some external objects. It should but all students who have resources should have been practicing hard last night with the help of external objects, right? Indeed, a few of my friends are doing the same, new students have limited stamina, without the help of external objects, except for me a few people, it's quite difficult to continue practicing for two hours. Chen Fanyu nodded his head, quite a feeling of everyone is using it so it's normal for me to use it. Lu Rue also nodded in recognition, but he helplessly said. However, I still think that the best effect of cultivation is still those 90 minutes in the classroom, if going home to cultivate also has the same effect as the classroom, I'll probably be able to complete the opening of the Yuan before I go to school. Chen Fanhua quite agreed, and then spat out. I also feel the same way, that dimensional resonance meter at school consumes not a small amount to open once, it is said that it will burn one contribution point per minute, the maintenance cost is also high and it is not possible to popularize it at the moment. For a while, the two actually showed signs of chatting. But not for a while, the preparatory bell rang. Lu Rui into the classroom and handing in homework, that a little gangly Ruan Yuanlian while helping to collect homework, and then whispered to Lu Rui said, Chen Pusher King that person from childhood talk is strange, always love to say what, the top of the people, proud of the world, I should be a piece of heaven for the human race and so on, you don't pay too much attention to ah. Uh, but this person in fact this person is quite good, his friends about the fight to find him, he is really the first one to rush forward. Lu Rue couldn't help but laugh, in his heart he spat out a sentence, this goods is from childhood middle age two diseases? But Chen Fan Yu is really a genius. Lu Rue didn't have any ill feelings towards Chen Fan Yu, so he said, it's fine, Chen Fan Yu just spoke to me quite harmoniously. Peaceful? Ruan Yuanliang was stunned, can this be used to describe King Push? But seeing that the two had no conflicts, he was relieved. The bell rang. Three classes in the morning, politics and law, biology, foreign language, elective. Cultivation first cultivates the heart, and this heart is the criminal law. The political law teacher then made it clear to this group of students who had begun to cultivate transcendent powers that the use of transcendent powers should never be criminalized. The teacher was not all false and big slogans urging the students to be kind and build a harmonious society or anything like that. Rather, he said that transcendentalists commit crimes with high risks, high costs and low returns. The teacher said that transcendentalist crime is high risk, high cost, and low yield. The Great Xia State has a high welfare package for transcendentalists, and transcendentalists can't get their cultivation resources from ordinary people. Transcendents who commit crimes against ordinary people hardly have much to gain. Only a very few antisocial personality transcendents would commit crimes against ordinary people regardless of the benefits. But human trafficking was an exception. The teacher emphasized this one thing. Among all transcendentals crimes, human trafficking is an extremely bad felony, 
and when it is violated, our country and the human league will have the following severe punishments. Lu Rui listened in the classroom, found that this world, the great summer country for the fight against human trafficking is very strong, the plot is serious trafficking offenders can rise to the enemy and treason, is characterized as the enemy of mankind, directly expelled, because those trafficking criminals, is to sell their compatriots to the enemies of the heavens, so as to obtain huge profits, the political science and law teacher was, after one lesson, the political law teacher also gave the students 1000 words of homework, and also asked to memorize the law. Lu Rue, on the contrary, maintains the state of necromantic mind during the lesson, listening to the lesson while casting necromantic endurance. Chen Fan Yu could also be seen napping between classes to recover his state. By the time the afternoon rolled around, Lu Rue's stamina had all been restored to full strength. All the students were looking forward to the Kaiyuan class, which had finally arrived. Teacher Lang Feng started the lesson in order, after opening the dimensional resonance instrument and the Yuan viewing mirror. Even though he already knew beforehand that there were two demonic students in the class, teacher Langfoam still couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. 33 frames, 40 frames, these two are monsters in human skin, right? Within the entire class, Lu Rui and Chen Fan Yu broke off two rides, under these two, only Yu Yilufoam managed to complete 32 nodes, then Wan Yu Wan Liang 29, sure XAN. Even though he was psychologically prepared beforehand, after seeing the specific results, Mr. Langfoam still felt that his worldview had been shaken. Amazing, the new generation is getting more and more powerful. Lung Fong secretly sighed with a feeling of depression as the previous wave was lapped on the beach. But next, teacher Lang Fong was curious as to who had progressed faster after this lesson, Lu Rui or Chen Fan Yu. Chen Fan Yu should have borrowed resources from his family to be able to lead by so much in one night, Lu Rui, his family should be resourceful as well, but it's not as good as Chen Fan Yu, but Lu Rui's strengths are outstanding as well, it's not like there isn't a possibility of catching up in the classroom. Teacher Lang Feng was looking forward to the results of this class. And after the dimensional resonance instrument was turned on, Lu Rui scrambled to start practicing. The effect of this instrument's cultivation was immediate, and its efficiency directly increased to three times. Lu Rui was able to complete the construction of the three frames in ten minutes, and in less than seventy minutes, he entered the final stage of the enlightenment. He picked up a thermos cup and drank some water. Paying attention to the other students in the classroom at this time, one could clearly notice that today the students all had thermos cups with them and had a lot more stamina stretches. Everyone is improving ah. Lu Rue murmured. Immediately afterward, he noticed four people looking at him. Chen Fan Yu raised three fingers towards Lu Rue, signaling that he had reached the third stage. Lu Rue gave an okay sign. Then there was Yu Yezhou, Ruan Yuan Liang, and Shur Xian, and these three had different expressions. Yu Yezhou was curious, a bit like watching an electronic cricket fight. Ruan Yuan Liang smiled slightly at him, while Shur Xian was uncertain. Within the entire classroom, only teacher Lang Feng could see clearly through the Yuan viewing mirror, and he said with an excited heart. As expected, Lu Rue is stable as always. Although Chen Fan Yu is also very fast, but from the 40th minute onwards, he is struggling a little bit, Chen Fan Yu should have been practicing after he went home yesterday, right? The spirit stays taut for a long time, and the concentration does slip badly. Lung Feng's judgment was not far off. Lu Rue had a necromantic mind that could maintain absolute concentration, it was extremely stable and highly efficient, and there would simply be no feeling of exhaustion and inertia that would reduce efficiency. But Chen Fan Yu was different, although he was a genius, he still had human instincts, was going to feel tired and labored, and as time lengthened, these cumulative negative states inevitably made his concentration slip. The advantage he had accumulated from one night's cultivation was caught up by Lu Rui in just over an hour in class. Based on yesterday's performance, after this class is over, this kid Lu Rue should be able to overpower Chen Fan language. Just as Lang Feng was thinking this, there was a sudden change in the classroom. Only Chen Fan Yu, who was concentrating on his cultivation, suddenly had a tight brow. The surrounding students did not notice it, but as a teacher Lang Feng saw the changes that appeared in Chen Fan Yu's Yuan Fu prototype from the Yuan viewing mirror. Only to see that on the 18 prisms that had already constructed the basic framework, there were still 20 facets that had yet to be completed. However, when Chen Fan Yu was constructing these 20 faces, a special flame-like and lotus-like pattern actually began to appear on each face of the Yuanfu prototype. As soon as this pattern appeared, Chen Fan Yu's speed of absorbing dimensional power surged a few points faster, and as the fire lotus pattern was perfected, the speed of absorbing dimensional power actually got faster and faster, building a new form of Yuanfu. The speed of absorbing dimensional power actually became faster and faster, the efficiency of building the Yuanfu prototype began to rise, and the pattern of the fire lotus became more and more brightly colored and vivid. Teacher Lang Feng was so shocked that he almost stood up. Such patterns, such Yuanfu, this child. This is to appear as a talent rune? 
talent runes, cultivator power all came from those 13 different realms. Each realm has unique creatures, unique talents, and unique laws of the realms. The process of casting Yuanfu is modeled after the realm, building a small realm within the human body. In this process, if the practitioner and the power of the realm of high affinity, there is a certain possibility that from the realm of the topography of the law of a few defective lines. Such a mutilated law pattern was known as a gifted rune, a symbol of a top genius. Teacher Leng Feng was not calm, he knew that the realm where Chen Fan language was spoken was the heaven's choice realm. This was the most fully and deeply developed realm for humans, and humans had explored almost all of the talent runes that existed. Lang Feng's brainstorming and racking his brains finally remembered the talent rune with fire and lotus. Fire bathing red lotus, innate extraordinary talent. Lang Feng's mind was racing, the most prominent symbol of this heaven's choice plane was combat evolution. This fire bathing red lotus talent was the concentrated manifestation of the characteristics of the heaven's choice plane. After the research of the Great Xia Kingdom, the possessor of the Red Lotus talent will have the characteristics of being indestructible in a hundred battles and being reborn in the fire, as long as they can't be killed, they will get stronger and stronger, and will continue to transform and evolve. The talent was tested through many brutal battlefields and was full of gold, thus it was rated as an innate extraordinary talent rune by the Human League. Teacher Leng Feng's breathing slowed for a beat when he saw Chen Fan Yu appear to coalesce this talent sign. The Guan Yuan mirror also checked that the student had awakened the special talent rune, and according to the program settings immediately reported it to the school authorities and made a record. After Lang Feng reacted, his body and mind were tense, paying attention to his surroundings, watching the students doing their own thing and not disturbing Chen Fan Yu. About 10 minutes later, Chen Fan Yu's fire bathing red lotus talent was completely formed, not to mention the core effect of the talent, but the cultivation efficiency itself had also tripled. Chen Fan Yu turned the tide, he completed one of the 20 facets of the Yuanfu prototype within 10 minutes. On the contrary, Lu Rui, his progress on the first facet was only three quarters of the way through. Noticing this, Long Feng secretly marveled. There is also a gap between geniuses and geniuses, although Lu Rui has the ability to lead by his own advantage, after Chen Fan Yu awakened the talent rune, there is already an uncatchable gap between the two. However, Long Feng had just finished thinking this way. The Yuan observation mirror gave another hint that a new talent rune had been born in the classroom. Lung Feng really couldn't sit still and stood up with a miso. Two talent runes had appeared in one class? As he looked over, it was indeed Lu Rue. As for Lu Rue, he was maintaining the state of necromantic mind, and after completing the construction of the Yuanfu framework, he began the third stage of filling. He could see an 18 prong cylinder in his body through his internal vision. When the time came to the last 10 minutes of the class, Perhaps it was Lu Rue's own special affinity for the necrotic plane or the school's plane resonance instrument that weakened the spatial obstruction. Lu Rue suddenly blessed to the heart, from that distant dead spirit plane, sensed some vague special things, and he was constructing the Yuanfu to resonate. Lu Rue does not know what this is the case, just suddenly feel more affinity to the dead spirit plane, constructing the Yuanfu efficiency increased a little. Such a change was a good thing, and the panel also popped up a prompt. Necromantic affinity, resonating with the realm, constructing talent runes, current progress 0. 1%. Talent rune? Lu Rue didn't understand what this was, but instinctively felt that it was a good thing, so he kept his, necrotic mind, state and began to construct the talent rune. Under the state of internal vision, he began to notice special ripples appearing on his Yuan Fu fledgling. In about 5 minutes or so, the ripples took on a rough shape, and it was vaguely apparent that it seemed to be a mist. At the same time, the panel prompted that the construction of the rune talent had been completed. Only a quarter of the way through? It looks like this rune won't be completed before the end of class. Not long after Lu Rue thought this, Mr. Lang Feng received a notification from the school. The course has been extended to keep the dimensional resonance meter on to allow the students to successfully complete the talent rune cohesion. Extending the duration of the dimensional resonance instrument? Lang Feng's first reaction was to be staggered, this instrument would burn one contribution point for every minute it was on, which was equivalent to consuming a thousand dollars for one minute of use. With 20 classes in one grade in the first year of high school, and each class offering 90 minutes of lessons per day, the school would have to consume 1,800 contribution points per day just to use the instrument, it really was spending money like water. The school's funds are not endless, or need to be carefully calculated. However, on second thought, the purpose of the school's existence was to cultivate talents. Now that there is a top genius, if you don't spend money at this time, when will you wait? The school's temporary notice was unexpected and reasonable. Lang Feng calmed down, and when class was about to end, he announced to all the students in the classroom. This class will be extended for half an hour, the dimensional resonance instrument will continue to be used, students who still have stamina can continue practicing in the classroom, those who are already overwhelmed can choose to leave the classroom 
but please keep quiet and don't disturb other students practicing. The students of class 2 were surprised and happy to hear that the class was extended. If other classes were extended, the students would most likely have grievances, but the Kaiyuan class was different ah, practicing in class was three times more efficient than practicing at home ah. Students from average families did not have the contribution points to obtain resources to improve their cultivation efficiency, and currently only the school's dimensional resonance meter could provide assistance to these students from average families. Although they didn't know what was going on, but with such an unexpected blessing, there were still physical students who of course intensified their cultivation. This also included Chen Fan Yu. He had already completed the construction of his runes and obtained the special talent rune Fire Bathing Red Lotus, increasing his cultivation efficiency by a large margin. He already thought that he had absolute certainty that he could crush this class of students from Tian First Middle School. Chen Fan Shui was in high spirits, but when he suddenly heard the teacher announce that the class had been unexpectedly extended, he also felt uncertain. Why is the class suddenly extended? Chen Fan Yu muttered in his heart. Growing up with a family upbringing, it made Chen Fan Yu feel strange for a moment. After a little speculation and doubt in his heart, and seeing that Lu Rui was still concentrating on his cultivation, he also continued his cultivation for the time being regardless of the confusion. And Lu Rui there. After he heard the teacher announce the extension of the course, he was in the state of necromantic mind, and did not have any emotional fluctuations, and probably had some guesses in his heart, he concentrated on practicing and constructing the gifted runes. With the progress of perfecting the rune being halfway through, the panel also appeared with a prompt. Acquired talent rune, pale scourge, can grow. Pale calamity, the user can create a pale necrotic fog by actively consuming physical strength or necrotic power. Under this mist, the user and their necromantic units have their full attributes increased, their consumption decreased, their breath tightened, and their perception expanded. The enemy's attributes are reduced, consumption is increased, perception is hindered, and location is revealed. The pale scourge can fuse the power of all necromantic creations. Specific gain effect, rune is being generated, 53. 1%. Lu Rue went through the description and roughly summarized that. This is a ranged skill that can actively strengthen your side and weaken the enemy. Looking at the description it should be a very good talent, Lu Rue concentrated on completing the entire rune build. Around the 20th minute after the class was extended, the talent rune was completely generated. Gaining effect, plus 20% to the user's necrotic plane affinity, plus 5% to the full attributes of the user and their own necrotic units, and no more than a 10% reduction in consumption. Enemies' full attributes reduced by no more than 5%, consumption increased by no more than 10%, depending on the difference in strength between the two sides. With just this description, it doesn't seem like this talent can be called a calamity yet, does it? Presumably the effect gets stronger as the talent grows? Or does it need to be used in conjunction with a necrotic summoner? Lu Rue's heart speculated, the description said that under the mist of necrotic spirit, not only he himself would be strengthened, but also the necrotic spirit units would be strengthened. This talent was not only applicable to single combat, but also group combat. After roughly scrutinizing the new talent, there were about 10 minutes left in the class. In the state of necromantic mind, he sought to maximize his benefits and focused on constructing the fledgling Yuanfu. At the end of the class, the third stage of his Yuanfu construction was nearly a third of the way done, or six facets. While acquiring the talent rune, his cultivation efficiency doubled. Lu Rue did a simple calculation that he would be able to open up his Yuanfu within today. Meanwhile, teacher Lang Feng, who was able to see his students' progress through the Yuan viewing mirror, was aware that at this moment, Chen Fan Yu had only completed a quarter of it, or five facets. After Lu Rue awakened the talent rune, he caught up with Chen Fan Yu again and surpassed the other by a hair. These two geniuses awakened one after another, catching up with each other, Mr. Lung Feng watched from the sidelines, and his mood was like a roller coaster going up and down. As for the other students, Lung Feng saw that the best performer, Yu Yi Flux, only had 18 frames right now, the fourth, Wan Yu Wan Lian, had 17 frames, and the fifth, Shurexian, had 15 frames. The worst student in the classroom had only completed 14 nodes so far. From this, it could be seen that the two of them, Lu Rue and Shen Fan Yu, were extraordinary. However, these achievements could only be seen by Leng Feng as the teacher. The other students didn't know about this, and after the class ended, everyone's eyes looked towards Chen Fan Yu. This class 2 demon, yesterday was an extremely exaggerated 26 nodes, so what kind of peak did the other party reach today? Everyone looked towards Chen Fan Yu. If it was normal, Chen Fan Yu would definitely inform the crowd without a doubt that he had completed the construction of all the nodes and frameworks, and that the third stage was a quarter of the way through and then begin to share his cultivation experience with his classmates. But now, Chen Fan Yu was silent, his gaze looking towards Lu Rue, waiting for the other party to speak first. Yu Yi Flux was also curious, her pretty eyes sizing up this Lu Rue. But at this time, Mr. 
Lang Feng opened his mouth. This class is over, other students leave the classroom in an orderly manner. Chen Fanyu student now go to the faculty office and make a trip to room 101, Lu Roy student is also going to the faculty office and make a trip to room 102. This was the notice given by the school administration. Chen Fanyu was psychologically prepared for this, and knew that he should be going to talk about the talent rune. With his family's cultivation, Chen Fanyu was not unfamiliar with talent runes and knew what they represented. He was not surprised. But what surprised him was why Lu Rui was also called over. He had also awakened the talent rune. Chen Fanyu's heart rippled as he looked at Lu Rui with a slight surprise in his expression. Lu Rui originally didn't understand the talent rune either, but at this time, the class teacher, Old Wang, sent him a large number of SMS messages. Your kid is bullish and big. Do you know what it's called when special lines appear in your Yuan Fu in class? That's a talent rune, an extremely special way of using dimensional power, it's very significant. Especially since you're a student of the necromancy department. Did Mr. Lung Fong notify you to go to the faculty office later? That one is the vice dean of our school's necromancy dimension research institute. Don't worry, the vice dean is nice, she's just explaining to you what's going on with this talent rune, exactly how to use it, and some of the future direction of the necromancy department's development. The significance of this talent rune of yours is not small. The school will attach great importance to it, and you should not vocalize it with others, it is easy to cause trouble. It's actually possible to cause trouble, it looks like this talent rune is really special. Lu Rui said in his heart, his eyebrows slightly tightened. Wan Yinshan was all about sending messages to Lu Rui through SMS, nearly only Lu Rui knew what was going on. After scanning through the messages, Lu Rui put back his cell phone and said towards Chen Fan Yu, who was still staring at himself. I'm leaving first. Chen Fan Yu froze, seeing Lu Rui leaving, he said a sentence to the surrounding students as an afterthought. I'm also leaving first, the school is looking for me for something. The students were of course confused, they still wanted to know how Chun Fanya's cultivation progress was. Their hearts were scratching like cats with curiosity, but since the main body was unwilling to speak, they were not in a position to pry, and could only leave the classroom. It was Yu Yiflux who was very sneaky and planned to use his position to get first-hand information from Mr. Lung Fong. However, Mr. Lung Fong had to personally deliver the file this time, and did not give Yu Yiflux a chance to check it out. Yu Yofu was both helpless and curious, not knowing what was going on. It wasn't just the acting class president, when the students of class 2 left the classroom, soon half of the senior class knew that when class 2 started the Yuan class, the class time was extended by half an hour. Why did class 2 have to use the dimensional resonance meter for half an hour longer than the other classes? It's not fair. An explanation must be given. Let's not talk about what happened between the students. Lu Rui headed to the faculty office as requested, and Chen Fan Yu was also walking along. The two were going to the same place. Along the way, Chen Fan Yu wanted to say something, he was itching in his heart, he really wanted to ask Lu Rui if he also possessed a talent rune. But he also knew that talent rune was a very special thing, and he could not pry into it at will. After struggling for a while, Chen Fan Yu asked politely, I've completed a quarter of my progress in the third stage of Enlighten Yuan, how about you? Almost. Lu Rui returned. Almost? Chen Fan Yuan now had a number in his heart. After he had awakened the talent rune, his cultivation efficiency had increased by a large margin, so by all rights, he should be faster than Lu Rui, but according to Lu Rui's statement, the two of them were not far apart in terms of progress. That meant that Lu Rui had a high probability of also awakening the talent rune. This kind of speculation makes Chen Fan language mood subtle. How is it that after he awakened the one in a million runic talent, Lu Rui also awakened? Why would it be such a coincidence? Chen Fanyu's eyes narrowed slightly, can it be that this is how I encountered an unmatched opponent on my cultivation path? With such a talent, I recognize such an opponent. Chen Fanyu muttered in his heart. Lu Rui also roughly guessed why he had awakened a talent rune during his cultivation. It should be the effect of, necromantic mind, and, dimensional affinity, as well as the extremely high spiritual attribute that gives me the awakening of the talent rune foundation. The two had their own thoughts, and as they walked, they arrived at the faculty office. Lu Rue entered room 102, three rattan chairs and a table. Across the table, sitting in front of Lu Rue was a woman with dark green half-rimmed glasses, three-dimensional features, bright red lips, smooth and fair features like a peel egg, and seemed to be a bit of a mixed-race child, and although she couldn't tell her age, her temperament was calm and steady. This is probably the vice dean, she has exquisite short hair with oblique bangs, wearing white straight suit pants, jacket a small suit of the same color, which appeared to be elegant. Inside, she wore what seemed to be a light blue turtleneck undershirt, accentuating her fair and long neck and broad chest. The vice dean made a please sit gesture and Lu Rue took a seat. The vice dean lifted the glasses frame, his voice was warm like a waterway. This time to Lu students to come it, 
mainly to explain the meaning and role of the special runes that appear in the process of opening the yuan. I am the vice director and a member of the school's board of directors of the Necromancy Research Institute that opened in Tian No. One middle school, and I can be in charge of answering or guiding everything about the field of necromancy in this school. My name is Lilia, if Lu Rui student has the intention to develop in the necromancy field, we should meet often in the future. Lu Rui sniffed and nodded his head in a well-behaved manner. Good day Dean Lai, please also answer what is the function of this talent rune and what is its significance. Lu Rui was able to see the specific effects of pale natural disaster through the panel, but others did not know about the existence of the panel. Dean Ri took out the tablet and tapped it a few times, projecting the shape of Lu Rui's Yuan Fu in the room. On the Yuan Fu, there was an extremely special fog-like pattern. Dean Ri smiled. As you may know, student Lu Rui, the necromancy realm is a realm that we humans have only acquired within the last two years, so the accumulation of research and development in the necromancy realm is not as good as the previous twelve realms. Lu Rui student's talent rune, there is no corresponding record in the database, that is to say, you are the first person of our humanity to awaken this kind of talent rune, to know the specific effects and ratings, you still need a certain amount of testing. Our country pays quite a lot of attention to this area, especially in the latest field like necromancy, the relevant talents have very favorable support policies. Here I will briefly say, talent runes, divided into innate and innate, innate talent has growth, innate does not have. Lu Rue students like this is the innate talent, more rare. The innate talent rating has four grades, from low to high is, third class, second class, first class, special class, the rating is not simply refers to the combat power, but also other factors. The higher the rating, the more resources the country invests in cultivation. Oh, the participation in the unknown rune test rating process itself is also to contribute to the national exploration and research, will receive the corresponding contribution points reward, Lu Rue students should know what contribution points are, right? Lu Rui pondered, according to Ri Lia's description, not to mention the specific effects of the talent rune, as long as he participated in the rune test rating, then there would be contribution points. When the rating was completed, other cultivation resources would be obtained based on the talent level. After figuring out what he could gain, Lu Rui nodded and said, I will actively cooperate with the relevant tests. Lilia smiled a little more. Well, the formal talent rating is not urgent for the time being, let's wait for Lu Rui's student to complete the opening of the Yuan. We can do a simple test here first, so that I can roughly know the direction of your talent ability application. Lu Rue raised his right hand when he heard that. After he obtained the pale scourge talent, he instinctively knew how to use it. With a thought, a pale white, seemingly temperatureless mist that could not be seen with the naked eye appeared in the center of his palm. Lilia's eyes glazed over and she raised her glasses and asked, Can you control it? Make it float to me? Lu Rue did as he was told, and the mist floated to Rilia. Lilia lifted her slender index finger and poked the mist. The showy brow frowned lightly, and immediately afterwards she said, The mist created by your talent seems to be able to strengthen necromancy-related things, and also has the effect of shielding visitation and breath masking. The effects are quite varied, and if you have a specific upper limit, you still need to pass more tests. Lu Rue smiled and knew that this Dean Lai had figured out most of the effects of the pale scourge. Lilia told Lu Rue that he could put away his talent, and after a little contemplation, she added, your talent rune, my initial experience feeling, belongs to a relatively stable and safe talent, on this basis has a strengthening effect, if you decide to develop deeply in the field of necromancy, I will suggest you towards the blood-hidden hunter and necromancer these two directions. The former is individual power reinforcement, while the latter is spell turrets or summoning legions. I'm more inclined towards legion summoning, Lu Rue immediately said. His core talent, Ash Legacy Power, needed to be paired with a huge number of summons in order to bring out the best effect. But if the conditions allowed it, Lu Rue wanted them all. Like the summoning stream all. Well, this talent of yours is indeed suitable as well, when you complete the Kaiyuan, contact teacher me, teacher can give you some references for choosing summons. Lilia smiled. Okay, thank you teacher. Lu Rue's eyes lit up. Rilia then snapped her fingers. Then a necrotic bone dragon with the size of a palm. This skeleton monster bit a Lilia postcard and handed it to Lu Rue. Lu Rue looked at the above about Lilia's contact information and solemnly put the card away. Talking about this, Dean Ri's tone suddenly turned a bit more serious. In addition, I want to tell you, talent rune is very precious, an excellent innate talent rune can largely pull up your upper limit, people who have talent rune are unquestionably the rising star of tomorrow, will be envied by others as a common thing, but the bad thing is that our human race in the heavens of the hostile forces will launch targeted stifling of genius action. Lu Rue's brows tightened at his words. Lilia, on the other hand, sagely admonished. The school is optimistic that you use the natural rune power to grow stronger step by step, the school will consciously keep your secret, 
As long as you don't take the initiative to talk to other people, other people won't think in this direction. Ordinary cultivators can't see the difference between talented rune and ordinary battle techniques with their naked eyes. Not to mention that there has never been a talent rune like yours before this, and as long as you don't check your Yuanfu, no one else will be able to see it either. So you don't have to worry too much. After I awakened my talent rune, I didn't communicate with anyone other than the classroom teacher and homeroom teacher. Lu Rui nodded his head. Very good. Lilia nodded slightly and said. After all the chatting about the talent rune, Relia smiled. That's all the things that the school has to explain. I'm looking forward to you, Lu Rui student, to have enough abilities after you cultivate hard and make brilliant achievements in humanity's exploration of the heavens and defense against foreign enemies. Well, I will keep that in mind. Lu Rui got up. When he walked out of the room, he saw Chen Fan Yu standing against the wall in the corridor. This pussy's face value was extremely high, and he was wearing a straight school uniform, making it look like a high cool male lead in a campus idol drama. Seeing Lu Rui, Chen Fan Yu said with intention, Your ability is very strong, I've admitted it, and I'm looking forward to the next days with you on campus as a fellow student. Lu Rui sniffed, this sentence made him feel strange, and in his heart, he spat out a sentence. If you were a girl, I would be more able to accept this sentence. But verbally, Lu Rui still said politely. Well, fellow campus students, encourage each other. Shen Fan Yu nodded and added. My parents from childhood to education me the most is, the greater the ability, the greater the responsibility, they often tell me, I now enjoy everything, are the previous person to pay blood and sweat to obtain. Lu Rui heard the beginning of this sentence, almost did not taught, heart spit a sentence. You are also a failure man? Lu Rui mouth still recognized said. Your father and your mother are right, if everyone felt that way, the world would be a better place. Receiving Lu Rui's approval, Chen Fanyu's expression seemed to rejoice a bit, and his tone enlivened. Yes, I've always thought so. Well, without further ado, don't fall behind in your cultivation, and it's best to do everything you can to complete your enlightenment tonight. The benefits of being in the top 10 are not small, as far as I understand there are quite a few competitors in the other classes, and most of them should be able to complete their enlightenment by noon tomorrow, so tonight is actually the competitions. Of the white hot stage, finish by midnight tonight and the top 10 will be secure. The top 10 would probably be decided by noon tomorrow? Lu Rui took this sentence to heart. He didn't have too much anxiety now, after awakening the pale calamity, his sense of the necrotic plane deepened a few more points, and his cultivation efficiency increased. Even without the assistance of the school's dimensional resonance meter, he could complete the opening of the Yuan in 4 hours out, and he could definitely do it before midnight, which was indeed quite enough time. After the enlightenment is completed, it's just in time for a late night snack as well. Lu Rui calculated in his heart, he had originally planned to have a good celebration meal after completing the Kaiyuan. Saying goodbye to Chen Fan Yu, Lu Rui directly rushed towards home. On the way, the class teacher, Old Wang, sent him a message. Lu Rui replied back, stating that he would be able to complete the Kaiyuan before midnight tonight. Old Wang returned a smiley face, indicating that he was waiting for good news. As far as the people and things I've come into contact with so far, this world still feels pretty good. Lu Rui felt in his heart. He took out Dean Ri's postcard and added the contact information. When he returned home, it was already 4.30 p.m. He immediately turned on, Necrotic Mind, and first took 30 minutes to finish his homework, then spent 2 hours using, Necrotic Endurance, to recover all his physical strength, then started the final Yuanfu construction sprint. 11 o'clock at night. Inside Lu Roy's body, a complete 18-pronged pillar with a crystalline texture and with strange mist patterns present on each face was born. A prompt popped up on the panel. Yuanfu, dead spirit, 36 nodes. Passive, creates a deeper connection with the Necronomicon, absorbing power from the Necronomicon and storing it every moment, can store Necronomicon summons into the Yuanfu without exceeding the Yuanfu's upper limit of capacity. Active, can consume physical strength, increase necromantic power recovery efficiency, strengthen effects by 10% and reduce attrition by 10% when casting necromantic power. Yuanfu can convert the power of other realms into necromantic power. Yuanfu can convert the power of other realms into necromantic power. Yuanfu talent, pale scourge. Lu Rui examined his changes, the moment the Yuanfu was completed, it was as if there was an additional container inside him. This container was interconnected with the necrotic plane, and in its passive state, the container would all spontaneously draw energy from the necrotic plane. If I use game terminology to describe it, it's an extra tube of blue bar on top of the blood bar, stamina bar, so in the future, when casting necromantic power, you can directly consume the blue bar without consuming stamina, and casting spells is much more efficient. Lu Rui described it this way, and the specific amount of blue. He made an estimation, considering his own talent for reducing the loss of casting spells to strengthen the effect, one tube of blue he could summon five small skeletons. 
Under the passive state, the blue bar recovery efficiency was one blue bar a day. With active stamina consumption, the normal recovery efficiency of blue bar was two tubes of blue bar a day. With Yuan Fu as a medium, the efficiency of a cultivator drawing dimensional power with physical strength would increase to about five times. But Lu Rui was special, he had the talent of necromantic endurance, his blue bar could be directly converted into physical strength, and his physical strength itself was five times that of a normal person. Lu Rui could obtain up to six portions of necromantic power for one portion of stamina, and with both Yuan Fu and stamina filled at the same time, Lu Rui would only need less than three hours for both to be fully restored, and he could summon ten small skeletons. Ideally, Lu Rui could summon up to 80 little skeletons a day, a fourfold increase compared to the original. This Yuan Mansion is good, this Yuan Mansion is well opened. With such an immediate boost, Lu Rui was naturally overjoyed. According to his understanding, this is only the basic role of the Yuan Fu, the school will also teach a lot of development Yuan Fu techniques next. Feeling that the future is bright, Lu Rui sent a message to Old Wang. Old Wang replied almost in seconds. You kid really can do it. The top 10 is stable. Celebration. JPG. In Wang Yanshan's opinion, Lu Rui was able to awaken the extremely rare talent rune, so it's really not surprising that he completed the Kaiyuan in less than two days. This is what genius is all about. You hurry to come to the school now and make a record, I'll wait for you at the school entrance. Wang Yanshan urged. Ah, so you have to go to the school to register a record? Lu Rui was an afterthought, but he also quickly changed his clothes. It's just that when he went out to take a taxi, his phone swiped the information of the nearby food street. When Lu Rui arrived at the school at night, Wang Yanshan was already standing at the school entrance waiting for him. At night, Tian No. One middle school is still brightly lit, even if it's 11 o'clock at night, there are still a lot of teachers and students coming and going on the streets of the campus. As Lu Rui and Wang Yanshan walked along, Lu Rui couldn't help but ask. Teacher, it's also quite late, so I'm troubling you to make a trip. Ha, huh, I'm waiting for you tonight, if you don't hurry up, I won't even be able to sleep. Wang Yanshan laughingly said, words or Lu Rui to complete the matter of Kaiyuan is more important. The two of them walked to the place where the school assessed the students Kaiyuan. A light from the Yuan observation mirror, Lu Rui Yuan Fu completion degree appeared, completing the record. About how many ranks ah? Lu Rui asked, the machine did not show him the ranking. The school is keeping it a secret, when the time comes, only the top 10 will be announced without a specific ranking. Wang Yanshan smiled and explained, then affirmed. However, I judge that you are at least in the top 5 slot. At least top 5 ah. Lu Rui nodded. Then Wang Yanshan talked to Lu Rui about the cultivation and course arrangements he was going to start after completing the opening of the Yuan, as well as the inclination of resources. From the day after tomorrow onwards, you have to start the very harsh basic physical and combat training, then the school will open up the inventory of feats to you, and you'll be able to pick a destiny feat from it, the destiny feat is the one that's used to strengthen the Yuan Fu and it's the most basic cultivation program given by the school. In your case, since you were one of the first 10 students to complete the opening of the Yuan, your talent is obvious. The school also believes that you have the spare capacity to practice other techniques. Other techniques are categorized into battle techniques, spirit subduing techniques, and summoning packs, you can choose two of the three major categories of cultivation techniques, my suggestion is one each of battle techniques and summoning packs, the threshold of spirits of doing techniques is too high, less than a certain level of cultivation is of very low benefit. Then what, you are again more special necromancy, you should also know that the necromancy realm is our people's union in the last two years to obtain a new realm, the need to cultivate related talents, in this regard there is support for you, you can be in the above on the basis of these cultivation resources, and then get a copy of the gong method or other cultivation items with the value of the equivalent. Wang Yanshan spoke about the benefits Lu Rui could obtain. Lu Rui also roughly heard and understood. The normal completion of the Open Yuan student base reward was a copy of the Cultivation Yuan House's Gong method. The top 10 Kaiyuan students are 3 merit laws, Lu Rui is a necromancy student, adding another one on top of that. The choice on the merit law, I met with Dean Lai of the Necromancy Research Institute today, and she said I could ask her for a reference. Lu Rui said. Right, 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 it's most appropriate to look for Dean Lai for this kind of thing. Wang Yanshan nodded, then he added. I just said these are the most important resource rewards, the others are, including credit awards, you wait for the school to notify in these two days on the line, and then it is you this family conditions are also in line with some of our school's scholarship programs, I can report it to you. Actually I'm not poor. Lu Rue spat out. He just lacked cultivation resources, the kind of things that money couldn't buy. He had 6,000 living expenses a month. It's not just money, there are also credits, which can be exchanged for useful cultivation resources. Wang Yanshan reminded then I am indeed quite poor. Lu. Rue immediately changed his words. Wang Yanshan laughed. 
After chatting about important things for almost as long, Wan Yenshan asked, Have you eaten these days? No, all of them are using other things to recover their strength to catch up on their cultivation progress. Lu Rui shook his head. Wan Yenshan revealed an expression of I'm sure that's the case. Cultivation is important, but it's not the whole of life. What do you want to eat? Teacher knows a few old restaurants. This is the time to celebrate. Then go, I also have this idea. Lu Rui nodded. The two reached a consensus. By this time the time had passed midnight. When they walked to the school's entrance, Wan Yenshan saw his colleague at the school's entrance and greeted him. Old Sua, you're waiting for students too? This was class 13's homeroom teacher, Su Ti. Right. Su Ti responded and asked with a smile when he saw Lu Rue. This is Lu Rue's student, right, really great, when I was your age, I hadn't even touched Kaiwan yet. Lu Rue politely said a teacher good. Without chatting much, Su Ti noticed the high beams of the vehicles outside and immediately said, The students are here, I'll go over first. That is also a student who finished Kaiwan tonight, sitting in a luxury car, looking at the grade, this student's family is very privileged. Lu Rue passed by just in time to see the people coming down from the car. In addition to a pair of middle-aged men and women, there was also a girl whose face value was not similar to that of the acting class president, but her temperament was a bit more severe and her figure was taller. She also seemed to have dressed up, dressed like a little princess with light makeup. The two glanced at each other, Lu Rue thought nothing of it, but on the contrary, she was thinking about Fang Liao and frowned darkly. Waiting for Lu Rue to leave, the girl asked her homeroom teacher. Teacher, that person just now, is he also the student who came to complete the Kaiwan record tonight? Yes, class 2's Lu Rue, but don't worry, Ziyu, the top 10 is definitely there. Su Ti comforted the student. Gu Ziyu from class 13 was then relieved, but also memorized the name. However, her parents muttered. Whose kid is this Lu Rue, even better than our Ziyu? Gu Ziyu's brows tightened as she suddenly noticed that Lu Rue was in class 2. That's one of the class 2 students whose Kaiwan class was extended by half an hour today? Gu Ziyu's cheeks bulged, more or less unconvinced. By the time they returned to the neighborhood where their home was located, it was already 1 o'clock midnight. Lu Rue was eating freely, making up for all the high-intensity cultivation of the past two days. The meal is full and thinks about that, I have lived everything in this world is quite good, except for. Lu Rue subconsciously recalled the women he had come into contact with in the past few days, the quality was quite high. Hey, a brand new life opens its arms to me ah. He whispered his feelings and hummed a little song as he headed home. Just as he walked to the elevator, he happened to see a young lady in a strange costume coming down from upstairs. That strange costume looks like a cos outfit, a more wintry otaku-oriented kind, with long white legs and exposed cleavage, wearing a purple wig and mask, a heavily made-up look, and props and a cell phone holder in her hand. Once the two of them looked at each other, the other person covered his chest, avoided the line of sight, and hurriedly walked out of the elevator. Separated by a distance, Lu Rue, who has excellent hearing, heard the other party muttering behind his back. This who's high school student, not too old to start so late home, body smell really big, look at it is not learning, the family does not care about it, if you don't learn, you'll work in a factory later, beware of the future can only rely on selling face to earn living expenses, Lu Rue sniffed a little speechless, secretly this woman strange no quality, college students go out at night to jerk to 1 or 2 o'clock back to the dormitory is not a normal operation, before he crossed over, he was a university animal, what's so strange about this? Lu Rui shook his head, returned home, sent a message to Dean Lilia, hoping that the other side to provide some reference. Then after a little washing, he directly laid down on the bed and fell asleep. Yes, it was such a luxury. Cultivation should be relaxed. The next day, Lu Rui, who had recovered all his physical strength, directly summoned 10 small skeletons. Click 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 a meal sacrifice. Gained basic attribute bonus, strength plus zero. 8, agility plus 1, physique plus 0. 8, spirit plus 0. 3, strength 10. 2, agility 9. 4, constitution 10. 2, spirit 18. 1, talent enhancement, necromantic mind, 4 out of 10. Talent enhancement, necrotic stamina, 1 tenth. Acquired talent, weapon manipulation, scythe, ash legacy. 34 small skeleton soldiers have been absorbed. After the base attribute exceeds 10, it takes two little skeletons to provide a zero. One attribute bonus ah, while over 15 points of spiritual attributes it takes three little skeletons to raise the zero. One attribute bonus. It looks like for every five basic attributes I raise, I'll enter the next growth stage, and the number of summons I need to sacrifice will increase. The first stage requires 10 attributes from the summon to strengthen my corresponding base attribute by one point, the second stage is 20 attributes to strengthen it by one point, and the third stage is 30 attributes to strengthen it by one point and so on. Lu Rue made a simple calculation and came to a conclusion. 
He pinched his body and clearly felt that his muscles had a greater sense of power. In addition, ten small skeletons, out of four talents. Lu Rui noticed that there was another new talent in there, which was out of a small skeleton soldier using a giant scythe. The length of the scythe was two heads taller than the little skeleton soldier. Weapon manipulation, I can feel that I seem to be a bit more comfortable with using a weapon like a long scythe, but am I going to fight with such a weapon in the future? Lu Rue scratched his hair, he hadn't really thought about what weapon he would use to fight with in the future. But the large scythe can indeed be included in the reference, the longer the weapon the more advantageous it is. After counting the harvest, Lu Rue changed his clothes and went out. On the way to the Ijia Fresh Breakfast Store, but this time did not see the front desk dressed in a tight schoolmate. These days is the key period of the opening of the Yuan, the first hundred schools seem to have rewards, probably focus on the opening of the Yuan it. Lu Rue guessed in his heart. Busy in the front desk seems to be the other side of the mother, but also really is the netizen evaluation that, Sun Yang hath old charm remains. In the way of eating more last night, in the morning Lu Rue to a bowl of soup millet kanji and scallion oil meat cake. A simple breakfast, during the Lu Rue also received a message from President Li, gave a time and place, said her assistant, a rather extraordinary cultivator, will bring Lu Rue to pick the gongfa at that time. Lu Rue returned to received. Resolving breakfast. He just arrived at the school, he watched the public video screen, the announcement of the first 10 students who completed the Kaiyuan in the first year of high school. Announcement ranking in no particular order, but currently only 7 students on the list, there are still 3 vacancies. In the seven names, relatively speaking to the students are relatively unfamiliar is Lu Rue. The other six are basically famous, with powerful family backgrounds, or are known to be sharp from the start. Lu Rue, on the other hand, hadn't been obvious to his classmates, and the vast majority of the other students didn't know what his situation was. Especially his fellow classmates. Who is this pussy? Is he from class 2? Isn't Chen Fan Yu the biggest loser in class 2? How did another person suddenly pop up and finish Kai Yuan without saying a word? The attention of the students in class 2 had been on Chen Fan Yu, not even realizing that there was another old 6 beside him, completing the Kaiyuan without any warning. Crap, there's actually an expert in our class. As a result, the entire atmosphere of the class was not quite the same after Lu Rue entered the class. Almost all of the gazes were directed towards him, shocked, puzzled and looking up to him. Lu Rue was calm and relaxed, but in fact, his heart was secretly happy. The feeling of pretending to be a bully is not poked. Sitting in his seat, Ruan Yuanliang turned around and smiled. Big brother, from the first day of the Kaiyuan. Day I felt that you are extraordinary, in the future, I beg for a cover. Encourage each other, encourage each other. Lu Rue kept his mouth humble. Big brother you can talk better than King Pussy. Ruan Yuanliang was just about to spit out a comment when he jerked his head around and noticed Chen Fanyu's walking towards here. Chen Fanyu glanced at Ruan Yuanliang rather disgustedly before giving a thumbs up towards Lu Rue. He didn't say much, and his way of congratulating him was simple. Lu Rue also responded. After Chen Fanyu returned to his position, Wan Yuanliang secretly spat out a sentence. Strong people and strong people really do attract each other. Then he smiled and said to Lu Rue, Big brother has to hand in his homework even after completing Kaiyuan, otherwise it will affect the student evaluation. Write it. Saying that, Lu Rue handed in his homework. The morning classes continued and there was no shortage of enthusiastic students communicating with Lu Rue between classes. All of these Lu Rue could handle, but if he wanted to ask for advice on cultivation, then Lu Rue would be speechless. What advice can he give? This is his unique talent and effort, does not apply to others. Could it be that if you really want to talk about vegetables, just practice more? Seeing Yu Yi flux and another long-legged lowly poking around. Lu Rue could only shrug it off. In terms of sharing cultivation insights, fellow student Chen Fan Yu is even better than me, I sigh in awe. Too modest, that would be hypocritical, more or less say a little bit of insight for us to learn and admire. Sure XIN snickered. Big brother, I want to progress too much. When these words came out, even Chen Fan Yu on the side came to be interested. Seeing this, Lu Rue speculated for a moment or two before saying in a serious manner. Diligent and hardworking, I'm not just practicing at school, after I go home, in addition to the necessary time to recover physical strength, the rest of the time is scrambling to open the Yuan. Yu Yi Flux and Sure Xin looked at each other in dismay. This, who wasn't also scrambling for time? They had great families. Of course they had a supply of stamina potions. The same are all scrambling to work hard, what makes you so good? Lu Rue was a little embarrassed, well at this time, Yu Yi Flux said. Lu Rue student, the class teacher notified you to go to the office. Lu Rue felt that the class president saved the scene in time, and immediately used this as an excuse to leave the classroom. After arriving at the teacher's office, old Wang was busy, but he had a young woman by his side. This is Dean Ri's assistant, MS. 
Mi Xiao Ko, according to your needs, come to provide you with a reference for selecting a gong method. Lu Rui sized up this dean's assistant, this lady seemed to be in her early 22s, with a good face value, permed red hair, wearing white boots, tied with a black bow tie, a light and delicate cream-colored dress, and carrying a small satchel in the crook of her arm. Youthful and beautiful very. Instead of looking like an assistant, it was more like a female college student who had just graduated not long ago. Lu Rui student, you can call me sister me, let's go to the school's logistics office first, some things, let's talk while walking. Mi Xiaoka's eyes and eyebrows were smiling, her voice was pleasant. The duo walked on the road, Mi Xiaoka was the first to say. After you open your Yuan, you need to cultivate the life skill, the role of the life skill is to ignite the 36 nodes on your Yuan Fu, so that the Yuan Fu has a stronger power, according to the progress of cultivation, every 12 nodes are divided into a stage, from low to high, we call. According to the progress of cultivation, every 12 nodes are divided into a stage, from low to high, we call it primary warrior, intermediate warrior, advanced warrior, and I am an advanced warrior. If further subdivided, the completion of the ignition of the first node, it is called a level 1 warrior, ignition of 2 nodes, is a level 2 warrior, the upper limit is 36 levels. I ignite 28 nodes and can also be called a level 28 advanced warrior. Is it hard to ignite nodes? Lu Rue asked, he did a simple calculation, Mishauka probably only ignited less than 5 nodes or so per year. Mishauka sniffed, her footsteps lurched and she said in a hushed tone, It's hard for me la, I spent a month back then when I was enlightened, but I can't compare to the geniuses. No malice, I am just curious. Lu Rue gave a dry cough. Mishauka's tone returned to lightness and said, It's fine, it's also my own reason, I actually favor academic research, to raise the realm words, generally it's the cultivator of the combat class who will cultivate very quickly, Lu Rue student if you develop in the field of combat, maybe within a year you can reach the level of senior warrior. Lu Rue sniffed and said, whether it is combat or research each has its own role. Hmm. Mi Shaoka nodded with satisfaction, then seemed to laugh with a bit of mischief. Maybe in a few days, Lu Rue san, you will be my research subject. This sentence seemed to sound a bit strange. But Mi Xiaoka was actually referring to Lu Rui's talent rune. As the two chatted like this, they walked to the logistics office. Swiping his student card, the machine showed that Lu Rui had the permission to receive one fate rune, mandatory binding, two feats, and one necromancy rune. Mi Xiaoka helped him open the redemption catalog, and the screen then displayed the necromantic system fatal feats provided by the school. Dao Zhangin Seed, Five Ghosts Heart Sutra, Underworld Viewing Thoughts, Essence and Blood Treasures, Ghost Pillar Technique, Necromancy Codex. There were only 10 fate feats presented on the display, Lu Rue scanned through them and spat. How do I feel that the names of these feats have different styles? And there are only these choices? Mi Xiaoka spread his hands and said. Part of these feats were created by my our great Xia country practitioners, and part of them were created by practitioners from other countries. Then yes, the necromancy department started late, not much accumulation, the more mature and stable basic gongfa are these, if it's the heaven's choice department, the selectable gongfa that's hundreds of them. But she then smiled and said. But the accumulation of less means that the development prospect is huge, maybe like Lu Rui students who such a genius, in a few years will be able to create a stronger death spirit system techniques, then can be placed here for future generations to look up to and learn. And you can also collect royalties. Lu Rui sniffed and asked with a thought. And royalties? Mi Xiao could then explained. Of course the creator has royalties ah, like these level feats we are seeing now, probably every time we learn it we need to pay about 10 contribution points to the creator. In addition to some chauvinistic voluntary dedication to merit law creators, other schools are advancing to the students. Lu Rue pondered, vaguely feeling that he saw a large gold mine that had yet to be mined. Of course, the matter of creating gongfu was still too far away from Lu Rue. He first examined the current destiny gongs that he could choose to cultivate. Dao hidden in seed, the main strengthening of the body, cultivating the yuanfu into a special in seed, utilizing the power of the dead spirit to enhance the practitioner's combat power in all aspects. Note, this feat requires a very high level of enlightenment, and supports an unconditional replacement within 7 days after redemption. 5 Ghosts Heart Sutra, cultivate 5 ghosts of strength, sensitivity, rigidity, fatigue, and foolishness, each of the 5 ghosts has its own specialties, and can be attached to the body, can be used against the enemy, and combined and matched, with a full range of abilities. Underworld Viewing Technique, transforms the Yuanfu into the mythical and legendary underworld, and the practitioner is the head of the underworld, strengthens the physical quality, enhances the quality and quantity of dead spirit summons, and drastically increases the Yuanfu's capacity. Note, the technique has certain requirements for necromantic plane affinity and spiritual power, and supports unconditional replacement within 7 days after redemption. Essence Blood Treasure Dictionary, reference to the immortal creature vampire to create a life merit, after practicing will have vampire many special gifts.
The art of ghost pillar, conceal powerful dead creatures in the body of the Yuan Fu, harness the power of the dead creatures. Note, cultivating this technique carries certain safety risks. Necromancy Code, Necromancer Cultivation. Lu Rue Quan read through it, and his heart also had an intention to belong, but he still inquired. Sister me what is your opinion? What was the technique you chose back then? I didn't have a necromancy department back then. Mi Shaoka cried and laughed, but she also gave her own advice. Boss Li. Ahem. That is, Dean Lai said that you were inclined towards the necromantic legion stream, then this underworld viewing thoughts and necromantic codex are quite suitable for you, and then, I especially recommend the former, because this is our great Xia kingdom's development of the destiny feat, and Dean Lai and this feat creator are still good friends, but cultivating this underworld viewing thought still has a certain threshold, you have to think about it. Lu Rue was enlightened, so there was still this relationship. He looked at the creator of the underworld viewing thoughts, the other party's name was Yu Dan Ching, and it was also stated that the proceeds from the technique were all used for the operation of the charity fund. With no more hesitation in his heart, Lu Rue decided to say, then let's go with the underworld viewing technique. After the exchange was completed, the logistics office sent Lu Rue a pebble similar to a palm-sized jade pebble. This was the technique stone. The usage is similar to Lu Rue's previous use of the open stone, after devoting attention to it, the information about gongfu cultivation will be transmitted into Lu Rue's mind. Of course, the effect can only last for a week, within a week, if the technique is not introduced, the cultivation information will fade into oblivion. The gongfu stone needed to be used on the spot, and soon Lu Rue understood how to cultivate the underworld viewing method. In addition to the gong method itself, if a special incense could be configured during the cultivation process, it could make the cultivation twice as effective. The incense can be configured by looking for the school logistics office, but students need to pay the labor cost, provide the corresponding materials or the corresponding material cost. What Lu Rue cared about was that there was a material in this incense called necromantic skeleton bone powder. Thinking of the 34 small skeleton remains at home, this can be considered the best use of the material. The life skills are picked, then the battle techniques and summoning contracts. Mishauku manipulated the machine, adjusted the interface, and said, You have three times of exchange privileges, and if our necromancy research institute, because of your special place, you need to cover it up a bit, so we will give you an extra exchange for a paralyzing cold mist battle skill, you don't necessarily need to be able to learn it, but mainly to let everyone know that you have such a battle skill, it's kind of for the sake of facilitating our research institute's work. Lu Rue looked at the description of the paralyzing cold mist, it was a control technique that was continuously effective within a range, the effect was quite good. Putting aside the specific effects, this battle technique and his talent rune pale scourge expression form is a bit close, both are creating a white mist. What Mishaoka means is that Lu Rue can use paralyzing cold mist to cover up his pale scourge in the future, and reduce the risk of exposing his talent rune as much as possible before he grows up. Moreover, this is a battle technique that can be obtained for nothing, and it is paid for by the Necromancy Research Institute to Lu Rue. Mishaoku exchanged the corresponding merit stone to Lu Rue. Having taken the favor, Lu Rue would naturally say thank you. Thank you for the Necromancy Institute's care. It's good to cooperate with our institute, hey, sister's research paper is counting on you. Mishaoka smiled and said, eh, so there's this layer of reason? Lu Rue muttered in his heart. After finishing this matter, the two of them began to pick out battle techniques and summoning contracts, redeeming them only three times. First of all, the challenge technique. Because according to the description of the underworld viewing thoughts, this life skill could enhance the cultivator's basic attributes in all aspects, the picking of the battle skill was to strengthen towards a specific on the basis of the life skill. This was the picking idea given by Mi Xiao Ku as she asked. Speed, strength, endurance, strike resistance. Which aspect are you most inclined to strengthen ah? Uh? The necromancy department's battle techniques were quite rich. There were single body strengthening types, such as condensing necromantic power in fists and feet or weapons to strengthen the attacking prowess ghost Song Yen which ignited necromantic power and transformed into pale blue ghost flames after it was executed, it was a melee technique that possessed both physical kills and spiritual attacks. It's really a combination of special effects and killing power. There are also friendly gain aura, or reduce the enemy's combat power of the dead spirit curse, such as wither curse, decay curse, weak curse, and so on. However, all of the above Lu Rue did not consider, he has his own selection of ideas. Then serve the most core talent, Ash Legacy. Among the many necromantic battle techniques, Lu Rue picked a battle technique called Skeleton Armor Plating. The effect of the battle technique was to use necromancy power to coalesce a set of bone armor or bone shield that was strong, lightweight and flexible, and also had a certain degree of activity. The bone armor itself has not bad defensive power, has a certain automatic repairability, and most importantly, it has a certain activity, belongs to the summon object, and is within the effective range of the Ash Legacy power. 
That is to say, the armor was broken, Lu Rue could still obtain a wave of reinforcement. Strengthening defense ah, that's not bad. Mi Xiaoko agreed with Lu Rue's choice. Lu Rue also completed the battle technique exchange. The school's logistics office distributed the corresponding technique stones, and after absorbing them, Lu Rue understood how to perform the battle technique skeleton armor plating. It wasn't difficult to get started with this battle skill. After obtaining permission, Lu Rue began to experience the effects of the battle technique in the Gongfu test room of the logistics office. With a thought, one half of the dead spirit power in the Yuan Fu was consumed. Immediately after, Lu Rue's right arm was like a frost freezing process, and a layer of ivory white small arm armor appeared. The thickness of the bone armor was more than one finger, covering an area from the wrist to the elbow, but it was extremely lightweight, probably not more than a hundred grams of feeling. The panel popped up with a prompt. Bone armor, small arm armor, strength zero. One, agility zero. One, physique twenty, spirit zero. One. On top of having tough defense, it possesses a certain level of activity that allows it to automatically adjust its size, as well as automatically repairing damage by absorbing the power of the dead. After reading the description, Lu Rue's heart was filled with joy. Although the attributes of the bone armor were extreme, the single physical attribute was extremely powerful, reaching 20 points, which was nearly 10 points stronger than Lu Rue's own body. He tried to break the bone armor with his left hand and found that he couldn't break it at all, as if he was pinching on a steel plate. There are machines here that test resistance to blows. Mi Xiao Ku reminded. Lu Rue nodded his head, took off the bone armor and put it on the machine to test it. The data came out quickly, the machine simulated the effect of 300 kilograms of fist force and bombarded the bone armor three times in a row before visible cracks appeared. The cracks could be repaired automatically. Let the machine with such force continuously bombarded about 10 times before the bone armor completely shattered. Lu Rue also received a prompt. Gained basic attribute bonus, physique plus zero. Five. The strengthening effect on Lu Rue was ten times that of a small skeleton soldier. And this is only a small arm armor, if the complete full body armor, Lu Rue estimates that the strengthening provided will be more than ten times this base. However, just coagulating a small arm armor consumes one half of Lu Rue's blue amount, coagulating a full body armor, I'm afraid it will take Lu Rue most of the day. Cohesion of bone armor gains so. Bone armor currently does not have immunity to bullet effect, a gunpowder powered rifle bullet light impact will have 300 kilograms to 800 kilograms or so, not to mention the slugs have armor breaking effect. Although the bone armor has a certain bulletproof effect, but cannot come and go freely in the rain of bullets. However, the strength of bone armor can be continuously improved with the user's level of performing battle skills. According to Mi Shaoko description, the upper limit of bone armor can reach the level of defending against the main gun of traditional tanks. Bone armor's defensive strength makes Lu Rue both satisfied and headache. Satisfied with the bone armor's strong defense, the stronger the defense, the better the life-preserving power. But the defense is too strong, the destruction can be very troublesome, not conducive to launching the talent, Ash Legacy. Should he destroy the bone armor himself, or should he find someone to do it for him? Eh? It seemed like other cultivators' summons were destroyed at the hands of their enemies, but here in Lu Rue's case, it was the master who destroyed the summons with his own hands instead. Summon should not only be convenient for me to activate my talent, but also take into account a certain combat ability. Lu Rue muttered in his heart, to the bone armor this level of summon object, already not a small skeleton soldier so waste, is really half certain. Combat ability, if summoned out cannot play the corresponding combat effect, that is really too wasteful. Lu Rue thought about what other revenue generating uses the bone armor could have besides being a, ash legacy, sacrifice. Finish testing your battle skills? We should also go pick out the contract for summoning special necromantic creatures. Mi Xiao Ku reminded. Lu Rue came back to his senses. He had to pick two types of necromantic creatures today in addition to picking out battle skills. He gathered the pieces of his bone armor. These fragments belong to the necromantic energy creation and could be conveniently stored in Lu Rue's Yuan Fu. Then the duo went to pick out the necromantic creatures. After some picking and choosing, it was probably close to noon when the duo finally picked out the result. Summoning Contract, Chattering Bone Bat, Poison Swamp Big Mouth. Mi Shaoka made an introduction. We rate the summon creatures, the lowest level is rank 0, and the Chattering Bone Bat is the best amongst the rank 1 necromantic creatures, this kind of necromantic creature has been tested in hundreds and thousands of actual battles, it has a high mobility, it can fly to scout for auxiliary functions, it can share the field of vision with its master, it has night vision, vitality perception, and other scouting abilities. It has a unique blood-sucking talent, drawing on the enemy's life force and transforming it into its own energy and stamina, but this talent is not very strong in combat, and the chattering bone bat's own defenses are too fragile to be dispersed in a single shot. What is more prominent about the chattering bone bat is its mental shock, 
it can emit a shrill whistle and interfere with the target's mental state. This ability is quite practical and can interfere with the opponent in battle. Lu Rue's eyes lit up after hearing this. High sensitivity attribute, blood absorption, mental shock, night vision, vitality perception. All sorts of chattering bone bat specific talents could be turned into Lu Rue's own abilities under the Ash Legacy talent. Just by listening to the introduction he decided to pocket the chattering bone bat. It had to be said that Dean Rhee's assistant had two brushes, picking out the most cost-effective ones for Lu Rue out of the hundreds of rank 1 necromantic creatures. While the chattering bone bat did so, Mishaku introduced another type of necromantic creature, the poison swamp big mouth. Compared to the high mobility of the chattering bone bat, the poison swamp big mouth's mobility is comparable to that of a snail, but it has two features. First, its abdominal cavity can generate a wide variety of liquids, including but not limited to corrosive liquids, paralyzing liquids, fuel liquids, transient blinding and deafening liquids, foul-smelling liquids, and neurological derangement venoms. Secondly, it has liquid muscles, and the muscle power is extremely developed, it can generate liquid from its abdomen and spray it out at high pressure, excluding the effect of the liquid itself, the impact brought about by the liquid spray alone cannot be ignored. A single liquid cannonball sprayed out from the large mouth of a matured poisonous swamp is enough to send a robust adult to the intensive care unit. This is a turret-type necromantic creature with both killing and control functions, and is a very practical type amongst first-rank necromantic creatures. Corrosive Liquid, Strength Attribute Enhancement, Battlefield Battery When Mishauka finished his introduction, Lu Rue clocked on the Poison Swamp Big Mouth. Although the Poison Swamp Big Mouth's appearance was really hunted, with no eyes but only a mouth, growing like a kunai. Or giant body surface will secrete a lot of sticky liquid brown caterpillar, also a little mud monster feeling, ugly. But what face value does a summoner need? Lu Rue was responsible for being handsome just fine, and the best ending for a summon object was one that was used for sacrifice after dying in battle. Without much hesitation, these two types of necromantic creatures were what he needed. Lu Rue completed the exchange and got two summoning contracts from the school here. Through the contract, the practitioner would be able to use necromantic power to summon a specific necromantic creature. Otherwise, one would have to personally travel to the necromantic plane or perform a random summoning like finding a needle in a haystack. The former was extremely troublesome, while the latter had an extremely high failure rate. The summoning contract also existed in the form of a merit stone, and after the stone disintegrated, the information of the contract was grasped by Lu Roy, and with a single thought, he was able to summon the bloodthirsty bone bat in Poison Swamp Big Mouth. Thank you for the recommendation sister me, I like both of them. Lu Rue gave his thanks. If it wasn't for the guidance of someone who was well read, he wouldn't have been able to pick the battle techniques and summons that best suited his needs so easily. As long as they are suitable. Mi Shao Ke nodded. She glanced at the time and added. Need to test the effects of the summon creatures, the school also provides a venue here, right there in the gymnasium, there are public places and private single rooms, the latter requires an appointment to line up a number but you're one of the top 10 Kaifa students in this year's senior year, there's a little bit of privilege, and if you make an appointment now, you'll surely be able to line up a number in the afternoon. Listen to Sister Mi's arrangement. Lu Rue readily accepted good advice. Then go eat now? To the mealtime hello. Mi Xiao Xiao laughed. Sister Mi will take me? Lu Rue asked. Well, go to the school cafeteria, my favorite recommended to friends those windows. Mi Xiao Ke nodded. Tai and no. One middle school, rather than a high school, but more like a college town, had several sizable restaurants. Then go ah, I haven't tasted the school cafeteria into color. Lu Rue said animatedly. The two moved to the cafeteria in the school's research area. Ordered dry pot meat and a few plates of colorful small dishes, and then there were fruits and cold drinks. As the two dined, Mishauka first talked about the Necromancy Research Institute, and about Lu Rue's talent rune test unfolding in three days. Mishauka said, Lu Rue do not need to worry about the test will affect his own normal cultivation progress. Lu Rue also took the initiative to learn about the Necromancy Research Institute, and after chatting for about the same amount of time, a message suddenly popped up on his cell phone. It was a message from the school, and he read in a low voice. According to Lu Rue's excellent performance during his time at school, he is hereby issued a reward of 20 credits per month. And in case the total amount of credit consumption does not exceed 800 credits, you will enjoy a 20% discount on credit consumption every month, and the exceeding part will be calculated according to the normal price. This discount reward, reset on the first day of every month, lasts until the end of the semester. Student Lu Rui meets the conditions of the school's bursary program and is awarded an additional 20 credits, which is a one-time reward. I hope that student Lu Rui will continue to work hard and achieve more success. Note, the purchasing power of credits is comparable to contribution points, but it is limited to use within the school. Lu Rue swept a glance and knew that this was a reward from the school, two in total. 
But what made him more confused was that he only had 40 credits on hand, but the discount amount given by the school was 800 credits to spend and reset every month. Lu Rue it seems like he can't spend up to the discount limit ah? Mi Xiaoku explained with a smile after understanding. The school also has a place to earn credits, for example, some materials that students have on hand can be sold to the school, but the input-output ratio is quite low for new students. In fact, there is an unspoken rule in the way of using discounted credits. Students can trade credits with each other. If you don't have enough credits on hand, you can collect them from other students. You see you have a 20% discount on hand, you can help others to buy a, uh, other students through you to buy school items, you can give students 10% discount, originally need 10 credits something, other students in your place to buy, as long as the cost of 9 credits. In fact, you only need to spend 8 credits to buy, the extra 1 credit. That's your gain. You and your classmates benefit. The school actually allows students to know each other in this way, help each other, help students to expand their circle of friends, after all, personal power is limited, whether it is cultivation or life, or even fighting, the future of more friends more security well. This is not just a benefit for the top 10 of the Kaiyuan, but if there is a top 10 of the Kaiyuan in a class, it's not a small benefit for the entire class. Mi Xiaoku explained this way, and Lu Rue suddenly came to a realization. This was the school's way of giving credits to the top 10 of the Kaiyuan in disguise, and also helping the top 10 students of the Kaiyuan to expand their connections. The benefits of the top 10 of Kaiyuan were indeed numerous. So there's this kind of doorway ah, uh, increased knowledge. Eh, sister me have you done this before? That's for sure, but I was hugging other people's thighs, her thighs are old and thick. Ahem, I mean she's super awesome. Michael said. Having gained another useful new piece of knowledge, Lu Rue couldn't help but start thinking that he should develop some friendships with those individual classmates. Opening the class gossip group, he casually flipped through the chat records. It turned out that there were so many tweets and complaints from the classmates. Suddenly, Lu Rue's brows tightened and he was confused in his heart. What happened? Roughly understand a little. Lu Rue the cause of the matter was still the extra half hour of the dimensional resonance meter used in yesterday's class 2 enlightenment class. Class 2 students were all enjoying the benefits, but the other 19 classes all felt that it was no longer fair, and even had grievances. If it wasn't a matter of core interests, then people mostly didn't care much. But the length of time the dimensional resonance meter was in use was no trivial matter. What the students were most concerned about at the moment was the efficiency of the Kaiyuan cultivation, especially some talented and capable students who wanted to rush the rankings to get the school's resources tilted, seeing that the school had given the class 2 students an extra half hour of dimensional resonance meter usage time, wasn't it biased and damaging to the interests of more other students? Plus, this morning, the 7 rankings of the top 10 in Kaiyuan came out, and there were 2 from class 2. This couldn't help but make other students think more about it especially those 11th and 12th students who had only completed the open element. This isn't right, is it? Why did class 2 have half an hour more than us? At 16 years old, we're so young that when we're in the mood, it's easy for us to get carried away. So not only class 2 students by other classes of students talk, even in Lu Rui he did not know the situation also by other students talk about the results are not a problem. What is all this? Lu Rui spat in his heart. He sent a message to ask the class teacher. Old Wang, on the contrary, said with a calm demeanor. You say this matter ah, it actually has something to do with you, at that time, the school noticed that you were about to condense the talent rune, so they gave you a boost and let the dimensional resonance meter use time be extended by half an hour. Lu Rue sniffed and his expression was a bit wonderful. That is to say, this was caused because of me? Lu Rue pinched his eyebrows. For the school, this is a small matter, do you know that students like you, our province has produced a few in the previous two years? You can count them on your fingers. Wan Yenshan said. He was referring to students like Lu Rue who possessed gifted runes, the entire province didn't have more than 10 people in the previous two years. Spending some resources to safeguard students' cultivation progress at critical times is in line with the school's rules and regulations for cultivating talents. If other students can also be in your situation, our school is willing to give them the same favorable treatment, our class 2 is considered to be in your good graces. However, it's best to keep these things confidential for a year or two, for your safety. Wang Yenshan said, then comforted. You also do not have any pressure, you are with the ability to obtain the school resources pouring, this is a thing of honor, just for security reasons, it is now inconvenient to say just. You feel uncomfortable, let's discuss, let the school issue a decent notice, give everyone an acceptable explanation on the line. Lu Rue was a bit speechless. After all, he was an adult before he crossed over, but not so much as to get angry with a high school student. Lu Rue could choose not to take it to heart, let others say it, just go your own way, it's not like he's going to lose a piece of meat anyway. Just deal with it coldly. But then, Lu Rue had a flash of light, and he suddenly realized that he seemed to be able to gain some benefits from this little fiasco. 
With some immature thoughts in his mind, he then said to the homeroom teacher, Oh, I know, I'll give my thoughts before the end of school. The chat ended, Lu Rue's mind pondered not even a moment before he received another text message from someone else. That's what we deserve, don't have to care about what others say. This was Chen Fanya's message. Seeing this, Lu Rue replied, Well, I know. Putting away his cell phone, Lu Rue exhaled a mouthful of depressed air and quickly finished his lunch before asking Mi Shao Ku, Sister Mi, I'm done eating. Mi Shao Ku put down her cell phone and cleaned up her dinner plate. Alright, let's go to the grounds to test the summoned beasts. The two left the restaurant and headed to the gymnasium. Along the way, Lu Rue saw a lot of first-year students who looked at him differently and talked about him a lot. With the top 10 popularity of Kaiyuan, Lu Rue was more or less a campus celebrity. Mi Shao Ku noticed these, asked in a low voice. Eh, Lu Rue ah, they seem to be talking about you? Lu Rue already had his own response and plans, he naturally didn't care, instead he joked. This is not right, the two of us stand together, they talk about the most should not be sister me you such a big beautiful woman? What kind of vision do they have? Mi Shao Ka froze, then showed a smile, and, ah, you're quite good at talking. She also raised her hand and ruffled her hair, which had a nice shampoo scent. The duo arrived at the single room where they had made an appointment in the morning to test the effects of the summon. Lu Rue began the summoning as specified in the contract. The chattering bone bat and the swamp mouth were both first-ranked necromantic creatures, and for each one summoned, the consumption was roughly four times that of the little skeleton. After both completed their summoning, the panel displayed the corresponding basic attributes. Bloodthirsty Bone Bat, Strength 2, Agility 8, Constitution 2, Spirit 3. Swamp Mouth, Strength 10, Agility 1, Physique 4, Spirit 1. These two attributes were obviously too strong for the little skeleton. Lu Rue raised his right hand, and a skeleton bat with a wingspan of over 50 centimeters landed on him using his arm as a support. The entirety of the chattering bone bat was made up of white bones with blood-colored patterns, the bat wings accounted for about 80% of the entire body, and the edges of the bat wings flashed with sharp cold light, possessing a certain degree of aggressiveness. The head is small, about as big as a walnut, with pale white necrotic flames in the eye sockets, and four sharp teeth in the mouth, which can be used to suck the target's blood and steal their life force. The physique looked thin, after all, the physique attribute was only two points, to the extent that an adult could be blown away with a single stick. However, the chattering bone bat's flying speed was extremely fast, its small size and high agility attribute made it extremely fast, and it was extremely difficult for an ordinary person to hit it. To describe it in an exaggerated way, it was putting human strength on a flea. Originally, the flea only needed a little bit of insignificant bouncing power to be able to jump one meter in place. If human strength was placed on a flea, then I'm afraid the flea would have to take off in place. The chattering bone bat was no different, flying horizontally at a speed of 180 meters per second. The noise was extremely low, and the agility was extremely high, making it easy to navigate through narrow gaps and obstacles. The chattering bone bat's field of view could also be shared with the controller, and currently the field of view is shared at a distance of less than a kilometer. It feels like controlling a super-enhanced drone. Lu Rue shared the vision of the chattering bone bat during the flight, it was a novel experience. The vision of the chattering bone bat wasn't as colorful as that of a human, this necromantic creature could only see heat and life energy, and recognized obstacles through sound waves. So if you want to use this thing to engage in voyeurism, you'll probably only be able to see things that are blurred into a mosaic, there's no beauty in the eyes of a necromantic creature. And in the means of attack, the chattering bone bat has a soul shrill, attacking the spirit of the target through the howl of the necromantic creatures. Lu Rui experienced himself, even if his spiritual attributes close to 18 points, under normal circumstances by the chattering bone bat howl attack, there is still a kind of ordinary people are forced to listen to extremely harsh scratching blackboard sound, very difficult to annoy, body control ability to decline, attention is difficult to focus. Chattering bone bat's mind control technique is very practical, in addition, it can also fly at high speed to make the edge of the sharp bat wings have a certain cutting effect, but the power is very small. The fangs have the ability to suck blood, can steal the target's life force, will be converted into their own energy, or use their own energy to complement the user's life force, with a certain therapeutic effect. But this thing is like mosquitoes, unless the target did not pay attention or do not resist, otherwise by a slap in the face, the chattering bone bat directly half disabled. The ability to draw blood does not have the significance of actual combat, for the chattering bone bat can only be used to ensure survival. But this racial talent has a different meaning in Lu Rue's eyes. Chattering Bone Bat has the ability to convert life energy into necrotic power, if Lu Rue has this natural ability, that is on top of his original stamina blue bar conversion, then add blood blue conversion and blood body conversion. He could use the blue bar or physical strength to accelerate the healing of his injuries. Or use the blood bar to recover his physical strength and blue amount, 
and in the case of physical strength exhaustion, he still had the power to fight again. And after having the blood-sucking ability of the chattering bone bat, he could absorb life energy from his enemies. Lu Rui had his own thoughts in his mind, and Mi Xiaoke gave advice from her perspective. A single chattering bone bat is usually used as a scouting unit, but when the number of chattering bone bats exceeds 10, their combat power changes qualitatively. Their high flexibility in flying through the air allows them to effectively avoid damage. When more than five chattering bone bats emitted their shrill whistles at the same time, they produced a mental impact that most beginner cultivators couldn't ignore. While the enemy receives a mental blow, the remaining chattering bone bats will have the opportunity to unleash their blood-sucking ability and steal the enemy's life force, this is a very classic set of bone bat tactics. Mishauka's suggestion instantly broadened Lu Rui's tactical thoughts. If quality is not enough, quantity will come, the bloodthirsty bone bat is to complete the qualitative change of combat power through quantitative change. Not to mention that Lu Rui also had a group battle talent, Pale Scourge. After figuring out the many abilities of the bloodthirsty bone bat, Lu Rui began to carry out the last test. Strike Resistance. The chattering bone bat crashed into the wall at Lu Rui's command while flying at breakneck speed. There was a loud snap. The chattering bone bat fell apart and the ghostly fire in its eye sockets dimmed and disappeared. Gain basic attribute bonus, strength plus zero. One, agility plus zero. Seven, physique plus zero. One, spirit plus zero. One, it's really a highly sensitive brittle skin. Lu Rui spat out in a fervent manner. At the same time, he secretly glanced at the panel, the agility attribute had reached 10. 1. Mi Shaoke covered her lips and smiled. Manipulating chattering bone bats requires a high level of proficiency, and as the number of manipulated bone bats increases, the more difficult it is to manipulate them. Hmm, I know. Next up is the poison swamp big mouth. Lu Rue looked towards the head, which secreted mucus all over its body, roughly the size of a large dog, and grew like a soft slime monster like an elephant's and clams. The poison swamp big mouth could only crawl on the ground by writhing, thus moving extremely slowly and leaving a puddle of slimy liquid behind as it moved. It's really quite ugly. Lu Rue commented. Ugly is ugly, but a strong battle power is good, he began to test the poison swamp big mouth. The poison swamp mouth could consume physical strength or necromantic power to secrete a variety of liquids with various effects such as corrosion, paralysis, weakness, blindness, etc. When the physical strength was consumed, the poison swamp mouth could secrete a variety of liquids. When the stamina is exhausted, the poison swamp maw will enter a depressed state, and can only be restrung when the stamina is restored or the summoner supplies the necromantic energy. Lu Rue did a test, within a short period of time, the poisonous swamp big mouth sprayed three rounds and then became weak. But if Lu Rue can use Yuanfu to supply it with necrotic power, the poisonous marsh big mouth can spray 12 rounds in a short time. In addition to the effect of the liquid itself, the poisonous swamp big mouth's abdominal and oral muscles are extremely developed. It doesn't have limbs and bones, and the liquid spewed out through its only mouth has an impact that can't be ignored. Lu Rue's current summon poisonous swamp mouth sprayed out a single high-pressure liquid cannonball, which was enough to hit a sturdy adult head-on and seriously injure him. Like the chattering bone bat, the poisonous swamp big mouth was able to accomplish qualitative change through quantitative change, and when the quantity came up, the combat power would rise drastically. Finally, Lu Rue tested the resistance of the poison swamp big mouth to blows. To Lu Rue's surprise, this soft-bodied monster is extremely strong in impact resistance, not even afraid of sharp cutting, bullets are not good to cause killing effect, life force is extremely tenacious. This is still a necromantic creature, there is no fatal weakness. Mishauka tips, poison is swamp big mouth in the weak state, the body will shrink stiff, this time resistance to blows will be greatly reduced. After Lu Rue learned about it, it still took some effort to finish off the poison swamp big mouth. Gained basic attribute bonus, strength plus zero. Five, physique plus zero. Two, strength ten. Eight, agility ten. One, physique ten. Five, spirit eighteen. Two, gain talent, liquid muscle. Liquid muscle. Passive effect, muscle strength enhancement 1. 25 times. Active effect, consuming necrotic power briefly imparts a liquid nature to the muscles, boosting their resistance to blows and dramatically reinforcing their strength through hydraulics, up to a 2x increase in strength. Eh, shipped? Lu Rui froze, originally just wanted the poison swamp big mouth basic attributes only, but did not think of single drawing the miracle, a shot in the arm. But this kind of thing, luck is so unexpected. And look at the panel description, this is a rather powerful talent, directly increase explosive power. Lu Rue's basic strength attribute is now close to 11 points, slightly higher than the level of a robust adult. You have to know that the arm strength of a robust adult is around 80 kilograms, while the fist strength is around 160 kilograms, and it will be even higher after training and power generation techniques. Lu Rue in the case of not open talent active effect, 
Fist power has 200 kilograms to start. Open talent active effect will directly exceed 400 kilograms of output power. The appearance of this talent made Lu Rue's heart flutter and he secretly thought, with this talent, what I want to do, I have a greater grasp. Before Lu Rue was released from school, he still had to discuss with old Wang how to respond to the matter of students from the same school questioning class 2's use of the dimensional resonance meter for an extra half hour. Lu Rue did have his own plans, and the bone armor battle technique he obtained today, the two major summoned beasts, as well as the new talent he just drew, all gave him a lot more confidence in his plans. However, Lu Rue felt that he still lacked a little bit. And so, almost after completing all the tests, he thanked me Shaka first before asking, Sister Mi, do you think I'll be able to obtain the second dimension power now? When Mishaoko, who was originally in a good mood, heard this, her expression changed slightly and she seemed to be a bit nervous as she asked, What? Are you not optimistic about the future of the necromancy department and want to switch to other disciplines? No no, I still want to fine-tune my work in the necromancy field, I just want to ask if I can contact other dimensional forces now, and exactly how should I execute it? Lu Rue said, his eyes flickering, a rather bold idea in his mind. Mishaoka secretly sighed in relief, her own research paper was still there. Then, she explained rather seriously. If you want to put it this way, in fact, some powerful cultivators, they usually don't use only one dimensional power, that would be easier to be targeted, apart from the very first contact with the dimensional power, they do choose the second or even the third dimension to make up for their shortcomings. It's not impossible for you to want to get in touch and experience it now, but you can only build a UN Fu at the moment, so you can't bring the second dimensional power into play at all. Mi Shao Ku reminded. Cultivators could construct more than just one Yuanfu, the upper limit of the number of Yuanfu was related to the cultivator's own carrying capacity, and possessing a Yuanfu was the only way to officially bring the dimensional power into play, while new students simply did not have the conditions to construct a second Yuanfu, and could not cultivate the life skills. Lu Rue, however, said, Just experience is fine. I want to get in touch with the Heaven's Choice Realm, which is the most developed realm, and I want to learn more about it. Oh, that's not too difficult, you'll need. About 100 credits, you can find the school to exchange a copy of the Heaven's Choice Plane Induction Contract. Oh, just use the contribution points to find the official exchange, the price is all the same, after using the induction contract, you'll be able to communicate with the power of the Heaven's Choice Plane. You are now a cultivator after completing Enlightenment, the exchange authority should have been raised by one level, one level, and you can exchange it. Ni Shao could gave the method. Need 100 contribution points? Lu Rue still had 84 contribution points left. Counting the 20% discount preference, he could really afford to buy the second realm's induction contract. The reason he wanted the power of the heaven's choice realm was the natural ability unique to this realm. Survival of the fittest. By constantly fighting, one could always evolve and metamorphose, gradually tending towards perfection. Every creature in the heaven's choice realm possessed this natural characteristic. Lu Rue had coveted the natural ability of this realm since he first learned about it. He pondered a few days ago when he would get his hands on this useful talent. Right now, after Lu Rue got many rewards for completing Kai Yuan, he had the heart to think about these things. Plus, the things that happened today made Lu Rue even more determined. After obtaining the method from Mishaka here, Lu Rue took out his cell phone to place an order for the official mall, and he was able to get the Heaven's Choice Dimensional Induction Contract after school. And before the end of school, he first bid farewell to Mishao Ko and said sincerely, Thank you, Sister Mi for accompanying me today, it really helped me so much. He he he. If you really want to thank me, you have to be a bit more active when you get to the institute test. Mi Shaoka smiled. Of course. Lu Rue nodded his head. Mi Shaoka was satisfied and the two exchanged contact information. After parting ways, Lu Rue went to the office to find Lao Wang. Teacher Ah, about the matter of the other classmates' non-complaint, I have a thought to solve the problem. Lu Rue opened the door and said. You say it and listen. Wang Yinchan put down the matter at hand. Doesn't our school give corresponding rewards to students who demonstrate corresponding abilities? Lu Rue asked. Yes, everything is based on the ability to say that the school only gives attention if they have the ability. Wan Yenshan nodded his head. Lu Rue spread his hands and said. Then the question is not simple? Do not serve to fight. The school to class 2 extended half an hour open time, that is the school decision. The school operation is also in line with the rules and regulations, Lu Rue also more no backroom operation to go through the relationship what, he relies on his own awakening of the talent rune to enjoy preferential treatment. Just in the way of security is not good to say it, in this matter, Lu Rue was right. But right now, Lu Rue also encountered the voice of questioning his results. From the perspective of other students, they questioned is also a bit reasonable. This Lu Rue also understand, he is not the person who will care about this kind of small things, he can choose to deal with it coldly but he realized that he seemed to be able to gain benefits from it. 
Experimenting with the special evolutionary talent of the Heaven's Choice Realm through battles, he needed to find someone to fight. To hire someone to fight with him to stimulate the evolution of his talent, he would need to make up a suitable reason, and maybe even pay a certain amount of money. Therefore, isn't this little storm coming at the right time? There were a large number of students who had misunderstandings about him and questioned him, all of these Lu Rue could be encouraged to fight with him, all of them could be the labor force to accelerate the effect of his talent ah, try it out, before he crossed over he had never tried the feeling of being the first in the year section during his student days. The idea is beautiful, Lu Rue indeed quite want to pretend to be a pimp and try out the new talent effect, but he still has some concerns. Teacher, I want to break others doubts based on my strength. But earlier, Dili talked to me and said that I have something special, easy to be targeted by bad people, I am also quite worried that if I am too outstanding, will I attract bad luck? When old Wang heard this, his brows tightened and after digesting the information, he first nodded in the affirmative and said, Our school also encourages sparring between students, after all, a very significant portion of students are going to go to the battlefield in the future. Using the way of sparring to quell rumors is an option, as for what you said, too high profile invites trouble. Wang Yanshan raised his hand and pushed his glasses, revealing a strange expression. The moment you became a top 10 in Kaiyuan, you were already very high profile. Lu Rue froze, and then immediately heard old Wang say, Our tie-in no. One middle school is our province's key new generation talent cultivation base, not only are the school's teachers and classmates concerned about the school's geniuses, but some lurking in our local area, with treacherous insiders with bad intentions, will also be watching. The gold content of the top 10 of Kaiyuan is very high. Like you are very talented in potential of the top 10, that are among the same age of 100,000 one of the existence of our mortal enemies of mankind will open a very high bounty, after conversion is equivalent to a minimum of 5,000 contribution points, bounty are open in the darknet, and even the top 100 have a bounty, of course, not only the talented students like you, but also the students in the school and the classmates will pay attention to the school's geniuses. Of course, not only talented students like you, all of our human elites will be rewarded by hostile forces. Regardless of whether you have that special thing on you or not, you are already a potential stock to be strangled by the bounty in the eyes of the human race's mortal enemies. 5,000 contribution points? Crap, have I suddenly become so valuable? Lu Rue's brows furrowed, there were benefits to being in the top 10 of this Kaiyuan, but the disadvantages seemed to be quite obvious as well. Again, he heard Wang Yanshan ask, Are you afraid? Lu Rue organized his words and asked in a low voice, have there been any Kaiyuan top 10 who died because they were assassinated by a hostile force? Wang Yinshan said bluntly. As far as our great Xia country is concerned, the last assassination cases that happened in the country were all six years ago, I think, and in the last six years, the top 10 of the Kaiyuan were all assassinated when they left their home country's territory for their training, and the survival rate was around 95%. Our country is still focusing on talent protection, and there shouldn't be too much of a problem within the country. But you also don't hold too much of a fluke mentality, if it's other students with ordinary performance, I won't have these words, but you're different, the world of geniuses is not the same as ordinary people, geniuses will always be targeted, and face more challenges, unless you want to be mediocre for the rest of your life. Lu Rue scratched his hair. Compared to that genius bounty that existed in the dark net, this little storm at school seems to have been insignificant. He cried and laughed. Why didn't anyone tell me this earlier? However, as soon as Lu Rue said this, old Wang looked subtle and muttered. It is only the top 10 of the Kaiyuan that will be targeted by hostile forces like this, teacher I thought at first that you might not even be able to reach this threshold, I just want you to work hard, who knows that you have really given me a surprise, then it's not too late for me to tell you now, right? Lu Rue sniffed and had the urge to roll his eyes. But things have come to this, Lu Rue adjusted his mindset. As long as he became strong enough, then he would be fearless of all attacks. I know. Old Wang then continued. Then again, you want to respond to those skeptical voices in school based on your strength, right? I think it's good, just as practice, this kind of thing in our school you're not the first, this few years, a few of your older siblings, also launched a challenge to the entire section, want to dominate the entire grade, they can be crazy and arrogant. And you want to do just challenge the same school classmates only, the influence is only in the school, but also only among students. Oh, it's not even high profile, it's too normal, as long as you don't expose special things on your body, the hostile forces won't raise the bounty price for you. Old Wang let out a laugh, rather like a kind of middle school students failing their final exams, thinking that the sky is falling. Lu Rue also tasted this implication, and he realized that he seemed to be a bit overworried, and he also spat out. Teacher Ah, you seem to encourage me to go and spar with my classmates Ah, keep telling me that it's not a problem. Wang Yenshan directly admitted. Right, you can gain prestige amongst your classmates, and it will be beneficial to your campus cultivation in the future. 
It depends on whether you have that strength or not, responding to the questioning voices of the entire year section is not an easy thing, hee <laughs> hee, I'm afraid it's not exhausting for you. Tired? Five times the physical strength, seamless transition of the blue body. Lu Rue is confident in his own physical strength and the speed of becoming stronger, the chattering bone bat next even allows him to obtain the gift of blood blue transformation, blood body transformation, physical strength is super strong. What's more, Lu Rue has already completed the opening of the Yuan, and at this point in time 98% of the students have not completed the opening of the Yuan. Lu Rue rivals only the same open Yuan top 10 other several people. Compared to that assassination that is careful and vigilant not knowing if there is any, I feel that challenging the yearly students doesn't seem to be a difficult task anymore, just consider it as practicing. Lu Rue spread his hands and said. Old Wang nodded and laughed. But there's no turning back when you open your bow? And you also have to follow Dean Lee's instructions, you can't use your special abilities on your body, you can only rely on conventional means to spar with your classmates, and if you lose, it will be an even bigger disgrace. Lu Rue then smiled confidently and said. Teacher, you said that I'm a genius, I have to take some battle results to prove that, right? Well, teacher is optimistic about you. Wan Yenshan nodded his head. He then discussed the specific execution details of the challenge with Lu Rue, even as Wang Yenshan mentioned. Why don't we pull Chen Fan Yu over to practice with you? Chen Fan Yu is considered to be one of the most outstanding students in our school this year, and there are several students in other classes whose abilities are not inferior to Chen Fan Yu's. If you can be sure of defeating this level of student, then the challenges of other students will naturally be no problem. And if you're in the same class, Chen Fan Yu should be quite happy to do a favor. Ask him to spar with me? Lu Rue froze. After thinking about it, he nodded. It's fine if he's willing. Finding someone to practice with was not practicing? Chen Fan Yu was also quite good. Wang Yenshan sniffed and then arranged. I'll go ask him. Oh, you are now finished with Kaiyuan, from tomorrow onwards, your afternoon course will be physical fitness class and basic fighting class, that training is quite harsh, you can be mentally prepared. Then pay attention to arranging your own rest time, since you issued a challenge to the entire senior class and are worried about a potential assassination, you can't afford to relax for the next week, and actively participate in the special training arranged for the top 10 of the Kaiyuan. Good. Then I'll go back and make preparations first. Lu Rue said. Well, geniuses will encounter pressures that normal people can't imagine, if you want to keep going, try to accept and adapt to it all. Wang Yin Shan soothed. Lu Rue nodded and said I know before leaving. Only after seeing Lu Rue leave did old Wang sigh helplessly. I really hope that the sea is calm and the river is clear, and the world is peaceful. Shaking his head, Wang Yenshan began to write a report, explaining Lu Rue's idea to the school. After reviewing the report, the school administration gave a reply. True gold is not afraid of being refined by fire. On the other side, Lu Rue left the school and went to the official designated place to receive the induction contract. This time, he had only four contribution points left. It's not easy to spend, but it's good that it's all spent on the blade. Lu Rue lamented. After using the induction contract, he had indeed sensed the existence of another realm other than the dead spirit realm. Compared to the cold and lifeless feeling of the necropolis, which was filled with the meaning of death. The other realm appears to be vibrant, the feeling of all things competing. This is the earliest human development of the heavenly choice realm. Due to the fact that Lu Rue can only build one Yuan Fu at present, the second realm power needs him to consume physical strength to summon over. This was also a breeze for Lu Rue. After returning home, he began to summon the heaven's choice realm creatures. Without a corresponding summoning contract, Lu Rue didn't know what he would summon out, but it was basically a zero-ranked creature with almost no combat power like a small skeleton soldier. About one-fifth of his physical strength disappeared, and immediately afterward, a palm-sized fish appeared in front of Lu Rue's eyes. Silver-skinned wolffish, strength 3, agility 2, physique 1, spirit 1. Deep-sea swimming fish, ferocious temperament, often out in groups to hunt large creatures in the water, with extremely powerful bite, when the silver-skinned wolffish to complete a sufficient number of hunts, will open the evolution. The silver-skinned wolffish has a body length of 20 centimeters, with three rows of sharp teeth in its mouth that are extremely hideous. Its head is bulging and its jaws are wide, making it look quite ugly and vicious. The silver-colored scales all over its body were shining brightly, and it had a beautiful streamlined body shape. If the face was covered, the face value of this fish could be raised by two notches. The silver-skinned wolffish was summoned and landed on the dry floor, fluttering its body, basically unable to move, and because the silver-skinned wolffish was a deep-sea fish, it was completely unable to adapt to the land environment. Before flopping a few times, the silver-skinned wolffish was dying. Lu Rue scratched his hair, he also didn't expect that he would actually summon a fish out. This fish doesn't seem to have much combat power ah, small size and no special abilities, also limited to underwater combat. Can it only be used as a sacrifice for me? 
Lu Rui gestured at the silver-skinned wolffish. Suddenly he had a flash of inspiration and summoned a thumb-sized piece of bone armor. Sticking the bone armor into the fish's mouth, the silver-skinned wolffish's hideous mouth closed. However, the bone armor wasn't bitten off, not even scratches could be seen, which made Lu Rui sigh with a bit of disappointment. It looks like you really don't have much use for it. Taking the silver-skinned wolffish to the kitchen and placing it on the countertop. Hands up and knife down, bang. Gained base attribute bonus, strength plus zero. One, agility plus zero. Two, no talent, try five more. Bang bang bang. Gain base attribute bonus, strength plus zero. Eight, agility plus zero. Five, physique plus zero. Three, spirit plus zero. Two, gain talent, bite strengthening. Bite strengthening, teeth strength increased by three times, teeth can be regrown, bite muscle strength strengthened by five times. Oh, crooked. Lu Rui touched his jaw, clearly feeling that his bite muscle was much stronger. The piece of bone armor that the silver-skinned wolffish hadn't bitten earlier, he put into his mouth. With a click. Like biting into a cookie. The bone armor was directly bitten off by Lu Rui's backslot teeth. Gained basic attribute bonus, physique plus zero. One. Lu Rui rolled his eyes and spat. A hundred martial arts, this is the bite path. Although the bite reinforcement was extremely exaggerated, he had no intention of using his teeth as his main combat weapon for the time being, and he wouldn't offer up this killing move unless he was forced to do so, in addition to obtaining a natural enhancement. He purposely went to the mirror in the bathroom to take a look, his bike muscles were strengthened, but fortunately the shape of his face didn't change, he was still a handsome male tall one. Then packing up the corpse of the silver-skinned wolffish, Lu Rue spat. This thing's corpse can't be as fresh as a small skeleton, put it for a long time flesh is easy to rot. Well, it is said that the low-level creatures of the heaven's choice realm can be eaten through simple cooking, and it is said that there is also a unique nutritional value, I'll check back to find out which parts of the silver-skinned wolffish can be eaten. Putting the six silver-skinned wolffish into the refrigerator, Lu Rue then began to make cultivation arrangements. Enlightenment is just a starting point, what I have to practice now is rather more, the underworld viewing thoughts, constantly sacrificing the chattering bone bat, poison swamp mouth, and silver-skinned wolf fish, the physical strength needs to be distributed, huh, I don't need to sleep for the next few days. Lu Rui shook his head helplessly, washed his face, and then activated, necrotic mind. At the same time, Chen Fanua's house, the delicate Lolita, Lily Chen Shiha was at the dining table, looking rather puzzled at her second brother Chen Fanyu who was brushing his cell phone. Chen Fanyu was currently holding chopsticks in one hand and a cell phone in the other. He looked at the cell phone as extremely engaged, expression change is very wonderful, consternation, shock, surprise, contemplation, all kinds of expression change one after another. In such a state of devotion, he didn't even notice that his chopsticks were holding the air. Chen Shi has big watery eyes slightly narrowed, secretly said, there is weird, very wrong. One's own always spirited second brother, how come he revealed a look of such a tangled expression tonight? Rare, too rare. Brother, did you meet some new friends at school? Chen Shi and his little sister asked tentatively. Chen Fan Yu subconsciously nodded. Then are you chatting with your friends? You're not even concentrating on eating. Chen Shi Ha tried further. Chen Fan Yu, however, shook her head and said. It's not chatting, it's talking to the homeroom teacher about an important matter. Chen Shi Ha was dismayed. Eh, so it's not a female classmate? I thought wrong? As for Chen Fan Yu's place, he received a message from Wang Yanshan. About the content, it was the matter of students from other classes accusing class 2 of enjoying half an hour more cultivation resources than other classes in the past few days without a convincing reason. Coupled with the fact that the top 10 characters of Kaiyuan came out one after another today, the students pointed the conflict at Lu Rue. Without the convenience of announcing the specific reasons, Lu Rue wants to use his fists to convince everyone, the time is next week, Wang Yanshan this wants to let Chen Fan Yu and Lu Rue to have a few games of confrontation training, to give Lu Rue to increase the chances of winning. After Chen Fan Yu read the message, the first thing she was surprised. Directly playing the entire senior section? Chen Fan Yu subconsciously imagined that kind of scene and stage. In the limelight, using absolute strength to crush all the doubters, highlighting his own talent, and then leading the entire year group. Just thinking about it, Chen Fan Yu became excited. Lu Rue and I really do share a common language, this is how a strong person should display himself. Chen Fan Yu agrees with this way of handling things so much, even to the point of 12 points that he even wants to go on the field himself to meet all the challenges. And the school does not announce the specific reasons inside, Chen Fan Yu himself can guess, this thing really does not rely on Lu Rue. As for help Lu Rue? That is certainly help. Chen Fan Yu has a scale in his heart. He is the class too, he also enjoyed that extra half an hour of cultivation resources yesterday, then he should stand together with class 2 students, the same enemy. Chen Fan Yu barely hesitated before deciding to help Lu Rue. 
Even more so, he was already looking forward to training with Lu Rue in the confrontation. Awakening the same talent Rune as himself, and his progress in opening up the Yuan was not similar to his own, what kind of strength could Lu Rue have in the end? Chen Fanyu's heart itched and his thoughts churned as he replied to Wang Yenshan. I, Chen Fanyu, will definitely come to help with Lu Rue's matter, I'll take over the confrontation training matter. After replying, Chen Fanyu was excited, after his heart surged, he also gave himself a little opinion out of comprehensive consideration. Lu Rue students now announced the challenge of the entire first year of high school words, or reckless sum, after all, the other classes of students' strength are not yet clear. I know that from tomorrow onwards, the top 10 students of Kaiyuan will be unified into one group to receive a physical fitness and combat training course. I think this course is a good opportunity to find out the strength of the other students, know your enemy and know yourself, and you will not be in danger in a hundred battles. Use two or three days to test the color of the other Kaiyuan top 10, confirm that there is a high enough certainty, and then high profile declared war on the entire grade. Chen Fan Yu gave a more prudent view. Wang Yinchan then said, you can go talk to Lu Rue. Chen Fan Yu saw the message and then sent a message to Lu Rue with gusto. Lu Rue was focused on cultivation and, he didn't read the message for the time being. Lu Rue is currently practicing the underworld viewing technique, which is a technique that can comprehensively strengthen the basic attributes, increase the Yuanfu capacity, speed up the Yuanfu recovery efficiency, and improve the quality of the summons. Sharpening the sword was not a good idea, Lu Rue's core was still, Ash legacy power, but strengthening the Yuanfu would allow him to better utilize this powerful talent. According to Mi Shaoka's description of the Gongfu's content, the process of strengthening the Yuanfu was the process of igniting the 36 nodes that already existed. For every node that was successfully ignited, the cultivator advanced by one level and the Yuanfu grew by one level. Lu Rue's underworld viewing method is unique in that the cultivation process of this technique requires sufficient affinity with the dead spirit plane, sensing the dead spirit plane's aura, and based on this aura, coupled with the practitioner's own sufficiently strong spiritual attributes, the practitioner will step by step transform the underworld into the mythical underworld by means of visualization. The underworld. This is also the two thresholds of the concept of the underworld, strong enough spiritual attributes and the affinity of the necropolis. It just so happened that Lu Rue had a spiritual attribute as high as 18. 1, and there were also two talents on him that could provide 30% necromantic plane affinity. This allowed him to cross the threshold of cultivation feats, and he was able to easily get started just after he started. Lu Rue sensed the necrotic plane aura, visualized the form of the underworld, channeled the necrotic power, and began to infuse the first node of the Yuanfu with power. Since it was necessary to ignite the node, it was necessary to accumulate fuel. When the fuel accumulated to a limit and successfully ignited the node, both the Yuanfu and the practitioner would be significantly strengthened. The cultivation process required a high degree of concentration, and Lu Rue had the divine skill, necrotic mind, which made his cultivation extremely efficient. In about an hour's time, he had exhausted the Yuanfu's accumulated necromantic power and his own physical strength. To recover his energy, he needed three hours. Making an estimate. That is to say that ideally, Lu Rue finished. No wonder Sister Me said that the process of igniting the nodes is not easy, even for me to complete the first node would take a day at the earliest, and the further the nodes go, the harder it is to ignite them. I hope that I can successfully ignite all 36 nodes within half a year. Lu Rue sighed in his heart, and immediately afterward he remembered. The school seems to provide incense that can enhance the efficiency of cultivation, tomorrow I'll exchange it to try. The physical energy was depleted and needed to be replenished. In the interval, Lu Rue lifted his, necromantic mind, and picked up his cell phone. Noticing that two hours ago Chen Fan Yu sent herself a message. The specific content of the message, Lu Rue scanned. Using the opportunity of physical fitness in fighting classes to test the strength of the top 10 of Kaiyuan. Quite reasonable indeed. Lu Rue challenged the entire grade to win, not to lose. The advice Chen Fan Yu gave was indeed useful, and the other party had agreed to give as a chaperone. Naturally, Lu Rue was curious as to what level Chen Fan Yu would be at, and wanted to see his true fighting strength. He picked up his cell phone and messaged the other party back. I was just busy practicing, didn't read the message haha, the advice you gave is indeed well thought out, so let's go with that. I'll continue cultivating. After Lu Rue sent the message, he put down his phone and recovered his strength. From the evening until 7 in the morning. During this period, Lu Rue sacrificed, 5 poison marsh big mouths, 20 silver skin wolf fish, and will be. The reason for sacrificing the poison swamp big mouth was because this necromantic creature could provide extremely prominent strength attributes. The silver skinned wolf sharks, on the other hand, were for the core talent of the heaven's choice plane. Just to gain the base attribute alone. Gained base attribute bonus, strength plus 4, agility plus 2, 2, physique plus 2, spirit plus 0, 8. 
The increase in physical attributes allowed Lu Rui's physical strength to grow a bit, so much so that his physical strength was even one, two times the upper limit of the Yuanfu's stored necromantic strength. His physical strength provided more energy than the Yuanfu. Under normal circumstances, the amount of energy that a newborn's physical strength could provide was far less than Yuanfu's. Lu Rui was the other way around. Moreover, his strength attribute reached 15, 7, raising it by about a third of the amount. With such an obvious boost, Lu Rue could clearly feel his strength skyrocket by a large amount. At the rate I'm boosting like this, isn't it still a bit too conservative for me to want to prepare for a week before challenging the entire senior class? He pinched the muscles on his arms. His muscle shape didn't instantly skyrocket to an extremely exaggerated large block appearance, but maintained a well-proportioned and powerful shape, still belonging to the appearance of wearing clothes to be thin and taking off clothes to have meat. Just Lu Rue opened the talent, liquid muscle, and will be exerted to the limit of two times strengthened, the power of the spirit of the dead into muscle power, his muscle form violently swelled a circle, the upper body of the short sleeve support up, exposed small arm block clearly, appear very strong and powerful. I really want to find something to try how much power my fists can explode now. Lu Rue repeatedly clenched and unclenched his fists, and finally lifted the, liquid muscle, talent, and his body shape returned to normal. In addition to the most basic attribute increase, Lu Rue also gained the talent in the sacrifice. Talent enhancement, liquid muscle, one-tenth. Talent enhancement, necrotic endurance, three-tenths. Talent enhancement, necrotic mind, six out of ten. The poison swamp mouth also belongs to the necrotic creatures, and will also have the most basic talents of the necrotic creatures, and the poison swamp mouth is a more advanced necrotic creature than the small skeleton soldier, which provides the talent enhancement twice as efficient as the small skeleton soldier. All of the above are provided by the toxic swamp mouth for talent enhancement. The silver-skinned wolffish, on the other hand, contributes talent abilities. Talent enhancement, bite strength enhancement, 4 out of 10. Gain talent, resist pressure skeleton, 1 tenth. Gain talent, materia medica. Lu Rue sacrificed 20 silver-skinned wolffish one after another, and naturally shipped a lot of them. Bite strengthening, not to mention, pressure resistant skeleton, is the silver skin wolffish's natural ability of resisting water pressure that is unique to it as a deep sea fish. Under the deep sea, the water pressure was extremely high, so in order to survive, the silver skin blue fish would need skeletons that could withstand heavy pressure. The panel displays a description of this talent. Pressure resistant skeleton, gain skeletal strengthening to increase your skeleton's ability to resist pressure by one, two times. Being able to strengthen the ability to resist blows, Lu Rui naturally came to think. Even if it's the lowest level creature in the heaven's choice plane, the silver-skinned wolffish has redeeming qualities. Of course, these gains are just additions, the most important thing is still the race of things. The race of things, open the evolutionary ladder, fight against the environment, be an enemy of the self, and compete with the strong, each time you win a battle, you will gain a certain amount of evolutionary value based on the quality of the battle, and when the evolutionary value accumulates to the fullest, it will open up evolution, and after successfully completing evolution you will gain a substantial strengthening of the basic attributes as well as the generation of a specific talent. Evolution value, 0 slash 100. This was the core talent that Lu Rue wanted, and after conducting 20 consecutive draws, he just managed to ship it. Great, now that I can even get stronger in fights, the next step is to find a chance to try out the talent effects. Lu Rue exhaled a long breath. Looking at the panel displaying all the rewards gained from the all-night cultivation, Lu Rue had a heartfelt sense of accomplishment. These were the bottom line for him to challenge the entire year group. In the training session organized by the school today, I'm going to have a good look at the accomplishments of the top 9 most outstanding students of our senior year. Lu Rue changed into his school uniform and revealed a confident smile after washing up in front of the mirror. Before leaving his house, he took all the skeletons of the little skeleton, which was used to go to the school to exchange for the incense that strengthened Yuanfu cultivation. Before arriving at school, Lu Rue also went to Yi Jia Fresh to have a breakfast with a sense of ceremony. Pancakes with plum and vegetables, sweet mash, and fried dumplings with three kinds of fresh meat, totaling 23 yuan. When the boss's wife cleared the table for him, she noticed Lu Rue's school uniform and asked with interest. You're a student of the first middle school, huh? Yeah. Lu Rue nodded. Looking up, Yi Jia Fresh's boss lady has some wrinkles at the corners of her eyes, her slender ten fingers have rough lines, her features are very nice, but her cheeks look thin, and her very good looks are due to her age. She has nice features, but her cheeks look thin, and her face has only six points left because of age and fatigue. But who can say that hard work is not a plus for beauty? Anyway, the breakfast parlor was crowded with customers. The owner's wife cleaned up the mess left by the last customer and added, Can go to the first middle school awesome it. My daughter is also a freshman in the first middle school this year. Did your school just start and have a heavy study load? 
especially that course called Kaiyuan? It's true that the Kaiyuan course is quite important, and it's also true that it's quite tiring, and the school also sets up some awards in this course, and our students all quite value their grades in the Kaiyuan course. Lu Rui answered. So that's how it is. The boss's wife nodded her head. After a brief exchange, the boss lady brought breakfast to Lu Rui. After eating, he headed to the school. It was the fourth day of school, and the list of the top 10 students of the Kaiyuan had all been confirmed. In a situation where the vast majority of students didn't build more than 20 yuan fu nodes and optimistically predicted that it might take until the third week to complete the opening of the yuan, these 10 students completed the opening of the yuan at an astonishing speed. This was really hard to understand, could the gap between people actually be this big? Could this be the world of geniuses? All in all, the geniuses in the top 10 of the opening yuan were discussed with great fervor amongst the freshmen. And among the 10 people, Lu Rui had the highest topic. Because this morning the school sent out a notice, it is about the day before yesterday class 2 used more than half an hour of resources to explain the thing. After the school audit, the teachers and students involved are in accordance with the provisions of the school rules and regulations for the operation of the instrument, there is no one who has abused their power, false publicity, and self-interest behavior. Chen Fan Yu and Lu Rui's grades are true and uncontested. The mission of this school is to cultivate talents and strengthen the competitiveness of the human race in the heavens. All decisions made are in line with the original intent of the school. This sentence Lu Rue and other people who know the inside story sounds, is no problem. But in the years of other students that is another feeling. According to the school, this is to cultivate talent. So, the school to the two class extra resources is to cultivate talent, then the other 19 classes have no talent? Are you kidding? In the top 10 places in the Kaiyuan program, class 2 only took up 2 places, how dare you say that there are no geniuses in the other classes? Now, not to mention the ordinary students feel unbalanced in their hearts, is the other Kaiyuan top 10, get the best rewards in the heart of the students are also a little bit of words. Lu Rue to the school not long, it is obvious to feel the school of gunpowder flavor full. Class 2 is even more have been other 19 classes squeezed to the senior section of the trend of the antagonist. Between classes, the students in class 2 were complaining. Why are those people talking in a shady way? It's not like we've done anything, the cultivation is extended by half an hour this is all arranged by the school, we're just practicing according to the school's arrangement. Long-legged lowly face sure xin said in dissatisfaction. Then some other students responded. Right, right, we are all conducting our lessons according to the school arrangement, who knows what's going on? As the classmates did so, Yue Flux, who was the temporary class president, was also on the side of his fellow classmates. I also feel that the school's arrangement is a bit lacking, there should be a more reasonable explanation. The students of class 2 nodded their heads, all in all feeling that the problem wasn't theirs. Eh, forced king, what do you think about this matter? Ruan Yuanliang steered the topic to Chen Fanyu. The other students' gazes followed suit and moved over. Chen Fanyu looked up, you guys are asking me what I think? His gaze went to Lu Rue. This time, the protagonist was someone else. Now everyone's gazes followed to Lu Rue. Yes, you two are the leaders of class 2, shouldn't you come out and say something at this time? Lu Rue put down his cell phone, facing the gaze of his classmates, the corner of his mouth holding a faint smile. Ah, my opinion ah? My opinion has been published to the school forum. School forum? The students of class 2 realized it later and boarded the forum to check it out. It was a shock not to know, but a shock to see. Two minutes ago, Lu Rue made a post with his real name authentication account. The school to cultivate outstanding talents as the purpose of the school, how the school allocates resources naturally have school reasoning. Since the school gives me and my class 2 more resources, then I think, I and class 2 naturally have other classes of students do not have the talent. Those who have talents deserve more attention. I can't speak for the rest of class 2, but I personally believe that I am entitled to that attention. This thread had just been out for not even 2 minutes, and the number of followers exceeded 100. What talent? Take it out and show it to me. How is Lin Yuan in our class worse than you? Gu Ziyu from our class was also the first to complete the Kaiyuan 7. How come she didn't get the same treatment as you? Boss Chin of our class also expressed his displeasure. We were all competing fairly. How could you use half an hour more? The effect of the dimensional resonance meter is so good that we are not unaware of it. The same are all the top 10 of the Kaiyuan. Why are you so showy? The contents of the replies are more or less the same. After all, Lu Rue is the top 10, or the top 7 category want to dislike him or have to move out of the other Kaiyuan top 7. Of course, the top 7 themselves did not personally post a statement, just their classmates in the fight. These students can react so excited, on the one hand, young, vigorous, not accustomed to unequal things, especially when it comes to their own core interests. On the other hand, it is also true that the school issued a notice to give a convincing explanation, so that students accumulate more grievances. 
students are not good at arguing with the school, and this statement from Lu Ruefa directly tickled the resentment in the hearts of other students, they now had a clear target and issued all kinds of queries to Lu Rue. Facing the questioning, Lu Rue moved his finger and made a post. If you're not convinced, you can spar, I'll come to the rescue. Oh, predictably, as if pouring oil on the fire, the intensity of the post discussion rose another notch. The students of class 2 could be regarded as dumbfounded. Now no one was pointing fingers at class 2, and instead they all went to the thread with Lu Rue. Class 2 students looked at Lu Rue with shocked eyes. Previously Lu Rue's performance in the class has always been unobtrusive, goodwill to others, gentle and elegant speech. But I never thought that there was actually such an arrogant side. This person is really dare ah. Crap, man, I misunderstood you, I didn't expect you to be even madder than the king of push. Ruan Yuanliang said as he sighed in awe at Lu Rue's maneuver. Chen Fan Yu, who had been nudged again, glanced at Ruan Yuanliang, then said indifferently. Lu Rue is a member of our class, we enjoy the same extra resources provided by the school as he does, in this matter, we are on the same side as Lu Rue. Chen Fan Yu finished speaking, and then some students noticed that he had posted comments under Lu Rue's post. I don't think there is any falsehood in what student Lu Rue said. His first day score in Kaiwan was 27 notes, he does have the talent to make the school look at him differently. The weight of Chen Fanyu's words was still very heavy, and as soon as his follow-up post came out, the questioning voices suddenly decreased by 30%. In addition to Chen Fanyu's own strength, Lu Rue's achievement of 27 nodes in the first class of Kaiwan is also really scary. The voices that were originally comparing the first seven of Kaiwan with Lu Rue immediately wilted quite a bit, because they all know, even the other people in the top seven of the Kaiwan, the best result on the first day of Kaiwan was 26 nodes. Of course there are still dissatisfied voices, even if it is 27 nodes, that is not a significant difference compared to the other Kaiwan top 10 ah, this qualifies the school to favor? There are still voices of skepticism in the school forums. However, within class 2, Yu Yi Flux had already reacted and said, Chen Fan Yu is right, Lu Rue is part of our class, questioning him is the same as questioning our class 2. Our class 2 can't let people point fingers like this, everyone act, there's no wrongdoing. Why should we let people talk about it? Yu Yi Flux held the baton in time to encourage the class 2 students. Class 2 students are actually holding their breath in their hearts, now there is a reason to let it out, it is naturally incumbent on them, with a backbone and a point of strength, united, they take Lu Rue's post as a battlefield, and begin to voice their own voices. Lu Rue although the face of questioning, but his pressure was not big, Tian and middle school students are still very quality, never engage in greetings genealogy of this kind of thing, not to mention in the two classmates to join the battlefield questioning the voice of Lu Rue is more plummeted. The students are lively and lively, the weather of the first week of school is very passionate. Time to noon. In the afternoon was the physical fitness and fighting training course arranged by the school, the top 10 students of Kaiwan would be organized into the same class to receive combat training from active warriors. Before the class, Lu Rue and Chen Fan Yu met. Lu Rue took the initiative and said, We're going to meet up with the other eight in the afternoon, before that, I kinda wanna spar with you first to try my hand at it, and then go to lunch together after the fight, what do you think? Chen Fan Yu was originally looking forward to sparring with Lu Rue to try his strength, but he still asked. Okay is okay, have you practiced fighting before? I only know Wang Bao Quan. Lu Rue shook his head. Chen Fan Yu's brows tightened. Then it's best to wait until the end of the fighting training in the afternoon to compete. There's a big difference between having practiced fighting and not having practiced fighting. Lu Rue sniffed and thought for a moment, but shook his head. No, not waiting to drag it into the afternoon. He wanted to try out the effect of the Yi objective, and test how much battle power he could exert with brute force alone first. That's fine. Chen Fan Yu nodded, the big deal was to pay attention when he struck out. The two of them moved to the sports. Pavilion used for fighting places. Private sparring, no audience. The two stood 10 meters apart, facing each other. I'm not yet initiated in life skill, but I can still execute some battle technique power. Should I include battle techniques during the sparring session? Chen Fan Yu asked. Add a battle technique, so that it can be more relaxed. Lu Rue nodded his head. A consensus was reached, and immediately afterward, the two of them each displayed their respective battle techniques. A layer of bone armor surfaced on Lu Rue's left and right arms, and even his finger joints had a layer of armor. He had consumed all the energy from his Yuan Fu and condensed the bone armor. Chen Fan Yu, on the other hand, had waves of qi floating around his body, his hair flicked up, his chest puffed out, he took a long breath and his whole body's muscles bulged as his cheek climbed higher and higher. My battle technique is called Berserk Whale Body Transformation, creating a battle with reference to a kind of powerful sea overlord in the heaven's choice realm, and after performing it, it can focus on strengthening strength, endurance, and defense. It is a very pure melee type of battle skill. 
Chen Fan language made an introduction, and at this moment, he really showed a trace of the aura of an oceanic beast. Listening to people's battle technique description, strength, endurance, defense triple reinforcement, has not yet started the fight, just from the aura and description to understand the power of this battle technique. Battle technique skeleton armor plating, focuses on strengthening defense. Lu Rui's introduction was much more rudimentary. After understanding each other's battle skill abilities, the two of them nodded their heads before announcing the start of the competition. Chen Fanyu was not polite, since Lu Rui was a defensive type battle technique, then he naturally took the initiative with this offensive type battle technique. Chen Fanyu exploded with amazing speed, almost in the blink of an eye, he crossed a distance of 10 meters and appeared in front of Lu Rui. Long arm into a pendulum, waist body drive leg and foot muscles, coupled with sprinting speed power to add, Chen Fan Yu this strike will be their own physical quality and fighting skills are displayed. The fist came roaring, Lu Rui set up his arm to block. The bone armor at the small arm and Chen Fan Yu fist contact, issued extremely dull sound, and then even more hidden appear click sound. Lu Rui's face was unchanged, but he already knew that Chen Fan Yu's punch had already damaged the bone armor. The force of his punch is more than 500 kilograms, with the current defense of the bone armor can't withstand him for a few times. Should I say it's worthy of being a serious genius? Lu Rue got serious. With, necromantic mind, activated, all internal distractions that were unfavorable to the battle were eliminated, Lu Rue was expressionless, revealing a focus on the battle in his cold eyes. His change was captured by Chen Fan Yu. Confronting that pair of extremely cold eyes that resembled ice. Chen Fan Yu's heart skipped a beat, followed by a quickening of the blood flow, his body revealing an excitement to try. This was the feeling of meeting a worthy opponent. Chen Fan Yu swung out a square punch, the force of this punch was not as powerful as the first swinging punch, but it was extremely fast, even leaving a residual shadow in the air. The berserk whale body transformation strengthened Chen Fan Yu's strength, but he was extremely fast himself. And Lu Rui's basic attributes weren't bad either, but even more so, after entering a heightened state, his body functions played out at 100%. He was quick to intercept this strike, and his right fist counterattacked and blasted out. Chen Fan you see very clearly, Lu Rui from blocking to counterattack process, did not use much fighting skills, almost all rely on physical quality to play the effect, but only rely on brute force output, Lu Rui's fist has 300 kilograms of power. Chen Fan you swung his fist and collided with it. But he didn't have any armor, and despite the fact that the berserk whale body transformation had the effect of strengthening the defensive power of the physical body, the hard clash with this punch still made his fist numb. The fist blade broke the skin and began to ooze thin beads of blood. And Lu Rue right fist on the bone armor is also the same in the fist after a large number of cracks, seems to hit a little more will be shattered look. But Lu Rue's bone armor has an advantage. Chen Fan Yu was using his physical body to absorb the damage, while Lu Rue was using his bone armor to absorb the damage. Although the bone armor was broken, Lu Rue's fists didn't receive much damage, and his own physical attributes weren't low, plus, necrotic mind, shielded him from pain and other negative effects, so he punched back faster. Relying on brute force alone, Lu Rui once again swung a 300 kilogram heavy punch towards Chen Fan Yu's facade. Lu Rui throws a punch. Chen Fan Yu was too late to spar with his fists. But he has been trained in fighting since childhood, a flexible head swaying flash, Lu Rui's punch grazed Chen Fan Yu's face to the empty space. The opponent's move fell short, Chen Fan Yu lifted his leg and stomped, both to counterattack and to pull away from the distance. The muscle power of the lower limbs is twice that of the upper limbs, together with the waist and abdominal muscles, this positive stomp Chen Fan Yu can hit more than 600 kilograms of destructive force. Lu Rue can also see the power of this blow, not hard to catch, but to play the effect of 13 points of agility attribute, taking advantage of the other side of the force of the moment, fast backward to avoid this like a cannonball out of a leg. The two pulled away from the distance of 5 meters. Chen Fan Yu's fist is considered to recover, this time he has seen the advantage of Lu Rue bone armor before breaking the bone armor with a hard fist, that is, he suffered a loss. I have practiced jiu-jitsu, I know a bit of grappling, you be careful. Chen Fan Yu reminded him, immediately after that, he transformed his fist into a palm, and stood with his feet open, assuming the wild horse splitting mane stance. The effect of the bone armor forced Chen Fan Yu to change his tactics. Lu Rui maintained his, necrotic mind, under this state, he looked at Chen Fan Yu and felt that the other party was like a boa constrictor with an open bloody mouth. Knowing that the other party intended to use softness to overcome hardness, Lu Rui naturally would not take the initiative to throw a punch. As his mind flickered, an idea surfaced in his mind. Only to see that under Lu Rui's control, the size of the bone armor at his arm became slightly larger. His bone armor was an active bone armor that could automatically adjust its inner and outer dimensions within a certain limit after it was formed. Chen Fan Yu did not notice this, as the bone armor change was very small and hard to notice with the naked eye. Seeing that Lu Rui chose to defend, Chen Fan Yu took the initiative. 
He jumped with a cushion step and slapped his left palm down on his head, the power of the palm was so great that it made a sharp whistling sound. Lu Rue set up his right arm to block. Chen Fanyue slapped his palm on the bone armor, the uncommon power caused half of Lu Rue's shoulders to sink. Previously hard to receive Chen Fanyue's first punch of bone armor is once again issued a cracking sound, like a broken mirror general, cracks all over. The bone armor absorbed most of the attack power, Lu Rue quickly counterattacked with a left hook that was too strong to be ignored. Chen Fanyu does not panic, right hand stops the bird's tail, with the palm to contain Lu Rue fist, not at all and Lu Rue left fist on the bone armor hard to touch. He moved his shoulder and turned his waist to deflect the force of Lu Rue's punch and reduce the force with the use of chemical energy. Waiting for the moment when Lu Rue's punch was exhausted, Chen Fanyu's right hand tiger's mouth was like an anaconda opening its mouth, accurately snapping into the bone armor covering Lu Rue's left wrist. Now, Chen Fanyu's five fingers exerted force, controlling the force of half of Lu Rui's body by locking the wrist. In the flash of light, Lu Rui at first glance fell into a disadvantage, but out of the tactical concept of attack and save, the right fist that can still move towards Chen Fanyu's face, seemingly to force him to let go and retreat. However, this time, in the face of Lu Rui's fist, Chen Fanyu did not dodge, vigorously blasted out a fist. Their fists clashed again. First issued a crisp cracking sound, Lu Rui once again suffered a blow to the right fist bone armor, this time broken. Chen Fanyu was counting on Lu Rui's bone armor not being able to withstand the force of the second punch. This time, both of their fists had to endure the same power. Chen Fanyu held that with the Berserk Whale Body Transformation. With the support of Berserk Whale Body Transformation, he should be able to outperform Lu Rui, who was not protected by the bone armor, in terms of pure physical defense. As a result, it would definitely take Lu Rui more time to recover. In this set of moves, Chen Fanyu could be said to be both strong and soft, and even the previous verbal hints were a bit misleading. Sure enough, at the end of the fist, Chen Fanyu saw Lu Rui seem to take the pain to withdraw his fist, followed by the waist and abdomen tightening, and there are signs of lifting the leg. It seemed that Lu Rui was unable to finish his fist, and wanted to imitate Chen Fanyu's previous use of his legs to force his opponent back, and then take a breather to make adjustments. Quite a fast learner. The corner of Chen Fanyu's mouth rose slightly. But this was Chen Fanyue himself who had used the move, so how could he not know how to break it? The leg method needs a certain space to perform, so Chen Fanyue does not retreat but advances, one step forward, using footwork to accurately jam Lu Rui's lower disc, the two bodies are less than two palms away from each other. The distance between the two bodies is less than two palms, so close to the distance, there is no space to lift the leg, so that Lu Rui has no way to send force. Legs cannot be performed, Lu Rui will swing arm shoulder, wrapped in bone armor of the right arm as if a battle axe blade, towards Chen Fanyue left shoulder cleave. Chen Fanyue reacted very quickly to raise his left elbow. In such a close distance, most of the boxing moves are not good power, but rather into the elbow's effective range of attack. As the saying goes, it is better to receive 10 punches than one elbow, Chen Fanyue's elbow strike is extremely strong. The moment the arm and elbow collide, the bone armor shatters with a crisp sound. Lu Rui's arm was elbowed away by Chen Fanyue, the former seemingly stubborn strike was cleanly resolved by the latter. Chen Fanyu's moves were interlocking, as a genius, his tactical thinking, techniques, and physical qualities were all at the top of his age group. On the other hand, Lu Rui's counterattack failed and his center door was wide open. Chen Fanyu seized the opportunity, left hand cupped fist, close to the distance can still perform very few punches, and this very few strokes, just have a very powerful inch fist. Being pressed against the chest by an expert's inch fist was no less than having a gun pressed against one's heart, which basically meant that victory or defeat had already been decided. However, at the moment when the arm armor was broken, Lu Rui's left hand that was originally controlled by the grapple moved. His left hand was like a cicada shedding its shell, coming out of the bone armor. Lu Rui deliberately made his bone armor bigger in the second round of fighting. His bone armor was resizable within limits, and he made the inner walls of the bone armor thinner, with more room to move inside. What Chen Fan Yu captured was the bone armor at the wrist. If the bone armor and Lu Rui's arm were tightly fitted, then Lu Rui's arm naturally couldn't move but the bone armor's internal space for movement became larger, so he was able to come up with a golden cicada to break Chen Fanyu's grappling technique. He quickly pulled his left hand out of the bone armor and sacrifice, shedding a piece of bone armor to gain an opportunity to attack. From the beginning, Lu Rui did not consider the bone armor as his entire basis for fighting. Chen Fanyu's tactics are intertwined, and Lu Rui is not throwing out bait, inviting the king into the pot? In the state of necromantic mind, his reflexes and tactical thinking would increase drastically. He drew back his left hand and blasted out with a clenched fist. With the bone armor intact on the left fist's blade, this punch was simply not something Chen Fan Yu could fight hard with. He couldn't even counterattack with his legs like he did last time, because while he sealed Lu Rui's leg lifting space in close quarters, he also sealed his own leg lifting space, 
and it was too late to even retreat. This is also regarded as lifting a stone to hit his own feet, all by Lu Rui calculated. The only thing Qin Fan Yu can do in time is to retrieve his own originally to determine the victory of the inch fist, turn offense to defense, cross hand arm blocking. Lu Rui's punch hit Qin Fan Yu's arm solidly, making the latter's arm numb and his chi and blood stagnate. Qin Fan Yu took a step back, barely able to unload, but it was still within the range of Lu Rui's fist attack. The third punch was thrown, this time Lu Rui's fist was full of power, and also roughly used some of the power techniques that he had just learned by observing Chen Fan Yu's fighting techniques. Under the high concentration of, necromantic mind, one learns everything fast, even the opponent's skills. The feet lunge to generate power, and the fist is like a cannonball discharging. This punch exceeded 500 kilograms of force. Boom! Chen Fan Yu was knocked back by a punch, staggering back 6 meters before he could stand firm, and his arm muscles that had received Lu Rui's violent blow head-on had clearly left a clearly visible fist mark. Chen Fan Yu's arm was sagging, his breathing was rough, the hard catch of this punch had already made one of his arm's muscles temporarily unable to develop strength. Chen Fan Yu's right arm sagged, his eyes flickered, his breathing intensified, his expression slightly pained with some excitement. His eye curtains were slightly drooping, and the shadow of a red-colored fire lotus faintly appeared in his pupils. However, Chen Fan language shook his head and murmured wordlessly. This sparring session, it was agreed that only battle techniques would be used. The red fire lotus silhouette in his pupils disappeared. Chen Fan Yue calmed himself and lifted his battle technique form. This was considered to indicate the end of the duel. Lu Rue also removed a piece of the bone armor from his left fist. Of course, because his last punch was extremely violent, the bone armor on his left fist was on the verge of breaking due to the excessive amount of force it had endured. Lu Rue did not use much force to pinch, these bone armor completely shattered. Gained basic attribute bonus, physique plus zero. 7. Acquired talent, bone creation. Bone creation, can actively consume necrotic power to strengthen one's own bone defense and accelerate bone recovery. In a sparring session, Lu Rue shattered an arm armor in two fists, triggering the talent, Ash Legacy, gaining basic attributes, as well as a fairly practical talent corresponding to the bone armor. Additionally this cut also triggered the talent, things fall apart, and the panel showed. Race to the bottom, evolution value plus one. Lu Rue muttered in his heart when he saw this. A battle only provides one point of evolution value? Is it because the battle is just to the point? In addition to the gains, Lu Rue also sort of roughly understood where the gap between himself and the top existences among his peers was. Lu Rue's current physical quality was not much worse than those geniuses, but he lacked combat experience and technical accumulation. Chen Fan language all kinds of fighting moves at your fingertips, and Lu Rue only swinging fists. And in the battle skills, after comparison, Lu Rue also found that it seems that the other departments of the battle skills ability more comprehensive. Chen Fan Yu's crazy whale body change both strength, endurance, defense triple strengthening. Lu Rui's bone armor is only defensive power, that is, he is in the dead spirit mind, extremely calm state, a bright idea, came up with a move of the golden cicada shell, otherwise the bone armor by Chen Fan Yu two or three attacks, will be broken. At that time, Lu Rui only relied on the basic quality of the body and the battle skills of Chen Fan Yu, that would fall into a disadvantage. The consumption of coagulating bone armor was extremely great, currently in battle, if there was no spare bone armor, after Lu Rue's armor was shattered, it was too late to coagulate a second set. On the contrary, Chen Fan Yu, apart from hard catching Lu Rue's last punch that slowed him down, his consumption didn't look much, as if he could still fight for a long time. Lu Rue lamented in his heart. This should be the gap between the necromancy department and the heaven's choice department. The heaven's choice department's battle techniques have been developed too comprehensively and are too mature. The necromancy department has only been in existence for less than two years. Of course, these are only fighting techniques, physical quality, battle skills comparison, Lu Rue can also have other strength and talent did not show, blood and bone bats and poisonous swamp mouth, as well as the rune talent pale scourge these means have not been put out. But after all, it is a sparring match, point to point. Lu Rue also know, Chen Fan you should have at least one battle skills or summoning contract, his runic talent also did not show, now is not Chen Fan you full strength. However, this battle has also made Lu Rue clear that he really has the ability to fight among his peers. He really had the strength to compete with the top geniuses of his age. There should be five more genius students of Chen Fan Yu's level in the senior section. Lu Rue set a goal in his heart. Right now it was to be on par with the top geniuses, and in the future it was to surpass. He completed the review in his mind and retrieved the remaining left arm armor that was still intact. Chen Fan Yu, on the other hand, rubbed his arm, and his tone did not have any shyness, instead, there was faint delight and excitement. I've been taught, I didn't think that battle techniques could be used in this way, breaking my previous knowledge of fighting, I'll pay attention to this point in the future. Well, my worries seem to have been a bit excessive, you not only have a talent for cultivation, but also a talent for fighting. 
I'm flattered, I've also benefited a lot. Is the hand all right? Lu Rue gazed at Chen Fanua's arm. It's not a problem, competitions and sparring, bruises and injuries are a common thing. Chen Fan Yu waved his hand. I'll go to the bathroom first, about three minutes. Oh, Chen Fan Yu walked to the bathroom. Seeing that no one was left in the four corners of the room, red flames surfaced on his arms and fists that had previously sustained some flesh wounds. The flames did not seem to have a scorching temperature and took on the shape of petals, and with the flames licking at them, the flesh and skin wounds on Chen Fan Yu healed in the blink of an eye. Comfortable feeling, I really want to fight Lu Rui again. Chen Fan Yu repeatedly squeezed his fists before unclenching them, and two fire lotuses appeared in his eye pupils extremely active. His talent rune was a special grade fire bathing red lotus, which had many effects, and its core function was to continuously enhance the user's talent and potential through battle. Just from the sparring session just now, Chen Fan Yu felt that his talent rune had become active. More than that, I have a feeling that there are still more powerful means on Lu Rui that he hasn't utilized yet, his true power is far more powerful than what he has just shown, Hugh Dash, I feel that if I can fight him with all my might, my talent rune will grow immensely. Be patient, he hasn't mastered the fighting arts yet, his battle power can still be stronger. They're all in the same class, make good friends, there'll be a chance to ask him out for a sound fight in the future. Chen Fan Yu cupped a handful of cool water with both hands in front of the sink and splashed it on his face. The fire lotus in his eyes gradually dimmed, and his heart's high fighting spirit calmed down. Tidying up his image, Chen Fan Yu left the restroom and went out to have lunch with Lu Rue. Time arrived in the afternoon, Lu Rue's consumption in the cut has been fully recovered. According to the school's arrangement, the top 10 students of Kaiyuan received physical fitness and fighting training in the same class. 10 people arrived at the training ground. When Lu Rue showed up, the other 9 all looked at him in unison. It was really because Lu Rue was too outstanding in the morning. Also a genius, what extremely outstanding talents do you have that can make the school give you extra resources? And what are we inferior to you? Geniuses are competitive mentality. The male students either held their arms or smiled, their eyes flickering as they sized up. There were four female students, either sitting or standing, with high face values and very nice smiles, but the smiles were more just to maintain superficial politeness. Other than Chen Fan Yu, the only person Lu Rue had a bit of an impression of was Gu Ziyu, who he had met on one side. On the night of the record results, the two of them were one leaving and one just arriving, and they happened to bump into each other. This girl crossed her waist with one hand, her eyes looking at Lu Rue is more of a scrutinizing meaning. Lu Rue originally playing with the phone, in front of the people arrived, one hand holding the phone, this hand in the pocket, looked up and asked with a smile. Do you need me to introduce myself? No need, Lu Rue student's big name, I am already heard of, my name is Qin Yang, the night before last 10.55pm to complete the opening of the Yuan, 11.20 to the school to complete the record. A boy with a robust physique and a height of 1 meter 8 and a half laughed. This Qin Yang's features were masculine and upright, and his smile was affable, but the implication in his words that he wanted to compare and contrast with Lu Rue was obvious. I finished Kaiyuan at 11 o'clock out the night before last, and finished the record at the school at around 11.30. Lu Rue said truthfully. Once these words came out, not to mention what the other people were thinking, Gu Ziyu loosened her slightly furrowed brows, turning her cheeks to bulge slightly. I knew it, if not for the half an hour given by the school, how could he finish Kaiyuan before me? Then it seems like I'm still a bit faster than the two of you, I finished Kaiyuan at 10.50 and was at the school at 11 o'clock to complete the record, oh, my name is Kuche. A boy with thick bangs and a very clean cut appearance smiled. His gaze faintly swept a glance at Lu Rui, followed by but looked at Chen Fan Yu. Fan Yu, what's your number? 840. Chen Fan Yu said in a flat tone, not bothering to hide his score at all. At the end of his school's opening ceremony, after the school authorities confirmed that he had obtained the extremely powerful Red Lotus of Fire Talent Rune, the school and his family had sought out the experience accumulated from the development of this top-tier talent by the previous generation, which allowed Chen Fan Yu to stand on the top of the heap. This allowed Chen Fan Yu to stand on the shoulders of giants and quickly master the method of using the Fire Bathing Red Lotus, so after returning home, his cultivation efficiency soared by a large margin. Plus, he had stamina potions to restore his physical strength. Kryptonite and talent, so the cultivation was extremely efficient. Chen Fan Yu and Ku Che knew each other before. Ku Che knew Chen Fan Yu's character, and the latter simply wouldn't lie about such things. After Ku Che understood, his face flashed with a faintly undetectable anxiety, but he controlled his emotions very well and laughed helplessly. Then this can't be a thorough comparison, with grades like yours, even without that half hour of cultivation time that the school inexplicably gave you, you're still more talented in cultivation than everyone present. It was 840 ah. The top 10 of the Kaiyuan present, the ones who had just opened their mouths, were all saying that they had only completed Kaiyuan after 10.30, the difference was simply not comparable to Chen Fan Yu, even without that half hour of resources given by the school, 
Chen Fanyu had all completed Kaiyuan faster than them. Of course, Lu Rui also heard it, but he didn't feel anything. The last night he completed Kaiyuan, he had nearly two and a half hours to recover his physical strength, if he had also exchanged kryptonite for a strength potion, he would have been able to save those two and a half hours and speed up considerably. It's just that there's no need for that, because the rewards for the top 10 in Kaiyuan are all the same. Lu Rui wouldn't feel any noticeable gap between him and Chen Fanyu for this reason. However, the other eight were in a state of surprise and still had a bad taste in their hearts, especially the top seven, who had originally thought that they were all geniuses of the same caliber, but hadn't thought that Chen Fanyu had exceeded them by a significantly large margin. There was some imbalance in their minds. But a little later, someone said, if the school was allocating more resources to Chen Fanyu, I count myself convinced, after all, even if the school were to give up its resources to me, it would still be no match for Chen Fanyu. This person spread his hands and the other nine gazed at him. He then introduced himself. My name is Zhang Jia, I only completed Kaiyuan yesterday at noon. His appearance was not outstanding, but he had an average face that was still durable. He was in the bottom three of the top ten of the Kaiyuan, and it was reasonable to say that when the top seven were talking, the bottom three were not in a good position to interrupt. However, this person seems to want to see the fun, implicitly directed the spearhead to Lu Rue. But what he said was not unreasonable. Chen Fan Yu is at this level, and you, Lu Rue, with the school's resources added on, are only at the fifth level amongst us, so on what grounds can you say that you have outstanding talent? Hey, my mom and I said that there are a lot of geniuses in Tian First Middle School, reminding me to stay humble and low-key when I get to school, and now it seems that my mother and father are right, is really right. Lu Rue listened, this seems to be pointing at him again, his eyes looked over. This is in the field of a girl with a pair of small tiger teeth, three-dimensional features, fair skin, snow. She sat on the green, arms around their legs, with a rather innocent expression towards Lu Rue blinked, and then tilted his head, with a little milky voice, towards the crowd said. My name is Zhao Shuangning, I only finished the Kaiyuan at 4 in the morning yesterday, that can tire me out, look at you guys feeling relaxed, the gap between people and people can be really big, where is it easy, who wasn't riveted to the front at the beginning of the Yuan, if the school was willing to give me a little more resources, then I would definitely be able to relax quite a bit as well, the one who spoke was Qin Yang, this opening more or less with a little squeeze, Lu Rue cupped his cell phone, his face didn't change and he kept his smile, the school is allocating resources based on students' abilities and needs. If student Qin Yang wants more resources, then he has to show the equivalent ability. Ah. Oh, student Lu Rue is quite experienced. I've been especially wanting to ask you for advice on how to get the school to pay attention since this morning. Can you enlighten me? Qin Yang asked with a smile. Lu Rue smiled, nodded, and said, Of course you can. Make a time and place appointment. He <laughs> he, not just Qin Yang. Whoever here wants to ask me for tips, I'll come to the rescue. Then Lu Rue swept his gaze over the eight people present and began to name them. Kuche, Zhang Qian, Zhao Shuangning, ha, huh, I've memorized the names of several students. Kuche and Zhang Qian's eyes narrowed slightly, being named in such a way, these two naturally looked unhappy. Instead, Zhao Shuangning hurriedly waved her hand and said, Ay 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 ay, don't remember me ah, I don't intend to ask Lu Rue for tips, I think the school sending me resources is already enough ah. Oh, if ms, Zhao Shuangning doesn't need it, are there other people who do? Lu Rue gazed at the remaining four people. Of the remaining four, Gu Ziyu was swept by Lu Rue's gaze. Her eyebrows furrowed, but she didn't rush to make a statement. Instead, she first looked at Chen Fanyu as she asked. Fanyu, this classmate of yours is quite similar to your character. What do you say? Gu Ziyu used to know Chen Fanyu. When Chen Fanyu heard this, the corners of his mouth rose slightly. He then lifted his chin and said to the others. Where is it the turn of other classes to dictate the affairs of our class too? The school sends our class 2 benefits, so of course our class 2 can take them. If you guys don't understand, then be humble and ask for advice. If you want to take the benefits without showing your own capital, how can there be such a good thing as daydreaming? At these words, Qin Yang pressed his knuckles and made a clicking sound. Well well well, you class 2 turned out to be all talking like this right? That's fine, I, Qin Yang, on behalf of my brothers and sisters in class 3, will ask you class 2 for some words of experience, so that the school can also send a little favor to our class. And Gu Ziyu, who was disliked, also came to be angry. I don't care about the school's resources, I just want to see what's so special about your class too that the school cares about it, Lu Rue, come on, I want to hear your insights too. Drumming up Gu Ziyu wasn't enough, Chen Fan Yu also looked towards Lin Yuan, who was also in the top 7 of Kai Yuan, but had been silent the whole time. Lin Yuan's appearance was a bit feminine, with the characteristic softness of a woman, but his eyes were very stern. Chen Fan Yu asked him, Lin Yuan? Lin Yuan's eyes stared at Chen Fan Yu and said in a low voice, I'm not interested in him, I only want to challenge you. These two had known each other in the past and seemed to have a bit of a grudge against each other. Chen Fan Yu just smiled and said, 
then you should at least show me how much you've improved. Lin Yuan let out a cold snort, and now he sort of looked at Lu Rui. He was just like viewing Lu Rui as a prop to show off his abilities. Up to this point, there were still two girls left in the top ten of Kaiyuan who hadn't taken a stand, namely Tian Tian and Han Mingjie. The two girls here were the bottom three of the top ten in Kaiyuan. Tian Tian had a wheat complexion, kept her hair clean and short, her physique was well proportioned and robust, and her body curves had both feminine charm and a sense of muscular strength. Her voice was heroic and she laughed enthusiastically. Good ah, count me in, on the contrary, so many people come together to ask for advice, Lu Rui students you eat it? Come as you are. The smile on Lu Rui's face did not diminish. Han Mingjie is a high cold beauty, thick and neat bangs cover her forehead, there is a beauty mole at the corner of her right eye, she has a delicate melon face, her voice is clear and cold, she said. I'm not interested. Xin Yang, Lin Yuan, Ke Che, Zhang Li, Gu Ziyu, Tian Tian. I used my cell phone to record them all oh. Lu Rui lifted his cell phone after naming them. He had been holding his cell phone, so it turned out to be taking video recordings ah. Reacting to the six people's faces changed slightly. Zhang even blurted out. Buddy, it's you who really don't give yourself away back right? Battle and win, why fear? Lu Rui lightly laughed. Once these words came out, the six people's faces revealed a hint of danger. Clap, clap, clap. Xin Yang raised his hand and applauded. Fine, fine, you Lu Rui have this confidence, I, Xin Yang, really don't believe that the gap between me and you can be so big? Quick, give a time and place, I can't wait. Gu Ziyu, on the other hand, snorted coldly and muttered. Things are like things, arrogant and powerful, no wonder you can stink with Chen Fan Yu. It could be said that Lu Rui was mocking all over the place, making these six people's fists itch. And at this time, the class bell rang. Lu Rui then said to Qin Yang, let's get out of class, we can try it after class. When Qin Yang heard this, he suddenly remembered the specific content of this class, his expression was subtle, then he laughed meaningfully. As long as you still have the stamina after class, still have physical strength, the next training session would be physically exhausting? Lu Rui pondered over Qin Yang's implication, but he looked at his talent, necromantic endurance. The passive effect alone could grant Lu Rui five times the stamina of a normal person, not to mention the ability of body blue transformation. If he would be able to get tired and out of breath in a training session, then the others would be afraid that they wouldn't be able to stand up. However, Xin Yang seemed to have his own dependence and looked quite expectant. Lu Rui, on the other hand, laughed in his heart, who didn't have a backbone yet. The training session began and the instructors who presided over the course appeared. These were all active warriors, five in total, wearing combat uniforms and hats. The instructor said in a raspy voice, My name is Sher Wei, I'm a warrior under the 5th Regiment of the 3rd Brigade of the Pioneer Corps, next will be me and my comrades conducting a month-long training course for you in three phases, now the first phase of the physical fitness and combat training, I hope we can get along well. Under the brim of his hat, Sher Wei had a scar on the right side of his face that ran from his eyebrow to his right eye to his cheekbone. The other four instructors also introduced themselves, three men and two women in total, with Sher Wei at the head of the five. Form up, start walking, let's go to training ground number 12. A group of people moved to the training ground. Training ground 12 is a fully closed, usually not open to the public within Tian First Middle School, requiring special privileges to be booked before using the special training ground. The special training ground. The building covers an area of 2 hectares and has a total of 12 floors. On the first floor, there was a circular runway with an inner circle of 400 meters, and in the center of the runway was a green playground. The group was in the center of the grounds, and instructor Sherway said, A strong physique is the capital for exploring the extra-dimensional realms and resisting the invasion of foreign races. What I want to tell you is that the cruelty of the battlefield of the heavens and the harsh environments of the other realms are unimaginable to you, and compared to those places, our human homeland is simply a greenhouse. If you don't have a strong enough body, you won't even have the qualifications to leave the blue planet, explore beyond the realm, and enter the battlefield. Cultivating techniques and battle skills, and mastering the summoning contract are to raise your upper limit, while strengthening your body is to raise your lower limit. In the extraterrestrial realm and the battlefields of the heavens, encountering dangers is unpredictable, and having a strong enough body will allow you to avoid many dangers. And the purpose of this lesson is to help you refine your physiques. Instructor Sher Wei explained the purpose of the course, and which of the students present were not clear-minded and naturally understood the advantages and disadvantages. And then, Instructor Sher Wei began to explain the course content. The school arranged for you to physical fitness class is not the conventional strength and endurance training. In the training process, we will add some special equipment, strengthen the difficulty of training, enhance the training gains, the process is a common people cannot endure the pain. I can tell you directly, the bottom line of this course is that as long as the practice does not die, to the death of the practice. 
Therefore, you should not be surprised if your life is in danger during the training process. Although the school is equipped with medical personnel who can provide efficient treatment, the feeling must not be pleasant. Of course, you are all the 10 best students of Tian No. One middle school, the school, and I believe that you can have the determination and perseverance to complete all the training programs, and we are treating you as the future sons of mankind for cultivation. Instructor Shi Wei spoke plainly, but the students present had no fear and their fighting spirit was high. All of them were the top 10 geniuses of the Kaiyuan, and even if they didn't say it with their mouths, in their hearts, they all wanted to see where their limits were. As the course began, the other two instructors carried out two boxes. The two boxes contained black and red bracelets respectively, totaling more than 20. Shi Wei took the two bracelets and explained. Before training, you have to put on the two bracelets, the black bracelet is called Fool's Back Mountain, this is a technology developed from the heavy rock realm, after you put it on, it will strengthen the effect of gravity you are subjected to, with an upper limit of 10 times gravity. Heavy rock plane, Lu Rue's school textbook had introduced it, this was the second plane that humanity had announced that they had acquired in July of New Era 3. This realm was characterized by extremely exaggerated gravity, thus the creatures in this realm all had extremely high density, strong defense and explosive power. The Great Summer Kingdom developed special gravity bracelets through the heavy rock realm. Lu Rue got one and wore it on his left wrist. At the beginning of the training, you will only be subjected to three times the gravity effect, and as the course progresses, the gravity effect will gradually increase. Instructor Shi Wei said. He then began to introduce the other red bracelet. This is called Evolution Declaration, it is the product of our National Research Institute's research on the Heaven's Choice realm, after wearing it, the bracelet will stimulate your cells and speed up your evolution, the more external pressure you are subjected to, the faster your physical body will evolve. The faster you are subjected to external pressure, the faster your physical body will evolve. Lu Rue got the red bracelet and wore it on his right hand. Instructor Shi Wei reminded. After the evolution declaration is turned on, your body's hormone secretion will change accordingly, generating such extreme emotions as exuberance, fear, hunger, depression, destruction, exhaustion, and many other extreme emotions, and the greater the external pressure, the stronger the extreme emotions will be generated. This is a normal part of the rapid evolutionary process. Evolution itself is about breaking out of the old comfort zone and moving towards a higher level, which is not something that can be called comfortable. All you have to do is to hold on to your will, not wavering, enduring all the pain, and resolutely completing your training tasks. It should be said that the school authority did attach great importance to geniuses, even the content of the training course set up was such a test of physical and mental will. Lu Rue is not much fear, the extreme negative emotions that the instructor said sounds quite bluffing, and the intensity of the training under triple gravity is also unimaginable to ordinary people. But Lu Rue has, necromantic mind, and, necromantic endurance, he did not have much nervousness, but rather rather look forward to how much progress he can get. He was like this, but on the contrary, the other Kaiyuan top 10. Most of them had a grave expression, as if they were facing a severe test. Only a small number of them were indifferent or eager to try, Chen Fan Yu and Lin Yuan were unchanged and vaguely arrogant, while Qin Yang was impatient. Qin Yang even glanced at Lu Rue, more or less in the eyes with a little provocation. It seemed to be asking this kind of intensity training, can you accept it? All 10 people got their training props. After Shi Wei arranged for the students to warm up, he announced. The first training, run 20 kilometers around the playground, we will make a record of each person's performance, the record will affect the course evaluation, and at the end of the course, the school will give different levels of rewards and recognition depending on your performance. With the existence of competitive interests, the top 10 students of Kaiyuan could have to work hard to complete the training. During that training, you may use all means other than interfering with others to accomplish the training objectives. Shi Wei added. This meant that the students could use battle technique effects. But this didn't seem to be of much use to Lu Rue, as his bone armor only provided defense and wouldn't strengthen his physical abilities, and the only thing he could rely on was his own basic attributes and many talents. On the other hand, not to mention the Chen Fan language's berserk whale body transformation, the other eight students' bodies all began to show some changes. Or muscle form changes, or breathing becomes long, or blood flow accelerates the color of the face began to redden. There were even bizarre sparks of electric current appearing on the surface of their bodies, or light winds gradually rising. Make me seem like a blank slate, the necromancy department is really a version of a trap. Lu Rue spat in his heart. It was good that he had other undertones. The instructor explained all the matters and the training officially started. The red and black bracelets on the hands of all the students were stimulated at the same time. In an instant, Lu Rue felt that his body became heavy, as if a huge stone was suddenly pressed on his back, just standing was already laborious, not to mention running. This was the effect of the gravity bracelet. 
The blood flow accelerated, the body became hot, the pupils contracted, the breathing was rapid, and the heart rate accelerated like the beating of a drum, like a mammal frantically secreting adrenaline to strengthen its physical energy when it encountered danger. This is the role of the evolution bracelet. Lu Rue is such a reaction, other students are not much worse. The instructor announced the start of training, and everyone began to run outside with heavy steps. Chen Fan Yu opened his long legs with the attitude that he wanted to take the lead. He was similarly affected by the many effects brought about by the two bracelets, but his pupils had already begun to have the faint shadow of a red-colored fire lotus in them, and not only did he perform the berserk whale body transformation, but he also seemed to have mastered another battle technique that caused a silver-gray eye shadow that resembled the plume pattern of a bird to appear in the corner of his eyes. Triple gravity seemed to be non-existent to him, and he was able to run at normal human speed. Lin Yuan, who had a bit of a grudge against Chen Fan Yu, was not willing to show weakness, chasing after him with all his might. This Lin Yuan is also strange, everyone's face is red under the effect of triple gravity, but his face is white, originally a pair of black and white eyes gradually turned into pure black, this also seems to be a kind of battle technique effect? There is also in Lu Rue about battle Qin Yang, this person physique is already tall, his face red, but does not seem to be much affected by the effect of triple gravity, the speed is very fast. Qin Yang even had the energy left over to observe his surrounding classmates with the rest of his eyes. He focused on seeing where Lu Rue was. As for Lu Rue, he decisively opened the four great talents of, necrotic mind, bone creation, pressure resistant skeleton, and, liquid muscle, when he felt the triple gravity pressure. The necrotic mind, allowed him to shield his negative emotions and highly concentrate his mental state. Bone creation, anti-pressure skeleton, strengthens the skeletal ability to fight against gravity, supports the body, and alloys the knees. Liquid muscle strengthens muscle power, continuously providing explosive power when running. As soon as Lu Rue took a step, the speed he displayed allowed him to run into the first echelon position. Under triple gravity, the top 10 students of Kaiyuan performed differently, and it was only two laps before they were divided into three echelons. The first echelon was Chen Fanyu, Lu Rui, Lin Yuan, and Qin Yang. The second echelon was Tian Tian, Ku Zhe, Gu Ziyu. The third echelon was Zhang Yan, Han Ming Jie, Jia Xuang Ning. The three echelons were about 10 meters apart, and the distance between them was gradually widening. The instructors were staring at the playground from the bleachers, and in addition to the group of fighters, there were also medical personnel and lab coats on one side. A warrior glanced at the medical staff to provide medical facilities, marveled. Eh, this Thaian first middle school actually took out red meat roots for student training? In the medical facilities prepared by the paramedics, there were a few jars held in special containers, and through the glass, one could see a strange item that looked like blood in lotus root. The blood lotus root seemed to have a life, and would actually wriggle and stretch. This is a special treasure produced from the blood nest plane, the third plane of human mastery. The blood nest plane was known for its exuberant life force and strange shaped flesh and blood monsters. A woman among the instructors also scared and marveled when she saw the blood root. This is good stuff, even if your heart is pierced and your head is cut in half, you can save your life if you fill in the gap with the red lotus root in time. I remember the two years when I first joined the army, this stuff was still scarce, I didn't expect that after five or six years had passed, this could be allotted to schools for training students. The female instructor seemed to be caught up in memories. And the other, younger instructor laughed rather gloatingly. Since the school is pulling out this kind of stuff, it's clear that they want us to drill these students to death. Ha <laughs> ha, it's not easy for the students now. Master instructor Sher Wei nodded. Indeed, although we humans are progressing at a high rate, frontline warfare is still getting more and more tense, and there is a need to step up the training of some fresh blood. At the mention of frontline warfare, the instructors started to get a bit sullen. At this time a female instructor mentioned, Xiao Yu, it's not easy to go back to Blue Star, have you gone to find your phase? We're all waiting for the banquet. The young instructor's surname Yu skimmed his mouth and sighed helplessly before whispering, Oh, I'm still young, I was thinking of fighting at the front for a few more years, when I can't fight anymore then consider retiring to the rear, if she's still there at that time and I still have a persona, then it's almost time to consider getting married, otherwise I don't want to be sorry for her. Sure Wei sniffed and said, the rear is also short of people, it is said that the native here, that group of cult villains are also rampant, hiding their heads and tails is not good to catch, currently the state organizes a large number of manpower to launch a special crackdown, you think about it, transferring to the rear can also shine. The young instructor surnamed you didn't say anything when he heard this, his eyes flashing through a few points of entanglement. Perhaps the topic was a bit too heavy, they coincidentally put their eyes on the young students. At this moment, the first echelon had already finished running two kilometers, and was half a lap away from the second echelon. The first echelon team was also the same four people, only that their performance was different. Lu Rue was gasping for breath, but prompts appeared one after another on his panel. Attribute Enhancement, Strength plus zero. 
2. Agility plus 0. 2. Physique plus 0. 2. Spirit plus 0. 2. Talent enhancement, necrotic mind, 7 out of 10. Talent enhancement, necromantic endurance, 4 tenths. Talent enhancement, liquid muscle, 2 tenths. Talent enhancement, skeletal creation, 1 tenth. Talent enhancement, stress resistant skeleton, 1 tenth. Talent enhancement, materialism, 1 tenth. Evolution value plus 1. The evolution bracelet was like a catalyst, transforming the pressure of triple gravity and the pressure of competing interests from classmates into a driving force for evolution. Lu Rue's body was also suppressed by triple gravity, and he also wanted to obtain more resources from the school. All kinds of external pressure and internal drive, ignited by the evolution declaration, accelerated the process of Lu Rue's growth and strength. Not only did he get an increase in his basic attributes, but the many talents he had acquired by sacrificing dead creatures were also a part of himself, and could also evolve and improve. There were also the evolution points required for the talent, things to do, which could actually be obtained in this physical training. However, if you think about it a little bit, fighting against the environment and breaking through was also a different kind of battle. It's just that the enemy has become the environment and the ego. After only running two kilometers, Lu Rue couldn't help but sigh from the bottom of his heart. This physical training class is really worth it, and the benefits of catching up and becoming a top 10 in Kaiwan are really many. If he didn't complete the enlightenment in time, he couldn't enjoy the benefits that belong to the top 10 of the enlightenment. Of course, Lu Rue is now in the state of dead spirit mind, he can't feel much joy. Even the dead spirit mind seems to be a bit insufficient. Not only was it the physical exhaustion from having to run long distances and compete in triple gravity, but there was also a large amount of extreme emotions brought about by the evolutionary manifesto continuing to take effect. The body's hormones were secreting abnormally, hyperactivity, fear, hunger, depression, destruction, exhaustion and even apricot lust. The primal desires of the flesh began to run riot during the evolutionary process. After all, Lu Rui was not a true necromantic creature, he had a living flesh, and the desire of his flesh due to hormone secretion was not changed by subjective will. Lu Rui also needs to use the necromantic mind to suppress the flesh to produce many negative emotions, and this in turn also promotes the necromantic mind, talent enhancement as well as the strengthening of spiritual attributes. Although his physical strength was also depleted quickly under triple gravity, he had necromantic endurance at the bottom after all, and his physical strength was long and his speed did not diminish. He didn't show any embarrassment from the pressure of the environment, and he still had some strength left, still remaining in the first echelon. And in the first echelon, Shen Fan Yu was the pupils of the red-colored fire lotus more and more demonic, the eye shadow at the corner of the eyes that was like a feather plume had more and more details more and more distinct. Lin Yuan's face was getting paler and paler, bloodless, while his eyes turned completely pitch black in color, but if one paid a little bit of attention, one would find that Lin Yuan's shadow had undergone a twisted mutation. He didn't know any special battle technique or means to suppress the emotions of the rampage and didn't show any abnormality. In comparison, Xin Yang began to appear embarrassed. His pupils dilated and contracted, as if he was nervous, fearful, or exhilarated, and he had even begun to uncontrollably pull the flag out of excitement. Life's instinct was to survive and continue. When life feels extreme pressure, in addition to the spontaneous will resist the pressure breakthrough, will also be due to the sense of crisis and give birth to a strong desire to reproduce. However, the instructor had already reminded them that during the process of the evolution declaration bracelet taking effect, all kinds of extreme emotions would be generated, and all they had to do was to endure and restrain themselves, overcoming their instincts until the training goal was accomplished. Xin Yang tried his best to restrain his instinctive agitation. Although he had a little bit of strain, his stamina stayed very good and still remained in the first echelon, but in the fourth position. And the second and third echelons behind him began to diverge as well. The only two left in the second echelon were Kuche and Guziyu, and these two also had veins rippling from their foreheads and necks, appearing to be struggling. Even under the influence of various negative emotions, their expressions appeared a bit hideous. Among these two, Guziyu's performance was extremely exaggerated, with obvious electric arcs and sparks on her body surface, which seemed to be related to her mastery of dimensional power. Kuche, on the other hand, was unable to tell from his appearance what kind of dimensional power he was mastering, but likewise provided no small assistance in resisting pressure. The two of them used to be old acquaintances with Chen Fan Yu and Lin Yuan, and as they watched their former friends and rivals run ahead of them, there was also Lu Rue who appeared out of nowhere and threatened to give them some education. Naturally, the two of them were not willing to lag behind, and they tried their best to catch up with their teeth. The second echelon was like this, and the remaining four were divided into the third and fourth echelons. Their appearance was even worse, but in the end, they held on to the idea of wanting to reach their training goal and tried to hold on. So they ran for another six kilometers. 
In the first echelon, Lin Yuan actually looked physically exhausted, and his speed began to fall. He looked at Chen Fan Yuan himself getting farther and farther away, his expression extremely unwilling. Although Qin Yang was still pulling the flag, he had excellent stamina and maintained his speed. He even had the energy left over to check Lu Rui's status and hissed in a low voice. It's hard to see, you're a necromancy department, but your physical strength is actually this strong? Although Lu Rui was also gasping for air, he still had 80% of his physical strength, so he asked. Looking down on the necromancy department, then what department are you from? Heavy rock department, this is my home ground, I adapt to triple gravity very quickly. Qin Yang said with the corners of his mouth rising. His Yuan Fu attribute was heavy rock, and his battle skills were also related to gravity, so it was no wonder that he was able to withstand the pressure of the gravity bracelet and had plenty of physical strength. Moreover, under the stimulation of the evolution bracelet, he adapted to the triple gravity extremely fast, and the further the time went on, the less the triple gravity suppressed him, and the lighter the weight he carried. Even after talking to Lu Rui, Xin Yang accelerated his running speed. Ha, I'll go first. His speed increased drastically, and within 10 seconds, he was 5 or 6 meters away from the duo of Lu Rui and Chen Fanyu. Chen Fanyu frowned slightly at the sight, his pupils surfaced with red-colored fire lotus shadows occupying his entire eyes, even his red sparks of fire appeared on his eyebrows and the tips of his hair. He sped up, not wanting to let Qin Yang run ahead of him at all. He he, you're the only ones with a backup hidden energy right? Lu Rui took a deep breath, the necrotic endurance, active effect opened, and the necrotic power stored within the Yuan Fu began to transform into physical strength. Not only was Lu Rui's basic physical strength five times that of a normal person, he could even convert his blue bar into physical strength. Physical strength was Lu Rui's greatest advantage. He no longer retained his physical strength and his speed increased drastically. He even ran to the front of Qin Yang and Shen Fan Yu in one breath. This undoubtedly stimulated the two behind, telling the duo to speed up and catch up. The sudden rise in competitive pressure also stimulated the evolution bracelet effect. The evolution bracelet stimulated the evolution of the three people at a higher power, during which all sorts of hormone secretions were disrupted, and the physical body uncontrollably produced all sorts of instinctive reactions. Even Chen Fanyu could not completely control his body with his willpower at this moment. Chen Fanyu's eyebrows and the tips of his hair all burned up, appearing as crimson flames. Tears flowed out of the corners of his eyes uncontrollably, and his tear ducts were out of control. As for Qin Yang, his control was already weak, and now that the instinctive desire of his physical body was soaring, his appearance became even more wretched. His mouth and eyes were lopsided, snot, tears and saliva were out of control, and his hideous expression was inexplicably a bit joyful. However, Qin Yang's perseverance was firm and he kept speeding up to catch up. He maintained his sanity, he knew that the faster the evolutionary efficiency was, the more favorable it would be for him, the more he would be able to adapt to the triple gravity, and by running all the way down, the pressure on him would instead become less and less. For him, persistence was victory. As for Lu Rue, he was also affected by the negative impact of the evolution bracelet, and even the necrotic mind, was a bit overwhelmed, it was difficult to suppress the primitive instincts of the physical body rampage, and the stupidity was about to appear embarrassing. But at this time the panel popped up a reminder. Talent enhancement, necrotic mind, 10 out of 10. Talent advancement. Ehe, I've upgraded. Necromantic mind, limit breaking, 0 slash 100. Passive effect, strengthen spirit resistance, spirit sense. Active effect, consume a certain amount of necromantic power to break through or suppress mental control. The moment his talent was upgraded, Lu Rue clearly felt that his ability to control his body had increased drastically. This control was not only about concentration, musculoskeletal movement, and instinctive restraint of desire, but also deepened on the basis of these. The passive effect strengthened mental resistance, and Lu Rue's spirit became tougher, able to withstand greater mental pressure and mental attacks. Spiritual sensing, on the other hand, allowed him to feel the changes in his body and mind in greater detail. An inch of muscle in the flesh, every bone, the flow of blood, the organs are active. Every tissue of the body he could sense in depth, experiencing the specific functioning of the body tissues. At the same time, dead spirit mind also has an active effect that can dispel interference and control on the spiritual level after it is cast, and this dispelling effect can also affect the physical body. Simply put, the necromantic mind has a certain purifying and control-free effect. The high-intensity pressure excites the evolution bracelet power, causing the flesh's primal desire to run riot. However, Lu Rue's talent upgraded in time, obtained new effects, and took the initiative to perform, not only to suppress all the extreme desires of the spiritual level, and even in the necrotic mind, as control-free effect, his body's abnormally disordered hormones began to gradually return to normal. It was as if entering an 18-degree air-conditioned room and a 40-degree Celsius hot weather was as cool and cozy as that. 
The negative effects of the evolution bracelet were all exempted by him, and the benefits were all taken in. In addition to the necrotic mind, talent advancement, other talents also have full growth, including necrotic endurance, is also close to the edge of the breakthrough. There is also Lu Rui's basic attributes continue to improve. Currently the full attributes have been raised by one unit. And the evolution value accumulation had also reached six points. With such a significant increase, his heart felt satisfied. This physical training class is fantastic. Lu Rue gained a full boost, and the effect of triple gravity seemed to become less obvious on him. He accelerated his pace and his running speed was getting faster and faster. He was still in the first echelon with Chen Fan Yu and Qin Yang. It was just that Lu Rue was about four body lengths faster than the other two. Now that Lu Rue had increased his speed, these two were definitely not willing to lag behind. Chen Fanyu's hair seemed to be on the verge of bursting into flames, appearing dense red-colored flames, his expression managing to gradually show signs of letting go, tears flowing uncontrollably, drifting behind him. However, when the cumulative run reached around 11 kilometers, he also seemed to have broken through the limit under the continuous stimulation of the evolution bracelet, achieving a certain degree of evolution. His hideous look gradually calmed down, his many negative desires suppressed, and bright red sparks of fire appeared on his bare skin, fingers and soles of his feet during the running process as well. Chen Fan language's speed increased and catching up with Lu Rui wasn't a very strenuous task anymore. Xin Yang didn't finish his evolutionary accumulation that quickly, but he fought for his breath, after all, before the class, he had already made an appointment with Lu Rui to use his strength to see the real thing, so right now, no matter what, he didn't want to lose in the long distance running to Lu Rui. Even if it was extremely painful, he gritted his teeth and insisted on not falling behind. To 12 kilometers, that is, halfway through the 31st circle. Qin Yang had finally completed the accumulation of evolution. His evolutionary breakthrough fit his Yuan Fu attribute, greatly increasing his resistance to triple gravity and having some control over his fleshly body's negative desires. Triple gravity seemed to be non-existent to him, and as the Yuan Fu attribute advantage finally came into play, Qin Yang finally squeezed out a smile on that hideous face. Like taking off all the weight, Qin Yang's speed increased drastically, reaching 11 meters per second. At the 13th kilometer, he surpassed Lu Rue and grabbed the first position. Seeing this, Lu Rue's eyes narrowed slightly as he began to increase his speed, challenging his limits once again. At this moment, his talent, necromantic endurance, had already completed its breakthrough. Necromantic endurance, breakthrough limit, 1 slash 100. Passive effect, base physical strength increased by 10 times, flesh resistance increased. Active effect, efficiency of drawing power from the necrotic plane is increased by 1x, can consume a certain amount of necrotic power to dispel or suppress negative physical states. The upper limit of physical strength is increased, the efficiency of physical strength recovery is increased, flesh body resistance is increased, and negative states of the torso can be dispelled. The fleshly body was further strengthened, allowing Lu Rue to also possess the capital to fight against the triple gravity and speed up again. As the duo in front of him increased their speed, Chen Fan Yu also increased his speed. He abandoned his comfort zone and once again pushed himself to the edge of his limits, his expression began to distort again as tears fluttered from his eyes. Tisk, these three students are really desperate. The instructors watching sked. The students currently on the runway, aside from the three who were still competing in the first echelon, the remaining seven were already scattered out of formation. Han Mingjie, the slowest, was currently running at a speed of 4 meters per second before she could finish 6 kilometers. This is three times the gravity, if you just lie down or sit then it's still good, but this also has to run up, but also run fast, my first year of enlistment has not been so hard to pull through. That young instructor surnamed you felt pain as he watched. That's why people are geniuses, this is the top student of the top students. Sher Wei nodded and said, let's hope that a divine general will come out of these students in the future. Another instructor murmured, don't just look at the first three, keep an eye on the last few as well, five of those seven have already had danger alert feedback on their bracelets. A round-faced female instructor said, the bracelets used by the students, in addition to increasing training intensity and training gains, also had the function of capturing human body information and feeding it back to the instructor's electronic tablet. Some of the students were already showing signs of overwork and organ failure. Not only the back seven, but just the first three were all in a near-death state in terms of their physical condition. Lu Rue's muscles and bones were able to support three times the gravity, but his internal organs and blood vessels hadn't been strengthened with specialized talents, and at most, only one of his hearts had been strengthened by liquid muscle, allowing his body's blood to keep running smoothly, but not the other organs. Although the necromantic endurance, talent allowed Lu Rue to remain physically fit without eating or drinking, making most of the body's organs other than the brain and heart become a pose. But that didn't mean that these organs didn't exist. 
In the triple gravity and strenuous exercise, these organs damage and it's serious, even with evolution bracelet, urging these organs to evolve and adapt to the new environment, but Lu Rue to enhance the intensity of the movement, but also far more than the speed of these organs to evolve and adapt, the organs are in full failure and broken. He could feel a strong bloody odor coming from his mouth, and also detected internal bleeding in the organs. The school said they would provide medical support and want us to practice to the death, right? Lu Rue spat in his heart, but his speed didn't drop in the slightest, and even increased upwards. When he ran to 18 kilometers, his talent, liquid muscle, completed its breakthrough. Talent breakthrough. Liquid muscle, limit breaking, 0 slash 100. Passive effect. Muscle strength effect enhanced by 2. 5 times. Active effect. Consuming necrotic power, muscles are transformed into liquid, the upper limit of power increase is increased to 4 times. Lu Rue's muscle strength was increased significantly, doubling the passive effect and doubling the active effect. His muscle limit strength increased to 4 times the original. If he were to fight Chin Fan Yu again like he did at noon, Lu Rue's strongest punch would not be a simple 500 kilograms of force, but a huge force of over 4 tons. With his muscle strength so strengthened, Lu Rue's speed skyrocketed, and in just a few breaths he surpassed Qin Yang and led a distance of 30 meters in 10 seconds. Qin Yang and Chen Fanya's eyes went straight as they watched, and the two reacted by snapping into action to catch up regardless. Their bodies were also in a state of near death, and after ignoring it, blood began to seep out of their eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. Chen Fan language is even more exaggerated, his outflow of blood are with a bit of red sparks. And Lu Rue's internal organs were also in a terrible state, with warm blood flowing down uncontrollably from the corners of his mouth and eyes. Under the skyrocketing muscle power, his bones were even a bit overburdened, but fortunately the Yi bone creation, talent allowed Lu Rue to take the initiative to consume necrotic power to strengthen his bones and repair the damage. At this moment, the three of them had already finished running 19 kilometers, and this competition was finally nearing the end, to the sprint stage. Lu Rue was on fire, and a white mist appeared within his body. He finally began to use the talent rune, Pale Calamity. The mist filled his heart and brain and the skeletal muscles of his limbs, and did not flow onto the surface of his body. The ability of, Pale Calamity, Lu Rue hadn't been developed much yet, but the Pale Calamity base effect had the effect of a full attribute boost and consumption reduction. In this race, any tiny bit of basic growth, after Lu Rue many natural effects of amplification, bring enhancement is not to be ignored. His sudden powerful outburst caught the other two off guard, even if they also speed up to catch up, also frantically stimulate the effect of the evolution bracelet, but in the end there was not enough time to complete the new evolution, did not have time to break through their own limits. Lu Rue crossed the finish line first. At the moment of completing the 20 km triple gravity run, the instructor closed his gravity bracelet and evolution bracelet. As if removing an extremely heavy burden, Lu Rue felt as if he had ascended in general. He successively turned off the active talent effects other than, necrotic mind, and, necrotic endurance. The purpose of keeping, necromantic mind, was to shield the body from intense fatigue and pain, which was a horrible pain that could make a person faint. Necromantic endurance, is because Lu Rue's body organs are exhausted and broken, after lifting the necromantic endurance, he will really enter the dying state immediately. However, even with the two necromantic talents hanging onto his life, Lu Rue couldn't help but spit out a mouthful of turbid and scarlet liquid after running to the finish line. The liquid contained blood, digestive fluids, tiny pieces of organs and so on. Under this kind of intense and inhuman training, his body was really messed up into a pot of miscellaneous soup. He seemed to be able to stand, but in reality, half of his life was already gone. Medics. Move out. Instructor Sher Wei ordered. Immediately, there were medics to repair Lu Rue's body and restore his physical abilities. The means adopted by the medics were not the traditional surgical incisions and stitches, but the use of other dimensional forces. Lu Rui briefly observed, combined with the knowledge in the textbook, the medical staff probably used the Blood Nest Realm's flesh and blood repair technology and the Sen's Realm's specialty life potion. Lu Rui didn't know how many contribution points this set of treatments by the medics was worth, but it certainly wasn't low. The only request Lu Rui made during the healing process was to fill himself with a little more stamina potion. Five seconds after Lu Rui completed his sprint, Xin Yang and Chen Fan Yu completed their sprint in no particular order. After completing the sprint, the instructor just turned off the effect of their bracelets, and Qin Yang looked at Lu Rue. He opened his mouth to say something, but he spat out a mouthful of blood and was pulled away by the paramedics for treatment. Chen Fan Yu was no exception, but in the mouthful of blood he spat out, there was actually a burning red flame. When instructor Shi Wei saw the red flame, his eyes flickered as if he had associated it with something, and then his face changed slightly. Immediately afterward, he looked at Lu Rue in a bit of confusion and muttered in his heart. This child called Lu Rue is awesome, the competitor's talent is very likely to be the fire-bathing red lotus, how did he manage to evolve faster than the fire-bathing red lotus? 
As an active warrior, Shirwei is very clear about what bathing fire red lotus means, as far as he himself understands, there are five god generals in the great Xia kingdom who harbor the bathing fire red lotus talent, and those five people or none of them are the top pillars of the human race, and they are the Jingua stone. Those five people can have such brilliant achievements, the fire bath red lotus this special talent rune to provide great help, to help them win a lot of extremely difficult battles. It could be said that the fire bathing red lotus was the symbol of the future strong, and it was not too much to say that it was even a spiritual totem. So, how on earth was this necromancy student named Lu Rui even more fierce than the fire bathing red lotus? Xin Yang was able to gain a certain advantage in his training results because of his special Yuan Fu attribute, something Shi Wei had expected. But Lu Rui was different, he was of the necromancy department, and did not have battle techniques to strengthen his physical quality. Shi Wei's mind was speculative and confused until he learned that Lu Rui had been severely traumatized during this training. Lu Rui's internal organs could be said to be completely necrotic except for his heart. If there was no timely medical assistance, in Shi Wei's opinion, when the long distance running was over, I'm afraid that it wouldn't take 5 minutes for Lu Rui to die violently on the spot. This kid was completely fighting for his life. Or the kind that wants to fight himself to death. Compared to this, Chen Fanyu's physical state was much better, although his organs were also failing, it was not to the extent that his life was in danger. This explains instructor Shi Wei's confusion. Lu Rui had relied on his perseverance and determination to fight for his life to overcome the abilities of the demonic genius who possessed the gifted runes. After realizing this, even though Shi Wei was a dozen years older than Lu Rui, Shi Wei still sincerely appreciated this student's behavior. However, he did not say anything on his lips, and after confirming that Lu Rui's body was rapidly getting better under the rescue treatment, he then looked towards the remaining seven students. Lu Rui's trio, on the other hand, accepted the treatment peacefully. Around five minutes or so, Chen Fan Yu and Qin Yang all completed their healing, their faces were a little pale, but their body functions had returned to normal. But, at this time Lu Rui was still lying down, the two medical staff, still busy repairing the body damage to him. Although being taken the lead, the heart is a little bit not taste, but Chen Fan Yu is still quite concerned about the sight of the medical staff asked. Doctor, how is his condition? Oh, his physical condition is much worse than yours, it needs to take a little more time, this child is really don't want to die. The doctor said. Chen Fan Yu sniffed her eyes and murmured a wordless sentence. So it's more desperate than me. He clenched his hands, both a little admiring, but also a little unwilling and ashamed. And Qin Yang's expression was also rich with both displeasure and a bit of admiration, and even a bit of embarrassment. He didn't say anything. After all, they won in a dignified manner. He was thinking about how he should end up next, he still had to fight with Lu Rui. Lu Rui was quite relaxed, under the state of, necrotic mind, he couldn't feel any pain, during the time of healing, he began to check his gains. In addition to the previous three major talent enhancements of the necromancy department, he also has the three talents of, resistant bone skeleton, bone creation, objective selection, that have received breakthroughs. Among them, the panel of, object competition, showed after completing the breaking of the limit. Things to do breaking limits, 0 out of 100. Accumulate evolution points to complete the breakthrough and you will receive more basic attributes and talent ability enhancement. The race of things, is a talent that needs to accumulate full evolution points before it can take effect to gain benefits, while completing the breakthrough brings enhancement that doubles the talent benefits. It was worth mentioning that Lu Rui had also gained 16 evolution points from this long distance training and competition. The intensity of Lu Rui's participation in this training could be so much higher and last longer than when he was sparring with Chen Fanyu at noon. For the entire 20 kilometers, according to the instructor's records, he ran for 52 minutes, which was close to an hour of training time. Lu Rui was not only fighting against triple gravity and primal instincts but also competing with Qin Yang and Qin Fan Yu, two formidable rivals, the intensity of such battles was extremely high, and Lu Rui also defeated both of them. Immediately, Lu Rui gained 16 points of evolution value. He even calculated that with such high intensity training, he only needed to come back for a maximum of 7 more fights, and he would be able to save up enough of the required evolutionary value. In addition to the enhancements other than talent, Lu Rui's basic attributes also to strengthen. Each of the four basic attributes received a total of two. Four units of enhancement, and the panel showed. Strength 18. 1. Agility 15. 4. Physique 16. 4. Spirit 21. 6. The strength attribute increase represented that his punching power could reach over 900 kilograms of punching power under normal circumstances. After turning on the limit of, liquid muscle, his punching power could even reach a level above 3. 6 tons. The most significant increase brought about by the enhancement of the physical strength attribute was the increase in the number of summons Lu Ruining could sacrifice every day. 
Under the necromantic endurance enchantment, he could summon 32 small skeleton soldiers in one breath just by using his physical strength. Coupled with the increased recovery efficiency, ideally, Lu Rue could have the stamina to summon 320 small skeletons a day. One of the spiritual attributes even broke through the 20 mark, reaching a level of 21. 6. Bountiful Harvest Ah, Great Harvest Ah. Even in the emotionless state of necromantic mind, Lu Rue could still feel a strong sense of satisfaction. After the doctor repaired all of his internal organs and restored his health, he couldn't wait to lift the active effects of necromantic mind and necromantic endurance. Desire and emotion returned. The first thing that happened was pain and exhaustion, as well as a strong urge to indulge and vent. But these were all within a controllable range, Lu Rue's mental attributes were strong enough to endure and control them, and what he felt more obviously was the joy of his mind and body due to his evolution. He is more adaptable to gravity, more resistant to all kinds of extreme emotions, even his relatively fragile internal organs have been significantly strengthened after repair, and with the same intensity of training, his internal organs won't be so fragile next time. Even if he did not turn on the many talent active effects, after completing this physical training, he had a kind of joy that transformed his body. This joy surged to his heart, causing Lu Rue to feel 200% happiness. I feel like now mine can be 10 of what I had before. Lu Rue clenched his fist and murmured softly. After he recovered, both Qin Yang and Chen Fanyue who had been paying attention to him. Chen Fanyue's face was calm, but his tone was a little less calm as he said. Great, better than me, but I will also become stronger and more aware, but the same contest, next time I will defeat you. Lu Rue noticed the silhouette of a red-colored fire lotus appearing in the pupils of Chen Fanyue's eyes. Qin Yang also hugged his arms and said in a slightly irritated tone. Gravity training is my strong point, this time it's considered that you're a bit more skillful, next training session, I'll definitely get back. Their three today's physical training ended here, the next physical training would be tomorrow. It looked like both Chen Fan Yu and Qin Yang thought they had gained enough benefits from this gravity training. However, Lu Rui laughed at Qin Yang. There's no need to wait for the next training, remember the appointment we made before class? You can come and try it right after class. Qin Yang stunk up his face, snorted coldly, and rubbed his fists, saying. Since you still mention it, then I'll follow suit, don't leave after class, let's compete here, I can do more than just gravity training. Then I'm looking forward to your methods. Lu Rue nodded. Then he asked the medical staff for a few bottles of stamina potions. In the, the outside world, one contribution point was equivalent to a thousand dollars, and one could only obtain 50 milliliters of stamina potion, but in the training ground, it was actually provided free of charge. The medical staff probably prepared two large buckets with a total of 30 liters of strength potion which was for the students to recover their strength after the extreme training. Apart from the rules of not taking it away, not wasting it, and eating it now, Lu Rue didn't need to pay any price to receive the strength potion. He naturally wouldn't miss this opportunity to whore himself out, asking for 3 liters of stamina potion, gulping it down, and restoring all of his stamina and Yuan Fu energy to full. At this moment, 15 minutes had passed since the three of them completed their training. Lin Yuan finished his training after 1 hour and 11 minutes, only after he rushed to the finish line, his gaze was tightly fixed on Lu Rue. When he finished the treatment, the first words he said were towards Lu Rue. You're even stronger than Chen Fan Yu, I've decided on you as my opponent. But who knows, once Lin Yuan said this, Chen Fan Yu became a little emotional as the latter grunted and said, He's strong, that's only temporary, and only limited to this physical training. Lin Yuan now gazed at Chen Fan Yu and said, I will likewise defeat you. After saying that, Lin Yuan asked for a few physical strength potions, and after drinking them, he sat down and focused on his cultivation. He was scrambling to ignite the first note of the Yuan Fu. When someone opened the inner scroll, the others naturally did not fall behind, Qin Yang and Shen Fan Yu similarly followed suit. Lu Rui, however, was a bit helpless, now that he had lifted the Yi necrotic mind, and had just completed a successive breakthrough limit training, he more or less didn't quite want to practice and wanted to be lazy for a while. Seeing the surrounding people are practicing, Lu Rue scratched his hair, once again opened the necromantic mind and necromantic endurance, running the underworld view to continue practicing. However, this time he started practicing, Lu Rue clearly felt that this time his practice was different. The efficiency of his cultivation had obviously increased a lot compared to last night. He originally estimated that in the most ideal state, it would take him a day and a half to ignite the first node. However, after completing the gravity training, both his spirit and physical body had improved drastically, driving the efficiency of his cultivation. It would probably only take an hour and a half for him to ignite the first node. Lu Rue focused on his cultivation. And at 1 hour and 27 minutes, the 5th place Gu Ziyu had just finished her sprint. The moment she sprinted her whole body was sparking with electricity, her expression was wretched, and her clothes and pants were all wet. After the medical staff finished the treatment, 
Gu Ziyu went to the independent bathroom to simply clean her body and change her clothes before reappearing. Her hair was wet and plastered on her shoulders and cheeks. Gu Ziyu looked at Lu Rue, who was concentrating on her training, and she lightly bit her lower lip, with an obvious reluctance in her expression. After the first physical training, the gap between the two of them was so obvious, she could no longer say that Lu Rue was relying on the school's extra resources to get better grades than herself, and to finish Kaiyuan before herself, right? This made her a bit frustrated, but Gu Ziyu still quickly adjusted her mindset, secretly saying in her heart, It's not like physical ability is my forte, I'll find my way back elsewhere. After adjusting his mindset, Gu Ziyu took a few bottles of physical strength potions and similarly plunged into Yuanfu cultivation. Three minutes later, Ku Che sprinted, similarly woefully out of shape, or rather the six students after Lin Yuan were all tortured by the gravity bracelet and the evolution bracelet, and apart from being able to maintain the perseverance to stick to the training so that they could take a step, most of the rest of their bodies, they couldn't control. After running and receiving treatment, each of them went into the bathroom to change their clothes and organize their image before they could show up. Until the last Zhao Shuangning spent two hours and ten minutes to complete the training. The instructor will all ten students' results collection is completed. The file is clearly Lu Rue in today's training program ranked first. Sher Wei also gave a comment. Tough-minded, unafraid of challenges, fearless of pain and suffering, courageous to compete for the top spot. Good, today's training ends here. Instructor Sher Wei announced. Although the students had stamina potions to restore their physical abilities, the intense training that repeatedly pushed the limits still brought about a sense of exhaustion in the mind. Geniuses were also divided into three, six, nine classes, and the last few who had completed their training were clearly showing fatigue. Hearing the instructor announce the end, they subconsciously sighed in relief. Lu Rue didn't feel too much fatigue, even with his mind calculating the progress of his Yuanfu cultivation, probably another half an hour of cultivation, he would be able to successfully ignite the first node. Now the instructor called them up, and then each student distributed a merit stone. Instructor Sher Wei said, This Gongfa stone records a large number of fighting techniques and weapon usage methods, after using it you will be able to initially master the fighting techniques in it, and the fighting training and cold weapon training will also be part of the class we will be conducting tomorrow in addition to the physical training. After putting the Gongfu stone to use, you guys can be dismissed from class. The students, including Lu Rue, were no strangers to the Gongfu stone and quickly absorbed the fighting techniques within it. Lu Rue savored the dozens of additional fighting techniques in his mind. There was no lack of subtle techniques that guided power generation, and Lu Rue realized the value of them after a little bit of enlightenment. His current basic arm strength was around 350 kilograms, and after using rough power generation techniques, his punching power could be at the level of 900 kilograms. After mastering the subtle power technique, he can mobilize more muscle power when he punches, and his punching power can be increased to 1,200 kilograms. On top of this power base, Lu Rui then used the extreme quadruple increase of liquid muscle, his fist power could be close to the terrifying 5 tons. However, this kind of skill is something that still needs to be honed through actual combat in order to become more and more mature and skillful. Lu Rui was already looking forward to tomorrow's fighting class. Of course, right now, he also had a good test fist target. Qin Yang. Lu Rui shouted. Oomph, waiting for you, come on. Qin Yang didn't look too good, but he still responded. Lu Rui's excellent performance in physical training proved that he didn't rely on pulling strings and going through the back door to get the school's resources to take care of him, he really had the corresponding strength. Anyone with eyes could see this, and Qin Yang was no exception. Qin Yang had realized that he had probably kicked the iron plate, but he was not afraid to fight. How could a genius not have some pride? Besides, Lu Rui is only 5 or 6 seconds faster than him in training, this is not a gap that can make people feel intimidated, and it is not impossible to fight. Seeing that there will be a fight, the other 8 people have no intention of leaving. Especially by Lu Rue earlier to the other 5 people, they all want to take the opportunity to see Lu Rue in the actual combat performance. The two were facing each other on the lawn 10 meters apart. Qin Yang took a deep breath, the muscles of his entire body began to bulge, and his bare skin took on an extra texture that resembled mountain rock as he said. I received two battle skills after completing the opening of the Yuan, one is called heavy rock forging technique and the other is called ultra gravity field, the former practicing the body, the latter main strengthening come controlling effect. What about you? A layer of bone armor appeared on Lu Rui's fists. Skeleton plated armor, main defense, the other one feet exchange privilege, I took it to obtain the summon necrotic creature contract. Qin Yang raised an eyebrow at this and asked. That means you. Only use one battle technique to fight me? Not only Qin Yang, the other eight could see that Lu Rui was at a disadvantage in terms of battle skills. Gu Ziyu secretly assessed in his heart when he saw this. Qin Yang has a battle skill enhancement, but Lu Rui's physical quality should be very good, 
he should be able to catch up with the gap in battle skills based on his physical quality alone, but he should still be a bit short. Lu Rui, however, laughed. Enough. Xin Yang's eyebrows tightened, revealing a vicious look as he laughed. Surname Lu, I recognize that you get results in training, but you don't want to be too crazy ow, be careful of the next I punch you in the face. Lu Rue just took out his cell phone from his pocket, adjusted it to take video mode and placed it on the playground. It's okay to shoot, right? He asked. As you wish. Qin Yang coldly grunted. After Lu Rue set up the camera, he said regarding Qin Yang. Start. Good. The battle began. Bang. Like a violent sound inspired by a bullet. High speed movement triggered a disturbance in the airflow that brought up a strong wind. The bangs of the bystander girls were lifted up. The lawn where Lu Rue originally stood sank violently, leaving an extremely clear footprint. Almost in the blink of an eye, Lu Rue's figure flashed in front of Qin Yang. Now that there was no triple gravity suppression, Lu Rue's explosive movement speed was truly displayed. So fast. Qin Yang's pupils contracted, he almost only had time to set up his arms, and the next moment Lu Rue's fist struck his body. Boom. It was like a copper pillar hitting a bell, emitting an extremely dull and heavy sound. This punch, Lu Rue even collected a little force, afraid to break the person, only used only two tons of force to do a little test. But Qin Yang was still sent flying by a punch. Qin Yang's feet left the ground, and his body inevitably flew out three meters backwards. Even after the soles of his shoes touched the ground, the tremendous force caused Qin Yang's legs to inevitably cut two six-meter trails on the lawn. Lu Rue knocked Qin Yang back nine meters with a single punch. After Qin Yang stood firmly on his feet, his expression was stunned. Although he knew that Lu Rue's physical quality was definitely not low, but how could he not expect himself to receive a punch from the other party as if he had been hit hard by a car? Qin Yang's arms were numb, and for a while he could not lift both of his arms. He murmured a little incredulously. How come the difference between strength and speed is so big? Even in physical training my performance wasn't that much worse than his ah? Qin Yang was a bit self-doubting. But what he didn't know was that in training everyone was relying on battle skills to strengthen their physical fitness against triple gravity. Qin Yang even had the Yuan Fu attribute advantage and became the one who was least affected by the triple gravity among everyone present. Equivalent to other people carrying a ton of heavy stone training, Qin Yang only carry half a ton of weight, and even the weight is getting lighter and lighter. Lu Rue didn't have battle skill enhancement, he was purely relying on his physical strength and talent to resist the triple gravity to complete his training. To a certain extent, all the others were all sorts of battle technique means to take advantage of the situation, only Lu Rue was honestly relying on numerical values and talent to resist it hard. So his physical body had thus gained great benefits in the evolution of his training, sharpening to the point where it surpassed the other nine, and was not at all comparable to something like Qin Yang, who was able to reduce his load through a special advantage. They say that when the tide goes out, you know who's swimming naked. When the triple gravity suppression lifted, Lu Rue sharpened the powerful physical strength was visually displayed. Qin Yang was hit by this punch, the three views are a little shaken. On the contrary, Lu Rue, after he punched out did not pursue, but retracted his fist, at this moment you can see that his right hand covered with bone armor all shattered into powder. Even Lu Rue's own defensive battle technique was already far from being able to withstand the powerful force he had erupted at this moment. The people around him all witnessed this overwhelming power of his. Among them, Chen Fan Yu was breathing the most sharply. So strong, he's gotten so strong. Chen Fan Yu had sparred with Lu Rue at noon, of course he knew the approximate strength of Lu Rue a few hours ago, and right now the punching power Lu Rue had shown was already five times more than what it had been a short while ago. Even this does not seem to be the upper limit of Lu Rue. Lu Rue's growth speed called Chen Fan Yu extremely shocked. He tightened his fists, thinking about whether he could currently outperform Lu Rue in terms of pure strength. But the more he pondered and measured, the heavier and more complicated his mood became. It was hard, very hard. Even if he executed two major battle techniques at the same time to strengthen his physical strength, then at most he could only tie with Lu Rue, or even only have a 40 to 60 split. Lu Rue is 6. If one wanted to fight to a draw, one would still have to rely on skill and maneuvering, not hard contact. But today at noon when they sparred, the gap between the two was not so obvious. It was even Shin Fan Yu who had the advantage in terms of strength, but now it seemed to be the other way around? Although Chun Fan Yue had also gained great benefits from training in the evolutionary bracelet effect, Lu Rui's desperate training attitude seemed to have gained more benefits from training than himself. Although he didn't really want to admit it, but in terms of physical strength alone, without any battle skills, Lu Rui would be far superior to himself. Chen Fan Yu's mood was one of both slight admiration and a strong sense of pressure. The fire lotus shadow emerged in the pupils of his eyes, he never wanted to lag behind. Chen Fan Yu's heart was restless, and the others were similarly heavy especially Gu Ziyu, she had originally predicted that Qin Yang would be able to have a comeback, 
But now it seemed that it was almost impossible for everyone present to fight Lu Rue hard in terms of power at the moment. Gu Ziyu had previously agreed to fight with Lu Rue. Now it was Qin Yang, and before long, it would be Gu Ziyu's turn. She wasn't the type to admit defeat, so she analyzed in her mind how to gain an advantage against Lu Rue. As for Lu Rue himself, after repelling Qin Yang with a punch, he smiled and asked. Still want to continue? Qin Yang's face was embarrassed, but he still admitted stiffly. Can't fight, count me in. He was not known for his speed, in the case where his defense and strength were no match for Lu Rue's violence, if he fought hard again, the one who would be violently beaten would only be himself. Lu Rue sniffed, then swung his fist, smiling and flirting. Ah, really do not fight? Then I defeat you, but it only takes one punch. Qin Yang sniffed, stinking and cursing. Heh, surnamed Lu, don't be too arrogant now, I admit that you're strong now, but 30 years east of the river, 30 years west of the river, it's not like I won't improve. Lu Rue sniffed, his eyebrows raised, not sure if he should answer, the sun must not be kept at this time. Qin Yang rubbed his arm which had just received a punch, spat out a breath and said after a cold snort. I can tell you, my Yuan Fu life skill is earth hard heavy Yuan skill, every time I ignite a Yuan Fu node, my physical quality and battle skill strength will be greatly improved, at that time, we will fight again, do you dare to take it? Yo, you want to fight again? Lu Rue sniffed and probably knew that Qin Yang's bottom line was the Yuan Fu life skill. Qin Yang's heavy rock realm attribute, which was the second realm that humans had obtained, had been developed and accumulated for 30 years, and definitely possessed many powerful heavy rock system feats. Qin Yang felt that he possessed an advantage in feats, and was certain that he could catch up with Lu Rue and get back on the field. Lu Rue couldn't really say that the combat techniques of the necromancy department would have an advantage over the heavy rock department in single combat. However, he also noticed that because this match was too easy to win, defeating Qin Yang didn't give him any evolutionary value growth at all. Thus, he then laughed. Alright, I'll take it, but I have a request, at least let me make a few more moves next time. Oomph, I will. Qin Yang coldly snorted. Lu Rue, on the other hand, went to retrieve his cell phone, looked at the captured video and said to Qin Yang, Your class 3 is making a lot of noise, and in the comments section of the school's posting bar, you've been asking me about where your class 3's boss Qin is inferior to me and whatnot. Now that I have the evidence, I'll take it and post it? Since this morning, the school forums has been buzzing with arguments over Lu Rue and class 2's matter throughout the senior section. Class 2 has been subjected to a lot of criticism, although the acting class president Yu Yi Fluorescence Organization students reasoned to maintain the reputation of Class 2, but after all, the current still did not come up with strong evidence. Qin Yang's face darkened as he watched his defeat being taken to a public execution, but he waved his hand and muttered, Just send it out, it's not like I can't afford to lose. Then he turned around, slightly autistic, and pulled out his own cell phone, looking at it as he left the training ground. The other Kaiyuan top 10 others had mixed emotions. With such a peer by their side, they either marveled or felt pressure, either urgently stepping up their cultivation not wanting to be overpowered by themselves, or had the idea of befriending and getting to know each other. Chen Fan Yu and Lin Yuan continued to cultivate without stopping, these two people are very ambitious and energetic. Gu Ziyu also has nothing to say, she really wants to try to beat Lu Rue from other aspects, so she also left to study. Those who had the intention to defeat Lu Rue did not talk much and left individually and there were four others who were truly tossed around enough by the physical training to be mentally exhausted, and they were quite interested in exchanging ideas. Zhao Xuanning blinked and said, My mom was cautioning me to be careful with my words and behavior, and to keep a low profile and be humble, but she also said that there are just some special people, ah, and they can just easily shine brightly in the crowd. Said that I need to respect and learn from the strengths in these special people. Lu Rue smiled a little and wanted to laugh, the corners of his mouth turned up and said, Lingxi is a person with wisdom. Right, I feel the same way. Zhao Shuangning smiled at his words, two cute little tiger teeth appearing on the edge of his pink lips. Tian Tian, who had wheat-colored skin, on the other hand, asked with an embarrassed smile. I can't take a single punch from you, let's just have a friendly sparring session and make friends afterward, right? She was conceding, the gap was too big, the other people had the confidence to catch up, but Tian Tian was self-aware. Girls with good character and beautiful are always preferred. Lu Rue was nodding in agreement, but the men were a bit different. Ha, huh, so what, I also heard others say that the school arrangement is a bit of a problem, but hearing is believing, seeing is believing. I am now thinking that there is no problem at all with the school's arrangement. Zhang Jia scratched his hair and said in a slightly embarrassed manner. Lu Rue smiled unabated as he said. Alright, alright, we are also between classmates to practice and, practice a misunderstanding lifted on the good, we are, after all, classmates. Hearing that there is still a fight, Zhang face stiffened, and secretly complained bitterly in his heart. In his heart, he secretly screamed bitterly, it seems that this beating cannot be avoided. Let's get acquainted. My name is Han Mengjia. 
The girl with bangs and a beauty mole extends her hand to Lu Rue and makes a formal introduction. The girl was quite cold, but she stayed neutral from the start and didn't get involved in Lu Rue's dispute. Lu Rue then also shook the other party's hand in a pleasant manner and was considered to be formally acquainted. After dealing with all of the top 10 people in Kaiyuan, when Lu Rue left the training ground, he took out his cell phone and sent the video he just shot to the school forum with a caption of the school's top 10 and a title of the school's top 10, and attached a caption friendly sparring, shooting, and posting with the other party's permission. It was already around 4.30 in the afternoon, and most of the upperclassmen were out of school and free, so they had a lot of time to eat melons or play against each other. The senior students who had been arguing so much were even more ushered in by a whole new storm after Lu Rue's post. Not to mention the other classes, let's talk about classes 2 and 3, the students in these two classes were the most confused and dismayed. But the difference is, class 2 was confused and surprised, while class 3 was deflated. Class 2 was instantly arrogant. Class 3 speaks. Still dare to say that our classes Lu Rue can't handle your classes Qin Yan? A bunch of class 2's voices raised their eyebrows in the comment section. Class 3 was still truthfully not straight, after all, the boss was punched to the point of admitting defeat. And among the many comments, there was also a comment posted by Qin Yang's account. I tried out for everyone, Lu Rue that person is really something, hammering my old pain. Ulu, my Qin boss, class 3 proud faith ah. This is the class 3 follow comment, a whale. There is no lack of students from other classes, eating melons and watching, flirting or pointing at Qin Yang's defeat. Qin Yang's fingers flew and began to divert his attention. It's okay, I'm not the only one who got hammered. Next there's Gu Ziyu, Lin Yuan, Ke Che, Tian Tian, Zhang. His dash, the feelings aren't over yet? The other classes were excited. Lu Rue this is to beat the entire senior class? What? This person is going to move our class Ziyu, where are the brothers from class 13, quickly protect our class Ziyu. He he, looking at this video revealing information that Lu Rue's fist power is at least 2 tons, one punch a little kid. How many of you in class 13 finished Kai Yuan? What do you take to fight with others? Shut up class 1, your class doesn't even have a top 10 in Kaiyuan. How excited and amazed the other classes were, the students of class 2 were so happy that they were not stingy with their praise for Lu Rue. Not to mention the students, even the homeroom teacher was secretly happy to see it. Old Wang sent a message to Lu Rue. Xiao Rue you today physical training is very smooth, I originally heard that this training is quite torturous, more or less still a little worried, but now it seems that you adapted very well ah. Uh. Adapted well? The kind that almost hangs? Lu Rue spat in his heart and then messaged old Wang back. Yes, I'm good, the school puts in really a lot of resources, the instructors and medical staff are all very responsible, and I've improved a lot. Old Wang messaged back again. Good good, my students are really strong, last night in the yearly section to open the teachers meeting, on our two classes have two Kaiyuan top 10, that is by the director of the focus on praise, you do not know, your teacher I was in the end how cool, you give our two classes to win the honor ah. I continue to work hard, continue to work hard. Lu Rue modestly replied, putting down the cell phone. Lu Rue thought about the other things he had to do at school today. Go to the logistics office to exchange the special incense used for cultivation. By the way, check if those silver-skinned wolf fish can be cooked and eaten. Lu Rue took the remains of the necrotic skeleton he brought out from home and walked to the school's logistics office. After understanding that he provided small skeleton remains, the logistics office was able to accept them. Lu Rue was able to take it and exchange it for credits. Necrotic remains material has a certain value, has a special energy, about every 10 small skeleton bone powder can be exchanged for one credit. Lu Rue has 34 small skeleton remains on hand, equivalent to 3, 4 credits. This input-output ratio was indeed quite low, knowing that summoning a small skeleton was equivalent to spending 2 contribution points of stamina potion. However, Lu Rue's little skeleton remains are all leftover residue, the biggest benefit he has already gotten. Residue can also be recycled, that for Lu Rue that is earned. And in addition to the small skeleton materials can be recycled, such as the chattering bone bat and poisonous swamp big mouth also have some valuable recyclables. The chattering bone bat had two pairs of blood sucking fangs and a skeleton on its body, a pair of fangs for zero, one credits and a skeleton for zero, one credits. The poisonous swamp big mouth is its special stomach pouch and liquid muscle, a stomach pouch zero, two credits, the whole body liquid muscle zero, two credits. After Lu Rue understood the market, he immediately thought that before this, he had already summoned one chattering bone bat and six poisonous swamp big mouths, which amounted to two, seven credits. In the case of bone armor, it belonged to a more special bone powder, and there wasn't a standard recovery price. These remains of the necromantic creatures, Lu Rue kept them all, his Yuan Fu was able to store items related to the necromantic plane. It is equivalent to a special storage bag. 
However, what made Lu Rue a little disappointed was that the silverskin wolffish didn't have a recycling value in the school's logistics office. Because the Heaven's Choice system, as the earliest and deepest realm developed by humans, there were too many cultivators in the Heaven's Choice system, the production of related materials was just too large, and the costs were all brought down. The silverskin wolffish had some use value, but in the market, for one contribution point, one could purchase a hundred silverskin wolffish materials. This thing was so cheap and common that the school's logistics department didn't even accept it. Because of this, Lu Rue also understood another advantage of necromancy cultivators. The necromantic plane had a low level of development, the output of related items was low, and the market was expensive for things that were scarce, and at the same quality and cost, the price that necromantic department items sold for was just going to be a whole lot higher. I'll have to make more necromancy type summons in the future, Lu Rue said in his heart. He had already obtained the special talent of the Heaven's Choice Department, things to choose, and the Silver Skin Wolfish's earnings were even far less than the Necromancy Department's little skeleton. However, Lu Rue also learned that the Silver Skin Wolfish was still useful, it could be used to make soup, the fish meat was firm and elastic, and there was also a certain effect of strengthening the potential of the physical body, but it needed to be consumed for a long period of time. And after understanding all these, Lu Rue took all the necromantic creature materials on hand to exchange for credits. 34 small skeleton skeletons, 1 chattering bone bat, 6 toxic swamp mouths. He earned 6. 1 credits. Then he began to purchase the necessary cultivation aids. It was called, meditation bomb incense. It was a kind of bomb-like object that, when lit, could release a special fragrance that strengthened the practitioner's spiritual power, allowing him to better sense the necromantic plane and perform his visualization methods. Of course, this kind of incense can only be used by practitioners of the necromancy system, ordinary people can't smell it and it is easy to produce a very uncomfortable hallucinogenic effect. Therefore, practitioners need to be careful not to affect ordinary people when using it, or else they will probably be warned and fined by the security agency if they are reported. It is indeed inconvenient to use the bomb in a community of ordinary people, but the school provides a special retreat room for cultivation. The free cultivation retreat room required a number to be lined up for an appointment, and Lu Rue had a little privilege of being in the top 10 of the Kaiyuan, so he could insert a number to expedite the process. One serving of bomb requires one credit point and continues to burn for three hours. Give me ten copies first. After Lu Rui understood the relevant information, he put forward the exchange request. With the effect of the school discount, Lu Rui only needed to spend eight credits. In the official redemption store, the single price of the bomb was also one contribution point, only that it required level one access to purchase it. During the packing process by the staff at the logistics office, Lu Rui was also secretly thinking. A cultivation prop requires one credit point to strengthen the cultivation time of three hours, for me, conservative estimate, I have to cultivate Yuanfu for more than nine hours a day, and the minimum expenditure per day is three credits. A month, counting the discount given by the school, need to spend a minimum of 72 credits. But I counted the rewards of the top 10 of the Kai Yuan and the support given by the school, that's only 40 credits, which is not enough to use at all. Contribution points can be exchanged, but I only have four contribution points left on hand which doesn't add up to enough to spend. Although I was able to earn credits through the remains of my summons, and with cultivation on the side, I could earn at least 5 credits a day. But for an ordinary student, even if they only cultivate for 3 hours a day, and need to cultivate for 22 days in a month, that's 22 credits of expenses. The top 10 of the Kai Yuan only earn 20 credits per month and have monthly discounts, so it seems that other ordinary students without the support of a strong family background, just relying on credits is not enough at all ah. No wonder ms. Me said, other students will be actively looking for the top 10 students to enjoy exchange discounts, credits are really not enough to spend. Thinking about it like this, Lu Rue felt that he had a major advantage among his peers, as well as the school's cultivation method, tilting more resources to the best. After thinking about this, the staff from the logistics office also packed the bomb and handed it to him. Lu Rue took it and at the same time used his cell phone to start booking a cultivation retreat on campus. He originally wanted to go straight through the night and book 15 hours, spend the night at the school tonight, and go out to class after practicing. Nah, he only got a 6-hour appointment, but it would make do. The location was in the school's East District's Cultivation Building No. 4, and the cultivation could begin at 6 p.m. sharp today. Seeing that there was still most of an hour before the cultivation room opened, Lu Rue thought about having a meal first. Gotta eat and drink a good meal. Lu Rue rubbed his stomach, he wasn't a cultivation machine. Just as he was walking and pondering where to eat, suddenly a sweet and sticky voice called out to him. Lu Rue. Lu Rue sniffed and looked over, it was fellow classmate, Yu Yi Flux, who was temporarily acting as the class president, and his companion Sure Xin. Here here. Yu Ya Flu beckoned. 
Lu Rui's thoughts of eating were interrupted and walked over. These two girls were wearing school uniforms or sportswear. Zipper shirt, long-legged pants, clothes are very close to the body, straight and slender legs, S-shaped waistline, these two beautiful body shape are reflected, coupled with youthful and beautiful appearance. One can only say that the League of Man is indeed encouraging procreation in every aspect to increase the population. How come you went and knocked over Qin Yang from class 3 in the afternoon? All the other classes say that our class 2 was so domineering and arrogant. Yu Yi Flux pretended to be exaggerated and surprised. However, the corners of her mouth that she couldn't suppress and her brightly glittering eyes clearly showed that she was jumping for joy over this matter. Didn't the other classes say that class 2 was enjoying incorrect treatment? Of course we, class 2, can't be wronged. But empty words can't be proven, so we have to come up with some battle results to prove it. I'll go get the battle results this afternoon. Lu Rue smiled. Sure Xian sniffed and couldn't help but laugh. Then you're also weirdly direct. In the morning the people from class 3 were all screaming quite aggressively, you punched Qin Yang away in the afternoon, aren't you embarrassing Qin Yang in class 3 terribly? Sure Xian said on her lips that it was class 3 that was embarrassed to lose face, but in her tone, she was happy in her flirting and teasing. Both girls appreciated Lu Rue's move of showing his absolute strength, strongly quelling the rumors and defending the reputation of the class group. Perhaps it was because the humans in this world were still in a time of war. After all, being strong brings the most direct sense of security. Yu Yelu and Sher Xian talked to Lu Rue very much. Lu Rue realized that these two girls had just finished their practice in Kaiwan and were about to go to dinner. Today was the fourth day of the school year, and the number of students who had completed the Kaiwan was estimated to be no more than 20. Students like Yu Yi Flux and Sher Xian, who were considered the best among their peers but were not yet so demonic as to be inhuman, had only just reached the third stage of opening Yuan. According to Lu Rue's understanding from his conversation with them, Yu Yi Flux had currently constructed three facets of the framework, whilst her Xian had two facets. The duo was also riveted to their work, planning to complete the opening of the Yuan before next Monday so that they could have a chance to enter the top 100 of the Yuan. Therefore after the meal, they would continue to stay at the school to practice. Lu Rue understood their plans from their mouths. They also asked Lu Rue about the progress of his cultivation, as well as the benefits of the top 10 Kaiyuan, and how it felt to have a special training experience exclusively for the top 10 Kaiyuan this afternoon. This is not a secret, Lu Rue also briefly said, including his own cultivation plan tonight. The two girls are envious just hearing the positive effects of that evolutionary bracelet, but the negative effects are also making them feel a little embarrassed, not even able to control their desires and emotions, that would be really embarrassing. In addition, Lu Rue also chatted about his own cultivation plan, as well as mentioning the 800 credits discount for the top 10 of Kaiyuan. Yu Yi Fluorescent's eyeballs turned, and then a thoughtful look asked. Lu Rue students, don't you think it's strange, the school obviously only gives each of you 20 credits per month, but gives you a discount of 800 credits per month. Lu Rue had some realization in his heart and said with a smile on his lips. I have a senior who explained it to me, saying that this preferential credit can be used to help other students cultivate, and I can get some benefits from it and provide some convenience to other students. It seems like our school has always had this tradition. Eh? So you know. Yu Yi Flux was slightly surprised. Immediately afterward, she inquired, then what are your intentions? Isn't this a mutually beneficial thing? Of course I'm willing to give some convenience to my classmates, but I also haven't known a few acquaintances in my class yet, and I don't know how to communicate with them, and what's their situation, and who's appropriate to help, and I don't even recognize all the names. Lu Rue helplessly said, since the school gives the top 10 of the Kaiyuan preferential amount has been defaulted by the majority of teachers and students as a mutually beneficial behavior of expanding connections between students, Lu Rue naturally would not want to challenge the consensus of the teachers and students. Of course, who and how much the discount offer is given to, this is all set by Lu Rue himself. After all, it's the first week of school, it's normal for everyone to be unfamiliar, however, it's natural to be familiar with it for a long time. Yu Ya Fluorescent laughed. The three of them chatted, and without realizing it, they walked to the school cafeteria. Together? I heard a friend recommend that there are a few good windows on the third floor of the cafeteria. Sure Xian asked. Go, I like eating and eating the most. Lu Rue nodded and said. The three of them stepped into the restaurant, cultivating with motivation, dominating their peers. Peers, enjoy many benefits, have a great future, and are surrounded by all kinds of handsome men and women. Such a campus life, Lu Rue could really love it. After a pleasant meal, Lu Rue was about to dive headfirst into the cultivation room. Another beautiful woman sent him a message. Eh? Tomorrow afternoon is the research project oh. This was from Michalko, and seeing that it was business, Lu Rue immediately lifted his spirits. However, wasn't tomorrow afternoon his physical fitness and fighting training? 
Lu Rui just felt confused when Mi Shaoka sent a new message explaining, Your institute test program and your fighting training program are combined in one piece, while you are training, the institute synchronizes the test rating, now notify you, don't be surprised when you arrive. And after completing tomorrow's test, the institute gives 10 credits. Mi Shaoku added. Oh, I see, there are credits to take. Lu Rue immediately replied. I know, sister me see you tomorrow. Well, see you tomorrow. Mi Shaoku returned a cute little bear emoticon. After confirming these messages, Lu Rue put away his cell phone and muttered. Training tomorrow, huh, those guys are thinking of challenging me, I can't fall behind. The corner of his mouth rose slightly as he walked into the cultivation room. The school provides a quiet room soundproofing effect is excellent, basically cannot hear the outside noise, outside and inside the way to communicate with the people inside, is to use the quiet room built-in megaphone. The room is not large, not forced, 20 square feet, is a standard bedroom area, decorated with simple, with warm light. Built in a incense burner, Lu Rui will be meditative fat cream into the incense burner lit, less than 10 seconds, the entire quiet room is filled with a light and not stimulate the fragrance of flowers and grasses, calling people feel comfortable. Lu Rue closed his eyes and felt the effect of the incense. He obviously noticed that his spirit had become much more active, and when he visualized the indistinct underworld that existed in myths and legends in his mind, he was able to more clearly visualize the outline of the underworld. This was a direct improvement in the efficiency of the ignition nodes. Lu Rue's cultivation efficiency had already skyrocketed by a large margin after receiving the afternoon training, and now after combining it with the incense, it could be said to be like a tiger with wings. Cultivation efficiency went up another level. Open the ye dead spirit mind, just to settle down to cultivate for 15 minutes, after consuming 20% of the physical strength, Lu Rue originally accumulated almost the first node as completed ignited. Of the 36 nodes on the 18 prisms, the first node appeared as if it were a pearl with a bright color. Lu Rue felt that his body could surge energy as if it was a seed breaking out of the ground and a volcano spewing lava, extremely exuberant and majestic. From the Yuanfu burst of strong power, quickly flowed to Lu Rui's limbs and bones, to the flesh and spirit have brought obvious strengthening. At this time the panel popped out a prompt. You have ignited the first node. Obtained basic attribute enhancement. Strength plus 5, agility plus 5, physique plus 5, spirit plus 10. Strengthening, immediate strengthening. All three attributes broke through the 20 mark, and the spiritual attribute even picked up and reached 30 points directly. The underworld viewing method has the effect of enhancing the practitioner's individual combat power, and based on the actual benefits, it will focus more on the spiritual attribute. In addition to individual strengthening, the enhancement of the Hades view idea is also reflected in other areas. On Lu Rui's Yuan Fu, the mist pattern that represented the Yi Pale Calamity, Talent Rune also became more distinct after the Yuan Fu breakthrough. Talent Enhancement Pale Scourge, users necrotic plane affinity plus 25%, users and their own necrotic units full attributes plus 12%, Consumption reduction not to exceed 12%, enemies full attributes cut not to exceed 12%, consumption increase not to exceed 12%, depending on the difference in strength between the two sides. The Yuanfu talent effect was also significantly improved, and the Yuanfu itself was also improved. Lu Rue sensed it and realized that his Yuanfu capacity had doubled, while his energy recovery efficiency had increased by 50%. Using small skeleton soldiers as a unit, under the most ideal state, Lu Rue could summon 480 skeleton soldiers a day. 480 skeleton soldiers, or 120 chattering bone bats, or 120 toxic swamp mouths. I can raise my attributes just by destroying summons, and then sell the remains of necromantic creatures, earning 48 credits a day? With such a calculation, Lu Rue felt overwhelmed. However, all of the above was in an extremely ideal situation. In addition to drastically increasing the number of summons, Lu Rue also realized that the effect of his battle technique had also been enhanced. Performing the battle technique skeleton armor plating, at noon today, Lu Rue could still only create a pair of arm guards and fist armor by consuming half of his blue amount. But after igniting the first Yuanfu node, his blue amount doubled, his recovery efficiency increased drastically, and he was able to create six complete sets of bone armor in a day's time. This was a quantitative improvement, and in terms of quality. Lu Rue consumed Yuanfu power and urged his battle technique to create a piece of armor the size of his index finger. The panel displayed. Bone armor armor piece, strength 0. 1, agility 0. 1, physique 30, spirit 0. 1. The quality of the bone armor had increased, and the physique attribute had increased by 10 points. Lu Rue did a test with his substantially increased base strength. His current normal fist strength was capped at around 1,500 kilograms. Lu Rue gave his bone armor armor piece a punch, rather expectantly. Then the armor piece broke apart. This result made Lu Rue cry a little and spit in his heart. 
How come this battle skill enhancement speed can't keep up with the speed at which I'm getting stronger? His own armor can't even hold up his own normal punch, which really makes Lu Rue a little embarrassed. Or maybe the liquid muscle, talent of poison swamp big mouth is too powerful. The passive effect gives Lu Rue too. Five times the basic strength. I was hasty when I chose the battle skill in the first place. Lu Rue sighed, even he himself didn't anticipate that his growth rate could actually be so fast. Can it be that this bone armor battle skill of mine, its role in the future will be to be used for sacrifices and to grow attributes? The bone armor's basic physical attributes were the highest among all of Lu Rui's current summons, and it was indeed qualified to be used as a sacrifice. Same as bones, my bones can be much harder than my armor bones, and the armor isn't as able to carry as my flesh? Lu Rui felt a bit helpless, his bone strength was strengthened by the two talents of, pressure resistant skeleton, and, bone creation. Pressure resistant skeleton, broken limit bone strength increased by two times. Bone creation, broken limit consume necromantic power to greatly enhance bone strength and control the way bones grow. Looking at the description of the talent ability on the panel, Lu Rue suddenly made a mental movement to manipulate the growth speed and shape of the wrist bones on the back of his hand. Immediately after three bumps began to appear on the front of his arm. The next moment three sharp bone claws pierced through the flesh and emerged from the back of his hand. The texture of the bone claws was rather rough, but the strength was so high that it would not be an exaggeration to say that they were steel bones. If only my talent could be used in conjunction with a battle technique. Just as such a thought popped up in his heart, an aura flashed in Lu Rue's mind. He dismantled his bone claws and used his own bones as material to perform his bone armor battle skill. Whether it was a battle technique or a bone claw, these were both skills and items that Lu Rue himself was skilled in, and he attempted such a combination and actually succeeded in one go. The recast bone armor alloy, after Lu Rue's simple test, increased its strength by at least five times. Lu Rue held this piece of bone alloy, and it was difficult for him under normal circumstances to crush it even with his full strength. Also the only way to cut and crush the strengthened bone armor was for Lu Rue to put it into his mouth and use his bite muscles and teeth with more power. In the future, I can use my own bones to strengthen the effects of battle techniques. According to the panel tips, the bone armor did not enhance the basic attributes, by Lu Rue talent effect to enhance the defense more than 5 times. Optimizing battle techniques, I really am a genius. Lu Rue was naturally happy that his battle technique could be re-employed. But this night is still long, and he has gained more than that. He was in the school's cultivation room, the time he spent using the cultivation room should not be wasted, he focused on cultivating his life skills, and when he returned home, he could start sacrificing summons to gain another boost. Collecting his mind, Lu Rue concentrated and went all out to cultivate Yuan Fu Fate Gong. Originally, Lu Rue estimated that igniting the first node would take 20 hours at the earliest. But the school organization Kaiyuan Top 10 unique physical training effect on Lu Rue enhancement is extremely significant, coupled with the use of meditative fat incense assistance and lighting. Other people ignition node is more and more slow, the more difficult to practice. But to Lu Rue here, he is actually practicing faster and faster, the more easy to practice. The cultivation time was from 6.30 pm to midnight midnight. Although I have necromantic endurance enchantment and my stamina recovery is particularly fast, if there was an unlimited supply of stamina potions, these 4 hours could be completely saved. If I were to purchase it, it would require an outlay of 160 credits or contribution points, or 128 credits after the discount. Forget about it, it's better to eat your own, or whore out the potions supplied in physical training. Lu Rue instantly dismissed the idea of kryptonite, pondering about using more physical potions in the physical fitness class tomorrow, anyway, people prepare two big barrels of 30 liters, isn't it for them students to use for free? After counting the harvest, seeing the end of the use of the cultivation room, Lu Rue packed up his things and left, handing over the right to use the room to the next student, he swiped the shared bicycle to go home, riding all the way. The city was also extremely prosperous at night, with a rich nightlife. However, on the way home, there were officers from the public security department broadcasting to the public on loudspeakers, reminding the public to be careful when traveling at night, to be wary of suspicious people, and not to enter remote places. When Lu Rue passed by the city center, he saw that the big display screen hanging in the municipal building was broadcasting the recent major news in the country of Dasha. One of them was about the dismantling of a cult group that engaged in human trafficking. Lu Rue no, in this world, human trafficking is the most heinous act, the bad circumstances will be expelled from the human nationality, everyone will be executed. Lu Rue heard the content of the news and became interested. Raised his head and swept his eyes, the approximate content is to take the great summer country as the leading country, unite with the surrounding small countries, launched a major operation to destroy the cult groups in the eastern continent, and achieved fruitful results. Thousands of people in the size of the cult group were killed in a single pot, and several cult leaders were executed. 
The main camps of the cult organizations in foreign countries were destroyed, and the operation has now reached the final stage. Although the first evil is executed, but there are still some small shrimp is still on the run, the official opened a bounty list, provide effective clues to reward at least 10 contribution points. If you can capture and kill is 50 contribution points to start. However, according to the official information, this so-called shrimp, the worst strength also has two nodes of combat power, the highest is 19 nodes, the reward is as high as 800 contribution points. I don't know if I can win the battle when I meet these villains. Lu Roy muttered in a small voice. Retracting his gaze, by the time he returned home, it was already 050. Just entering the community, Lu Rue saw the young female neighbor he had met once wearing a cosplay costume with a red wig, white knee-high socks, and flat shoes at a distance. At the moment, she was holding a cell phone holder in her right hand, carrying crystal high heels in her left hand, and wearing heavy makeup. Lu Rue was coming home, while she was just about to go out. Looking at each other without words, but the two of them each spat out a sentence in their hearts. Going out so late? So late to go home? After rubbing shoulders, the two coincidentally shook their heads. Lu Rue returned home. He didn't sleep tonight either, and after taking some time to finish his homework, he activated, necrotic endurance, to use three hours to restore his physical strength and Yuan Fu energy to full. Then he could start creating and sacrificing necromantic creatures. Lu Rue recalled a problem that was exposed during today's training. Although my endurance is strong and I rely on my necromancy talent to ensure that I don't die and have a clear consciousness even if my body is in a situation where I receive heavy damage. However, this ability is still limited, if my body suffers major damage, such as breaking an arm or leg and losing my head. In that case, even though I can guarantee that I will not die, but also lost the ability to move, if the surrounding environment is safe and sound, but I am afraid of the surrounding enemies, in that case, the immortal me also have to be slaughtered. I need to strengthen my self-healing ability, that is, among the many talents of the chattering bone bat's life absorption and body self-healing ability. With this in mind, Lu Rua summoned 15 chattering bone bats in one breath. The panel prompted. Chattering bone bats, strength 3, agility 9, physique 3, spirit 4. After the Yuanfu node is ignited, the quality of the necromantic creatures I summoned will also increase according to the underworld viewpoint enhancement effect, and with this enhancement effect, the full attributes of the chattering bone bats have all increased by one unit. Lu Rue looked at the 15 newly summoned chattering bone bats, both their physique and the phosphorescent fire in their eye sockets had increased and grown quite a bit compared to earlier, and even a layer of grayish white skin and flesh had appeared on their skeletons. This made Lu Rue quite satisfied, and reached out his own hand, strangling the 15 bone bats and destroying them one by one. Gained basic attribute bonus, strength plus one, one, agility plus three, four, physique plus one. 1. Spirit plus 1. Gained talent, life insight. Acquired talent, flesh and blood transformation. Talent enhancement, necrotic affinity, 2 tenths. Gift enhancement, necromantic endurance, 3 slash 100. Gift enhancement, necrotic mind, 2 slash 100. With the Ash legacy used until now, Lu Rue also confirmed that every 5 units of his basic attributes was a threshold. After breaking through the threshold, advancing to the next stage would require a bit more digestible resources. Currently, Lu Rue's attributes other than spirit were all over 20 points. Each unit of promotion required an offering to provide the corresponding 40 points of attributes. However, by sacrificing these 15 chattering bone bats, Lu Rue was more interested in gaining talents. Necrotic endurance and necrotic mind were old favorites. Necromantic affinity, Lu Rue had only obtained it once when he sacrificed the 24th little skeleton. This was used to increase Lu Rue's affinity with the necromantic plane and it seemed to have come in handy when he awakened the pale calamity, talent rune, and life insight, and flesh and blood conversion, were the two special abilities of the chattering bone bat. Life insight, with the special vision of the chattering bone bat, it can use its eyes to spy on the target's life force, necromantic power, or most fey energies. Flesh and blood transformation, the ability to transform one's own flesh and blood into necromantic energy, or transform necromantic energy into one's own flesh and blood. The first talent effect, after Lu Rue unleashed it, the originally colorful world in his eyes changed. What he observed with his naked eyes was not just the colors on the surface of things. Everything in the world was differentiated into living and non-living things. The life insight could not observe inanimate objects such as walls, furniture, clothing, and other dead things, all of which were invisible. Only living organisms, under the effect of life insight, the life energy within every living organism, Lu Rue could see. Can see up to 5 kilometers away from the life form and ignore the various obstacles in the middle with the ability to see through. Of course, the closer the distance, the clearer the observation, the clearer Lu Rue could feel the size of the target's life energy. He observed his neighbors and himself for comparison. If the life force of these ordinary people neighbors of mine is a fist-sized flame, then my life force is a campfire, right? 
Lu Rui said in his heart, he clearly perceived that his life force was far more vigorous than ordinary people, and in addition to his life force, he could also see the Yuan Fu within his body, and the necrotic energy stored within it. This characteristic can very well help me distinguish between ordinary people and cultivators, Lu Rui commented in his heart. In addition to being able to ignore obstacles and observe the target's vitality after activating Life Insight, Lu Rui's own visual ability as a human could also be maintained normally, and he was still able to see the colors of everything in the world. Only this special vision effect needs Lu Rui to spend a little time to adapt. He also went to the mirror to check the changes in his appearance when he activated his ability. The pupils of his eyes appeared like pale white phosphorescent flames. Lu Rue rubbed his chin and commented. It looks okay, not too ugly. After examining the life insight talent, he began to check out the flesh and blood transformation ability. This ability could be put into effect passively or used actively. Lu Rue thought about it for a moment or two, and after opening the necromantic mind to enter a state where he ignored pain and had no fear, he put the muscle of his left arm into his mouth and immediately followed by a hard bite. Tear. The smell of blood immediately filled his mouth. His basic strength attribute was already high, coupled with the bite strengthening talent, a 5mm thick steel plate could be easily bitten through by him. A piece of flesh on his arm was bitten off. However, there was no blood spattering seen. In Lu Rui watch, his arm missing a piece of meat in the wound out of the cold white mist immediately stopped bleeding, and to the naked eye visible speed fast healing, just three breaths of effort, his arm is restored as the beginning, even a tooth mark. At the beginning, even a tooth mark are not. When the wound healed, the white mist also disappeared. If Lu Rue's mouth is not still holding his arm meat, he seems to have never bitten himself. What was consumed by the wound healing was Lu Rue's own necromantic power or stamina within his Yuan Fu. His stamina had been depleted after summoning 15 chattering bone bats, but the ash remnant talent had an effect. Not only would he inherit a certain attribute and probability of obtaining the talent after destroying the summoned object, he could also restore some of Lu Rue's own physical strength or necromantic energy. After 15 chattering bone bats were sacrificed, it gave him back 10% and a half of his stamina. He was using this stamina to catalyze the talent, flesh and blood transformation, to heal his wounds, roughly one half of a palm-sized chunk of flesh, consuming Lu Rui's stamina equivalent to summoning two small skeletons. This is the effect of the flesh and blood transformation, talent to fill the missing flesh and blood. Lu Rui used this as a basis for further calculations. This repairing blood and flesh combined with my ability to repair bones should be able to do the effect of limb rebirth, only the energy consumed to repair large pieces of broken limbs may require a very large amount of energy, and judging from my current body strength, basically I can't do the effect of limb rebirth during the battle. But after I get out of the battle and enter a safe environment, I can repair an entire arm or a leg in about two days. There was no practical significance to regenerating a severed limb for the time being, but Lu Rue could pick up a limb. He did a test, in the state of, necrotic mind, broke his left ring finger, and then reattached it, and confirmed that the energy consumed to connect the severed limb was far less than regenerating a finger. In addition to converting physical strength and necromantic power into his own flesh and blood, Lu Rue was also able to convert his own flesh and blood into physical strength. In the necromantic mind state, he basically had no emotional fluctuations, only absolute rationality and the experimental spirit of exploration. The piece of flesh and blood that Lu Rue had bitten off earlier was directly converted into physical strength or necromantic power under the flesh and blood conversion talent effect. Of course, to repair such a piece of flesh and blood injury, Lu Rue had to pay the equivalent of two small skeletons physical strength, while converting this piece of flesh and blood into physical strength could only gain the equivalent of one. Eight small skeletons physical strength. There was a certain loss in between. This talent effect, if put in a real battle. My body's muscles and bones are responsible for fighting, instead, my internal organs, except for my heart and brain, the other internal organs are basically just for show under the effect of, necrotic endurance. That is to say, in battle I can consider converting the vast majority of organs that are useless for battle all into physical strength, or even a little more extreme. Lu Rua violently deactivated, necromantic mind, and he felt a coldness in his crotch. No, 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 I definitely don't want to put myself in that predicament where I have to kill a thousand enemies and lose 800. At this time, all of Lu Rui's emotions and desires came back, remembering what he had just done, and the thoughts that flashed through his mind, and then looking at the arm he had bitten. Lu Rui felt a vicious chill and muttered in his heart, My enemies better not push me to the point of no return, or they will see what true cruelty is. Patting his head, he expelled some bad thoughts from his mind. Lu Rui took stock and finished sorting out his harvest from sacrificing 15 chattering bone bats. It was currently 4 in the morning. Of course, what made Lu Rue slightly disappointed was that these 15 consecutive draws didn't get the mental shock ability and the ability to plunder life force released by the chattering bone bats. 
However, tonight was still long, Lu Rue spent three hours to recover all the energy and summon fifteen chattering bone bats again. With another click of a sacrifice, the panel popped up with a prompt. Gained basic attributes, strength plus one, agility plus three, physique plus one, one, spirit plus one. Gained talent, blood bat hearing. Acquired talent, vocal cord strengthening. Gained talent, scarlet harvest. Gift enhancement, necrotic stamina, 9 slash 100, gift enhancement, necrotic stamina, 9 out of 100, talent enhancement, necrotic mind, 5 slash 100, ash legacy, cumulative absorption of chattering bone bat x31, the strength attribute reached 25, 2 and the agility attribute reached 26, 8, both breaking through the 25 barrier, and what was even more remarkable was that Lu Roy obtained 3 other talents of the chattering bone bat. Blood Bone Bat Hearing, strengthens hearing, hears sounds, and receives sound waves with an expanded frequency range. Vocal Cord Strengthening, strengthens the vocal cords, allowing it to emit higher frequency and higher intensity sound waves. These two talents were related to the Chattering Bone Bat Sonic Ability Talents. The first talent greatly strengthens Lu Rue's hearing, not only can he hear sharply and far, but his hearing range is also enlarged. Here the range refers to the human ultrasonic and infrasound, ordinary human ears cannot hear these sound waves but Lu Rue after the talent enhancement, can hear these sound waves. The second talent strengthens Lu Rue's vocal organs, increasing the frequency and strength of his voice, increasing the frequency means that Lu Rue can emit ultrasonic waves, increasing the strength means that Lu Rue can emit sound waves that can contain more energy, and the sound is more penetrating and destructive. The combination of these two talents, Lu Rue can become a human sonar and human ultrasound. These two talents can not only hear voices, but also seem to have a certain degree of aggressiveness. Lu Rue touched his throat. The throat produces a vibration effect, releasing a specific frequency ultrasonic wave that cannot be heard by ordinary human ears, propagating through the air, colliding with an object and then turning back, with Lu Rue's ears receiving that specific frequency ultrasonic wave. According to the speed and time of sound wave propagation in the air, the distance between the two can be calculated. Of course, the speed and range of sound wave propagation in the air is not as good as liquid and solid, if you want to expand the efficiency and range of detection, you can use the ground to spread the sound wave. Lu Rue was at least a college student before crossing over, this he still understood. With these two talents, theoretically, Lu Rue can do tens of kilometers of detection, just like the sonar of a submarine. But this requires some time to adapt and train, after all, the ability of the human brain to process information is limited. Lu Rui just used this ability is quite uncomfortable, a large amount of information flooded into the brain, that is, his four-dimensional basic attributes far beyond ordinary people, spiritual attributes are powerful, or else in the normal state of his brain must be messed up. However, after entering the state of necromantic mind, he was able to effectively process sound information. This ability is quite useful, improving perception and detection, I'm going to try to learn to master it, luckily this natural ability I can actively control. Shaking his head, Lu Rue adjusted his hearing effect to a range that made him more comfortable first, gradually adapting to it. In addition to the detection effect, these two sonic talents also possessed a certain attack effect. Lu Rue could send out extremely penetrating high decibel noise whistles, causing strikes from the physical level, comparable to throwing a shockwave. It's like throwing a shock bomb, or use ultrasonic vibration, can produce a shockwave effect, similar to the air cannon. Lu Rue looked at the wall of his house and made a by mouth shape. The naked eye can't see, the human ear can't hear the sound wave issued, the next moment the white wall issued a dull sound of impact. When I touched the wall skin, I could clearly feel the dent in the impacted area. The strength of the air cannon seems to be related to my own muscle strength, the stronger the muscle strength, the higher the strength of the sound wave emitted. Lu Rue pinched his own throat, he had just fired this air cannon or collected his strength, fearing that the noise would be too loud and disturb the neighbors. The main thing about this move is that it's a surprise, and it's very stealthy. He was quite satisfied with his additional new tactic. After scrutinizing the gains from the first two talents, Lu Rue focused his attention on the third talent. Scarlet Harvest, through physical contact, plunder the target's life force or necromantic power. From the description, this talent could be played in conjunction with flesh and blood transformation. Lu Rue was now not only seamlessly transforming his blood and blue body, but he could also use the enemy's life force to restore his own blood and blue body, not fearing group battles and drastically increasing his endurance. These talents are really good, it's a pity that I still haven't drawn the Chattering Bone Bat Spirit Impact ability. Lu Rue felt slightly regretful, so far, his means of output were all physical, if he could have a spiritual realm attack, his means would be richer. There's no rush, today is Friday, tomorrow, and the next two days off, no need to take culture classes, there's plenty of time for me to sacrifice summons. Lu Rue looked at the time, it was now 7.20 in the morning. Changing his clothes. 
Since he lost the pleasure of sleeping and being lazy, he had to make up for it in eating. However, Lu Rue also thought that the last time he went to that Ija fresh several times, more or less a little tired of it, he had to change his taste. This morning to get some western style fast food, tender beef burrito set meal, this is good. He took out his cell phone to place an order. Just when Lu Rue passed by the Ija fresh, suddenly noticed that the store was closed. Lu Rue originally did not pay much attention to doing business, need something closed for a day is very normal. But now his hearing has strengthened a lot, through the wall to hear the store communication. You first take Anan and Xinxin to school together, the store thinks to mom to deal with it. The voice was familiar, Lu Rue heard that it was the store's owner's wife. The morning class isn't important, I can take time off. This was a young female voice with a cool timbre and a somewhat anxious mood. Lu Rue recognized it and knew that this was his classmate from the same school. Seems like a bit of prying into other people's privacy. Lu Rue muttered in his heart, he maintained a certain limit of hearing enhancement in order to adapt himself to the new talent effect. The sounds were passively entering his ears. Eh, you child, how can you say that the class arranged by the school is not important? Hurry up and go, the things in the store, mom can handle it by herself too. Mom, sister, what's going on at home, not doing business today? This is a little girl voice. Lu Rui hearing strengthening is very obvious, he can not only hear the communication sound, but also can hear other people's body organs make sounds. For example, heartbeat sounds, lung breathing sounds, intestinal peristalsis sounds, blood flow sounds. Based on these sounds, Lu Rue was able to judge a person's approximate age and physical health status. He passively listened and felt that the boss's wife had accumulated labor and emaciation, and her heart and intestines didn't seem too healthy. Problems encountered, probably yesterday this store encountered fire raid inspection, found that the store has fire hazards, was ordered to shut down for rectification. Lu Rue did not get involved in the idea of other people's family affairs, after all, the other side of the store door are closed it. Moreover, Lu Rue heard more than just Ijia Fresh, including passers-by, vehicles traveling on the road, and even the sound of sewage churning in the city sewers. That is to say, his mental and physical attributes are strong, and can handle the complicated information he receives, and does not interfere with his normal life. After eating his own breakfast, Lu Rue recovered his physical strength while attending cultural classes at school. During the lunch break time, he booked the school's cultivation quiet room to cultivate his Yuanfu, and wood. And by the time he trains in the afternoon, Lu Rue quickly replenishes to restore his physical strength and energy with the free stamina potion provided by the school. Main character data and calculation formula. Protagonist basic attributes. Strength 25. 2. Agility 26. 8. Physique 23. 6. Spirit 33. 6. Normal human arm strength calculation formula. Every 10 points of strength attribute is equivalent to 80 kilograms of arm strength corresponding to a robust adult male. Main character arm strength calculation formula. Strength attribute x8 x talent multiplier, liquid muscle, normal x2. 5, x talent burst multiplier, x4. Main character fist strength calculation formula. Arm strength x technique multiplier, power generating action, 3. 3x, three equals fist strength. Talent, technique, and battle skill are multiplier zones. The protagonist does not have a battle technique multiplication zone for the time being but there is an additional talent multiplication zone, and it is multiplied by 10 times. For every one unit of basic strength attribute that is raised, the arm strength is increased by 80 kilograms, and the limit of fist output strength is raised by about 260 kilograms. For regular people, it is an increase of 8 kilograms in arm strength and about 16 kilograms in fist power for every one unit of strength base attribute boosted. Main character blue bar and stamina calculation formula. Take the stamina or blue bar consumed by summoning one small skeleton, as one base unit. Able-bodied adult, physique 10, spirit 10, with the stamina to summon two small skeleton soldiers. Summoned with stamina before the kaiju, and with blue bar after the kaiju. Able-bodied adult has two points of stamina, which is equal to one point of stamina for every five physical and five spiritual attributes. One stamina is equivalent to, two 50 milliliters bottles of stamina potion and one hour of cultivation time during the kaiuan process. The formula for calculating the physical strength of the protagonist. Spiritual attribute of the protagonist physical attribute. So physical attribute is taken as the calculation variable here. Physical strength equals physical attribute divided by 5x talent multiplier, necromantic endurance x10. For every unit of physical attribute that the protagonist raises, the amount of physical strength will increase by 2, which is equivalent to 10 times the amount that a normal person raises. Blue bar part, blue bar limit. Kaiyuan has a 10 blue bar limit, ignition. Launching attribute battle skills, or quickly creating summons consumes blue stripes, not stamina stripes. The protagonist has blue body swap, so blue bar is stamina, stamina is blue bar. 
If the protagonist has the blue body swap, the current way to restore stamina is to consume blue bars, with scarlet harvest and flesh and blood transformation, you can draw blood and return blue to your body. Spiritual attributes have other roles in the future. The protagonist is currently, blue bar, stamina bar, extreme recovery efficiency, 20 slash 1 hour, linked to Yuanfu realm and endurance talent. Summons consume stamina, blue bar, and the unit price of the corresponding rex for sale. Little skeleton, 1, unit price. Poison swamp mouth, 4, unit price. Shattering bone bat, 4, unit price. Bone armor pair of small arm armor. Full body armor. Silver skin wolfish, 1, unit price. Main character basic attribute growth calculation formula. Plus 5 to strength, sensitivity, and spirit for each Yuanfu node ignited. Attribute bonuses are gained by sacrificing summons. Basic attributes in the range of 5, 10, for each unit of enhancement, the summoned object is required to provide 10 corresponding attributes. Basic attributes in the E10, 15, range, for each unit that is raised, the summoner is required to provide 20 corresponding attributes. Basic attributes in the 15, 20, range, each unit upgrade requires 30 corresponding attributes from the summoner. If the base attribute is in the G20, 20, 25, range, for every unit you raise, you need to provide 40 corresponding attributes from the summoner, and so on. Or 2, the base attribute X the multiplier of the battle technique and talent is the specific data performance. With Lu Rue's current physical strength, just to rely on the potion to recover all of his physical strength, it would cost 100 contribution points to say the least. He can't afford to pay that kind of money, since the school has free resources, then he will naturally take advantage of it. Lu Rue is not only rubbing the school welfare, the same Kaiyuan top 10, there are three other people also do the same thing. Zhang Jie, Tian Tian, and Han Mingjie. Each of the four of them was holding a large thermos cup, catching water in front of the two large buckets of medicinal liquid, totaling 30 liters, that the school had prepared. Hey, I just came out of the cultivation room as well, and I saw you Lu Rue when I came over. Zhang Jie looked for a topic to talk about. Everyone is scrambling for cultivation. Lu Rue nodded. I finished before school today. I finished before school too. Tian Tian said while receiving water. Same. Han Meng Jie was succinct. The two of them girls had likewise gone to the cultivation room to cultivate their Yuan Fu before participating in training, and now their physical strength was about as depleted as it could be and they needed to recover before training. The meaning of all three people's words indicated that they had only finished within today. After they reported the progress of their cultivation, they coincidentally looked at Lu Rue. Ignition was completed yesterday. Lu Rue said lightly. This time, the three of them felt the gap between. When 95% of the students hadn't even completed Kaiyuan, Tian Tian, Zhang Jie, and Han Meng Jie ignited. However, when they heard that Lu Rue completed note ignition yesterday, the two of them could only sigh in their hearts that a mountain is higher than a mountain. Of course, what Lu Rue said is still very vague. He actually ignited at 6.30 p.m. M. However, since Zhang Jie, Han Meng Jie, and Tian Tian, the last three of this Kaiyuan, were able to successfully ignite before training. Everyone should have completed their first ignition. Lu Rue said mentally. He drank his stamina potion and his eyes looked around at Chen Fanyu, Xin Yan, and the others. Lu Rue's perception ability was now drastically improved, and he took the initiative to open the Blood Bad Insight talent, with pale white phosphorescent flames emerging from the pupils of his eyes. He saw the other nine people's far superior vitality, of which Chen Fanyu was the most vigorous, which was unique. Then it came to Lin Yuan, which was the second gear. The third gear was Qin Yang, Gu Ziyu, and Ku Che. Lu Rue also made a comparison with himself, confirming that in terms of vitality alone, he was a notch above Chen Fanyu. In addition to observing the vitality, Lu Rue also saw the Yuan Fu in their bodies and knew the Yuan Fu attributes of his classmates. The League of Man currently possesses 13 realms, our top 10 in this Kaiyuan accounts for 6. The Heaven's Choice realm has the largest number of people, including Chen Fanyu, there are 3 people, and the Necromancy realm has only 1 person, me. Lu Rue muttered in his heart. Not just Yuan Fu attributes, Lu Rue also sent Chen Fanyu and Lin Yuan's Yuan Fu existed in a special way. Chen Fanyu's Yuan Fu could vaguely see swaying fire lotuses, while Lin Yuan's Yuan Fu had twisted and grotesque shadows. And it gave Lu Rue a feeling that could not be described, but was very unique. And none of the other people's Yuan Fu had these special things. This situation reminded Lu Rue of his own natural talent rune pale scourge. I had guessed about the Chen Fan language situation, but this. Lin Yuan could it be that he also has a talent rune? Lu Rue speculated in his heart. At the same time, the nine people who were swept by Lu Rue's gaze all felt a sharp sense of probing. This piercing sense possessed a certain oppressive force, and the rest of them were uncertain as to why Lu Rue's gaze possessed such penetrating power. 
Chen Fanyu was also subconsciously a pupil emergence of red fire lotus, even let him surged out of the obvious desire to fight. Chen Fanyu knows, his own talent fire bathing red lotus characteristic is the stronger the opponent, the more active the talent. And Lu Rui made the fire bathing red lotus active with just a single glance, which meant that Lu Rui had become even stronger. What happened? Obviously only one day has passed, what happened to Lu Rui? Chen Fanyu was astonished in his heart, and even more so, he had an urge to ask. And Lin Yuan also appeared to have a certain stress reaction under Lu Rui's gaze, the shadows under his feet suddenly distorted. But it was only for a moment, followed by Lin Yuan's eyes narrowing slightly as he looked at Lu Rui with grave eyes. The other people did not have such a sharp perception as these two, they just felt that Lu Rui's gaze had a sense of oppression and penetration, making people uncomfortable and pressurized. A day has not seen, Lu Rui give people more pressure how? The other Kaiyuan top 10 students muttered in their hearts. Lu Rui himself swept a glance and then closed the bloodbat insight, talent, concentrating on drinking strength potions to recover. Uniform specification in the market, 1 contribution point 50 milliliters of strength potion. And with Lu Rui's current body strength, he took out 5 liters of potion before returning to full strength. On the contrary, Tian Tian, Zhang Jia, Han Ming Jia, these three people together did not consume more than 3 liters of potion. This showed Lu Rui's superior physical strength. If the school didn't provide it for free, I wouldn't have so many contribution points to consume stamina potions, Lu Rui lamented. However, it was only the four of them who were whoring out the school's stamina potion for nothing, the other six, including Chen Fanyu, were all motionless. From this detail, one could simply guess the family status of the top ten students of Kaiyuan, more than half of them had a solid family status. This called Lu Rui slightly envious. Licked the corner of the mouth residual liquid. After going to the restroom to drain the water, the instructor was in place, and the training began. Still physical training, but instructor Shi Wei named. Lu Rui, Chen Fanyu, Qin Yang, Lin Yuan, according to the performance of the three of you yesterday, the school side will adjust your gravity bracelet multiplier, today you have to train under 8 times gravity, and improve the power of the evolution bracelet. The others will be raised to 6 times, does anyone have any objections? The crowd was slightly surprised by what they heard, but they also felt it was reasonable. After all, they had all completed. And among the top 10 of the Kai Yuan, these four were the ones who had more outstanding results yesterday, so it was normal to go up the training difficulty a bit more. But Lu Rue still had an objection, he mentioned. There, can we still raise the power of the hand ring further up? I feel that 8 times gravity might not be enough, can it be directly raised to 10 times? When these words came out, not to mention how the others looked at it and what mood they were in. Instructor Shi Wei's eyes narrowed slightly, sizing up Lu Rue for a few seconds before he said in a thick voice, Do you know? Yesterday, you guys used two bracelets, and each of you had to consume 200 contribution points to complete one charge. The higher the power, the more powerful the energy consumption. This is all the resources that the school has poured into you, in the hope that you can fully convert them into nutrients for growth. Although you are only students and not yet soldiers in the army, I am still used to requiring you by army standards. The standard of a qualified soldier is to do what he says he will do, and to do everything he can to accomplish his mission. Training is likewise a task. Since we're applying for more resources, the school and I will raise the training requirements. Student Lu Rue, can you do it? I can. Lu Rue's voice said without hesitation. Very well, your training intensity can be raised to 10 times gravity. You used 52 minutes to complete your training yesterday, and today, my requirement for you is to complete your training task within 20 minutes. Sure Wei asked. After saying this, Sure Wei's gaze swept over Chen Fan Yu and the others. As expected, Chen Fan Yu directly responded to the stimulus and spoke out. Instructor Shi Wei, I also have an objection, I also need to raise the training intensity to 10 times gravity. Chen Fan Yu simply didn't want to lag behind Lu Rue by a point and a half. Lu Rue had dared to go up to 10 times gravity, so there was no reason why he, Chen Fan Yu, wouldn't dare. Yes, my requirements remain unchanged, the training intensity can be raised, but I all require that the training task be completed within 20 minutes, anyone with this confidence can request to raise the intensity. Shi Wei nodded. His gaze swept over the other eight people. However, more than half of them had their eyes flickering and began to hesitate. Funny nah. That triple gravity intensity yesterday, half of them took more than an hour and a half to complete the training. They had instead completed the ignition of the first node, and their physical qualities had improved dramatically, three times gravity was certainly not stressful, and six times gravity was also a normal increase in difficulty. But it's not so bad that they will not know how to die on ten times gravity ah. Jia Xuanning, Tian Tian, Zhang Jia, Han Meng Jie, the four of them never mentioned the matter of raising the intensity of training. Qin Yang, on the other hand, was visibly hesitant. He could accept eight times gravity, but ten times was a bit of a stretch. 
But yesterday, he said that losing to Lu Rue was no big deal, and that he would just get stronger later to get his face back. But now the competitors are on the strength, if he does not keep up, does not appear to be he wimped out? How can he compete with others in the future? Gritting his teeth, Xin Yang spoke out. Instructor, I also want 10 times gravity. You Lu Rue dare to play with your life, I Qin Yang do not dare? Compared to Qin Yang who still had to do mental struggle, Lin Yuan was much more direct and raised his hand. 10 times gravity. Gu Ziyu lightly bit her lower lip, she would like to be unwilling to be left behind. Reason but wisdom told her that if she wanted to go up in intensity, she could accept a boost of 8 times gravity, 10 times gravity was already completely beyond her ability. Not only was it going to be the point of practicing to death, but it was almost impossible for her to complete a training mission in 20 minutes in 10 times gravity. This contradiction between sensibility and rationality was making it quite difficult for her. How come the gap was getting wider and wider? Finally she pursed her lips and said, Instructor, 8 times gravity. She still maintained her sanity, but also reassured herself in her heart, I'm not known for my physical abilities. And hearing Gu Ziyu's choice, Ku Che also opened his mouth to add 8 times gravity. The training had been divided into three echelons before the start of Kaiyuan. Instructor Shi Wei also adjusted the training bracelets according to the students' requirements. The training began. The two hand rings had just activated. Under 10 times gravity, Lu Rue felt that every inch of his body was under pressure. But this is not the same as in the past. Lu Rue just started and demonstrated an inhuman speed of 100 meters and 3 seconds. He hadn't even opened the active effect of the liquid muscle talent yet, he had half a ton of arm strength under normal conditions, and his explosive power output with his fists was over 1. 5 tons. Even with 10 times gravity suppression, but how much did Lu Rue weigh? He didn't even weigh more than 100 kilograms. This kind of explosive force on running, almost like a catapult start. He flew out with a whoosh. His bones and muscles were able to withstand 10 times the pressure of gravity, and under the effect of necromantic endurance, his internal organs other than his heart were basically just for show, while vital organs such as his brain and heart, as well as a large number of blood vessels were under the effect of the talent, flesh and blood conversion, even if they were broken, they could be sustained and efficiently restored in a way that consumed Yuanfu energy or physical strength. Physical strength to repair them continuously and efficiently. This was also the reason why he asked for 10 times gravity, otherwise there was no training pressure at all. After just one day apart, Lu Rui had gained more than 10 times the amount of self-improvement. Chen Fanyu, Qin Yang and Lin Yuan were still adapting to the surge to 10 times gravity, their musculoskeletal muscles might be able to withstand 10 times gravity, but their internal organs were still fragile, and they needed to rely on the evolutionary bracelet to gradually adapt and strengthen their internal organs. Their speed has not been raised, they saw Lu Rui whoosh ran to the front of the crowd, it is not too much to say that it is a ride. The three of them were immediately anxious, not caring whether the internal organs will be injured, also followed the speed. Therefore only after running for 5 kilometers, these three people were already bleeding from their seven orifices and their expressions were distorted, obviously in severe pain. But the pain was still pain, because the first ten of the Kaiyuan were all finished. Lu Rue also corners of the eyes overflowed with blood, but this is only the appearance, in the necromantic endurance, flesh and blood transformation, talent, his recovery ability is extraordinary, just in order to save energy and some other considerations, he only repair the brain and heart as well as some important blood vessels, and the other does not care. Onlookers can only see that he is fighting for his life, but he does not know that he is very stable. This training, Lu Rue has no worries at all, completely towards the physical limit to try. With the talent of flesh and blood transformation and bone creation, the broken flesh in the process of evolutionary breakthroughs can be quickly repaired and become more and more powerful. His speed was getting faster and faster, and in the end, it was even close to 100 meters per second, as if he was a humanoid supercar. A 20-kilometer training task was completed in less than 5 minutes. Even because he didn't feel much of the training intensity, the gains provided by the evolutionary bracelet weren't even half of what they were yesterday. After running, Lu Rue checked the panel changes while receiving medical treatment. Strength plus 1, Agility plus 2, Physique plus 4, Spirit plus 1. Talent Enhancement, Flesh and Blood Conversion, 4 out of 10. Talent Enhancement, Materia Medica, 2 slash 100. Gain 3 points of evolution value. During the long distance running training, he focused on exercising his running ability, body adaptability, as well as constantly using flesh and blood conversion to repair his body to strengthen his physique, so only these attributes and talents were focused on gaining enhancement. After checking the harvest, Lu Rue spat in his heart. The training intensity is too low, this kind of training can no longer keep up with the speed at which I'm getting stronger. He wasn't the only one who thought so. Even instructor Shi Wei came over to him, and his expression was a bit subtle, with a feeling of seeing a ghost. He said, 
Very good performance, but student Lu Rue, at your current level, weighted physical training can no longer bring you much improvement. I will adjust your training program individually. Lu Rue nodded, this was just what he wanted. Instructor Shi Wei's mood was still quite complicated, his eyes looked towards the playground, Chen Fan Yu who was still running. This was a top genius who possessed the talent of the fire bathing red lotus. But this future god general seed had only finished running 17 kilometers by now. Sherway glanced at Lu Rue who was being treated by the medical staff and muttered in his heart what kind of demon is this? Sherway could no longer use common sense to describe Lu Rue's rate of progress. It's definitely good that young people are getting stronger from generation to generation, which means that civilization is constantly developing and progressing. But Lu Rue's lead was really a bit outrageous. However, remembering the confidential content that the school's necromancy research institute had communicated to him before the training began, Sherway probably had a guess in his heart. This kid also has an innate talent rune, the grade has not been assessed yet, his talent shouldn't be in the same class as that of the fire bathing red lotus, right? While Sher Wei was thinking this, he saw the necromancy research institute's people coming. It was Lu Rue's acquaintance, Mi Xiao Ku. Having communicated beforehand, Lu Rue also knew that in addition to training today, he would also have to do a test rating for his talent rune. According to Lu Rue's understanding, if the Pale Scourge is rated as the highest grade of special grade, then according to the rules and regulations of the Great Xia State Talent Training, he will be able to obtain more resources. Mi Xiao Ku is here. Lu Rue noticed her and beckoned. Sister Mi, here. She was wearing flat shoes and loose sweatpants today, her red hair tied into a braid, a light-colored hoodie on the outside and a black camisole undershirt on the inside. It didn't look like she was here to do research, instead it looked like everyday casual wear, but at first glance it made people feel quite friendly. Once they met, Mi Xiaoka asked in a concerned tone, Is the status still okay? I heard that the last few years, the top 10 of the Kaiyuan received are all devil training. It's okay, I persevered. Lu Rue nodded his head and smiled easily. However at this moment Lu Rue was receiving treatment from the medical staff. His internal organs had failed again, he had only kept his brain and heart working properly during his training, so the other organs were necrotic again. Even the medical staff in charge of treatment spat out. You kid, that's why we can provide you with timely medical assistance during training, you can't play with your life like this if you really go to the battlefield in the future. I know, I know, I know the measure. Lu Rue said in an embarrassed tone. Ni Shaoka looked at the scene, a little crying and laughing, but after all, she was facing the wounded, she said in a gentle tone. You're awesome. She gave a thumbs up. Lu Rue heatedly smiled. The two of them talked, and currently resting was only Lu Rue alone. And on the playground. At this moment, Chen Fan Yu and Qin Yang had only run to the 19th kilometer. Chen Fan Yu and Qin Yang's current mood was the same as their hideous expressions. Under the stimulation of 10 times gravity and the evolution bracelet, they were under so much pressure that their seven orifices bled, their tear ducts and salivary glands were incontinent, and their internal organs failed. Lu Rui demonstrated to them yesterday that only by fighting for their lives could they gain the most benefits and take first place. Right, Lu Rui dared to fight for his life, what wouldn't they dare to do? But although they also held the determination to practice to the death this time, it was even more so because of the completion of the... However, even if they decided to fight to the death, even if the physical quality has been greatly improved, they and Lu Rui gap has not been reduced, but instead visible pull open a large cut. How can this not call for people's minds to explode? Therefore, even if the training was completed within 10 minutes, Chen Fan Yu and Qin Yang's mood, instead of having any ease, became a little heavier. Looking at Lu Rue, who was still lying down for treatment with his internal organs necrotic, Chen Fan Yu was in an unwilling mood, but he couldn't deny the other's realization and the effort they had put in. Yesterday a step slower, today a bigger gap? Yesterday it was a few seconds off, today it was more than half a minute off. Chen Fan Yu tightened his fists, even though he himself was also suffering from internal organ necrosis and was in extremely poor condition on the verge of death, the physical pain was not enough to compare to the emotions raging inside him. He was pulled away by the medics for treatment, and Qin Yang did the same, he closed his eyes and pressed the back of his hand against his forehead, muttering wordlessly, the gap is getting wider and wider, what can I get back with this? Both of these two were lying down. The fourth place was still Lin Yuan, but calling for surprises, the same 10 times gravity, he was actually only about half a minute slower than Chen Fan Yu and the others. If yesterday, the gap would have been 15 minutes. Lin Yuan also had a desperate attitude, and after running, he spat out blood and collapsed on the ground, his face bloodless, with a look of more air coming and then going out. He was so bloodless after the run. However, his eyes were fixed on Lu Rue and Chen Fan Yu. Then there was Ku Che and Gu Ziyu who were in 8 times gravity, they also completed the training within the time limit and started to receive treatment. The remaining four were receiving six times gravity, but after completing the note ignition, their physical qualities had improved drastically, 
so they all completed their training within 50 minutes. While waiting for the others, Lu Rue had already finished repairing his body, drank the free stamina potion provided by the school painfully, and began to. He put in before class. You ignite the second node. Gained basic attribute enhancement. Strength plus 5, agility plus 5, physique plus 5, spirit plus 10. Strength 30. 4, agility 33. 8, physique 32. 1, spirit 44. 8, talent enhancement. Pale Calamity, users necrotic plane affinity plus 30%, users and their own necrotic units full attributes plus 20%, consumption reduction not exceeding 20%, enemies full attributes cut by not more than 20%, consumption increased by not more than 20%, depending on the difference in strength between the two sides. With the full attribute boost, Lu Rue's three major attributes of strength, agility and physique broke through the 30 barrier. In terms of strength, the explosive power of his fists under the extreme enhancement of his talent was close to 8 tons. Agility not only represented speed, but also reflexes and control of the body. The substantial increase in physical attribute was the increase in resistance to blows, recovery power, and the upper limit of physical energy. Lu Rue could now summon 64 little skeletons in one breath, or 16 toxic swamp mouths. And the mental attribute was currently only reflected in the mental resistance and learning ability. Lu Rue pondered that the spiritual attribute would only shine when he obtained the Chattering Bone Bat's spiritual shock talent. Note ignition boosting the basic attributes was one aspect, the Yuanfu itself was also boosted, as was the blue bar cap and recovery speed. Both had been boosted by 50% now. Lu Rue's cap on summoning small skeleton soldiers reached 600 small skeletons a day. There was also the strengthening of battle technique effects and summons. Lu Rue estimated that the strength of the bone armor that he summoned now should be able to reach the attribute of body quality 40, compared to the beginning of the bone armor defense should be doubled. After Lu Rue's talent reinforcement, the strength of the armor will go up another level. The other four basic attributes of the summons should all be raised by one unit. Lu Rue's most special place also lies in his talent runes, as the Yuanfu gets strengthened, the talent runes are also strengthened along with it. The cultivation progress is quite fast, two days to ignite two nodes. Lu Rue muttered in his heart. His gaze could not help but look at the nine students around him. It seems like the gap is getting wider, can they still be my opponents and grow my evolutionary value now? Lu Rue inwardly issued a question. It seemed that plants couldn't catch up with changes, and even he underestimated the speed at which he was getting stronger. And at this time, Instructor Shi Wei arranged the next training for the students. Today's physical training is just a warm-up, the next step is to carry out combat training. You students will be arranged into groups of 2x2, two two. each group will be led by an instructor to the training ground to start the training content. Group 1, Lu Rue, Lin Yuan, you two will be led by me, follow me. Instructor Shi Wei commanded. 10 students, 5 instructors, it was a 1-2 to two teaching. Lu Rue sniffed and glanced at me Xiao Ko on the side. She nodded and whispered in his ear. The grading part involves actual combat, it just so happens that you also have actual combat training, so the two programs will be arranged together. Lu Rue understood. However, it was worth noting that Lu Rue was actually placed in a group with Lin Yuan. The vague guess in his heart became more and more certain. And when the four of them followed Shi Wei out of the first floor playground and took the elevator, Lin Yuan spoke, turning his head to Lu Rue. I was completing my enlightened elemental time at 8.50 p.m. M. I was able to reach this level because I had also awakened the talented rune. Chen Fan Yu completed his enlightened Yuan at about the same time as me and I was as far ahead of the others as he was. So I guess Jin Fan Yu also awakened the talent rune. He does have that kind of talent. Since my rune is an unknown rune, I'm taking the opportunity of the physical training today to do a rune test and rating. And since you actually performed ahead of Chen Fan Yu twice in physical training, plus the fact that you and I were assigned to the same group, I believe that you have similarly awakened the talent rune. Lin Yuan exposed himself as possessing a talent rune and analyzed some details to determine that Lu Rue was carrying a talent rune. Lu Rue frowned slightly, then loosened and asked. What are you trying to express? Didn't we have an appointment to fight anyway? Then let's all use our talent runes, there's no need to shrink. Lin Yuan said in a graphic manner. His features were feminine, but there was a strong fighting spirit in his eyes. Lu Rue's eyes narrowed slightly, using talent runes to fight. He gazed at me Xiao Ko and instructor Shi Wei. I'm only responsible for the school's teaching duties as well as cooperating with the institute, in my responsibility for the teaching content, which includes the part of confrontational training for the two of you, you can choose to include the part of talented rune in your training. Shi Wei agreed. Mi Xiao Ku, on the other hand, smiled and stated. I'll shout cheers for you. She also waved her fist. The corner of Lu Rui's mouth rose slightly as he nodded towards Lin Yuan. Okay, I'll take it. After the four of them finished communicating, 
the elevator also arrived at the corresponding floor. As soon as the elevator opened the door, they saw a middle-aged man in a scientific white coat with glasses walk over outside the door, first signaling instructor Sher Wei, then with a smile on his face he extended his hand and said to Lin Yuan, Hello student Lin, I'm the researcher Liang who communicated with you on the phone earlier. Lin Yuan shook his hand with him and said in a flat tone, I hope the next test ratings go well. Well, all the best. Researcher Liang smiled. Lu Rui looked at this middle-aged male researcher and then looked at his own sister Mi. He suddenly felt that he was quite lucky. At this time, he also heard instructor Shi Wei clarify. According to the arrangement, student Lu Rui will first follow MS. Me forward to complete the relevant tests, while student Lin Yuan will first follow me and Mr. Liang to complete the relevant teaching and testing tasks. After Lin Yuan's part is completed, I will then come over to take charge of Lu Rui's part. Shi Wei said clearly and understandably, so Lu Rui followed me Shaoka first. He he he, come with me, and I'll show you our necromancy department's research team. Mi Shaoka led the way, and the two of them came to a 500 square feet room. There were already men and women of different age groups in the room, five in total counting Mi Shaoku. Two men and three women, this was the necromancy department's research team. Mi Shaoka made a warm and lively introduction to Lu Rue. They are all my senior brothers and sisters, we all work under the hand of Dean Li, the eldest brother is this Chen Hua, senior researcher, the talent room tests are all conducted by him. Senior researcher. Lu Rue's parents in this world were intermediate researcher titles before their unfortunate deaths, and were only posthumously awarded senior researcher after their deaths. This Chen Hua in front of him was about 35 years old, with neatly combed hair, round cheeks, neat and durable features, except for his small eyes, which squinted into two lines. The voice that spoke was also quite a naive feeling, he stretched out his broad palm to Lu Rui and enthusiastically said, Hello hello hello, this year's freshman's Kaiyuan Top 10, or our necromancy departments. Hello. Lu Rui shook his hand, considered to be acquainted. Mi Shaoka proceeded to introduce the other members to Lu Rui. This is Brother Awkward, Chen Jiong, an intermediate researcher. Lu Rui looked at him, there was no wrong nickname, at first glance, this person's features looked like the character 4 Awkward, especially those two eyebrows, like there was a character 4 8 on his brain. It may not be polite to judge a person by his appearance, but Qian Zhong looks like a bad face. Although his facial features were like this, Qian Zhong was extremely strong, with a height of 1 meter 9, and his pectoral muscles and arm muscles were extremely developed. Hello! Qian Zhong lowered his head and shook Lu Rui's hand. The other two women are a pair of twins, sister called Wen Qing, sister called Wenya, sisters have the same features, both are exquisite melon face long legs tall beauty, but the sister hairstyle with dark blonde big waves, the sister is wearing a quiet twisted braid, wearing style is very different, very good to recognize. They and Lu Rui or alumni, are out of Tian first middle school, these two have just graduated two years ago, is considered Lu Rui's sister. Lu Rui recognized one by one. Then, Chen Hua introduced the content of the test. According to Dean Li's description, your talent rune has multiple effects, perception, shielding, strengthening, weakening, or the kind that can take effect in a range, these are the contents of our next test. Oh, and you should currently complete. HM, I've already completed. Ignite. Then he reacted sharply in surprise, isn't it only the fifth day of school? Not only him, the other four people in the research team all looked astonished. The more familiar Mi Xiaoko was even more heartfelt and said, You're so fast? She thought back to her own year, when Kaiyuan took a month. This contrast, directly confused her people. The other three people in the group also looked at each other, and then looked at Lu Rue like a monster. School brother, you cultivate this speed is also too exaggerated, your school sister me that session the most powerful ignition. I feel okay myself, just concentrating on cultivation. Lu Rue smiled. He looked at Chen Hua and asked, does this affect the test? Chen Hua sniffed and pushed up his glasses, helplessly explaining. There is a slight impact, generally speaking, the innate talent rune is one that will continue to strengthen as the Yuanfu grows, our original plan was to collect you first. Now, we can only collect you. Eh? I'll light it. But once these words came out, the expressions of the five people present became a little more exciting. They lit up back then. Chen Hua pursed his lips and immediately changed the topic, saying, Let's not measure the rune growth for now, let's measure something else first. I'll go debug the instruments, awkward come over and give us a hand, Xiaoku, Xiao Chang. Xiao you guys teach the Lu Ru students what to do next. Chen Hua hurriedly took Xin Zhong away after arranging, this was too damn much of a blow. Lu Rui looked at the three women around him. Ni Xiao Ko asked. What we're testing next, the strengthening effect of the talent rune on the necromantic creation, how many poison swamp mouths and chattering bone bats do you have on hand right now? Lu Rui pursed his lips and explained. No, not a single one, I originally summoned a few, but they were played out by me, plus I was busy practicing. 
It's fine, just summon them on the spot, 20 of each kind, not enough stamina we have a supply of potions here, feel free to use them, it's enough. Mi Shaoka said bluntly. Saying that, she pointed to the 20 buckets of stamina potions that had been prepared in the corner of the room. Lu Rue looked over, these 20 buckets of potions, each bucket was about 5 liters, adding up to at least a thousand small skeletons. Lu Rue silently did the calculation, these 20 buckets of potions, put on the market that is 2000 contribution points. Lu Rue swallowed his saliva and asked, is this something I can just drink? Mi Shaoka blinked towards Lu Rue, revealing a wry smile and said, our research institute is one of the key projects in the province, and the necromancy department is also a key support area in the past two years, so the research funding has always been sufficient. I'm not afraid of not having enough money, but I'm afraid of having no projects and no output. Those two twin schoolmates then added clarification. Our Dean Lai values your talent rune, he thinks that it has the potential to be no less than a first-class talent rune, and has allocated a lot of funding, so you have to do your best to play, and if you can really be assessed as a first-class, our entire group will treat you to dinner. For their necromantic scientific research team, to do a good job of testing and rating the first class talent runes, and to complete the relevant research report, that would be a very considerable scientific output. Lu Rue sniffed, he could feel that the research team attached importance to the rune rating project, looking towards the 20 buckets of stamina potion, his tone implied some excitement. In that case, I'll be polite? Lu Rue's talent rune and Yuan Fu life skill both had a strengthening summoner effect, which was conducive to forming an army of necromantic summoners. Summons were something that could provide a considerable amount of battle power. But in reality, in order to utilize the Ash Legacy power, Lu Rue's summons were all destroyed by him to use to unleash his abilities, and not a single one was saved. So he never had the chance to form an army of necromantic summoners and test the combat power. But right now, the Necromancy Research Institute was giving him a chance. Lu Rue took the stamina potion provided by the research team. The 5 liter bottle, he pinched the top of the bottle to his mouth and poured tons and tons into his stomach. Of course, getting high on the potion is great, but the toilet has to be used regularly, which is really quite troublesome. After drinking a bucket of potion, he summoned 20 poisonous swamp mouths, 20 bloodthirsty bone bats, and 20 small skeleton soldiers. The attributes of the three were displayed. Chattering bone bats, strength 4, agility 10, physique 4, spirit 5. Swamp mouth, strength 12, agility 3, constitution 6, spirit 3. Little Skeleton Soldier, Strength 3, Agility 3, Constitution 3, Spirit 3. Lu Rue's Yuan Fu grew, and the quality of his summons was also improved. The Small Skeleton Soldier's physique has obviously grown by a large margin, from originally being a little bigger than a palm, roughly 20 centimeters in height, it has grown to 60 centimeters, about the size of an adult husky. The weapons and defenses were also significantly more complete, with armor coverage rising. These 60 necromantic creations appeared in a formation that the chattering bone bats hovered in the air, as if they were armed drones that could be deployed at any time. While the poison swamp mouths were displayed like 20 mountain cannons. 20 small skeleton soldiers were armed with different weapons and ready to go. Although the height of these creatures of the dead is not more than 1 meter, Let Lu Rue has a kind of feeling of watching the spring parade of elementary school students, but does not prevent him from thinking that this troop can really fight. The little skeletons were currently purely used as a poser atmosphere group, and the combat power was temporarily focused on the chattering bone bats and poison swamp big mouths. We're going to test each of the base values of these necromantic creations under normal conditions as a control group. Well, it should be your first time trying to manipulate so many necromantic summoners, can you mentally handle it? Mi Shaoka asked. Summoners needed to use their spirit to manipulate the summons into action. The greater the number of summons, the heavier the spiritual burden on the summoner. Lu Rue's current spiritual attribute was as high as 44. 8, and in specific operation attempts, he realized that he could only afford to flexibly manipulate 11 poisonous swamp mouths, or 11 chattering bone bats, or 44 small skeleton soldiers under normality, and he would be too busy to take care of anything more than this number. But that was just the norm. Lu Rui realized that when he opened the necromantic mind, his upper limit of manipulation would be raised by two times. After opening the necromantic mind, he was completely able to manipulate this necromantic creation troop with 60 units. It shouldn't be too overwhelming. Lu Rue replied. Really no problem? Mi Shaoka looked confused and looked at Lu Rue like he was a monster. Sister Wen Ching said directly. You're exaggerating. Normal ignition. How much? Wen Yi's tone was slightly skeptical as she looked at the 60 necromantic creatures in the field. They were necromancy researchers, of course they knew that most necromancy practitioners could manipulate the maximum number of summons at each stage. And this was already several times over the upper limit for normal people, Lu Rue. Lu Rue frowned slightly, he suddenly realized that he seemed to be too strong, 
exceeding the same stage of people too much, calling a little confused. But then he heard his sister Wanya ask, School brother, your upper limit of manipulating necromantic creations far exceeds that of others at the same stage, is it because of that gifted rune of yours? Perhaps it was a good choice to shift the reason for one's inhuman performance to an unknown talent rune of others? I'm not sure, it should be quite likely, right? Lu Rue said in mock confusion. Wanya nodded and wrote a note in the observation log. This talent has the effect of drastically strengthening the summoner's upper limit of manipulating summons. Hokage try manipulating them at the same time to see how it works, and make them perform different behaviors each. Mi Shaoka said. Hmm, I'll try. Lu Rue did as he was told. Mi Shaoka shouted again, brother awkward, lift the camera and adjust the position. Oh. Chen Jiong sniffed and aimed the various cameras at Lu Rue's 60 necromantic summoners. Then Lu Rue began to display. It was like drawing a circle with his left hand and a square with his right hand. It was just that Lu Rue manipulated 60 units at the same time, he did as he was told and actually did it as well. 60 dead spirit units displayed different behaviors at the same time, proving that Lu Rue really had a manipulation ceiling far beyond that of practitioners at the same stage. The research team took notes and considered the first test completed. At this time, Sister Wen Ching pointed at the 8 buckets of stamina potion left in the field and asked, Can you still drink it, school brother? Let's record the upper limit of your Yuanfu's storage of necromantic creations and see if your talent runes have a strengthening effect on this aspect. Yuanfu had a storage function, and the larger the capacity, the more summons it could store. It can. Lu Rue nodded and said, he also tried his upper limit in this aspect. With a movement of his mind, the 60 necromantic creations within the venue were transformed into fist-sized balls of light that surged into the Yuanfu within his body. According to Lu Rue's own feelings, this seemed to only account for about two-fifths of his capacity. Tons and tons of eight liters of physical potions were poured in, and then twenty poisonous swamp mouths, twenty chattering bone bats, and a complete set of full body bone armor were summoned. So many necromantic creations were deposited into Lu Rue's Yuanfu, and only then did he feel that his Yuanfu was filled to the brim. Mi Shaoka looked at the data and sked. The underworld viewing thoughts you cultivate has the effect of enhancing the Yuanfu's capacity. But this is still too much for you, according to the database comparison, your Yuanfu capacity is three times that of someone at the same stage practicing the same kind of technique. Based on the test results, Mi Shaoka made another notation in the experiment record, the talent has the effect of substantially increasing the Yuanfu capacity ceiling. At this time, the two sisters, Wen Shang and Wenya, were heard whispering again. Sis, just with the effect of substantially increasing the manipulation ceiling and Yuanfu capacity, this talent rune of schoolmates already has the level of a second class talent, right? But Boss Lai's prediction is first class and above, the other effects haven't even been measured yet, if we really want to participate in the first class rating our group will be rich. Humph, be bold and go straight to extra class, I see this in human cultivation speed of my schoolmate, I don't even believe it when I say he's not an extra class talent rune. Extraordinary talent, then wouldn't our group be the first researcher? Lu Rue's hearing was so good that he could hear the two girls whispering across a distance. However, leaving aside what rewards the Institute's talent rune rating could send him in the end, just these hundreds of necromantic creation harvests, Lu Rue sacrificed them all, it was estimated that other than the spiritual attribute, the full attribute could be raised by at least 6 units. And Mi Shao Ko in completing this record asked again, Lu Rue can you still drink? The next step is to do destructive tests on the summons to compare the various values after the talent rune enhancement, and you have to provide some more summons. She pointed to the remaining 7 vats of stamina potion. Destructive test? Good. Lu Rue's eyes lit up at the words and nodded. Can drink. In the next half an hour, he took all the stamina potions provided by the research team and converted them all into necromantic creations. The total amount. 20 small skeleton soldiers, 90 chattering bone bats, 90 poison swamp mouths, three sets of full body bone armor. Lu Rue already didn't dare to imagine how much reinforcement he could gain after sacrificing these necrotic creations. The feeling of having money to storm the army is really cool. The next step to launch destructive tests was also simple. The scientific research team first used all kinds of extreme means to test the various abilities of these dead creatures and collect data from the control group. Lu Rue on the side to cooperate. The team told Lu Rue to activate the active effect of the rune talent. Lu Rue's creation of the e Pale Calamity, S Special White Fog required the consumption of a certain amount of his own energy, and the thicker the fog, the wider the range the more it consumed. He consumed one-fifth of his blue bar to create the highest concentration of pale mist at the reach level within 500 cubic meters of space. Tested by the team, being under this kind of highly concentrated fog, even if it was a level 28 senior warrior like Mi Shaoko, her five senses were fully suppressed, using her spiritual power to perceive would not exceed 10 meters, and any behavioral actions brought about increased consumption. 
even disperses oxygen and changes the pressure, so if an ordinary person is in it and is suppressed by the white fog, it will be extremely difficult. Only by Lu Rue is considered a friendly party, she was suppressed perception range and consumption to return to normal. And Lu Rue is the fog maker, the fog becomes an extension of his perception, as long as the people or things covered by the fog, he can perceive. Such a highly concentrated fog after dilution, can spread the range can be up to 10 times. Range growth, the effect of suppressing the perception of hostile targets is reduced, but it can still strengthen Lu Rue's own perception ability. Not only the effect of perception, in the white fog, Lu Rue realized that the upper limit of his control of necrotic units increased to three times the original. He could release all 200 necromantic units within the Yuanfu and manipulate the whole unit. These test results alone shocked the entire group. School brother is going to heaven? The two sisters, Wen Yet and Wen Yi, were first dumbfounded, then extremely excited to make their recordings. Steady, steady, steady. This necromantic talent rune was guaranteed to be a first class rating. But this was just the beginning, the next group tested the effects of the white mist reinforcement. The main test is to test the performance of many necromantic artifacts after being strengthened by the white mist. Strength, speed, endurance, and resistance to blows. Under the highest concentration of white mist, all necromorphs were strengthened by 20%. And in the process of testing the chattering bone bats, both the group and Lu Rue discovered a small detail. The white fog changed the composition of the air, and in the highest concentration of white fog, the speed of sound was four times that of normal temperature and pressure. At the lowest concentration, it was 1.3 times. The research team believed that this could greatly enhance the effects of sonic abilities, while Lu Rui knew that in the white fog state, his hearing and sonic attacks would be significantly enhanced. Not only that, he himself in the highest concentration of white fog, not only to get attribute enhancement, but also to strengthen his affinity with the plane of the dead, blue bar recovery efficiency increased by 30%. What's more, the enhancement wasn't just limited to Lu Rui's own necromantic creation, other people's necromantic creations or necromantic battle skills could also be strengthened under the white mist state. This was a great deal. The scope of application of that talent rune had become immense, and it also had nearly no side effects. Student Lu Rui's talent rune to create special white mist should be able to create an effect of the necromantic plane. Chen Hua, the leader of the group, analyzed the judgment and wrote it into the research report. The other four people in the group were. The other four members of the group were even more excited, Lu Rui's extremely powerful talent rune effect was already the standard for an extraordinary talent in their opinion. As a group participating in the research of the special talent, this will be a very lucrative scientific research output, which can be used as a merit for the promotion of the title of the members of the group. They had their happiness, and Lu Rui also had his own happiness. The scientific research team conducted a large number of destructive tests in order to test the effect of white mist reinforcement. Throughout the test, the research team destroyed 20 small skeleton soldiers, 40 poisonous swamp maws, 40 chattering bone bats and two sets of full-body bone armor. There were still 50 poison swamp big mouths and chattering bone bats and one set of full body bone armor left in his Yuanfu, which was used for data collection for the next control experiment, so it wasn't destroyed. But just by destroying half of the necromantic creations in the test, Lu Rui's panel data was swiping like crazy. Gained base attribute bonus, strength plus 10. 5, agility plus 8. 2, physique plus 8. 1, spirit plus 4. 6, strength 40. 9, agility 42. 0, Physique 40. 2, Spirit 49. 4, the basic attributes were heavily boosted. And there was also a talent boost. Necromantic Mind, Limit Breaking, 42 slash 100. Necromantic Stamina, Limit Breaking, 32 slash 100. Liquid Muscle, 15 slash 100. Skeletal Creation, Broken Limit, 8 slash 100. Dimensional Affinity, Necrotic, 13 tenths. Blood Bat Insight, 8 out of 10. Flesh and Blood Transformation, 9 out of 10. Scarlet Harvest, 6 out of 10. Vocal Cord Enhancement, 5 out of 10. Hearing Enhancement, 6 out of 10. Among the many talents, Dimensional Affinity has completed breaking the limit. Dimensional Affinity, Necromantic Dimensional Affinity plus 20%, Consumption minus 10%, Reinforcement plus 10%. In addition, Lu Rue also gained new talents from the Small Skeleton Soldier, the Chattering Bone Bat, and the Poison Swamp Mouth. Weapon Manipulation, Bow and Arrow, Weapon Manipulation, Heavy Blade. Mental Shock, 2 out of 10. Paralyzing Venom, 3 out of 10. Paralyzing Venom, 3 out of 10. Blinding Venom, 1 tenth. Drowsy Venom, 1 tenth. Corrosive Venom, 1 tenth. Lu Rue finally got the ability to utilize his powerful spiritual attribute offensive talent, which represented one more of his means. Many Venom talent is from the poisonous swamp mouth, not only let Lu Rue have the ability to generate corresponding Venom, 
but also strengthen their own corresponding poison resistance. The most direct and effective way to activate this talent is to generate venom through the stomach pouch and then spray it out through the esophagus muscles. Lu Rue now muscle power is not low, spitter bullets. But fighting a war of words is not very elegant after all, although the many venoms are very useful, but how to use them specifically, Lu Rue felt that he still had to think about it more. After acquiring these talents, he also realized a point in his heart. Not in the school's records, I haven't practiced spiritual attacks or venom creating battle techniques, if I show these special means, it might not be too easy to explain. I can hide a few hands first, treating these means as undercards that I don't take out easily, and when I cultivate battle skills with similar effects in the official records, I can use these talents in name only. Thinking of this, Lu Rue remembered that students were able to spend credits to exchange battle techniques with the school. And the credits. Lu Rue's eyes looked towards the hundreds of destroyed remains of the necromantic creations. He wanted to eat three fish in one. Rating, strengthening, and exchanging for money. And right now, the first evaluation of the necromancy research team came to an end, and Chen Hua and Chen Zhong began to organize the experimental data. Lu Rue then asked me Xiao Ku, Sister Mi, what are you going to do with the remains of these necromantic creations after the experiments have been used? He pointed at the remains of the necromantic creatures and had some embarrassed smiles on his face. Mi Xiaoke reacted for a moment before she understood what Lu Rue meant by his words, so she laughed. These are all losses from the experiment, the relevant participants can dispose of them on their own, if our group. Mi Xiaoke looked at the person in charge, Chen Hua. Chen Hua, on the other hand, did not lift his head to busy himself with the matter at hand and said, Chen Zhong and I will organize the data, you guys look after it yourselves. Lu Rue's eyes then looked at the two sisters Wen Chang and Wenya. After all, when Cheng and Wenya sisters also graduated from Tian First Middle School, knowing that these experimental debris converted into credits is a considerable income for students. They were aware of Lu Rui's thoughts, and sister Wen Qing smiled and said, We don't have much use for this, we want this. She tapped the recording experiment data tablet with the tip of her pen. For researchers, the gain of being able to make scientific achievements could be much greater than this small profit. Seeing that the people in the group all defaulted to attribute the experimental wreckage to Lu Rue to deal with, Lu Rue was naturally overjoyed. He estimated that the remains of these dead creatures were worth at least 66 credits. Counting the remaining credits in his hand, the total number of credits reached 104. Even with the 20% discount benefit, the purchasing power of his credits was equivalent to 130 points. The school is not a bank, and money can't be generated by putting it away so Lu Rue thought about how to use these credits to enhance his combat power. The easiest way for him to become stronger is to sacrifice summons, either to obtain a new summon contract, or to cultivate a battle technique similar to the skeleton armor plating that can both strengthen and create a necromantic creature. Not knowing how to pick from his shallow experience, he went straight to ask the necromancy research team present. Chen Hua and Shen Zhong were busy going, so Lu Rue asked the remaining three. Senior, battle techniques or summons to consider? But if the budget is only 130 credits, then. Sister Wen Qing pondered. 130 credits was a lot for a student, but in the eyes of seniors like them, it wasn't really much of an abundance. For ordinary students around 50 credits could be exchanged for a suitable battle technique, but Lu Rui wasn't an ordinary human student, he would be much more demanding, so the exchangeable options would become few and far between. However, in such matters, it was still Mi Xiaoke who was more sophisticated, she smiled. Let Lu Rue go our Necromancy Research Institute's program ah, his talent rune is now our group's research project. As long as the expenditures for the sake of research can be reimbursed in our project funding, we can open a talent rune on battle skill strengthening effect research project for you, you exchange battle skills or contract expenditures, our project team reimbursement. Lu Rue sniffed, a bit dumbfounded, then surprised. It can still be like this? This won't be a problem. Was this considered false public assistance? Lu Rue before crossing over was after all a sophomore, his thoughts were still more or less simple, and he didn't dare to think about getting something for nothing. Sister Wen Qing reacted and immediately added clarification. There is no problem ah. We are all working in accordance with the rules and regulations of the institute, and are able to operate like this ah. We are doing this to comprehensively study the effects of the talent rune, and with sufficient funding, there is a greater range of options available for exchanging battle techniques and contracts. These two beautiful sisters with a look of old workplace oil to Lu Rui instilled the idea of public expense reimbursement. Lu Rui was really a bit confused, he was indeed moved. Mi Shaoka picked up his cell phone, sent a few messages, and then showed his cell phone chat records and said, I sent a message to Dean Li, she said that she has opened a special for you, look at your own cell phone. Lu Rui sniffed, after knowing it took out his cell phone, and sure enough, half a minute later, he received an official notice from the university. The school officially notified that the dean of the Necromancy Research Institute, Mr. 
Lai, gave him a special fund to declare the battle technique research. Seeing that the process is correct, there is also the vice dean's endorsement, Lu Rue has no worries. Lu Rue has no more worries, and at the same time, he also realized that he seems to have embraced the big leg, Dean Lee, and the research team are quite good to him. The funding is sufficient, and now the four people can choose from a wider range of options in the discussion. But the discussion went on and on, these three pretty girls were not combatants after all, so Mishauka proposed. Next you also and follow Lieutenant Colonel Sher Wei practice fighting, which involves actual combat, according to the actual combat performance we then give reference to choose it? She had a point, Lu Rue nodded at that. But what made him a bit surprised was that the school had invited an instructor who was actually a school official. Lu Rue recalled the school textbook's introduction of the job titles and corresponding strengths of the combatants of the Great Summer Kingdom. Gradually igniting the 36 UN Fu nodes was the rank of soldier and lieutenant, which was from level 1 to level 36 warrior. When all 36 nodes are ignited it's the rank of school officer, which is a war general of level 36 or above. Referring to Lu Rue's own full attribute growth effect for each node ignited, that your way instructor's full attributes are at least 200 or more, but also masters many battle skills and has rich combat experience. To be able to engage in actual combat with such a level of opponent, Lu Rue was a bit excited just thinking about it. He really wanted to find a suitable opportunity to try out his current battle power, as well as brush up on his evolution points. Okay, after the actual battle is over, then I'll pick a battle technique. Lu Rue decided. It didn't make him wait too long. That is, five minutes after the end of the experiment on their side, Instructor Sher Wei sent a message, stating that things were over on Lin Yuan's side, and that it was time to take charge of Lu Rui's side of the teaching task. The five members of the scientific research team will also follow them, mainly to collect and test the data of Lu Rui in the high-intensity combat state, to comprehensively analyze the specific effect of the talent rune. Lu Rui has just arrived at the training ground, and Lin Yuan is walking towards him. At the moment, this handsome teenager with feminine features is wearing a bath towel over his upper body, bare feet, and the only remaining school pants are also tattered and torn, with all the clothing below the knees gone. He looked like he had just gone through an intense battle, with most of his clothes in shreds. Lin Yuan's face was very pale, he was panting heavily, and his face was visibly tired as he said to Lu Rue. The instructor is very strong, I didn't even hurt the corner of his clothes, and only lasted under his hand for 40 minutes, I hope you can also reach or exceed this time. He didn't say much and left after saying this. Lu Rui nodded in response and proceeded to walk into the training grounds. Upon entering the training grounds, he was given a pair of evolution bracelets, which were for intensive training gains. At the same time, Lu Rui was also told that the dimensional resonance apparatus was turned on in the training grounds, which meant that when he trained in the grounds, the recovery efficiency of his blue bar was three times that of the norm. After creating such a training atmosphere, the instructor Shi Wei was already waiting in the center of the training ground. Seeing Lu Rue's arrival, Sher Wei gently nodded his head, a pair of black and white eyes under the brim of his hat looked at Lu Rue and opened his mouth. Unarmed combat and various weapons, yesterday's Gung Fu sure has already taught you the relevant skills, but only actual combat will allow you to integrate these skills, the next thing we're going to do is unlimited combat. I will be attacking you. The school provides top-notch medical assistance, so even if I dismantle the limbs and break the heart, they can still be saved. But I can tell unequivocally that it definitely doesn't feel good and you can use any means and everything in the grounds to defend yourself against my attack, that's what's being taught. When you feel ready, you can begin. Sher Wei had a faint smile on his lips. The rules were simple. But a level 36 or above warrior fighting Lu Rue, a level 2 warrior, the malice in it could be imagined. Lu Rue took a deep breath, but instead of much fear, he began to get uncontrollably excited. He could finally let go of the fight. Lu Rue rubbed his right wrist with the evolution bracelet. He looked around. Outside the field, there were five people from the research team recording data and the medical team. Inside the field, there were weapon racks, all kinds of weapons, even ordinary firearms. But Lu Rue did not even look at the firearms, his fist destructive power can be much stronger than ordinary bullets, his fist cannot break things, ordinary bullets are also useless. Lu Rue from the selection of an extremely exaggerated size of light grip on a meter, blade length of 1 meter 5 heavy chopping knife. Lu Rue in the process of sacrificing small skeleton soldiers obtained, scythe, heavy knife, bow and arrow, three kinds of weapon use talent. Perhaps it was because the scythe was not a regular weapon, and it was not equipped in the training room. This makes Lu Rue feel a little regret, pondering the future to find a suitable scythe weapon. At the moment, he could only pick two other weapons to make do with. The texture of the heavy chopper was hard, weighing more than a hundred kilograms. But with Lu Rue's current strength, it could be said that it was a lightweight. Finally, he also took a strong bow, the logo shows that the bow is made of special materials, 3 tons of tension can open the bow, the upper limit is not more than 5 tons. 
Ordinary bullets have a force of about 300 kilograms, and an arrow with 5 tons of force is already comparable to an anti-material rifle, and can directly shoot the carrier. Weapons have it. Time to armor. Lu Rue performed the enhanced version of the battle technique skeleton armor plating, imitating the style of military steel helmets and bulletproof vests to generate bone helmets and bone armor, and small arms to fists and calves to shoes to generate armor. Then the many talents opened one by one. When the life insight talent started, two pale white phosphorus flames jumped out of his pupils, and he gained insight into the life force in Shirwei's body that was like a magma furnace. It was a life force that was several times more vigorous than Lu Rue's. This is an uncompromisingly powerful opponent. Lu Rue's pupils shrunk slightly, and after entering the necromantic mind state, his vaguely agitated emotions calmed down. What's there to be excited about? Fight monsters with all your might, and brush your levels ruthlessly. A white mist began to fill the field. When the white mist completely obscured Lu Rue's figure, he calmly said, It can start now. The moment the words fell, Shir Wei didn't make a move, he first felt the state when he was in the white mist. What a novel rune talent, even I have been suppressed to a certain extent. Under the white fog, the five senses are basically deprived. Eyes can't see, ears can't hear, skin can't be touched, smell can't be detected, and taste can't be known. Not only are the five senses severely affected, the change in air composition makes it impossible for normal people to breathe. As if in a world full of dead silence. But your way was, after all, a seasoned warrior, and he closed his eyes and. A special pattern appeared on the 36 nodes of the UN Fu that were all lit up in his body. The patterns formed the pattern of golden tiger hunting. This is a gifted rune, but an acquired rune. The appearance of gifted runes during the casting process of the UN Fu was called innate runes. When all the nodes of the UN Fu were ignited, the UN Fu could take the initiative to topologize some special laws from the corresponding realm, generating the innate runes. The difference between innate and acquired was that the former had an extremely high growth rate. Shirwei's innate rune effect was unleashed, a faint golden light emanated from his body surface, golden vertical pupils appeared in his eyes, an invisible field was generated, and the five meters of white fog around him was refused to disperse. Is this the only thing my rune ability can do? This child's rune effects are really something. Shirwei murmured wordlessly. It was also at this moment that the, the sharp arrow silently pierced through the white mist and shot towards Shirwei's abdomen. Ha! Shirwei lightly grunted as he moved sideways at high speed, so fast that he even left golden residual shadows in the air. The arrow missed the target. But when the arrow shot outside the field, the arrow with five tons of power not only produced a sonic boom effect, the arrows. The moment the arrow had hit the hard wall of the training ground, it even shot out fragments, scattering dust in all directions and making a violent sound no less than that of an artillery shell exploding. Over here. Based on the direction of the arrow, Shirwei instantly locked onto Lu Rue's location. He moved at high speed, and wherever he passed, the white mist was rejected by his runic force field. The next moment he dodged the arrow, Shirwei instantly arrived in front of Lu Rue. The rough fist swung up and slammed down heavily. Lu Rue similarly swung his fist back. He did not hold back this punch, with his own limit output power back, is more than 12 tons of power. The moment the two fists clashed, there was a violent sound, the surrounding white fog stirred and rolled, as if swept by invisible fluctuations. Sure Wei was quite surprised to be knocked back three steps by Lu Rue. He was astonished in his heart. I watched the child's fist strength yesterday was only about two tons, how did it progress so fast? Sure Wei is based on the results of yesterday's Lu Rue and Qin Yang sparring, coupled with Lu Rue today's physical training performance to judge Lu Rue's fist strength. Sure Wei original judgment is, Lu Rue fist power should be in six tons or so, so in training, his fist out of seven tons of force, to create a certain pressure to Lu Rue. But I did not expect, Lu Rue punched 12 tons of force instead of knocking himself back. This was a bit embarrassing. Sure Wei felt that he was more or less a bit presumptuous, and that Lu Rue was much stronger than he had anticipated. He hurriedly changed his teaching plan and swung his second fist up to 13 tons of force. The two fists collided again. This time Sure Wei didn't retreat. But Lu Rue also did not retreat. Sure Wei's power was greater than his, but most of Sure Wei's force was absorbed by Lu Rue's strength and bone armor. Lu Rue quickly swung a third punch back, towards Sure Wei's face, using the simplest and most understandable body language to express his thoughts. Instructor you don't have enough strength ah, a little more intensity. Sure Wei sensed that Lu Rue wanted to express meaning, so the third punch he directly surged to 20 tons. The third fist collided. This time it wasn't just white mist rolling around and sounds exploding. The armor on Lu Rue's body, and even his entire body's skeleton, emitted a mournful sound under the huge force bombardment. The muscles were swollen and sore from the huge blow, and for a while, they couldn't exert their power to counterattack, and Lu Rue was even knocked back two steps by Sher Wei's punch. The corner of Sher Wei's mouth rose, this is considered to be a clear understanding of your kid's upper limit. 
But even though Shir Wei hit the suppression force, he was still secretly surprised, because previously when Lin Yuan and he trained, Shir Wei suppressed Lin Yuan only used up to 10 tons of force. And Lu Rue had to use 20 tons of force to suppress him at the start? The same student, is the difference so big? Not to mention Shir Wei's surprise, after Lu Rue's body was subjected to external pressure, the evolution bracelet he wore finally started to work. That sense of evolution that strongly stimulated the effect and called for people to start looking forward to finally appeared again. Lu Rue didn't even avoid retreating Shir Wei's fists, the talent, flesh and blood transformation, bone creation, was activated to quickly repair the muscles and bone armor, and the fourth punch was quickly swung out. Shir Wei watched as Lu Rue counterattacked so quickly with plenty of remaining power, so he adjusted the fourth punch power upwards to 26 tons. With one blow, Lu Rue retreated eight steps. He was unloading power with every step he took backward, trampling the ground with a rumble. This time he was under pressure and damage even more, and while quickly repairing the damage, the evolution bracelet took effect. Materia Medica, plus one evolution point. I want this. Rao Rui was in the state of necromantic mind, but he was actually full of eagerness for this battle. He didn't bring any fear at all, intensifying his efforts to repair the damage to his body, only thinking of hurrying to throw another punch. Shir Wei, on the other hand, had his own teaching rhythm, seeing that Lu Rui was knocked back by a punch. He took advantage of Lu Rui gasping for breath, quickly swept to his body, turned his fist into a claw, and his ten fingers were like ten steel blades. Ten fingers like ten steel blades, from top to bottom, cross Lu Rui body bone armor completely torn. Spare the bone armor to Lu Rui to provide a strong defense to absorb a large amount of damage, Shir Wei this claw will still be his upper body clothing and chest skin torn open. Lu Rui's body appeared ten wounds drenched in blood. Shir Wei even tore off a piece of Lu Rui's intact intercostal muscle, and said in a cold voice, The bottom line of this teaching is that I can beat you until you die, and I can easily do that. You also know the truth that the longer you hold out during training, the more benefits you will get, Lin Yuan holds out for about 40 minutes, while you will show a desperate attitude if you don't want to quit within 3 minutes, just like you did in the previous training. Shir Wei used actions and words to put pressure on Lu Rui's upper intensity, while laying down a hard hand, and with a nice mouth. But what Shir Wei didn't say was that Lu Rui's training intensity was at least 5 times that of Lin Yuan's. In Shir Wei's heart, Lu Rui at this moment showed combat strength, already equivalent to 14, 15 level intermediate warriors. It was important to realize that Lu Rui was only a level 2 warrior right now. Even if Shir Wei verbally compared Lin Yuan to Lu Rui, in reality, in Shir Wei's opinion, Lin Yuan's current combat power ceiling was only barely enough to reach a level 9 warrior. Such a gap was amazing and strange to Shir Wei. And Lu Rui, who was in training, didn't know this at the moment. Fresh blood soaked down his chest and stained his abdomen, dripping out a few bloody plum blossoms on the ground, while the white mist around him seemed to have begun to die with the color of blood and the smell of iron because of Lu Rui's bleeding and injuries. Talent Enhancement, Flesh and Blood Transformation, 10 out of 10. Flesh and Blood Transformation, Limit Breaking, significantly strengthens the efficiency of flesh and blood, and can freely manipulate the way flesh and blood grows and takes shape. Talent Enhancement, Liquid Muscle, 18 slash 100, Talent Enhancement, Liquid Muscle, 18 slash 100. Talent Enhancement, Pressure Resistant Skeleton, 8 slash 100. Talent Enhancement, Bone Creation, 12 out of 100. Rune Enhancement, Pale Calamity, 1 tenth. Attribute Enhancement, Strength plus 0. 4, Agility plus 0. 2, Physique plus 0. 3, Evolution Value plus 1. Strength isn't enough. Defense isn't strong enough. Physical body recovery efficiency wasn't fast enough. Lu Rue, under the pressure from the outside world and the strong thirst from within, the evolution bracelet power was turned on full blast, and the basic attributes and talents were raised once again. The torn wound on his chest quickly stopped bleeding under the talent of flesh and blood transformation. The dimensional resonance instrument strengthened Lu Rue's affinity for the necrotic plane. Not only did the efficiency of his blue bar recovery increase, but even his talent rune, Pale Scourge, became extremely active. Shir Wei's fifth punch came, and Lu Rui backed up with a deft roll and entered the white mist, allowing the mist to envelop his body and make his opponent's punch fall short. Shir Wei pursued, and in response he was met with a thick and sharp giant blade. Shir Wei was strong, really strong. A level 2 warrior fighting a level 36 plus war general, this took the head? But Lu Rui's goal wasn't to defeat Shir Wei, he wanted to sharpen himself through extremely intense battles. He wanted to brush up his values and talents, and needed a suitable opponent. Shir Wei this level of elite warriors, Lu Rue cannot be found in the same age. Therefore, his battle spirit was high, and he was using Shir Wei's sharpening to make himself faster and stronger. Even under the state of necromantic mind, his blood still surged, and the white mist around him rose and stirred along with his fighting spirit. Every strike of Lu Rue's went all out towards the limit. 
The sharpness of the heavy blade clashed with the fist. Shi Wei also felt Lu Rui's attitude, so every strike was to hammer Lu Rui to death. When Lu Rui used his weapon, Shi Wei also raised his fist power to a more terrifying 25 tons. Even if Lu Rui has a hard weapon and armor absorption can absorb part of the damage, but the remaining damage fell on his flesh, still can make him muscle tear, bone broken. It made him retreat back and forth, unable to counterattack. However, every time Shi Wei took advantage of the situation to pursue him, Lu Rui summoned a white mist to cover his form extremely quickly, allowing him to catch his breath and recover. The flesh and blood transformation and bone creation talents were running at high speed at this moment, and every time his flesh was damaged, the powerful healing ability quickly repaired the damage, and under the effect of the evolutionary bracelet, the repaired flesh became a few points stronger, and his fighting skills were even more exquisite. He also had to highly utilize his extraordinary hearing and eyesight, and with the help of the white mist perception enhancement, he was able to capture the trajectory of Sure Wei's high speed and powerful attacks, and prevent himself from receiving serious injuries that would cause him to lose his mobility. The panel also quickly refreshed as the intensity of the battle increased. Attribute enhancement, strength plus zero. Four, agility plus zero. Three, physique plus zero. Four, evolution value plus two. Attribute enhancement, strength plus zero. 5. Agility plus 0. 4. Constitution plus 0. 5. Evolution value plus 3. Talent enhancement. Life insight. September 10th. Talent enhancement. Hearing. Talent enhancement. Heavy blade manipulation. 8 out of 10. Rune enhancement. Pale scourge. 6 tenths. After only 40 minutes of fighting, Lu Rue's evolutionary value accumulated to 48 points, and his three main attributes were raised to the level of strength 45. 3. Agility 44. 2, and Physique 44. 1. The output strength increased to 14 tons, and the other talents that had already broken the limit also increased significantly. And as the pressurizer Shi Wei is able to clearly feel that as the engagement time goes by, Lu Rue counterattack power is getting bigger and bigger. In order to ensure the effectiveness of the training, Shi Wei also passively had to increase his output power. However, when Shi Wei's punching power was raised to 30 tons, he had already reached the peak power of his norm, and then to raise his power, he had to use some means. Good boy, now the performance is no worse than that of an 18th or 19th level battle soldier. Shi Wei secretly recognized in his heart. And in order to allow Lu Rui, a good seedling, to grow more robustly, Shi Wei then took out more means. Adjusting his breath, Shi Wei's black and white eyes transformed into reddish-brown prisms, his body emitted a large amount of hot steam, and his bones even crackled and popped. His body size climbed, and his training clothes were bursting, Shi Wei had risen from 1 to 2 years old. Was bursting through, Shi Wei instantly grew from a 1 meter 8 stop man to a 2 meter 6 giant. This was one of Shi Wei's battle techniques, specialized in strengthening the physical body, with the effect of gigantization. At this moment, Shi Wei's one palm was bigger than Lu Rui's chest. The huge palm was like a landslide boulder slapping towards, stirring up waves of air, stirring the white mist to surge and retreat. Lu Rui held the sword with both hands, pupils burning with pale phosphorus fire, inverted printing that is like a boulder falling like a big palm. This palm force reaches 33 tons, if not next, Lu Rui's body is afraid to be shot into a mixture of broken bones and rotten meat, immediately lose the ability to fight, grassy end. Of course he can dodge, Shi Wei also in the move, deliberately left Lu Rui in the nick of time to dodge the opportunity to move. But Lu Rui did not want to dodge to escape, under the stimulation of great pressure, the pale flames in his pupils skyrocketed. Talent breaks the limit, life insight. Life insight, breaking the limits, understanding the laws of the flow of life and death in all living things. Talent breakthrough, heavy blade control. At the moment when the big hand fell, Lu Rui's talent broke the limit, his insight ability was even deeper, he could see the extremely crucial death chi in Shi Wei's powerful body's exuberant vitality. Most living beings have both life and death chi, and life and death flow and change in an individual. When the vitality is greater than the death energy, the living being is physically and mentally healthy and grows vigorously. If death is greater than life, the living soul will be weak and susceptible to disease, and will gradually die. Lu Rui's insight talent and weapon talent evolved. In the nick of time, he had a flash of light, and the power of the dead spirit surged within his Yuan Fu, attaching itself to his weapon and slashing at Shi Wei's big hand, which could hit the dead Qi. When his palm clashed with the blade, Shi Wei felt that something was wrong in an instant. It was as if he had been struck by a flaw, and his attack, which originally had 10 points of power, could only be utilized 7 points. And because of the missing three points of power, Shi Wei's explosive move was taken down hard by Lu Rue. Even Shi Wei realized that his palm was cut with a blood scar, and his self-healing ability was suppressed. This made Shi Wei feel both surprised and fiercely reasonable. This child Lu Rue is truly a demon among geniuses, and has grown substantially in battle again. Shi Wei marveled in his heart. 
Lu Rui, on the other hand, savored the gains brought about by the talent breakthrough. At the critical moment, through the stimulation of the evolution bracelet, he combined the weapon talent and life insight talents, allowing his attacks to have a special weakness strike effect, greatly increasing his lethality. The fighting duo each had their own epiphanies. However, training must continue, seeing that Lu Rue had the ability to hurt himself, Zhu Wei also thought that he had to bring out more strength, or else he would not be able to fight with suppressive force. Pay attention, I'm going to use my second battle technique. He opened his mouth to remind him, his body emitted a faint golden radiance that became solid and substantial, the whole person seemed to be wearing a golden armor, and the wounds on his palms rapidly healed themselves. Zhu Wei's second battle skill focused on strengthening his defense and self-healing ability. Now he was not afraid of Lu Rue's deadly chi strike, and he forced Lu Rue to the edge of life and death again, and continued to squeeze his potential. Seeing Xiu Wei continue to increase his strength, Lu Rue didn't panic because his other talent was about to break through. Talent breaking limit, pale calamity, 10 out of 10. The extremely high growth of the innate talent rune was greatly stimulated and grew under the combined effects of high intensity battles, the evolutionary bracelet, and the dimensional resonance instrument. The moment the talent rune broke through, Lu Rue Yuanfu itself was strengthened, and his originally indistinct and untouchable white mists instantly took on a special sense of substance. Pale Scourge, Limit Breaking. Necromancy Domain, White Mist can combine with all necromancy abilities to play a unique role. Embrace of the Underworld, the Yuanfu briefly evolves into the Underworld, which can release Underworld waves that impact the target's soul and produce a soul-drawing effect. The moment the talent rune broke through, Lu Rue, who was under great pressure, unleashed Embrace of the Underworld on Shi Wei. He raised his left hand, palm facing Shi Wei. The energy within the Yuanfu was instantly emptied, and his mental power dropped drastically, followed by the release of an invisible fluctuation. The necromancy research team that was collecting battle data outside the training ground also instantly noticed the changes after Lu Rue's talent rune evolved through their instruments. Shi Wei, on the other hand, was hit by the underworld wave without any defense, and his originally ferocious figure fell into a stalemate. The moment the underworld wave was released, Lu Rue Yuanfu's unique talent rune pattern changed dramatically. The form of the runes became more delicate, mysterious, and complicated. The original 18 prisms of Yuanfu, but also under the special effect of the talent runes, evolved into a more special form. It was a dark and dim, shrouded in dense white mist, like a unique little world of uncharted chaos. This special form of Yuanfu only lasted for a moment, when the power of the dead spirit within Yuanfu was consumed and released as a special underworld wave, Yuanfu degraded back to its original 18 prong cylinder form. This unique change in Yuanfu was also recorded by the research team's instruments. The head of the team, Shen Hua, raised his hand and pushed up his glasses in an unsettled state of mind, his emotions stirring as he said, Domain Fledgling. This is a domain fledgling, the precursor of a special domain evolving from a talent rune, a special phenomenon that would only appear after an extraordinary talent rune had been developed to a certain degree. The scientific research team had collected important data. Sherway in the training ground, on the other hand, was in a white fog, unaware, defenseless, and with no rune to dodge. The release range of the underworld wave was all the places covered by the white mist, and all the white mist seemed to turn into a solid body and surged into Sherway's body. Sure Wei was caught off guard and was struck head-on by the invisible and materialless underworld wave. At this instant, Sure Wei's soul was shaken. He only felt that his will was trapped in an invisible cage, enveloped in a thick white fog, his thoughts were stagnant, and he couldn't sense his physical body and Yuanfu power anymore. The attack Sure Wei was about to unleash, as well as the battle techniques he was performing, were all stopped. When he reacted and used his willpower to break through the white mist cage blockade, and sensed his physical body and Yuanfu power again, Lu Rue had already surged forward and chopped down with his sword. In reality, only less than zero. One seconds had passed, however, for a superhuman like Lu Rue, who had ten times the gravity and could still travel a hundred meters per second, zero. One seconds was already enough to launch a surprise attack. The light of the blade flashed through two crosscuts. The white mist dissipated, and Shi Wei's strong upper body was chopped out with an X-shaped blood scar, which was deep enough to be seen on the bone. Bright red beads of blood dripped down from Shi Wei's body, the death chi blast inhibited Shi Wei's self-healing ability, and the blood dotted a large cluster of blood plum blossoms under the soles of his feet. This is considered a return honor. Lu Rue's mind was racing, and his chest had been torn open several times by Shi Wei earlier. Shi Wei, on the other hand, was mistakenly covering his chest and abdominal wounds. He had been injured again, or the more critical body torso. That is, Lu Rue's killing power was limited right now. If he were to change to an opponent of the same level, Shi Wei would have already suffered a serious injury by now. After this move, neither of them launched an attack for a while. Shi Wei was in an extreme daze. Lu Rui, on the other hand, was in a poor state as his blue bar was depleted and his Yuanfu was depleted of dead spirit power. 
He realized that after casting Embrace of the Underworld and releasing the Underworld Wave, not only was his Yuanfu's energy depleted, but it also entered a weak state, and the efficiency of its blue recovery dropped drastically to less than 20% of what it was originally. Need to wait for the end of the weak state, Yuanfu will return to normal. Many of Lu Rui's natural ability active effect are to rely on the consumption of the power of the dead to start. Although he, although he had the ability of blue body transformation, the weakness of his Yuanfu would also greatly affect his ability to recover. In addition, the release of Underworld Wave would also consume a lot of Lu Rui's spiritual energy. All these changes made Lu Rui realize that this Underworld Wave might be a killing move to let go. Fortunately, Shi Wei is not a strong enemy who wants Lu Rui to fight to the death. Noticing that his status had dropped, Lu Rui took the initiative and said, Instructor, I consume too much, training can end? Shi Wei reacted for a while before reacting from his extreme shocked ignorance. Ah, uh, you, you're, it's okay. Shi Wei didn't even know what to say for a moment, it was really the effect of that underworld wave that gave him too strong a sense of shock. He, a level 36 plus war general, training a level 2 war soldier, could still gut her out. The research team on the side had already been unable to hold back, seeing that both sides in the venue agreed that the training was over, Chen Hua and the others pulled in the medical team to give Lu Rui treatment and recovery while examining him to collect data, and Mi Xiaoku also quite considerate to bring him clothes and pants. This kind of high-intensity combat, the unusual clothing material simply withstood. Of course, a strong person will not have the shame of bursting clothes. The scientific research team split into three, collecting combat data and combat feelings from the instrument, Lu Rui, and Shi Wei respectively. In the end, the person in charge, Chen Hua, crudely came to a shocking conclusion. The combat intensity of these two had already reached the level of a 27th level combat soldier, and Lu Rui's last strike of Underworld Wave had even reached the level of a combat general. Lu Rui is still just a freshman who hasn't even been enrolled for five days ah? This is a newborn? With a great sense of shock, the scientific research team was busy collecting a large amount of amazing data. However, after Lu Rui understood a little, he was quite surprised and said, it's only the battle intensity of a level 27 battle soldier, but I remember that Sister Me is already level 28? Wouldn't Sister Me be pressing me for a beating? When these words came out, not only did Mi Shaoka freeze, but when Cheng and Wenya, the two sisters, looked at each other in disbelief, Mi Shaoka cried and laughed. Silly you, I'm just a small researcher, my combat power is very weak. At the front line, level 16 or so warriors are much more powerful than me. The most I can do with my thin arms is to bully little kids. She lifted her well-proportioned and white arm, which didn't seem to have much of a muscular look. Lu Rui cocked her head, and pale spirit fire flashed in her eyes. Looking around at the several cultivators around him, other than Shi Wei, Lu Rui's vitality was actually the most vigorous one. Lu Rui's heart was clear, knowing that even practitioners of the same level could have vastly different performance. Mi Shaoka belongs to that kind of water goods, but different positions play a different value, access to resources are also different. Chen Hua, the leader of the group, explained in a popularized manner. Mr. Lu Rui, at the last moment of the battle, your talent rune took a qualitative leap and evolved. In our national database, high-quality innate talent runes have the ability to evolve. After evolution, all of the runes' original abilities will be significantly improved, and at the same time, it will also develop some peculiar abilities. According to the current collection of battle data, you have developed special ability effects that are beyond the rank of a battle soldier. Even LT. Colonel, sure way, a general, would be vulnerable to this without any knowledge or defense. Because you have used an ability that is far beyond your current level, your Yuanfu will fall into a state of apparent weakness after the ability is unleashed. This is also normal, refer to the records of similar situations in the database, about half a day to a week, your Yuanfu will return to normal. Chen Hua told Lu Rue what had happened to him. Lu Rue understood, knowing that his talent rune evolution was rare but not exceptional, and that the Yuanfu weakness state was recoverable. Also because of Lu Rui's abnormal Yuanfu state, neither the research team nor Shi Wei had any intention of letting him continue to participate in research and training. After collecting the data, the research team and the instructor both said that the training and research program was over for the day. Lu Rui examined his many gains, his full attributes reached. Strength 47. 3. Agility 46. 2. Physique 46. 1. Spirit 51. 4. Compared to before the actual combat training, Lu Rui's full attribute enhancement added up to more than 16 units, not to mention the many talent enhancements, and Yuanfu talent rune development. The harvest of the training was so. Of course there was one more thing that he didn't forget. In addition to evolving himself, this battle was also a reference for him to test his practical combat ability, check for flaws and fill in the gaps, and select new battle techniques. Everyone, do you have any recommendations for my next battle technique? 
With the reference of actual combat data, this time everyone had more focus in picking their battle techniques. I do think that my strength isn't enough, I was suppressed by Instructor Sherway's strength the entire time, my idea is to find a strength and strength battle technique. Lu Rue gave his thoughts. His current ability was quite comprehensive, with three balanced items of force, speed, defense, and spirit. Recovery, self-healing, perception, concealment and other abilities were complete. Lu Rue felt that he was already a small hexagon, without any obvious shortcomings. In the absence of shortcomings, it is necessary to focus on strengthening a sudden aspect. Lu Rue chose to strengthen his strength, he now relies on the basic value and talent, liquid muscle, to strengthen his strength. If Lu Rue mastered another specialized strength strengthening battle technique, he could build on this foundation and strengthen it even further. But when Sher Wei on the side heard it, he almost didn't tense up. Kid, you're only a level 2 warrior and you're thinking that you can be able to fight against me, a battle general, in terms of strength? It wasn't just the instructor, the research team all had this attitude. One could only say that the world of geniuses was something they couldn't quite understand. However, out of the consensus of cultivating talents, several people expressed their own opinions. If it's a drastic strengthening of strength, then I remember there is a battle technique called Jinjail strength. Back then when we were pioneering the necromatic plane, Jinjail strength could be said to be a great success, it's just that that battle technique has a very high requirement for physical strength, and it's generally a 16th level battle soldier who can only start practicing it. Sherway sure said, he has been in the army for a long time and has rich relevant experience. At the same time, Mishauka took out the tablet and pulled out the relevant information of prison suppression strength from the official database for Lu Rue to check. This was a necromancy battle technique created by the god general of prison suppression of the great Xia kingdom. And this god general also made great achievements during the exploration of the necromantic plane, and was promoted to be one of the new god generals of the great Xia. According to the specific description of the battle technique, prison suppressing strength was practiced by the power of the dead spirits, and it mainly strengthened the strength, and could be used in attacking dead spirits. And when attacking necrotic creatures, the lethality is doubled, so it is not too much to say that it is the special skill of necrotic killer and phantom god of internal war. After practicing this battle skill to its great completion, one can also practice the special prison stance, which has the characteristics of blockade and suppression, and doubles the suppression effect when targeting the dead spirit creatures. The battle technique was divided into three parts, and had to be exchanged step by step, with the first part costing 500 contribution points and stating that the proceeds from the battle technique were all invested into the development and construction of the necromantic plane of the Great Summer Kingdom. According to the database records, the relevant practitioners only practiced the first chapter of prison suppression strength, the output power can be increased by 1. 5 times on average, and the best ones can achieve the effect of 3 times enhancement. Can it only enhance power output by up to 3 times? Lu Rui muttered, his power talent was able to enhance up to 8 times the effect. To be able to enhance one, five times on average is already considered to be a very powerful battle technique. The Jinjail strength also belongs to that kind of cultivation is more difficult battle technique. Most of the power enhancement battle technique enhancement amplitude is not more than 80% on average. Mi Xiao Ku explained. The average effect of most power enhancement techniques does not exceed 80%. Hiss, Lu Rui suddenly realized how exaggerated his, liquid muscle, talent was. Upon understanding, Lu Rui wasn't picky anymore that prison suppression strength was the best strength strengthening battle technique within the range he could choose. Moreover, the difficulty of cultivating this battle skill lies in the body strength, Jinjail strength is prone to counter injury to the cultivator during the cultivation process, so a certain body strength to withstand the damage, and the cultivation standard is 16th level battle soldier and above. But with Lu Rue's physical strength as war general Sher Wei certified, certainly more than 16 level war soldier. Not to mention that Lu Rue has many physical body talents. Several people present felt that the prison suppression strength was quite suitable for Lu Rui's needs, but his sister Wen Qing, who had big blonde waves, subtly mentioned. Eh, don't you think that the means of combat output is a bit too monotonous? If you encounter some special enemies who can't use their fists to cause effective killing power, what should we do? Wen Qing reminded him of this, and Lu Rui fought along with her for a moment. What Wen Cheng said did make sense, it was hard to say that in all situations, Lu Rui could rely on his fists for a single move. The underworld wave was a big killing move that couldn't be used as a regular tactic. Lu Rue knew that he had hidden a hand of spiritual impact talent, only Lu Rue himself knew that his means of output were not only his fists. Although other people didn't know, Lu Rue also wanted to hear other people's thoughts in this regard. Does Sister Qing have any suggestions? When Wen Cheng heard this, she took the tablet and searched for another battle skill, Sang Ghost Inferno. This battle skill was not created by the Great Summer Kingdom, but by a small country called the Rainbow Abyss Kingdom. 
This small country was relatively unlucky when the dimensional invasion disaster broke out 50 years ago, the necrotic heavenly tribulation descended on the country's homeland. The horrifying necromantic frenzy silenced the country's land corresponding to the shattering of the continental plates. Currently, the country only has a few small islands and part of the development zone of the necromantic plane. Although the country was small, Hong Yuan was the first country to contact the necromancy plane, and it had developed necromancy battle techniques that were both abundant and powerful. The Ghost Sanyan is a battle technique that the Great Xia Kingdom obtained from the Rainbow Abyss through the exchange of benefits, and then obtained the authorization to disseminate and learn the technique, as well as to create a second generation. According to the description of the database, after mastering this battle technique, the practitioner can create a spiritual flame called Ghost Sanyan with the power of the dead spirit, spiritual power, and flesh and blood energy. This flame has the effects of soul burning, life igniting, and spirit blasting. Cthulhu flame can kill enemies and erode their souls through its soul scorching effect. It can also ignite the target's dead spirit power, spiritual energy, or life force, weakening the enemy and increasing its own size. This is like a spark falling on a woodpile, if there is no external force to stop it, the spark will ignite the entire woodpile, turning it into nourishment for the growing flames, until the woodpile is burned down to nothing but ashes. The spirit body blast, on the other hand, actively detonates the Tsang Guiyin itself, or the souls that have been eroded by the Tsang Guiyin. When the Pale Ghost Inferno explodes, it will release explosive shock and spirit killing power, and the larger the volume of the Pale Ghost Inferno, the better the explosive effect will be. The spirit body explosion would not only produce spirit killing, it would also release physical shockwaves. You can imagine the range of killing power that can be created when Pale Ghost Inferno ignites a large group of enemies like a plague and then detonates. The upper limit of the killing power of the skill could depend on the upper limit of the number of enemies. And it can cause ranged mixed damage. The group attack effect is immediate, the single killing ability is not bad, such as the gangrene of the enemy feel tricky. Wen Cheng also saw the way Lu Rue and Shi Wei fought with their fists, and made his own suggestions. But do not say, Lu Rue after reading the description of the pale ghost inflammation is really a little heart. However, his focus was not the same as others. Through the pale ghost inferno to create a spiritual flame, does it count as Lu Rue's own summons? Pale ghost flame will trigger the effect of, Ash Legacy, when it is detonated? Not only the specific benefits that can be gained from that battle technique, Lu Rue also through the video playback, saw that this battle technique flame special effect is the outer flame icy blue, inner flame pale, it seems that it can be very handsome. Lu Rue heart moved, then there is only one problem left. He pretended to be difficult to inquire. I think both of these battle skills are very helpful to me. According to the official redemption price, the Tsang Ghost Flame required 1000 contribution points to redeem, but the battle skill obtained after completing the redemption was complete. But 1000 really wasn't a small amount for Lu Rue right now, he didn't know how much he could reimburse himself on the Institute's program. That's when Mi Shaoka's words dispelled his concerns. Since it's all useful, let's take all of it, Dean Li has already received the record of your battle with Lieutenant Colonel Sherway, she is thinking that this talent rune of yours is of exceptional caliber. There should be corresponding cultivation resources invested. Lu Rue's eyes lit up when he heard this. This can also be reimbursed right? But Mi Shaoku also reminded. However, the release of corresponding resources still needs to go through the review process, the higher the rating, the more tedious the process, the stricter the review. The newly discovered special talent rune is of extraordinary significance, and the audit level is also the highest grade, which is beyond the scope of the institute's decision, and needs to be reported to a higher level. Dean Lee can only within his personal authority, first give you resources in accordance with the treatment of second-class talent runes. Mishauka spoke about the relevant processes, they had to follow the procedures. However, she also highlighted Dean Lee's care for him. The review process needed to wait, but the resources allocated by Dean Lai were issued immediately to provide some convenience to Lu Rue. Lu Rue was naturally able to feel Lai Li's care. In the second class gifted rune talent support program, it did not directly provide cash or contribution point rewards, but directly provided a battle skill and the offset amount of contribution points when exchanging other resources, and the exchange privilege was increased by two. In addition, the second grade talent runic talent training program first provides a one-time offset of 200 contribution points, and depending on the subsequent growth and contribution of the talent, additional offset or reduction amount. So Lu Rui needs, two useful battle skills a total of 1,500 contribution points expenses through the scientific research project and talent training program reimbursement channel, will correspond to the two merit stone to get hands, still need the relevant department's half an hour of work time. In the meantime, Lu Rue still has a fight to fight. Knowing that Lu Rue's training was over, Lin Yuan couldn't wait to come in and ask Shi Wei. How long did Lu Rue train for? Looking at Lin Yuan's look that was full of good intentions, Shi Wei pursed his lips and honestly said, 
It lasted about 40 minutes I think. Lin Yuan's eyes lit up at his words, he had similarly lasted under Shi Wei's hand for about 40 minutes. Lin Yuan used Shi Wei's words as a reference. Then wouldn't this mean that in the realm of actual combat, he possessed the ability to compete with Lu Rue? Lin Yuan's eyes immediately locked onto Lu Rue, his entire body revealing a high level of wariness. However, when Shi Wei saw this, his feelings were even more complicated, his chest was cut by Lu Rue two deep visible bone wounds hidden pain. He wanted to tell Ling Yuan, your 40 minutes and Lu Rue's 40 minutes are completely different. I'm letting you go so that you can last for 40 minutes. If you were to switch to that training intensity of Lu Rue, not 5 seconds you'd have to be lying down. Shi Wei felt that he needed to make Lin Yuan realize the difference between the two, so he reminded him. In training, practice I was injured by Lu Rue students, the wound is quite big. Lin Yuan, who originally had a high fighting spirit, froze at the words and reacted with astonishment. Instructor you were injured by him? He, Lin Yuan, hadn't even inflicted a single bit of damage to Shi Wei in his training with all his might, but Lu Rue had done it. What did this mean? The duo's appointment was also known to me Xiaoko, so she asked Lu Rue in a low voice. Your Yuan Fu is in bad shape right now, are you still fighting? After Lu Rue thought about it, he nodded and said, I actually quite want to see the gap between myself and my classmates. He was progressing and everyone was progressing. He wanted to see how fast everyone was progressing and how they were doing upon comparison. Then I'll ask Ching Ching and Yeye to shout cheers for you together. Mi Xiaoke waved her fist. Lu Rue insisted on continuing the cutting contest. Lin Yuan, on the other hand, was confused by Shi Wei's description before he went on the field. What exactly was Lu Rue's strength? And when the two of them started their cutting match, Lin Yuan understood. Lin Yuan's Yuan Fu attribute was shadow coming from the 11th realm acquired by humans, his talent rune was also related to shadow. As soon as he stepped onto the field he released his talent rune effect. A large number of shadows were released from the shadows underneath the soles of his feet, spreading throughout the entire training field like a tidal wave. Lin Yuan's figure also combined with the shadows and became hidden, making it difficult to capture with the naked eye. Lu Rui watched the shadows approach and muttered. It seems to be the same type of talent rune as mine, with some concealment and field control effects. Lin Yuan, on the other hand, was staring closely at Lu Rui, waiting for his talent rune to be released. However, Lu Rui Yuanfu was in a weakened state, and his talent rune effect was greatly reduced. He was only able to minimally create a cloud of white mist, creating a field-like effect, occupying half of the training ground restraining Lin Yuan's shadow invasion. Lin Yuan was fully focused, manipulating the runes to create shadows to try and invade Lu Rui's white mist, which he treated as a confrontation between the gifted runes. However, Lin Yuan's invasion gave Lu Rui a scratchy feeling, which made Lu Rui a bit confused, mentally. Although I feel that I am indeed stronger than Lin Yuan, I am using less than a tenth of my rune power in my heyday, is Lin Yuan not using his full power? How come I don't have a sense of pressure? Lu Rue was doubtful and was in the way of Yuan Fu's poor state, so he didn't intend to compete with Lin Yuan in terms of talent rune effects, he decided to display his strength in a more direct manner. While Lin Yuan was still focused on trying to invade Lu Rue's white mist domain with shadows, he suddenly saw a blur before his eyes. Lu Rue's figure suddenly appeared in front of him like a ghost. Lu Rue was in a poor state of Yuan Fu, but his physical strength was intact and undiminished. Lu Rue even had the strength left over to say a sentence when he burst in front of Lin Yuan. Bite your teeth, this punch 10 tons of force I don't know if you can withstand it. Only after the sentence fell did Lin Yuan realize, an out of self-protection instinct set up his arm to block, making a defensive stance. However, Lu Rue's punch blasted out, directly sending Lin Yuan flying from inside the venue, to outside the venue. Lin Yuan's back slammed into the wall, and the tremendous force caused his eyes to turn white, and his body slid from the wall to the ground. His body slid down the wall and onto the ground. After lying on his back for half a minute, Lin Yuan only regained focus in his lax pupils. What just happened? Lin Yuan was confused. Lin Yuan was confused, and there wasn't a single part of his body that didn't hurt, as if he had been crushed by a road roller several times. Until he saw Lu Rue, who was still standing on the training ground with a rather innocent expression, Lin Yuan reacted as if he had lost. This was the result. But what about the process? Lu Rue raised his hand and punched himself in seconds? He even managed to remind himself that the attack was coming. Lin Yuan slapped his head, feeling like he was dreaming. How can the gap be so big? Is he the same age as me? Lin Yuan fell into a deep self-doubt. Lu Rue saw this situation also know that this competition does not need to continue. Even Mi Xiao Ku, who was originally planning to be a cheerleader on the sidelines, spat out. Lu Rue, you seem to be a bit of a bully ah? Uh? Lu Rue spread his hands innocently, when he threw his punches, he had already collected his strength and gave a reminder, but who knew that the gap could actually be so big? Seeing Lin Yuan fall into self-imposed isolation, Lu Rue walked over and said, 
I didn't hit him lightly, Ling Yuan, I hope you don't mind. He stretched out his hand and made a gesture of pulling him up and reconciling him. Lin Yuan raised his head and froze, looking at Lu Rui out of his mind for a long time before shaking his head. I lost convincingly, well, as a fellow student, with a strong person like you worth catching up with, I think my campus life will be full. He took Lu Rui's hand and stood up from the ground. When this match ended, Lin Yuan took out his own cell phone and posted his defeat on the school forum. Lin Yuan wanted to be strong, so he respected the strong. This was Lin Yuan's way of showing respect. Not to mention what kind of ripples were created in the campus student body, Lu Rui was already going to collect his two merit stones. Before he left, Lu Rui drank a large bottle of energy white whirl stamina potion at the training ground, returning all of his blue and stamina bars to full. And after he came out from the bathroom to drain the water, he suddenly saw Wenya, the twin sister of the research team, in the aisle. Wenya handed Lu Rui several drawings. Lu Rui was still a bit uncertain when he received the drawings, and he was surprised when he saw the contents. Senior, I think something like armor should be made handsome. When yet asked with a smile. In a few drawings, there were three sets of different armor models in three views. A set of armor with sharp angles, well proportioned, full of explosive force and aggression, with hideous and horrifying animal prints and claws, with a pair of extremely flamboyant shoulder armor, the name of the design is, General of Prison Suppression. A set of full of muscle curves, heavy armor, nightplate armor style, appearance both strength and defense at the same time, but also with a large number of full of artistic atmosphere of the other side of the flowers and fog as decorative patterns, and with a huge sword weapon, the design name of the Whiteness Knight. While the first two designs had a strong visual impact, the third set was much more low-key, with less exaggerated designs, less aggression, and just the right amount of armor thickness and coverage. Although it looks like a conventional combat uniform, but the armor pattern are carved along the muscles, reflecting the sense of power, and the helmet is designed as a deterrent skull style, but also with a hooded trench coat to strengthen the sense of mystery, mastering the pale blue flames, the design name of the underworld messenger the name of the design is underworld messenger. The appearance and name of these three sets of armor may be too middle-aged for a preteen, but for college students, they were just right. Lu Rue's battle technique skeleton armor plating allowed him to customize the appearance. He didn't have much of an artistic streak himself, but the bone armor he created during his battle with Sher Wei was in the style of a traditional bulletproof steel helmet and bulletproof vest. Comparing the armor design provided by Wenya, Lu Rui instantly felt that the bulletproof vest that he had previously built was something? The design provided by Wenya was well drawn and had many artistic elements. Lu Rui just swept a few eyes, and felt that these three sets of armor poked his own aesthetic. Looking at this black hair, black eyes, plain face, wearing a simple set of overalls and long-sleeved shirt, the temperament of the quiet school sister. Although the same face value, compared to the older sister's voluptuous and lively, the younger sister seemed to prefer low-key and elegant. Is this for me? Lu Rue asked happily. When I watched you fight earlier, I was suddenly inspired, so I drew a few offhand. Wenya nodded slightly, her tone as if she was talking about a casual matter. Casually drawn? But I saw that the drawings were so good, I thought that you, senior sister, were coming to me to sell your creative designs. Lu Rue teased. Hearing the word sell, Wenya couldn't help but laugh. It's free, it's kind of a treat for your excellent performance in today's grading test, if you like it, just take it. All the members of the scientific research team were really in quite a good mood, Lu Rue talent room performance, exceeded their expectations by too much, completing the rating report, the scientific research output, all the members of the team will receive a large number of benefits. Oh, then I can accept it. Lu Rue sniffed then happily took the three sets of design drawings. Unexpected harvest so, when he ran to the school's logistics office and got the self. Himself the two merit stones he needed, he also contemplated exchanging the resources on hand for something else. He now had 76. One credits on hand, and the proceeds from experimenting with the remains of the necrotic creatures all belonged to him. For contribution points and 200 unlimited offset credits, as well as a series of reductions. It was already a huge amount of money among the students. These resources will not yield interest when saved, so Lu Rue saved enough and then directly exchanged them. He didn't lack battle skills now, so he focused on exchanging summoning contracts that utilized the effect of Ash Legacy. The various natural abilities of the Chattering Bone Bat and the Poison Swamp Big Mouth were pretty much in Lu Rui's hands to open up new summons. He pondered in his heart. I've got the armed drone and turret now, what's a good choice for the positioning of the next summon? And it has to offer some very powerful talents, and it has to be able to match my fighting style. What is Lu Rui's fighting style? Too few effective battles, not much combat sense, only straight fists at the moment. Thinking about it, Lu Rue felt that it would be better to continue strengthening his strength and stamina. Being able to resist and fight is ultimately the right thing to do, the fourth summoner positioning, that is as a meat shield. Determining the idea, Lu Rue directly contacted Mi Shao Ko, 
and after using the phone and discussing it, picked out a more suitable necromantic creature abomination. The chattering bone bat and the poison swamp mouth were rank 1 necromantic creatures. The abomination is a third order necromantic creature. It is a kind of flesh and blood monster with a strange appearance, its flesh is highly toxic and corrosive, and its body has great strength and high movement speed, running like a speeding tank, crushing everything in its path. And as the name abomination, it can release a special atmosphere and mental fluctuations, so that the target of the abomination to produce a strong sense of hostility, hate to kill it quickly. This is a means of taunting, which can attract enemies to focus on the abomination to create room for friendly forces to output. Taunting is one of the abomination's talents. In addition, as a meat shield, the abomination has muscles of steel, and also has a unique ability to carry damage, damage transformation. Abomination has a special flesh and blood structure, part of the physical damage on the abomination will be absorbed by the abomination, transformed into flesh and blood energy, into their own energy storage, increase resistance to injury, and strengthen muscle power. However, the abomination does not have a strong self-healing ability, it cannot efficiently utilize the stored energy to recover from injuries, and when the stored energy reaches its limit, the abomination will self-detonate. It will turn into a flesh bomb, causing a great physical shockwave and flesh contamination to the enemy. The characteristics of this necromantic creature were just like its name, every ability made its opponents feel nauseous and uncomfortable, making it an excellent cannon fodder troop type. Mishauka suggested that Lu Roe could pick Abomination to be his new necromantic summoner. At the same time, she also reminded Lu Rue that Abominations were not easy to control, and that there were historical precedents of Abominations devouring their owners. Lu Rue didn't feel anything about it. Devouring the master? Just kill it. And Mi Shaoka still spat on the phone. Although the Abomination is an excellent troop type, and is a threat to warriors below level 15, I think that the Abomination's combat power may not be as good as yours. Mi Shaoka felt that the Abomination wasn't as capable of fighting as Lu Rue himself. But Lu Rue was thinking from a different perspective. He looked at the Abomination's energy-absorbing talent. If someone punches the Abomination, they are only charging the Abomination to increase the power of the self-destruct, but if they charge Lu Rue, he can directly convert the enemy output damage into his own blue body blood bar. With this talent, the enemy output damage will not only be cut, Lu Rue can also get recharged. So without much hesitation, he directly chose Abomination. Redeeming the Abomination's summoning contract required 300 contribution points or credits, according to Mishauka's description, a high-level Abomination was already an excellent necromantic soldier that could threaten a level 15 battle soldier, the cost was naturally not low. Lu Rue used his discounted amount and spent his credits and contribution points to only 40. One credits left. However, this time, Lu Rue also paid attention to the fact that the unit price for recycling the remains of a necromantic creature like an abomination was actually 15 credits or contribution points. The special flesh and blood of the abomination could create a unique reactive armor with high combat value. Raw materials were in short supply. The abomination had quite a lot of benefits on the surface, and what remained was the specific values of the abomination's four basic attributes and the amount of physical strength consumed. This needed to be tested. Lu Rue didn't cultivate tonight either, his Yuanfu being in a weakened state wasn't suitable for cultivating life skills either, he simply used the night time and took it to cultivate his battle techniques and test his summons, and to make sacrifices. It had to be said that he drank a large vat of free stamina potion before he left the training ground, allowing him to have abundant energy to perform summoning object sacrifices even though his Yuanfu was in a weakened state with reduced recovery efficiency. He made an appointment at the school's venue for testing battle techniques and summon effects, and the reservation was for 6 p.m. M. It was currently 5 p.m. M. Out. At this point in time, Lu Rue's classmates had only just finished their Kaiyuan class an hour or so ago. Lu Rue really did receive a message from Yu Yi Flux at this time. Even Lin Yuan is convinced of you. The message was accompanied by a cute emotic and expressing surprise. Because of the pleasant chat yesterday, Lu Rue and the two girls logically exchanged contact information. The content of the sent message was the defeat that Lin Yuan had taken the initiative to post on the school forum. Lin Yuan stated that he had already sparred with Lu Rue, and as a result, he was easily defeated by Lu Rue. Although there was no specific video or description of the battle process, the fact that Lin Yuan himself admitted to the defeat already said a lot. In the eyes of the other students, the top 10 of the Kaiyuan was already in existence that needed to be looked up to, after all, 95% of the students hadn't completed the Kaiyuan by now. And to have Lin Yuan, who was in the top 10 of the Kaiyuan, have to look up to Lu Rue. What kind of unbelievable monster is this? After defeating Qin Yang for the first time, everyone was half believing in Lu Rue's strength. But after the second defeat Lin Yuan, other students have no doubt, Lu Rue is strong, is the school's top a handful of students in the top. 
Yui Fluorescent sent a message to Lu Rue also said that this matter in the campus to produce the impact. Lin Yuan 6 class 6 class students to Lu Rue and his 2 class published all the questioning and with offensive remarks all 6 class people swallowed back, all recognized the strength of Lu Rue. In the eyes of the other students, class 2 had been covered by the big brother. Even the slowest progress of the 2 class Kaiyuan students, every time and other class outstanding students mention Lu Rue, will bring a little pride. Others also had to recognize Lu Rue's strength. Class cohesion subconsciously improved, as the temporary class president Yuyi Fluorescence of course took the initiative to come to share with Lu Rue. Lu Rue will also socialize with his classmates as a spice of life, chatting and chatting to the meal. On a whim, Lu Rue really did see Yunaflu and Shur Xian at the same place where they ate yesterday. The girls waved, and Lu Rue understood and went over. Lu Rue here had a pleasant meal. And on the other side, Lin Yuan, who hadn't long admitted his defeat, was approached by Chen Fan Yu. Lu Rue defeated you, how did he defeat you? Chen Fan Yu's tone was strongly probing. Lin Yuan originally had his hands in his pockets and his eyelids were drooping, looking quite uninspired. He sized up Chen Fan Yu with a scrutinizing gaze. Previously, Lin Yuan had viewed Chen Fan Yu as his greatest rival, yet now, he suddenly threw a punch at Chen Fan Yu. This punch had a force of one ton, and Chen Fan Yu raised his hand to receive it without much effort. Chen Fan Yu was a bit unsure, just to see Lin Yuan, retracted his fist and said in a cold tone, he casually struck with ten times this force, I lost without any resistance, and if it was you as his opponent at that time, would you have been able to receive his first punch? When these words came out, Chen Fan Yu froze, followed by silence. Lin Yuan stared at Chen Fan Yu's expression. After a long time, Chen Fan Yu shook his head in a slightly disheveled manner. According to your description, I can't beat him. Immediately afterward, Chen Fan Yu followed up. What did he to go through in training and why did he progress so quickly? Lin Yuan spread his hands and said carelessly, How would I know the specifics? I only know that he's very strong, and he was able to injure the instructors in his fights with them. You should have also felt the level of strength of those instructors, right? No matter what method Lu Rue used, but being able to injure them already shows that Lu Rue has made leaps and bounds in his training. Speaking here, Lin Yuan paused and muttered. I'm going to try and injure the instructor next time as well. Lin Yuan's shadow swayed. Chen Fan Yu, on the other hand, was in the midst of silence, and fire lotuses floated in the pupils of his eyes. The two swept away their disheveledness a little bit and regained their fighting spirit. These two geniuses with a rather strong sense of winning still maintained their enterprising spirit. However, when the news of Lin Yuan's defeat fell into Gu Ziyu's ears, she was silent for a long while, then she scratched her hair in disregard of her image and complained in her heart. Lin Yuan has lost so thoroughly, how else can one win? In the impression of these old acquaintances of theirs, in terms of combat prowess Lin Yuan and Chen Fan Yu were indistinguishable, it was just that Chen Fan Yu was a bit more well-rounded, and most of the other times they couldn't beat these two. If Lin Yuan couldn't even beat Lu Rui single-handedly, then let alone Gu Ziyu herself. She had already imagined the embarrassing scene of being killed in seconds when Lu Rue approached her. No no no, I still have to struggle a bit, I don't believe there's really someone who's all-powerful and has no shortcomings. Gu Ziyu pondered over Lu Rue's shortcomings, and after thinking for a while, she vaguely had the beginnings of a tactic. Since I can't beat him in single combat, then call for help, the cultivator's battle power composition can be more than just himself, there's also the part of the summons, so I'll just compare the battle power of the summons with him. With a thought, she released from Ryu and Fu a fist-sized strange elemental life that looked like blue ball lightning surrounded by layers of clouds. The attribute of Ryu and Fu was cloud thunder, and it was the fourth realm that human beings had acquired. Anyway, Lu Rue didn't stipulate that the winner had to be decided in any way. If you win in other ways, then how is it not a win? It's not possible that there's a world of difference in summoning power between the two of them, is it? Even if they lost, then they could still lose in a better way, right? Gu Zi Yu muttered in his heart. The other people were each behaving differently because Lu Rue was powerful. Lu Rue himself was chatting and eating with the girls in his class. He was talking about how the part of his training that didn't involve talented runes, and how the intensity of his battle with Shur Wei was something that far exceeded the imaginations of students like Yu Yiflux who hadn't even completed their Kai Yuan, was very appealing to them. Lu Rue, on the other hand, learned from them about their progress in opening Yuan. Yu Yelu and Shur Xian had already completed one half of the third stage of Kai Yuan, and there were currently 38 people in the school's top 100 Kaiyuan record. These two girls had a high hope of completing Kaiyuan before the end of the weekend, entering the top 100, and obtaining the corresponding rewards for the top 100. Therefore they were now both full of fighting spirit and a little bit of obvious anxiety, fearing that they would have problems in the nick of time, failing to fulfill their expectations, or being shortchanged by other outstanding people, fearing that they would lose out on the rewards, suffering from a sense of loss. 
Lu Rui then acted as a listener, and briefly said some words of encouragement. I don't know if it was because he now had strength, his words carried weight, the girl's emotions became much more stable under his encouragement. This feeling is quite pleasant. After eating, Lu Rui went straight to the personal test site that he had reserved. He activated the summoning contract and created the special necromantic creature abomination. If a small skeleton soldier was used as the base unit of energy consumption, then summoning the abomination consumed 15 points of blue energy from Lu Rue. A 2 meter too tall, bloody, ugly, bloated, white skinned, strong limbs, stinking pus and blood and hideous bone spikes, repulsive humanoid necrotic monster appeared in the center of the field. The panel displays. Abomination, strength 34, agility 24, physique 34, spirit 14. The abomination's four major attributes exceeded normal people, especially the strength and constitution attributes, which both reached 34 points. However, after a specific test, Lu Rue found that the fist strength of his abomination was only 4 tons out. When the same strength attribute, Lu Rue's own fist output power can reach 9 tons. Abomination value at first glance looks quite high, but in reality in Lu Rue the same period of combat power cannot be generalized. He then spat in his heart, I'm really open. Power output, the abomination's ugly appearance also has a special magic, just one look at it makes people feel that this monster is very punched, so that people feel malicious, want to attack the abomination. Not only give others the feeling, the abomination itself emits extremely strong negative emotions of the death spirit monster. Naked malice flowed from that ugly and hideous face. Even towards Lu Rue was no exception. Mi Xiaokud had warned that the abomination belonged to the category of necromantic creatures that were not easy to control, and had a precedent of devouring its master. This monster was like a bomb, capable of blowing up both the enemy and the user. When using the abomination, one needed to remain vigilant, and the summoner had to suppress the abomination's indiscriminate malice with his spiritual power. But Lu Rue didn't care, he directly released his mental suppression of the abomination. The monster's asymmetrical, and cloudy eyes immediately locked onto Lu Rue, the small giant-like body looking down at Lu Rue, with a strong stench between every breath. His roar. It issued a tentative low roar, vomit mute taunting sound is very difficult to hear, and also with a spiritual influence effect, can stir up the most violent emotions within the person. Lu Rue's spiritual power is strong, not affected, but Lu Rue also did not intend to spoil it, a fist directly swung over. More than 10 tons of huge force, directly hit the abominable flesh and blood monster's chest. The abomination's vitality is very tenacious, being pierced through the chest still has no loss of strength. Its talent allowed it to absorb some of the physical damage and transform it into flesh and blood energy, and its pale muscles swelled as if they were filled with water. After being attacked, it no longer hit its malice, and its sharp flesh and blood claws slapped towards Lu Rue's head. Phosphorus fire jumped out of Lu Rue's eyes. The life insight talent ability opened up, and it saw the veins of dead chi flow within the abomination that made up its life existence. Before the abomination's attack arrived, Lu Rue's second punch blasted into the abomination's head, hitting the dead chi blast effect. The damage of this punch was so great that the abomination's special energy absorbing talent didn't even have any effect, and it was directly dunked to death by the excessive amount of damage. Gained basic attribute bonuses, strength plus zero, four, agility plus zero, three, physique plus zero, four, spirit plus zero, one, talent enhancement, necrotic endurance, 36 slash 100. After failing to draw the key talent for the first time, Lu Roy would not be in a hurry, he directly took the abomination flesh and blood back into his Yuanfu. Then unleashing the talent, Scarlet Harvest, the abomination's flesh and blood body was transformed into pure physical strength by him. Together with the effect of, Ash Legacy, he summoned an abomination to recover 40% of its physical strength. That was a 60% discount on card draw. Of course, because the abomination's flesh and blood was converted into energy, not much remains were left, so it couldn't be recycled and sold for money. But it didn't matter, Lu Rui wasn't thinking about income right now, he just wanted to get the talent he wanted. He summoned a second abomination as he. The method of summoning a second abomination before harvesting it with a single punch. Gained base attribute bonus, strength plus zero. Four, agility plus zero. Three, physique plus zero. Four, spirit plus zero. One, gift enhancement, necromantic mind, 45 slash 100. Acquired talent, breath of abomination. Breath of Abomination, possesses the Abomination trait, when actively released, all creatures around you will have varying degrees of malice towards you, arranged taunt skill, for enemies to focus on, Lu Rue ventriloquized, then he unleashed his third summoning and made a sacrifice, gained basic attributes, talent enhancement, dimensional affinity, 5 slash 100, gained talent, corpse power, 
Corpse strength, possesses the muscular strength of an abomination and a defense like steel, unaware of fatigue, oblivious to injuries, resilient, and fearless in charging. Strength enhanced by four times, physical defense increased. Eh? Lu Rue's eyes lit up. Although he didn't obtain the energy-absorbing talent he wanted, he was pleasantly surprised to see a strength-strengthening type talent. He even directly paused his continued sacrifice intentions and started testing the new strength-type talent. Lu Rue's current strength attribute reached 48, and the limit of pure arm strength could reach around 4. 8 tons, or 15 tons if it was a fist burst output. And after obtaining the talent, corpse strength, he did the test and his arm strength increased to around 6. 7 tons. After rough calculations, Lu Rue realized that the, living corpse strength, and, liquid muscle, effects were stacked. Living corpse strength strengthens 4 times the strength, liquid muscle strengthens 10 times the strength, and the two together are strengthening 14 times the strength, boosting two-fifths of the strength. Walking corpse strength, also strengthens flesh strength, with both defense. Moreover, this kind of physical strengthening also has the ability to be similar to the dominant body, which can very effectively reduce the effects of knockback caused by external forces. This was a very useful strength-enhancing talent, and it was quite different from, liquid muscle. Looks like I'm in good hands today, keep going, and try to get the energy absorption talent out before my stamina is half depleted. The three abominations had already depleted the energy within Lu Rue Yuanfu even with the 60% discount on card draws, and he could only use his stamina to convert it into blue bars to continue drawing cards. He had at most 9 more chances. Lu Rue's hand really wasn't bad, and on the 8th draw tonight, he got the target talent out. Inherit Basic Attribute Talent Enhancement Acquired Talent, Corrupt Blood Acquired Talent, Flesh and Blood Expansion Acquired Talent, Energy Absorption Corrupt blood, when activated, it can give your flesh and blood a strong corrupting odor. Corrupt blood, when activated, it can give your flesh and blood an intense corrupting odor. Flesh expansion, actively energize your own flesh and blood, strengthening it and causing it to explode when it reaches its limits. Energy absorption, after any physical damage suffered by the flesh, a portion of the damage can be converted into flesh and blood energy for storage through this talent. Corrupted blood and flesh expansion are both additions. Flesh and blood expansion, possesses a strength enhancement effect, but at most, it's just like, living corpse strength, which boosts it to 15x strengthening on top of the 14x strengthening it already has. The main event, energy absorption, has finally appeared. Lu Rue directly used his fist to test the, energy absorption, talent effect on his own body, and then summarized. Energy absorption, can probably reduce 30% of the damage converting it into physical energy, I myself can't be a perpetual motion machine, but enemy attacks can energize me. With this ability, my survival, damage resistance, and endurance have been stage improved. Taking the expected harvest, Lu Rue was already satisfied. And with this 8 consecutive draws, he had sort of emptied the abomination of all sorts of natural abilities on it, and had reached 4 basic attributes. Strength 50. 3. Agility 49. 2. Physique 49. 1. Spirit 52. 5. I've got all the important talents on this abomination, so in the future, this ugly thing will act as a source of basic attribute enhancement or a source of income for me, and the abomination's flesh and blood is really worth a lot of money. Moreover, this thing has quite a lot of meat on its body, it can activate the, Scarlet Harvest, talent ability very effectively, I can save up a few heads and use them as blood packs at critical moments. After Lu Rue had calculated the various uses of the abomination, he would next use the two battle techniques he had received, Jin Gui Jin and Sung Gui Yen. Shin Gui Jin, San Gui Yen. The former stood out as a powerful brick flying. The difficulty in learning and mastering it all lies in the strength of the physical body, and the power output from Jin Gui Jin will partially backfire on the user. That is to say, to hurt the enemy at the same time will also be self-injurious, and the deeper the practice of Jin Gui Jin, the greater the proportion of anti-injury. Therefore, it required the practitioner to have a strong enough physical body. But this threshold for Lu Rue almost does not exist, not to mention the strength of his physical body and self-healing ability, even just obtained the, energy absorption, talent, will be able to absorb part of the damage, used to restore physical strength. He got up to speed in mastering the battle technique extremely fast, and he was initiated in half an hour. He had obtained only the prequel to the Jin Jail strength, and cultivation was divided into 10 levels, and for each level, he would obtain 10 levels of Jin Jail strength. After Lu Rue completed the initiation, he gained the first level of Jin Prison Strength. The strengthening effect of the first level of Jin Gui Jin on him was to increase his strength by 30%. But this 30% increase was very uncomplicated. The Jin Prison Strength was an increase on top of Lu Rui's many strength talents. Corpse Strength, Liquid Muscle, Flesh Expansion, provided a 15-fold increase in strength, and the effect of the first level of Jin Gui Jin was strengthened by 1. 3 times after the 15-fold strengthening. 
Lu Rui's 50 points of strength attribute had 7. 5 tons of arm strength under the talent's enhancement, and after the enhancement of the first level of Xinjin Jin, the arm strength would be more than 9. 7 tons, and the punching power would be close to 30 tons. This was only the effect of the first level of prison town strength. While the strengthening effect of Jin Gui Jin was immediate, the negative effect was that when Lu Rui punched out, his own physical body would suffer a 10% power backlash. But three tons of power backfired on Lu Rui, it could only be described as a clear wind blowing over a hillock. While the effect and cultivation of Jin Gui Jin was simple and crude, Sang Gui Yan was a bit more obscure. This battle technique was introduced from the Rainbow Abyss country by the Great Xia country, and there are cultural and language differences between the two countries, so some concepts are more difficult to understand even after translation and annotation. Fortunately, Lu Rui's school has an elective foreign language course, for the schoolmaster, foreign language is not torture, it is just a tool that can be used. Lu Rui spent three hours figuring out how to understand that Song Ghost Flame casting method. Then, he consumed his spiritual power and necromantic power to create a special spirit fire with an outer flame of greenish blue and an inner flame of pale white in his palm, which was about the size of a small dumpling. As soon as the spirit fire appeared, Lu Rui's panel reacted. Pale Ghost Inflammation, Spirit 1. Lu Rui's mind moved, put more energy, let the palm of the Pale Ghost Inflammation grow to the size of a fist. Pale Ghost Inferno, Spirit 2. It looks like the Pale Ghost Inferno's attribute depends on how much energy is put in. Lu Rui realized. Immediately afterward, with a thought, he pulled out the 8th Abomination's corpse. By the time he drew his card for the 8th time, Lu Rui had already gotten the talent he wanted, so he didn't activate the talent to decompose the 8th Abomination corpse and convert it into physical strength. He had originally planned to sell the corpse for money, and right now he was going to do a test. Lu Rui flicked his index finger and shot the fist-sized pale ghost flame onto the Abomination's corpse. The moment the two came into contact, the Abomination's flesh and blood body filled with necromantic power was set ablaze by the Pale Ghost Flame. The Pale Ghost Flame transformed the Abomination's flesh and blood into its own nourishment, rapidly growing. By the time the entire body was burned to the ground, the Pale Ghost Inferno also grew to 20 times its original size, turning into a large fireball. Pale Ghost Inferno, Spirit 40 The energy source of the spirit body flame isn't just me either, it can also be other things. Lu Rui nodded. Then he moved his mind and the pale ghost flame exploded. Gain attribute base strengthening, spirit plus zero. Four. This really also belongs to the range of the launch of the ash legacy power, just don't know if the pale ghost flame can also provide some decent natural ability. Lu Rui muttered in his heart, with the precedent of the battle technique bone armor plating providing, bone creation, as a talent, he would naturally speculate whether pale ghost inferno would also have the same effect. However, with his blue bar depleted and only one third of his stamina left, he had no intention of continuing to sacrifice or cultivate due to his poor recovery state. Seeing that there was still half an hour left to use the school's testing grounds, Lu Rui scrutinized the changes in his talent runes in Yuanfu. The Pale Calamity seemed to have gained new abilities in addition to the Underworld Wave after evolving. With a thought, Lu Rui created a fist-sized white mist. And in his mind's eye, the color of this white mist gradually changed, surfacing in turn in the colors of blood red, dusky yellow, and withered black, as well as a turbid gray mist that made normal people feel extremely uncomfortable. Pale Scourge, Limit Breaking. Necromantic Domain, White Mist can combine with all necromantic abilities to play a unique role. According to the panel description, Lu Rue combined the necromancy talent in himself with the White Mist. They were, Scarlet Harvest, Drowsy Venom, Corrosive Venom, and, Abhorrent Breath. The, Scarlet Harvest, talent came from the Chattering Bone Bat, and after combining it with the White Mist, the White Mist also possessed the special effect of drawing out the enemy's life force, taking on a scarlet color. The two Venom Talents came from the Poison Swamp Mouth, and when combined with the White Mist, the Mist became a carrier for spreading Venom, with fewer restrictions on the release of Venom and a greater range of spread. And the Abhorrent Breath, when combined with the White Mist, possessed the special effect of stimulating malice within the living beings. A part of the Rune Talent changing like this was considered an enhancement. And the shot of Underworld Wave released earlier in the battle with Sher Wei had not only emptied his Yuan Fu of energy, but had also entered a weakened state and was recovering. Without the connection between Yuan Fu and the Dead Spirit Realm, Lu Rui's recovery efficiency was reduced by at least 70%, and his energy changed into half the effort. However, after careful sensing, Lu Rui found that after the evolution of the Talent Rune, it seemed to have driven the evolution of Yuan Fu as well. Although it was in the recovery period, Yuan Fu seemed to be undergoing metamorphosis in the process. Lu Rui used his prominent spiritual attribute to sense the Yuan Fu's situation and estimated that in about 7 or 8 more hours, the Yuan Fu would be able to complete its metamorphosis. And in the next 7 or 8 hours, Lu Rui's eyes narrowed slightly and muttered, I can finally have a reason to entertain and sleep. 
What goes around comes around, and what goes around comes around. Crossing over to now, Lu Rue only slept twice, at most had a meal, sometimes the meal was not even eaten, the other time was either in cultivation or on the way to cultivation. Since Yuan Fu was on strike, what is the point of him, the master, bothering? Just go straight to play. Only studying and not playing, the smart Lu Rue also became stupid. After leaving school, Lu Rue's mind was alive with all sorts of marvelous and bold ideas flashing through his mind. He took his cell phone and chatted with a female friend he recently met. But the three sisters and the research team were busy processing data to make a report, while the female students in the same class were scrambling to open the yuan. That would be a bad coincidence. But again, there are more ways to entertain than just the sisters, and Lu Rue, who is not poor and has inhuman digestive ability, is a big belly and eats his way through three streets. At the same time he strolled through the city's busy commercial streets with his super hearing on, listening to the lively and interesting conversations of passers-by and the sounds emanating from within their bodies. This person has high blood pressure, the man just passing by has bad kidneys, the couple in the park is in heat, someone is snogging on the rooftop. Lu Rui's brain analyzes all the living beings within a few kilometers by receiving all kinds of sound waves. Ordinary people were like this, but Lu Rui also heard some special sounds. Among the millions of ordinary passers-by, there were so many hundred or so existences with long and powerful breathing, strong heart and lungs, high density of muscle and bone, and physical qualities that were obviously stronger than normal people by a large margin. Lu Rue guessed that they were all cultivators like himself, and also turned on, life insight, to verify his guess. Sure enough, he found quite a few cultivators in regular clothes on the streets. Based on the comparison of life force intensity, Lu Rue realized that he was actually the one with the most vigorous life force intensity. Of course, it wasn't surprising, Lu Rue's vitality intensity was even stronger than level 28 miles Shaoku. However, while walking, Lu Rue still noticed an anomaly. It was a middle-aged male with a mediocre appearance, a prominent beer belly, a briefcase clutched in his lower armpit, cigarettes in his right hand, his left hand swiping his cell phone female anchor live streaming, a Bluetooth headset, and a large string of keys hanging from his belt. At first glance it looks like a roadside uncle that can be seen everywhere, there is nothing out of the ordinary. However, Lu Rui extraordinary hearing, heard this uncle body issued a very different from the ordinary people's strange sound. Muscles, bones, internal organs, blood. Every part of the human body will emit sounds that reflect the condition of the body. Lu Rue can judge the other party's health and physical strength based on the sound, and use life insight to directly peer into the other party's general vitality. And this uncle's physical strength was very high, although it was a lot worse than Lu Rue, it was a lot stronger than Lin Yuan, and it was even stronger than a pure researcher like Ni Xiaoku. This was definitely not an ordinary person. Maybe it's a hidden expert similar to a chartered master chartered lady, right? Lu Rue spat in his heart when he saw a large set of keys on the main uncle's belt and remembered a movie stunt. But next, Lu Rue felt as if it was not quite right. Because he noticed at least 15 cultivators whose physical body strength was no less than that of this middle-aged uncle in a 2-kilometer radius. And each of these transcendent cultivators were also dressed in regular clothes, like street skaters with nothing to do, stationed or walking around the three nearby streets. Why do I feel as if it's not quite right? Just when Lu Rue thought so, that smoking middle-aged uncle, suddenly turned his head, looked up and down Lu Rue dressed, asked. Young man, tie in first high school, right? Lu Rue from the school out has been wearing a school uniform, his school uniform has two sets, morning regular clothes, afternoon sportswear, sportswear that set of broken, regular clothes on the change. After the middle-aged uncle pointed out Lu Rue's student identity, not waiting for Lu Rue to answer, the other party looked subtle and said in a sighing tone. It's really fearful of the later generations, the later generations are fearful awe. After saying this sentence, the middle-aged uncle ignored Lu Rue, extinguished the cigarette butt, threw it into the trash can, and then walked away directly. Lu Rue was a bit puzzled, but he suddenly heard the same voice coming from the Bluetooth headsets of 15 people within 2 kilometers. Vigilance is lifted, that's not a fish, it's a student from Tian, the kind of student who has a lot of skills. Then came the sound of 15 people communicating. Students? Students are so strong now. I thought the fish wouldn't eat the bait and was going to take off the hook, false alarm. All cheer up, now we've only thrown the bait, the big fish hasn't bitten yet. At first glance, this sounds like a few fishing guys spitting and complaining, but Lu Rue has already noticed that something is wrong. Thinking about it for a moment or two, and recalling the official announcement of the fugitive murderer and the bounty offered a few days ago, Lu Rue has reason to suspect that he is not bumping into law enforcement officers in plainclothes. Lu Rue did not intervene in the idea, obviously people have their own plans. Seeing that it is almost midnight, Lu Rue also intends to go home to sleep. But just return to the community. Lu Rue saw at his own home door stood a woman in her early twenties. This woman was still not a new face, it was the female cos who had rubbed shoulders twice. 
She was wearing her regular clothes and flip-flops this time, and without heavy makeup, she could tell that the bottom was good, but at the moment she was, hugged her arms, her face vaguely revealing resentment. When she saw Lu Rue come back, she said in a bad tone, I live downstairs, your water pipe leaks, leaks into my house, I have contacted the property, can you hurry to deal with it? Lu Rue frowned slightly, his hearing can indeed hear the abnormal sound of his own home water pipe rupture, and it seems to have been flooded look. The building where Lu Rue's house is located was built 20 years ago. At that time, Dasha country to marry a number of support for scientific researchers in the package allocation of a house, Lu Rue's parents received a set. To say that 20 years of the house out of some problems seems to be normal, but let Lu Rue feel puzzled, he yesterday to obtain super hearing, he was not hurt his house appeared what unusual sound, how today the water pipe blew up, and because of the problem of the floor piping design, Lu Rue this house water pipe leakage, will affect the lower floor residents. Lu Rue also heard their own downstairs neighbor's leak sound. People come to the door, and it is true that there is a reason, Lu Rue then replied. I know, I'll look for the property tomorrow. After getting a clear answer, the woman's face eased a lot. She changed a standing position, measuring Lu Rue a glance, she could smell the rich night market snack barbecue flavor on Lu Rue, then old-fashioned, and said, I've been waiting for you here for a long time, you're a high school student, right? Several times I've seen you go home until midnight, do you think that's decent? There's no one else at home though, so you don't know anything about being by yourself. Halfway through her sentence, the woman seemed to feel that she was talking too much, skimmed her lips, and only mentioned remember to look for the property tomorrow before going downstairs. Lu Rue looked at the back of the other party's departure and rolled his eyes. After shaking his head and returning home, Lu Rue looked at his living room and bedroom because of water leakage has become a mess, slightly distressed scratching his hair. Then Lu Rue came up with a solution. It's decided that it's you guys, Poison Swamp Big Mouth. He released the three Poison Swamp Big Mouths within his Yuan Fu. They had a body like Play-Doh, Lu Rue directly let two of the poisonous swamp big mouths use their bodies like solid glue to block the cracks in the water pipes, while the other one acted as a mop and opened its mouth to suck all the water on the ground dry. These three dead spirit creatures work very efficiently, without Lu Rue's own hands, ten minutes later, his house was back to clean and tidy. Going to sleep, he threw himself onto the bed, vaguely dreamed a dream, then slept until dawn. Just after waking up, Lu Rue checked his Yuan Fu. Resting for the night had restored his Yuan Fu to normal. Not only did it return to normal, he found that after the talent rune metamorphosis, it drove the Yuan Fu to strengthen, causing the Yuan Fu storage limit, blue bar recovery efficiency, and summon holding limit to double. The Yuan Fu was strengthened, but the blue bar and stamina bar were not restored to full, Lu Rue estimated the time, it would probably take no more than 2 hours to be restored to full. Not only did the Yuan Fu become stronger, the talent rune basic strengthening effect was also improved. Pale Calamity, plus 60% affinity of the user's necrotic plane, plus 40% of the full attributes of the user and their own necrotic units, no more than 40% reduction in consumption, no more than 40% reduction in the full attributes of the enemy, no more than 40% increase in consumption, depending on the difference in strength between the two parties. Hmm, getting stronger. Lu Rue let out a pleasant snort. Even though it was good to get up in the morning, he remembered that he had to go to the property today to solve the trouble in his house. He went to check the place where the water was leaking. Those three poisonous swamp big mouths were very responsible and plugged the leak tightly, allowing Lu Rue to have a peaceful sleep. He took out his cell phone and dialed the property company. Lu Rue originally wanted to call the master to repair the water and electricity to come home, but the customer service of this property company seems to be not very professional, communicating half a day did not figure out the problem, so that Lu Rue finally had to go to the company personally. My memory, I seem to change three property companies in this neighborhood within 10 years, right? This third one seems to be changed within these two years. Thinking so, he changed into a set of regular clothes and took the relevant documents to go out. Jern. The name of this property company, the address is located in a 50-story office building in the city's business district where land is scarce. The company was not small, from the 17th to the 22nd floor, it actually occupied six floors. Today is a Saturday rest day, the office building is only like more than 400 people, but because the surrounding area is a business district, Saturday's flow of people is very large, Lu Rue is super hearing passive reception of more than 50,000 people sound information. This made him have to control his hearing a little bit, narrowing the hearing range to less than 500 meters, which can be much more comfortable. He walked to the front desk, the front desk lady was beautiful and sweet, and her service attitude was professional. After roughly explaining the situation, the young lady entered Lu Rue's owner information and told him to wait in the waiting area for a moment. Lu Rue then sat on the sofa of the property company and waited. Although his hearing was limited, he could still hear that most of the people in the company were ordinary people, there were a few cultivators, 
but they were not strong, even Qin Yang was not as good as the kind. But to his surprise, while waiting for about three minutes, he heard a familiar voice. Following the direction of the voice, he looked up. It was Lu Rui's female classmate from the same school, whose name he didn't know, and was the daughter of the owner of the breakfast restaurant E. Jia Fresh. She was wearing her regular clothes, also communicating with the receptionist, the content is probably about dealing with fire hazards in their own breakfast store. Lu Rui also muttered in his heart. This sister's store and my neighborhood are actually under the responsibility of the same property company? He thought it was coincidental, but he didn't pay much attention to it, because the Yuanfu energy hadn't returned to full strength yet, so he took this waiting time to focus on returning his blue. But when he went to the property company today, Lu Rui recognized more than just this one person. In addition to the same this morning also came to the property that female neighbor. Lu Rui saw Han Mingjie, who was also in the top 10 of Kaiyuan. This girl with Ji Lu high tied in a ponytail and a high and cold look that does not allow people to enter, raised her hand to greet after noticing Lu Rui, and took the initiative to say, Good morning, good morning. Lu Rui responded on his lips, but in his heart he muttered, Han Mengjie also encountered problems to find the property? This is a bit of a coincidence. But there was more to it than that. When he realized that a middle-aged man with a big belly appeared in the property company, Lu Rui couldn't sit still. This has a beer belly in the appearance of the middle-aged man, is Lu Rue last night in the street met suspected plainclothes law enforcement officers of the middle-aged man. Dressed in plainclothes law enforcement officers to do what here? Lu Rue instinctively feel alert. And that middle-aged man entered the property company with a calm demeanor, but when he saw Lu Rue, his demeanor also appeared to have a slight undetectable change. Lu Rue's super hearing could hear that when the middle-aged man saw himself, although he was well disguised on the surface, the middle-aged man's inner emotions fluctuated greatly. And at this time, the front desk lady of the property company issued a notice. Mr. Lu, the master who repairs the water and electricity has arrived. Lu Rui looked up and saw a man with a look of a plumbing master wearing work pants, labor insurance shoes, and carrying a toolbox. This master worker's hands and clothes are very clean, and his eyes are very sharp. Heart feel wrong Lu Rui instantly into the necromantic mind, state, substantially release the super hearing limit, separated from 10 meters straight distance. The plumbing master's body sound that exceeds that of a normal person can be heard. The other party's physical strength is no less than that of the several abominations summoned by Lu Rue, and intentionally control their own breath, like a beast that is about to start hunting. This is a plumbing master? Not only did the plumbing master make a sound, Lu Rue lifted all the restrictions of super hearing and included all the sounds of the entire building in his perception. He heard it. In the location of the two underground floors of the building, there were very obscure, hidden sounds. These abnormal sounds were deliberately covered and shielded, if not for Lu Rue's super hearing effect, he could not hear these abnormal sounds. These abnormal sounds are also mixed with breathing sounds with different characteristics. These breathing sounds represented powerful physiques, which could only be emitted by cultivators or special life forms of the otherworldly plane. The number was in the hundreds. Something was wrong, too wrong. Noticing the problem Lu Rue didn't have a seizure, being in the state of necromantic mind, had an extremely strong emotional control. He was hidden, and this plumbing master to deal with, explaining the situation of the leakage of water pipes in their own homes. But this plumbing master does not talk about in plumbing-related content, only said that Lu Rue take him to the door repair is good. Lu Rue thought of electricity, first nodded his head to agree, and then proposed to urinate, asked the receptionist's sister bathroom and which. Miss pointed out the location, Lu Rue directly ran to the bathroom. Peeling open the window, Lu Rui poked out his body, his feet on the window frame, overlooking the block outside the building. He was located on the 17th floor of the building, more than 80 meters of vertical height above the ground, and there were many pedestrians on the ground. More than 80 meters high, Shinjaban doesn't even dare to do this kind of stunt, but I'm Superman now. If he were to fall normally from a height of more than 80 meters, when he touched the ground, his body speed would reach 40 meters per second. But Lu Rui physical strength superhuman, he can run a hundred meters per second in ten times gravity, the district high altitude fall, there is not much difference between Lu Rui and the trampoline used for entertainment. The only thing to be concerned about may be the high altitude falling objects to avoid smashing into pedestrians. However, just when Lu Rui intended to jump out of the window, the master plumber broke in. The other party looked at Lu Rui with cold eyes and said without a trace of emotion, Where are you going? Seeing that his behavior was exposed, Lu Rue looked calm and said in a calm tone, Actually I don't want to make a move, this should be the work of the security department, I don't have the right to enforce the law. But if you take the initiative to make a move against me, then according to the relevant law, I have the right to self-defense, I just need to make a punch, that's enough to incapacitate you. He had studied the law in school, and knew under what circumstances he had the conditions to legally use force. 
Lu Rue was just a student, he didn't intend to be nosy, the original plan was to get himself out of danger first, then backhandedly call and report. But now the situation, the original intention is not feasible. Lu Rue surrounded by white fog, and said in a statement tone, let me go. However, the master plumber did not have the idea of letting go. His body expanded, bursting his clothes, tearing his skin, revealing thick, scarlet muscles, and his head touched the ceiling of the bathroom. In a few breaths, Master Plumber transformed into a head of sinewy giant. Lu Roy observed and felt that the other party's ability to perform had the characteristics of the blood nest realm. This realm was known for its exuberant life force and exaggerated flesh and blood forms. He coldly looked at the sinewy giant, and by the time the other party completed his transformation, the white mist emanating from Lu Rue had filled the entire bathroom. At the same time, outside the bathroom door, the middle-aged man suspected to be in plain clothes hurriedly arrived, just in time to witness the scene of the sinewy giant transforming and lashing out at Lu Rue. In the next moment, the rapidly spreading white mist covered Lu Rue's figure, while the sinewy giant was swallowed by the white mist. Immediately after that, the bathroom floor shook, but it wasn't Lu Rue who threw a punch but the flesh giant fell. Lu Rue's white fog has the characteristics of paralyzing venom, sinewy giant in the process of transformation, unaware of inhaling too much paralyzing gas, he fainted before he could do anything, fell to the ground. The fall of the flesh giant seems to have a chain reaction, Lu Rue can clearly hear the whole building underground came more violent sound. Life insight, opened, Lu Rue even saw hundreds of powerful but strange life forms emerge from under the ground. Not only that, his eyes looked out the bathroom window. At this moment, the sky changed. The clouds in the sky no longer flowed, and the city broadcast advertisements and flashing commercial signs were all suddenly fixed. Everything outside the building seemed to be like a game map, becoming flat. The sounds outside the building also became extremely quiet, and the streets were empty. The city's defense mechanism has been triggered, opening the mirror space, the space where this building is located has been isolated. Rather than being in the state of, necromantic mind, Lu Rue also began to feel trouble. The general education of the great summer country. When the security department detects that a certain area of the city has been invaded by an unsuspecting interdimensional force, it will trigger the defense mechanism to create a piece of mirror space to separate the invaded area from reality. The invaded area will be isolated and controlled before being eliminated. The invaded area will become an independent space, limiting the scope of the invader's influence, and the security department will send mobile units into the independent space to launch a cleanup operation against the invader. Lu Rue is exactly in such a mirror space that cuts off contact with the outside world. It was because Lu Rue wanted to avoid this situation that he thought of not doing anything and left the building on his own initiative. But things have come to this point, it's useless to complain. What made Lu Rue feel relieved was that he had sharpened himself very strongly before encountering danger. Has the assassination from a hostile human force arrived, as old Wang mentioned? He muttered in his heart, then quickly walked towards the front of the sinewy little giant that had already been put down. Under Lu Rue's life insight, this blood nest realm practitioner possessed vigorous life force within his body. Since the other party was a dangerous element that had already struck out at him, Lu Rue had the power to incapacitate the other party. His five fingers were like steel blades, thrusting into the flesh giant's thick back muscles, scarlet harvest, was activated, and the flesh giant immediately shrank like a deflated ball, shrinking from the original tall giant to a skinny skeleton. Master Hydro didn't die, but was only weakened by Lu Rue's loss of mobility. In contrast, Lu Rue's body energy soared by a large margin. This foreign energy exceeded the upper limit of Lu Rue's own capacity, so he directly converted it into the energy to create abominations. This was enough for him to produce four abominations. After dealing with the attackers, the white fog that shrouded the bathroom dispersed. At the doorway, the middle-aged man with a big belly who hurriedly rushed to see the plumbing master lying on the ground in the unharmed Lu Rue, he looked surprised. Not waiting for the middle-aged man to open his mouth, heard Lu Rue asked. We met on the street yesterday, I am a student of Tian First Middle School, and what is your identity? Lu Rue had his hands in his pockets, his pupils were pulsating with pale white spirit fire, and the white mist around his body was like a tidal wave that was waiting to happen. The middle-aged man subconsciously gulped. He actually felt a strong sense of oppression from a student. The middle-aged man immediately stated, I'm a plainclothes vigilante from the public security department, Wang Yuwei, I'm here to track down the fugitive murderer last night and today, I have a license. Lu Rue nodded slightly, the middle-aged man took out his own ID, he was really a plainclothes officer of the public security department. Lu Rue also took out his student ID from his pocket, then Lu Rue asked, Uncle Sheriff, can you explain what is currently happening, and what strength and identity you are pursuing the fugitive? After a pause, he added, I am a school Kaiyuan Top 10, I just saw my fellow students in the hospitality hall, one of them is also a Kaiyuan Top 10, I suspect that these criminals, 
are here to carry out a local assassination and have collusion with this property company, they were notified through the property and lured me and my classmates to this place. Wang Yuwei sniffed, only hesitated for a moment, then his own mission content and said, Classmate, your suspicions are correct, the fugitive we are tracking down was originally the middle management of a cult organization in a small country in the eastern continent, you should know that our country has recently launched the eastern continent cult purge operation, right? The main camp and top management of the cult was eliminated by us, but they still have some middle and lower level personnel, our security department got some important clues after the elimination of the main camp of the cult, locking up the lurking personnel and branch organization of the cult group in our country, my colleague and I are tasked to get rid of the evil and uproot the remaining evil elements of these cults, we will uproot the remaining members of the cult. Last night, my colleague and I were just following an absconding cultist, and our mission is to follow the clues and find the cult's lurking forces in our country through that criminal. In other words, this company is actually a branch stronghold of the cult? Lu Rue frowned slightly. Wang Yue's face was similarly unsightly as he nodded heavily. At present, it seems that the possibility is very high. Diving headfirst into the cult branch, the situation was crisis, Lu Rue asked the most crucial question. How is the highest combat strength of the cult members in the stronghold? How many in number? According to the intelligence that our public security department currently possesses, these cult lurkers, their strength will not reach the level of a battle general, they will not be so inviting in our country. Wang Yuhui affirmed. Lu Rui frowned at the words and loosened his brows, as long as it wasn't at the war general level, then he was fearless to fight with all his might. Wang Yuhui also added. Don't you worry, the moment the mirror space opens, the main force of the security department has already. He was only halfway through his sentence when a shocking sound came from outside the building. Remnants of the Moto cult, how dare you? You still dare to move your swords within my Disya territory. Lu Rue twisted his head, his eyes looking out the window, only to see hundreds of heavily armed Disya warriors suddenly appear on the previously empty streets. At the head of the warriors was a middle-aged man who was defending the air by virtue of emptiness, his clothes were fiery and extremely majestic. He unabashedly exuded a powerful aura, to the point that it affected the environment, and the stagnant sky began to roll with thunderclouds. The thunder roared and was extremely terrifying. This was a war general powerhouse. Administrator Yu has arrived. Wang Yuwei looked instantly excited. But immediately after that, the cult side also responded, underneath the building, a blood light mixed with black gas and generally accompanied by shadows rose up from the ground, enveloping the entire building and forming a boundary. Not only that, the cult released this force straight into the sky, the sound momentum, actually rushed away from a large area of thunderclouds. Blood light shadow black gas mixed colors not only occupied half of the sky, as if piercing through the space in general, the building appeared above a chaotic change of the hollow, space as broken mirrors, appeared to devour all the cracks of light. The boundary shrouded the building, isolating inside and outside, Lu Rue could not perceive the warriors of the great summer kingdom outside the building. He tilted his head to look at the sky, and among the many forces released by the cult, he sensed the very familiar energy of the necromantic attribute. What is this again? Lu Rue asked. Turning his head back, he could see that at this moment, Wang Yue's demeanor had changed drastically, and he was so gloomy that it seemed like he could drip water. Damn it, this isn't the remnants of a cult causing trouble, but the invasion of an otherworldly demigod level lord. Demigod lords? Lu Rue has heard of the only ones with the word god are the many god generals of the great summer kingdom which are even stronger than the war generals. Those with the word god in their name are definitely not ordinary. As for the alien plane lords, according to what Lu Rue had learned in school textbooks, they were powerful existences that controlled part or the entire plane. Some realm lords and humans were strategic partners. Some were mortal enemies, and most of them were also involved in the crime of invading the human homeland more than 50 years ago and bringing about a great plague. Involving higher level existences, Lu Rue instantly felt the pressure. And Wang Yaowei also became anxious as he spoke rapidly. Now this building is enveloped by a demigod level power creating a boundary, we can't get out until the boundary is broken, child you pay attention to protect yourself, there are still a lot of innocent ordinary people in this building, including your classmates as well, my colleague and I have to go to protect their safety first. Wang Yuwei already knew that Lu Rue's battle power was extraordinary, instead of worrying about Lu Rue's safety, it would be better to take care of other ordinary people. Wang Yuwei reminded. My original colleague on the first floor has already informed me that a large number of monsters are pouring out of the ground and quickly occupying the entire floor. He was right, Lu Rue's super hearing had already heard the undisguised movement underneath the ground. There seemed to be three nests with extremely large energies under the ground, and it was rapidly producing all kinds of monsters. There was both the power of the blood nest realm, Lu Rue also sensed the attribute power of the necromancy realm, and the power of the shadow realm similar to the power of the shadow realm in Lin Yuan's body. 
These three kinds of power formed an existence similar to an arsenal under the ground, creating monsters in large quantities. According to Lu Rue's Life Insight Inspection, the weakest of those monsters were at the level of the bloodthirsty bone bat, and the powerful ones were comparable to the abomination. And with the passage of time, these three arsenal more and more powerful, the hole in the sky seems to open a channel, in a constant supply of power to the monster nest, the output of monsters will be more and more high quality. Lu Rue's mind flickered, hurriedly asked Wang Yue, How many people does the public security department have in this building, and what is the highest combat strength? Wang Yue's eyes flickered, revealing a slightly far-fetched expression. Before we, the vigilantes, fall, it is not yet the turn of students and ordinary citizens to fight. Time is short, so take care of yourself, and if you have any spare capacity, you can assist us in organizing the stranded masses and pacifying the ordinary people. Their original mission was just to track a small shrimp of a cult organization, follow the trail to the cult stronghold, and collect intelligence, so the manpower and combat power were very unpromising in the face of the situation at hand. Lu Rue nodded and said, Can, I am a necromantic system, I mastered the white mist battle technique, with some perception and concealment ability, it should be able to come in handy, I will perform the flame effect battle technique, and there are some necromantic summons, which are the chattering bone bat, poison swamp big mouth, and the abomination. Wan Yue did not doubt, regarded the white fog as a battle technique that Lu Rue had not seen before, and notified his colleagues of Lu Rue's information, so that when they saw the white fog in some of the necromantic summons, there would be no misunderstanding. Time is urgent, scrambling for time. Wan Yue jogged out of the bathroom, and the panicked and fearful screams of the trapped citizens were already coming from outside. Lu Rue also released a large amount of white fog in its lowest concentration form. White fog diffusion speed is very fast, only stick to the ground, the height will not exceed the height of human ankles. When the white fog spread out on this floor, Lu Rue instantly controlled all the situation on this floor, there were 23 people on this floor, all of them were ordinary people except for the Tian students and the fallen plumbing master. Lu Rue also noticed that someone was rushing towards where he was. He had just stepped out of the bathroom when he saw the embarrassed Han Mingjie. This high cool girl with Chi Lu Hai and a little beauty mole at the corner of her I was no longer bland at the moment, and anxiously said, You know what's happening outside, right? We're involved in big trouble now, we need to find a way to save ourselves. She knew Lu Rue's strength, Lu Rue was the most powerful cultivator among the people she knew in this building, so as soon as she encountered a crisis, she hurriedly looked for Lu Rue to embrace the group. Even though she was in the top 10 of the Kaiyuan and was a genius in the eyes of her classmates and teachers, Han Mingjie was still panicked like a child who was looking for someone to rely on when the cultists unleashed their demigod level power. I know, you have to be calm at times like this, there are already people from the public security department outside acting to break through the cult boundary, all we have to do is hold on to the moment the boundary is breached, Lu Rue said in a calm tone. His unperturbed demeanor made Han Mingjie's panicked mind feel slightly soothed and inquired. What battle techniques or summons do you have now or something like that? In my case, I have four spring messengers on hand, two battle techniques, and after yesterday's instructor's real-world training, I'll probably be able to go through the motions with a level 7 battle soldier as well. Han Mingjie was the attribute of the plane of the forest, and the spring messengers were the unique summons of this plane, the same level as the chattering bone bats. She revealed her own means, Lu Rue sniffed and after a pause, she politely said, You don't need to be in charge of the fighting part, you go to pacify those frightened citizens, so that they don't cause chaos out of fear. Han Mengjie frowned slightly and reminded. Woke up, the situation is urgent now, we may not even be able to take care of ourselves, it's hard to say that we can take care of. Halfway through her sentence, she saw the white fog behind Lu Rue tossing and a large number of silhouettes appearing. When the white fog was like a curtain lifting, Han Mengjie saw a troop. For tall, burly abominations lined up like a brick wall, and fifty bloodthirsty bone bats flapped their wings, densely packed as far as the eye could see. 47 poisonous swamp maws crawled on the ground, their soft bodies began to wriggle, accumulating a sufficient amount of shells in their abdominal cavities. They were hidden under the fog, and the special ghost fire eyes of the dead creatures were quietly swaying in the air. Han Mengjie froze. This is my bottom line. Lu Rue's tone was flat, but revealed an air of confidence. Snap dash. He snapped his fingers, and pale blue flames burned on all of those hundreds of necromantic creatures. This was Lu Rue's battle technique, pale ghost flame, and he attached all of his summons to this special spirit flame. After realizing what this army of dead spirits that Lu Rui had mastered meant, Han Mingjie's lips and teeth were dry and her breathing was heavy. Lu Rui's power had far exceeded her original expectations. I'll listen to you. She nodded without hesitation. Reaching a consensus, the two of them came to the hall of this building. The monsters were rushing up from the ground, so the trapped civilians desperately ran up to the floor, collisions and stampedes were inevitable in the panic, everyone focused on escaping and taking care of themselves. 
According to Lu Rui's perception, the monsters under the ground move extremely fast, the first head of the troops have rushed to the 10th floor. This is still the result of Wang Yuwei and his colleagues after resisting and slowing down the speed of the monsters while protecting the citizens to escape. But the number of monsters is too much, some monsters can even go out of the way, do not need the building at all, they climb up along the building's outer wall, and the speed is extremely fast, has occupied the rooftop of the building, the head and tail, squeezing the escape space of the civilians. More and more people are concentrated in the middle floor, cannot go anywhere. The 17th floor where Lu Rue is, there is even a monster broke through the window glass and broke in, it was a hideous monster with scarlet muscles all over its body, sharp claws and teeth, a long and thick tail, 2 meters high at the shoulder, just like a skinned bullfrog. According to the dimensional creature icon that Lu Rue had read from the school, this was the predator of the blood nest dimension, a second order blood nest creature that could pose a life-threatening threat to any combat soldier below level 10. If this monster turned on ordinary people, it would be a massacre. Ordinary people were terrified and panicked to avoid the terrifying monster. The monster seemed to be acting with a clear goal in mind, as it swept past ordinary people and directly pounced towards Lu Rue and Han Mengjie. Han Mengjie's hair exploded, subconsciously swinging her fist towards the monster. Oomph! Lu Rue hummed heavily, like thunder on a flat earth. Immediately afterward, the monster's head suddenly exploded, splattering plasma. A headless corpse flopped down in front of Lu Rue. He only utilized his vocal cord strengthening talent, using his throat muscles to send out a strong air cannon, combined with life insight, he hit the deadly air blast effect, blowing up the monster's head. A few splashes of blood stained Han Mingjie's pale face, and she was stupefied. Lu Rui waved his hand, and the five chattering bone bats swooped in, drawing on the flesh and blood of the predator, transforming the white mist around them into blood mist, storing life energy, and spreading the pale ghost inflammation onto the monster's corpse, using it as firewood to create more pale ghost inflammation. Panel Display Pale Ghost Inflammation, Spirit 54, just by using part of a predator's body as fuel, the Pale Ghost Inflammation attribute was raised to 54 points. The trapped citizens saw this scene and hope surfaced in their eyes as they cautiously asked Lu Rue from some distance away. Are you official cultivators? Lu Rue gave Han Mengjie a look, and the latter understood and hurriedly said to the ordinary people around him, We are just students, students of Tian No. One middle school, some of us have some fighting ability, now the situation is critical, everyone who wants to trust us can listen to our arrangements. Han Mengjie's pretty face and beautiful voice, coupled with Lu Rue's demonstrated fighting ability, immediately let the surrounding people have a sense of trust. Lu Rue's hearing was extraordinary, and he sensed that after the first predator was killed, the other monsters looked like they had found a difficult bone to gnaw on, and focused on coming towards his direction. Lu Rue had just solved one predator, not even a few breaths of effort, another four predators smashed the window glass, pounced in, from four angles, simultaneously towards Lu Rue. From four angles, they attacked Lu Rue at the same time. For hideous monsters waving sharp claws enough to cut through steel pounced, the sound was even more horrifying. In the eyes of ordinary people, Lu Rue this figure is not strong high school students, in front of the four tall monsters that are enough to cut open the claws of steel, as if everything is short of a hemp pole. Han Mengjie subconsciously backed up two steps, hiding behind Lu Rue. However, in Lu Rue's eyes, these four monsters together, and a plate of fried chicken is not much difference, are a dish. He made a gun-pointing gesture, silent ultrasonic release air cannon with a dead air blast to blow up the four heads one by one. There were four more headless corpses on the ground, and the chattering bone bats pounced on them, feeding on their flesh and blood, making the pale ghost flames even more intense, and the blood mist around them even denser. Adding to the battle, this time the surrounding stranded citizens no longer hesitated and all gathered together. Han Mingjie acted as Lu Rui's mouthpiece, organizing to appease. Don't panic, don't be chaotic, he is my classmate, very strong, some monsters he can cope with, and outside, our city's public security department there are many more powerful practitioners are also rushing over to solve the monsters and rescue us. We are now being subjected to an otherworldly invasion caused by a cultist organization, the situation is critical but we all need to remain calm maintain order and unite our forces so that we have a greater chance of surviving the disaster. She elaborated clearly on the causes and consequences and the situation they were facing. Although the situation was critical, Lu Rui's presence provided them with some hope and motivation to survive. Han Mingjie then began to arrange for the people around her to act in an orderly manner. They called out to their compatriots fleeing on the upper and lower floors, sucking them in and reducing the chaos. At the same time, they searched for some sturdy items such as solid wood furniture, iron cabinets, and metal door panels to set up a refuge area on the floor. These things may not be able to resist the monster's attack, but can effectively block some of the aftershocks of the battle. To avoid being injured by the broken pieces, the most important thing is that the crowd is in order, and will not cause casualties due to the chaos caused by trampling and shoving. 
In this group of people, there is Lu Rue's school, went to eat breakfast a few times, Eja Fresh Girl. She can recognize Lu Rue, see fellow students in the organization of self-help, she also volunteered. I'm also a student from Tian, a senior, E Lulu from class 1. She hadn't completed Kai Yuan, her physical quality was still within the realm of ordinary people, but because of her close relationship from the same school, Han Mingjie immediately explained that she was doing things. There was another person Lu Rue knew, his neighbor, the one who often saw female cost most of the night. Her name is Fo Ming, in the morning came to the property here to deal with the problem of water leakage in the house, who knows actually involved in this disaster. And seeing that the high school boy who was unceremoniously fingered by herself last night for returning home in the middle of the night was actually able to display such a strong force capable of protecting the crowd at this moment. Feng Ying's thoughts were all in turmoil, while all the people were scared, she also recalled her previous attitude towards Lu Rue and some of the things she had said. Now, she is thinking about people's protection again, and remembering what she said before. Really embarrassed to die. Lu Rue didn't have the heart to pay attention to these. The matter of organizing the trapped people to save themselves was run by Han Mingjie. As Lu Rue killed five predators, more and more monsters seemed to be concerned about Lu Rue. In Lu Rue's perception, there were close to 50 monsters that were clearly changing their direction of movement towards Lu Rue's location. Lu Rue perceived these situations, but he didn't panic, these enemies were all within manageable range, he also instructed Han Mingjie. The remaining members of the cult and their monster attacks are purposeful, they seem to excel in dealing with powerful cultivators, these ordinary people will be in greater danger around me instead, I'll leave some of the necromantic creatures here, the white mist created by my battle technique also possesses the effect of concealing my breath and figure, take them and hide well, I'll deal with the enemies, you're going to act alone? Han Mingjie's heart tightened at the words, I'm spreading out your pressure, and also allowing me to let go of my hand, a part of my summon stays here, I can always know the situation of your place, you notify the message down to the ordinary people not to be afraid of the white fog that spreads out, and some of the more hunted looking necromantic creatures. Lu Rue arranged very strongly. Han Mingjie lightly bit her lower lip, then nodded. Lu Rue left behind two abominations, ten bone bats, and ten poisonous swamp loudmouths, taking away other necromantic creatures, as well as a large amount of pale ghost flames. After five predators blood and flesh provided fuel, Lu Rue created pale ghost flame to grow and the panel showed its spirit attribute was even as high as 270 points. There were still more than 50 predators like this coming towards Lu Rue. Although he was in the predicament created by the remnants of the cult, but so far Lu Rue did not feel any danger that could threaten his life in the building. The only source of threat is the chaotic black hole in the sky that seems to connect to a different time and space, and the special boundary that covers the building, according to Wang Yue's statement, both of them involve the power of the demigod level. Being in the boundary and the mirror space, isolating Lu Rue's Yuan Fu from the connection to that necromantic plane possessed by humans. By severing the connection to the realm, Lu Rue's blue bar would not be able to recover. But in reality, Lu Rue could sense the dead spirit power from the other dimension. But this necromantic power was unfamiliar, it came from the other end of the black hole in the sky, and although it was the same attribute, it wasn't supplying energy to Lu Rue's Yuan Fu, but rather to the monster's lair under the ground. There's not just the power of the necromancer, but also the power of the blood nest and the shadow, it's an invasion of three other dimensions. Lu Rue murmured softly. He didn't know when the real danger would come, and when the people outside would be able to break through the boundary, but Lu Rue had to grab this opening to make himself stronger as soon as possible. Let's use the enemy corpses as fuel for me to become stronger. With his mind spinning, Lu Rue took a step across a distance of tens of meters, jumped outside the window, and from the height of 17 floors, speedily descended to the 12th floor. At the same time, the 16th, 17th, and 18th floors where ordinary citizens were located were covered by an extremely high concentration of white fog, shielding the breath and sound of ordinary people. Lu Rue focused on the enemy from underground. Three monster-producing nests existed under the ground of this building seemed to have a special connection with the chaotic black hole passage in the sky, and the nests drew energy from the other end of the black hole to produce monsters in a big way. In less than three minutes after the outbreak of the disaster, the three nests had produced more than 200 monsters, and the production efficiency was still increasing dramatically. The first monster troops had already rushed to the 12th floor, and when Lu Rue speed dropped to this floor, he ran into 50 monsters head-on. Flesh and blood predator, heavy skeleton warrior, shadow hunter. It was like an elite army swooping towards Lu Rue. Without the constraints of ordinary citizens, Lu Rue could completely let go. Pale Calamity, inspired, the ever-changing white mist turned into a raging tidal wave. Scarlet Harvest, Corrosive Venom, Corrupt Blood, Abhorrent Breath, Mental Shock. All of the many talent effects were utilized with the white mist as the carrier. The white mist transformed into the maw of a hideous and ferocious beast, devouring all 50 of these monsters. The flesh and blood of the predators were harvested by the white mist, 
turning into dried up withered corpses, while the blood mist grew thicker and more colorful. The heavy bone armor of the skeleton soldiers was corroded by the white mist, nuisance bubbling, gradually turning into a puddle of gray liquid. The killers from the shadows were swept by the invisible spiritual impact, as if they were scraped by the gale over the wheatgrass, prostrate and fell to the ground, and couldn't get up again. These second order monsters were no different from livestock to be slaughtered in front of Lu Rue. He snapped his fingers, and these monsters were all set on fire by Tsang Gue Yen, and the entire twelfth floor of the building was turned into a blazing firefield. Lu Rue was like a giant whale sucking in water, swallowing those blood mists that were full of flesh and blood energy into his body, transforming them into the purest necromantic power under the effects of his many talents. Lu Rue took a deep breath, pale spirit fire pulsing in his pupils. It's my army's turn to appear. Predators, heavily armored skeletons, and shadow hunters were all second rank monsters. They can provide considerable energy. Lu Rue drew on their energy and transformed it into summoning undead troop sustenance. Tall abominable monsters, creeping poisonous swamp maws, swift chattering bone bats, their numbers grew rapidly, counting the undead creatures Lu Rue already possessed, his troop size reached 150 units. Lu Rue's necromantic creations were extremely iconic, their bodies were invariably wrapped in white mist and burning pale ghost flames. The twelfth floor monsters were cleared out by Lu Rue's white mist, and that's when Wang Yue's voice came. Is that Mr. Lu Rue? Vigilantes like Wang Yue were all concentrated on the twelfth floor, fending off the march of monsters from underground and protecting ordinary citizens as they migrated upwards. And right now, the twelfth floor was quickly emptied of monsters, giving these few vigilantes a chance to catch their breath. Because he had greeted them earlier, Wang Yue knew the characteristics of Lu Rue's ability, so he directly inquired. Yes, it's me. The white fog receded partially, allowing Lu Rue's figure to be exposed in the eyes of everyone. Lu Rue swept a glance with life insight, confirming that there were a total of four vigilantes, their battle power seemed to be no more than a level 11 battle soldier, and that there were also 47 ordinary civilians. He said in a flat tone, I'm strong, I can hold this floor, you guys can take the commoners to the 16th and 17th floors to take refuge there first, my classmates are already organizing the stranded to maintain order on that floor and I've also left some summons and battle technique effects there that can provide protection. Lu Rue was going to have the economy all to himself. He said this with a great deal of confidence. The numerous monsters from under the ground were all of second order caliber, and these few vigilantes had an extremely difficult time dealing with them, only able to fight and retreat, stretch to cover the people's retreat upwards. However, once Lu Rue appeared on the scene, he swept the monsters away with a devastating gesture. This kind of strength. That is, they are students, they are magistrates, they have to protect the students out of professional responsibility, or else they come to protect Lu Rue, that really is a bit of a joke. Right now the situation is urgent, these magistrates also did not pretend, although marveled at Lu Rue's strong combat power, but to protect other suffering people is also a more important responsibility. Thank you very much Lu Rue students you come forward, not much to say, since Lu Rue students you have certainty, then we first take other people up. Several vigilantes took advantage of Lu Rue to create a respite gap and hurriedly took the civilians up. And Lu Rue called out to Wang Yue and asked, Uncle Wang, I'm not too clear about the current situation, can you tell me about the situation? I can perceive the threat from the sky and several monster nests underground are producing monsters in a steady stream. What is the purpose of this group of cult remnants? Lu Rue originally suspected that the cultists were here to assassinate the Kaiyuan former Tan, but right now the battle was too big and involved a demigod level power, instead, Lu Rue couldn't figure it out. The life of the top 10 of the Kaiyuan was only worth 5000 contribution points, and this could make a demigod level lord make a big deal out of it? Wang Yue sniffed, his face was gloomy and his tone was grave. The immediate occurrence should be a retaliation initiated by those demigod lords against our country's lead operation to overthrow the cult, and those three monster nests underground, if that's the most. Bad possibility, my colleagues, and I suspect that this is a preparation for the god seance. That's an extremely special seance technique that summons the power of the realm lords. With those three nests as the foundation and a large number of monsters as sacrifices, it will break through the barrier of our native land and invoke the descent of demigod level lord power. Wang Yue explained a bit to Lu Rue, a student. In addition to mastering battle techniques and summoning contracts to utilize dimensional power, cultivators also had a kind of seance technique. Lu Rue had only briefly understood spirit descending techniques before, and when Wang Yue mentioned divine descent, Lu Rue instinctively felt that it was extraordinary. This is not an assassination attempt against the top 10 students of Kaiyuan. Assassination is only incidental, this is a hostile force brewing a retaliation, the worse the impact on human beings, the more successful the retaliation. Lu Rue was about to ask more questions, however, the second wave of monster impact came, the number of up to 50 heads, also all second order monsters. 
But at the same time, Lu Rue also used life insight to see the three monster nests underground, accumulating more power through the hole in the sky, and began to produce higher level monster soldiers. Lu Rue even sensed that the necrotic lair was producing necrotic abominations. Since these monsters are all sacrifices to invoke the divine descent, as long as they are cleared quickly, they can slow down the divine descent and buy time for a breakthrough outside. Lu Rue's mind spun and figured out the key, instantly maneuvering the white mist to order his necrotic troops to pounce towards the hostile monsters. Under the cover of white mist, Lu Rue occupied the home field advantage, his summoned objects have been increased by the white mist to get fully strengthened, while the enemy monsters are fully weakened, perception weakened. Eight third order abominations were strengthened by the white mist of the pale scourge, and their strength sword, reaching six tons of power in one punch, and they could tear apart predators and trample the enemy's heavily armored skeleton soldiers with their bare hands. It exuded an aura of hatred that monsters felt, drawing all firepower towards itself. And any non-lethal attack from an enemy only grows the abomination's size, as they absorb the damage from the attack and convert it into flesh and blood energy, their size expanding and growing in strength as they fight. The 70 chattering bone bats, on the other hand, unleash their high mobility advantage, either devouring the flesh and blood of these monstrous foes like vultures, converting it into pure life energy to provide supplies. Or they transformed into battlefield drones, launching mental impacts against hostile targets. The chattering bone bat was certainly a first order necromantic creature, but their numbers were large and their combat power soared after being strengthened by the white mist, and five or six chattering bone bats releasing their sonic whistles were enough to incapacitate shadow hunters without a body of flesh and blood. As for the 70 or so toxic swamp mouths, they moved slowly. So Lu Rui made an arrangement, 32 poisonous swamp big mouths are attached to the abomination, the two are united, incarnated as a dead spirit tank, the abomination is responsible for anti-damage and movement, the poisonous swamp big mouths become a turret, to strengthen the abomination's output ability. The rest of the poisonous swamp mouth becomes a stationary turret, with a long-range parabolic trajectory to hit the enemy's back row, with a special nature of the liquid cannonball. The kinetic energy alone is equivalent to a 4-ton punch. What's more crucial is that their attacks are accompanied by pale ghost flame, as long as they are hit by their attacks and tainted with this spiritual flame, those hostile monsters will quickly burn and turn into firewood for the pale ghost flame. This group of monsters was simply slaughtered side by side. The pale ghost inferno's body mass grew to 400 spiritual attributes, and Lu Rue's army numbers skyrocketed to 270 units. The enemy monsters didn't put a single pressure on Lu Rue but even turned into his nutrients, causing his battle power to continue to rise. Wang Yue was looking dumbfounded on the side. You're telling me this is a high school student. And Lu Rue action is more than that, after removing the monsters that rushed up to him, his white mist coverage continues to expand, spreading from the 12th floor to the lower floors, and his army is even marching along with the white mist, slaughtering all the monsters along the way, and his army continues to grow in size. Lu Rue commanded his army to advance downwards. The army destroys all obstacles, and the white mist devours all hostile existences along the way, turning them into nourishment for his own growth. But he himself remains stuck on the twelfth floor. In the state of, necromantic mind, Lu Rue's mind was clear in his calculations. The swarms of monsters that the enemy is currently producing are not even a match for me, easily crushing them, but if we go by what Wan Yowei said, these monsters are just a prelude to the arrival of a stronger demigod level lord power. I can easily crush these second rank monsters, and I can even fight with battle general level powerhouses, but I don't have the slightest bit of certainty about demigod level lord powers at the moment. It's better to let my army of necromancers do the fighting, to devour the monsters to grow themselves, and to serve as cannon fodder to scout the way, while I myself would be better off not risking my life until the situation is clear. Now is not the kind of campus although the pressure is high, but ultimately there is no danger of training, Lu Rue how to wave, there are school authorities and instructors to cover the bottom. But now the situation is really urgent, Lu Rue must remain cautious. His body does not move, focusing on his spirit to control his own army of dead spirit to fight, Lu Rue led his summon army to fight. Lu Rue led his army of summon creatures to kill and devour the monsters created by the enemy, to obtain the nutrients, so that he can produce more necromantic creatures, in order to pave the way for him to unleash his talent, Ash Legacy, until his white mist army reached the third floor. The number of troops grew to 350 units. The number of abominations reached 50, the number of chattering bone bats 150, and the number of poison swamp mouths 150. Pale ghost flame absorbed a lot of energy and grew to 1300 units of spiritual attributes. If it wasn't for the tense situation and being in the necromantic mind state, Lu Rue would have been overjoyed by now, shouting that he had gotten rich. But now was not the time to be optimistic. On the third floor, Lu Rue's forward-thinking troops suffered resistance. 
Those three monster arsenals underground seem to sense the crisis from Lu Rue and drew enough power from the otherworldly plane to undergo a metamorphosis and start producing more advanced third order troop types. Monsters third order troop types, just the ones Lu Rue could recognize. In the necromancy department, there were abominations, skeleton mages, and lair demons. The shadow department's shadow sorcerer, night knight, and lightless goblin. From the flesh line, there were flesh mountain giants, alien vanguards, and flesh worms. The appearance of third order monsters has slowed down the rate of travel of Lure's army. Lu Rue can produce abominations, so can the enemy. Lu Rue's abominations were greatly strengthened by the white mist field, and each punch could carry the additional damage of pale ghost flame. Lu Rue's abominations are much more powerful, and can be pressed against the enemy abominations to burst the hammer, but the enemy has helpers and the advantage of numbers. Shadow Department of the Night Knight is also the third order melee unit, with no less than the abomination combat strength, but also specializes in the use of shadow type attacks, extremely flexible and difficult to deal with. The flesh system of the flesh mountain giant has a strong healing ability, ordinary physical attacks simply cannot kill it. Lu Rui with third order abominations are very difficult to suppress the enemy's third order monsters, let alone Lu Rui's first order chattering bone bat and poisonous swamp big mouth. Chattering bone bat is characterized by high sensitivity and brittle skin, within the same order, the chattering bone bat is able to avoid damage by virtue of the advantage of high sensitivity, but it is also able to avoid damage by virtue of the advantage of high sensitivity. However, when facing third level monsters, its high sensitivity advantage no longer existed. When the enemy broke through the abomination's defense line, the, the necromancer's lair demon, the shadow goblin's lightless goblin, and the flesh alien vanguard were all third order monsters that stood out for their agility, and could easily grab the chattering bone bat and crush it. The chattering bone bat couldn't even escape, not to mention the slow moving poison swamp big mouth. The poison swamp big mouth's liquid cannonballs could be lethal to second order monsters, but not enough for third order monsters, and its body was easily torn to pieces by the third order monsters. With the drones and turrets easily destroyed, it was only the abomination that was struggling to fight. But the good thing was that the abomination would trigger a strong self-detonation after taking an excessive amount of damage, and the shock of the explosion could temporarily slow down the efficiency of the enemy's attack, not allowing Lu Rui's white mist legion to be overrun by the enemy whose strength had skyrocketed. It can be seen, when the enemy's third order monsters debut, Lu Rui's devastating army of the dead is like hitting an iron wall, unable to advance downward, and with the enemy's lair producing more and more third order monsters, the battle line even has the precursor of being pushed back. But Lu Rue was not anxious about this. Because he saw that as his necromantic summoners died in battle one by one, the Ash Legacy talent effect kept brushing out on his panel. Gained base attribute bonus, strength plus zero. Four, agility plus zero. Three, physique plus zero. Four, spirit plus zero. One, gain base attribute bonuses, strength plus zero. Four, agility plus zero. Three, constitution plus zero. Four, spirit plus zero. One, after each abomination blew itself up, it was providing reinforcement to Lu Rue. After 350 units of necromantic troops were destroyed 210 or so. Strength plus 23. 8. Agility plus 19. 9. Physique plus 20. 1. Spirit plus 12. 9. Lu Rue's four major attributes all broke through and reached. Strength, 74. 1. Agility, 69. 1. Physique, 69. 2. Spirit, 65. 8. How could Lu Rui be anxious when his basic attributes were rising rapidly and his many talents were rising? His troops were dying, while his own attributes were improving, even his pale ghost flame was able to use the bodies of his fallen friends as fuel to strengthen himself, his body mass was growing, and his spiritual attribute had reached 2500, just like a bomb that was getting more and more powerful. Moreover, although the enemy produced powerful third rank monsters, Lu Rui's troops were not incapable of inflicting damage on the enemy. While Lu Rui's troops were dying in battle, the enemy was also dying in battle, and Lu Rui's white mist and pale ghost flame then devoured the enemy corpses and transformed them into their own sustenance, allowing Lu Rui to create more necrotic troops. In order to respond to the strengthening of the enemy, Lu Rui launched the battle technique skeleton armor plating to put on his own abomination to strengthen the bone armor, greatly strengthened the abomination's ability to withstand injuries, and with the abomination's own talent for attracting hatred, coupled with the white mist to provide concealment, so that all the enemy's attacks fall on the abomination, the white mist to conceal the chattering bone bat and the poisonous swamp maws, creating room for the output of the two. White mist concealed the chattering bone bats and poison swamp slammers, creating space for the two to output. Not only the necro army, but also Lu Rue's white mist has its own aggressiveness that can suppress the enemy's attack. After Lu Rue adjusted his tactics, clad in reinforced bone armor, the abomination that had gained the white mist's support, and was attached to the pale ghost flame to increase its damage, 
was able to hammer the abomination for five. Now, the battle line that was originally going to be pushed back by the enemy, suddenly hardened. The two sought fiercely, and Lu Rui's full attributes continued to grow rapidly, and continued to use the corpses of both sides as sustenance for his mobs. The thing he was even most worried about right now wasn't that the enemy would overrun his army, but whether the building they were in could withstand such a high-intensity battle. The building was already shaking, Lu Rui's super hearing even heard the overall structure of the building emitting a mournful sound, if the fight kept going on, don't take a few minutes, the building would definitely collapse. If the building collapses, Lu Rui will definitely not die, but the ordinary people inside the building may not. While Lu Rui focused on the battle, he also thought about how to make the number of survivors inside the building more than 4 to 500 to move to it. Just when he felt difficult, suddenly enveloped the entire building boundary came from the loud sound. Lu Rui instantly paid attention, only to see that the building's boundary, which had originally isolated the inside and outside, was suddenly blasted open with a crack. Following this crack, Lu Rui's super hearing can hear the sound from outside the building. Rescue from the outside world has finally moved, the number of fighters on the side of Dasha is many as 500, and each seems to be more than 20 levels of combat strength. The leader of the rescue force is not the director of public security, the war general who mastered the thunder. Instead, it was a middle-aged man with a more majestic and unfathomable aura. The middle-aged man pinched his hands together, and a verdant fire lotus coalesced in the center of his palm. He aimed at the building's boundary, and the thick pillar of light inspired, actually shaking and shattering the sturdy building's demigod-level boundary. This was a boundary formed by the power of a demigod lord. This middle-aged man was a god general. The three demigod lords cast their gazes along the spatial channel. Just a few gazes were as if they had substance and were filled with malice, Lu Rui felt like he was under pressure as if he was burdened by three mountains. Jumping up and down mole crickets. Interesting bug, the thing inside your body emits an aura that intrigues this seat. You should cut yourself in thanks. Demigod lords made sounds that were not at all conceivable in human language, either horrifying hisses, shrill whistles, or contemptuous whispers, and were accompanied by enormous spiritual pressure. One of the demigod lord's eyes even penetrated the space and saw Lu Rui's figure in the layers of white mist and the hidden talent runic patterns on the Yuan Fu in his body. Lu Rui felt an undisguised greed full of malice. But fortunately, Lu Rui was in the state of dead spirit mind, and he didn't show any fear or panic when he was suddenly watched and pressurized by the demigod lord. However, he faced more than that. The demigod lords had already sensed the undeniable damage that Lu Rui had caused during their descent. Outside, the great Xia divine generals were still continuing to pound the boundary, and if they failed to complete their divine descent before the boundary shattered, they would be completely out of luck when the great Xia divine generals killed their way into the building. Time was also important to the demigod lords. And Lu Rui, who was hindering their divine descent at the moment, was an extremely obtrusive stumbling block that had to be removed. Not only did they cast a watchful eye, they even triggered the power of the nest beneath the building's ground. Blood nest dimension monster nest generated extremely thick rough skin covered with scales of flesh and blood tentacles, each tentacle has the volume of cable state bridge, the number of hundreds of, extremely brutal break through the floor to floor barrier, three breaths of effort from the ground to the twelfth floor where Lu Rui, teeth and claws appeared in front of the Lu Rui, each thick tentacles beat power reached 60 tons. Shadow dimension monster lair synchronized attack, devouring all the colors of the shadows from the ground upward, will be Lu Rui in the twelfth layer of the shroud formed a full of fear and danger, internal and external cutoff closed dark space, can make Lu Rui lost control of the outside world of the White Fog Legion and the spiritual senses. Necromantic dimension of the monster lair also has magical powers, it carries the atmosphere of barrenness and corruption, with no form and no substance full of malicious necromantic curse descended on Lu Rui's head, attempting to his state to drop dramatically, and a large number of dead spirit breath also generate a vain hand holding a side sneaky soul body. This dead soul body's aura has a little demigod lord oppressive force, its eyes do not hide the greed to Lu Rui body Yuanfu, meaning self-evident, to Lu Rui bring a sense of threat far above the other two lords. The three demigod lords manipulated the power of the lair to attack Lu Rui. In their opinion, even if they hadn't completed their divine descent and could only use their power in the air, but as demigod lords, wouldn't it be easy to take down a small war soldier? The enemy was coming on strong, and Lu Rui chose to let the main body stationed in the twelfth floor, let the White Mist Legion go to the front line of battle arrangement this is when it works. It took a few seconds for the power of the three monsters nests to spread from the underground to the twelfth floor where he was. Taking advantage of this gap, he detonated all of the White Mist Legion and sent a large amount of pent-up energy to the Pale Mist and Scarlet Blood Mist. Ghost Flame and Scarlet Blood Mist to summon back to his twelfth floor without panic. Before the twelfth layer was blocked by the three great demigod level lords joining forces, Lu Rui grabbed and recycled all of his power. His White Mist Legion exploded with over 630 necromantic units, and his full attributes received a surge. 
Strength plus 46. 8. Agility plus 40. Physique plus 44. 3. Spirit plus 29. 8. Strength, 117. 2. Agility, 107. 0. Constitution, 111. 4. Spirit, 94. 2. The white mist of his, pale calamity, similarly accumulated a large amount of life energy when following the legions in battle, turning into a blood mist that served as reserve energy. What's more, the pale ghost flame used the corpses of both sides on the battlefield as nourishment, rapidly growing its body mass to reach 6,100 units of spiritual attributes. The entire 12th floor was filled with blood mist that could not be seen by the naked eye, and at the same time, the ground was flowing with a high concentration of ghost fire that had the texture of magma. At first glance, it was like a purgatory. Many forces returned to themselves, facing the three great demigod lords to send out difficulties in the air. Lu Rue did not have too much fear, he had the bottom card to let go of the fight. The shadow lords created a dark blockade of space, suppressing Lu Rue's pale scourge to create a white fog home. Lu Rue then took the lead and ignited Pale Ghost Flame. Pale Ghost Flame, 6000 Soul Burial Break. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. The long accumulated spirit body flames exploded in a wave of explosions, filling the entire space with intense pale blue firelight, releasing terrifying physical impacts and spiritual killings, violently blowing up the dark cage created by the Shadow Lord. More than half of the Blood Nest Lord's hundred flesh and blood tentacles were blown into blood foam, and the powerful self-healing ability of the Blood Nest system was suppressed by the deadly chi strike effect, so the broken tentacles simply couldn't grow back in a short period of time. The sneaky soul body that symbolized the will of the Necropolis Lords was also impacted by the spirit killing power of the 6000 soul burial breaks, causing the spirit body to vibrate and shake, flickering brightly and brightly. None of the three great lords seemed to have thought that the three of them striking against a battle soldier level at the same time would actually lose at the start. But Lu Rue counterattacked more than that. Performing 6000 soul burial breaks and breaking his spirit body also fell under the category of unleashing Ash Legacy Power. His spiritual attribute gained further strengthening, reaching 122. 9. Also gaining an exclusive talent. Acquired talent, soul burning. Acquired talent, flesh and blood burning. Soul burning, ignite the soul and explode with amazing power. Flesh and blood burning, ignite the flesh and blood and explode with amazing power. After Lu Rue triggered the 6000 soul burials to break and heavily damage the three lords to manipulate the power of the lair in isolation, he began to mobilize the energy accumulated in the blood mist. As if he was swallowing and sucking up the sea, he transformed the blood mist energy into massive death spirit energy and infused it into his Yuan Fu. Pale Calamity, Embrace of the Underworld. The 18 prismatic cylinders of the Yuan Fu transformed once again into a small world of uncharted chaos under the support of the massive necromantic power. Huge dead spirit power is absorbed by the small world, Lu Rue's soaring spiritual attributes also provide enough support. The chaotic unopened form is evolving faster and faster, there is like the world's first light. When the power accumulated to the limit, Lu Rue stretched out his hand and launched the underworld wave towards the sneaky soul body of the necromantic demigod lord. The necromantic demigod lord gave Lu Rue the most threatening feeling, so Lu Rue directly took a big move against the enemy. The power of this underworld wave was far more powerful than the one Lu Rue had trained with Shir Wei. His basic spiritual attributes were about three times as much as the last time, the white mist provided him with a huge amount of necromantic power, his Yuan Fu was stronger than the last time and he was more knowledgeable and skillful in the abilities of the gifted runes. The most crucial thing was that the sneaky soul body of that demigod level necromancer lord had already been heavily injured once by the 6000 soul burial breaks. Lu Rue took advantage of the opportunity to strike, and the pale mist transformed into a raging and surging tide, devouring the necropolis lord's sneaky soul body with a strong stance. And the moment the sneaky soul body was swallowed up by the white mist, across the spatial passage, the demigod level lord of the necromancy department, who was far away in the otherworldly plane, let out a shrill whistle that was extremely out of character. Griffin, you deserve to die. You deserve to die. You dare to blaspheme. Lu Rue punched out his enemy with one blow. However, the blood nest system was characterized by an extremely strong recovery ability, the spine and most of itself was shattered, but the blood nest cultists still remained alive. However, Lu Rue's attacks had the effect of deadly chi strike, which caused even more destruction and made the wounds even more difficult to heal. The blood nest cultists could only rely on their attribute advantage to hang on for dear life, and they were reduced by one. But his recovery needed some time, and his accomplices wouldn't let Lu Rue interrupt his repair. At the same time that Lu Rue smashed the blood nest lineage cultist, the shadow lineage cultist and two shadow warriors attacked from the side. One of the major characteristics of the shadow lineage was the ability to use darkness and shadows to mask their breath and voice, and complete sneaking through the shadows to unknowingly surprise the target. 
The shadow samurai drilled out from Lu Rui's shadow and stabbed towards Lu Rui's waist with a wild taijutsu in his hand. The shadow cultist, on the other hand, held a machete in his hand and chopped towards the arm that Lu Rui had punched. Lu Rui just coldly grunted. In the next moment, the armor merged. Tough armor covered Lu Rui's physical body, and all of the enemy's attacks felt like they were chopping on extremely hard metal, emitting fierce clanging sounds and sparks. Lu Rui instantly put on the armor, the style is still the style of Wen Ye's design of the great general of prison suppression. Not only that, Lu Rui also used the hard bone as raw material, at the same time generate a heavy blade and long-handled scythe. Left hand giant blade, right hand sickle. Lu Rui eyes phosphorus fire jumping, a thought, both weapons edges colored with pale blue ghost flame. He held his weapon in both hands, and used the crossing the eight directions, the range of the attack was so great that all the enemies of the shadow system who tried to attack him unsuccessfully but could not avoid retreating were all hit by this move, and hit the effect of deadly aura strike. The two shadow warriors were cut apart by the heavy blade, and the pale ghost flame burned on their bodies, turning them into two humanoid torches. The pale ghost inferno size grew to 3,700 units of spirit attribute at this moment. The cultist was stabbed through the chest by the scythe's sharp edge, piercing through the chest and hanging on the scythe. Lu Rui unleashed, Scarlet Harvest, his scythe weapon could be considered an extension of his skeleton, a part of his own body. The scythe transformed into bloodthirsty fangs under the talent effect, quickly draining the cultists of their flesh and blood energy. Lu Rui was replenished with the energy equivalent to creating 15 abominations, and the cultists lost their combat power. In just one look, 9 enemies, 4 were reduced in number. Covered by face armor, the only thing Lu Rui's appearance revealed was a pair of eyes burning with phosphorus fire. This pair of eyes scanned the remaining enemies, and none of them dared to go forward to attack again. They were all shocked by Lu Rui's clean cuts, and none of the enemies who fought with him were crushed and smashed by him. Slaughtering these enemies really didn't look much harder than slaughtering a few white feathered chickens. Seeing this, Lu Rui took a step and flashed to the previously crippled blood nest system cultists. Raising his leg and stomping down, the six meter tall giant was broken by his waist and split into two. Blood and plasma burst out, and the white mist greatly absorbed the life energy of this flesh and blood giant, making it completely unable to rise again, while the white mist became extremely scarlet and colorful, harvesting the energy equivalent to creating 20 abominations. Facing the remaining enemies, Lu Rue directly released. Amplified range spiritual shock and sonic shock. Spiritual impact and sonic impact were not his best means, but with his spiritual attribute strengthened by the pale scourge to reach 91, he still had enough energy, plus the white fog's home field advantage. Lu Rue caused a mixture of spiritual and physical impacts that was enough to cause all the remaining enemies to fall into a one second stasis. This one second was enough for Lu Rue. His body is strong, speed is extremely fast, moving in the white fog and even the figure disappears, the only thing that can be seen by the naked eye is the brilliant pale blue flames produced when launching an attack. Pale blue flame and the white fog cut through two arc curve. Lu Rue connected with a single strike, cutting through all of the remaining enemies. The decapitated enemies, even the unjust souls that only had spirit bodies were set ablaze by the pale ghost flame, the. After a split second of burning, Lu Rue spun his blade with both hands, and the. In the next moment, the enemy's flesh and blood and spirit bodies were all ignited by the song ghost flame, and they all turned into five flaming stumps. Three level 28 battle soldiers, six fourth rank monsters, Lu Rue destroyed them all in less than five seconds. Lu Rue even had the strength left over to control the aftermath of the battle not letting his battle damage a single bit of the building structure. His own battle results were dazzling, but a slight perception of the third layer of white mist army battle, that was not optimistic. The three layers underground were rapidly mobbing their troops. Lu Rui's white mist legion, after adjusting their tactics, the abominations were clad in powerful bone armor, and their battle power skyrocketed, capable of fighting one against five. The legion trait also feeds off the battle, regrowing after the legion's attrition and quickly breaking through to over 600 units. But the enemy mobs are faster, up to 1500, with higher quality soldiers, and already 4th order monsters are appearing in legion battles. The cloaked abominations could certainly fight 1 to 5 of the same rank, but they could only barely guarantee undefeatability against soldiers of a higher rank. Even the cloaked abomination was beginning to struggle, not to mention the chattering bone bat and the poison swamp mouth. These two first order soldiers were quickly slaughtered, like two filler babies, their deaths could not cause the destruction of the enemy's vital forces, their only role was to slow down the speed of the collapse of the battlefield. The pressure on the battle line is very great, like a taut string, may collapse at any time. But after all, Lu Rue has his own strength, he is not afraid of the collapse of the battle line, the greater the casualties of the white mist army, the stronger Lu Rue. The big deal is that when the monsters broke through the white fog army to the 12th floor, he then personally shot, that is just another massacre. 
Lu Rue is more concerned about the building's ability to withstand, the third floor of the battle is extremely intense, the aftermath of the battle continues to destroy the building's infrastructure, the stairs began to shake, has begun to tilt and collapse. Lu Rue himself can definitely survive, but the 17th floor ordinary people may not. If the people outside who are rescuing don't open the boundary in time, the casualties of ordinary people will be heavy. Lu Rue thought that he himself, a student, had already been benevolent to this extent. Out of the resources that the officials had poured into his training, he would be distracted from protecting the commoners during the battle, but if the situation was irreparable, he could only let out a helpless sigh. His many necromancy talents didn't have the ability to save lives and create shelters. Lu Rue was still able to worry about other people's well-being at this time, and was clearly stable. But all of a sudden, he sensed that the three monster nests underground were experiencing even more. Stronger abnormal movements. At this moment, the enemy monster army had already reached as many as 1800 units. When the number reached a certain level, it seemed that some conditions were met, and the interdimensional channel in the sky dropped more power, instilling it into the three monster nests, and at the same time the enemy monster army began to stop attacking. However, this did not mean that the crisis was lifted, but a bigger crisis was coming. An unusually terrifying aura began to emanate from within the monster nests, and the enemy monster army began to disintegrate and merge on its own. A head of third order monsters or fourth order monsters used their own bodies as material to construct shell containers for more powerful existences. Lu Rue's heart tightened, noticing these circumstances, he was no longer in a secure state of mind. The enemy's divine descent was about to begin? There's no need to pull the plug, the white mist legion all self-destruct. Lu Rue ordered, the armored abominations that were originally fighting in the front line instantly swelled up, turning into bone fragments and flesh bombs and rushing towards the enemy monster army, one abomination was able to blow up three monsters of the same rank and cause heavy injuries to the fourth ranked monsters. Chattering bone bats and poison swamp mouths also followed, although they do not have the gift of self-detonation, but Lu Rue Sang ghost inflammation can ignite their bodies to create an effective killing effect. He wouldn't risk his life to enter the underground and face the enemy's monster lair that had the aura of a demigod, but damaging the enemy's monster legions would likewise achieve the same result of delaying the god's descent and buying time for the people outside. Lu Rue more than 600 units of white mist legion blow themselves up one after another, the effect is immediate, Lu Rue's one unit can replace the other side of a unit on average. Lu Rue's entire white mist legion can replace the opponents close to 600 monsters. When the number of sacrifices used to guide the demigod lords to descend fell below a limit, the progress of the enemy's divine descent obviously came to a standstill. Lu Roy examined the large amount of attributes that the white mist legion had added to himself when it blew itself up, and silently estimated how long his white mist legion's self-detonation could drag on, but he suddenly broke out in a sweat. A sense of extreme crisis descended on his head. This sense of crisis came from the otherworldly passage in the sky. On the other side of the passage, three terrifying, as if substantial, extremely penetrating gazes were projected onto Lu Rue. Those were the three demigod lords of the otherworldly dimension, and they locked onto Lu Rue. God generals descended. Thick pillars of light bombarded the boundary, and even more, a verdant fire lotus rose up from the ground, enveloping the building's external boundary, searing the boundary, matching the pillars of light, and breaking through the boundary blockade. If the eye sharp, can see verdant fire lotus a total of 108 petals, each petal seems to exist on the unique pattern, those patterns, or giant monster beasts, or hundreds of thousands of people level a battlefield, or to look up to the horror of the existence of the environment, or extremely sinister. These patterns were as vivid as if they had actually happened, and became clearer and clearer as the verdant fire lotus grew. This god general was bombarding the boundary with immense greatness, and god general level attack, just through the boundary gap escaped a little breath, let Lu Rue instinctive creepy. If this god general bombarded not the boundary, but Lu Rue, then he will die. Or the kind of death that had no resistance left. At the same time as he was shocked by the power of the god general level power, Lu Rue also understood that the powerful rescue from the great Xia kingdom had finally arrived. But before he could breathe a sigh of relief, Lu Rue sensed a change from underneath the building's ground. It seems that the appearance of the great Xia divine general has greatly stimulated the underground monster nests, making the monster nests become extremely violent, increasing the rate of reinforcement by a large margin, and also preparing to produce more advanced fourth order monsters. Not only that, after the appearance of the great summer divine general, a hollow above the building also appeared with an extremely oppressive aura. Lu Rue knew that the hollow in the sky above the building was a channel connecting to the other dimension, and because of this channel, the lair under the ground was able to obtain energy through this channel, rapidly growing itself and producing a large number of monsters. This channel that originally provided nutrients to the monster nests also began to become unstable after the descent of the Dasha God General. In Lu Rui's life insight perception, 
He saw that in the upper air, there were three figures that existed like an ocean with a hidden life force as vast as the ocean. After the great summer god general appeared, these three figures began to use the channel to channel more power into the mirror space where the building was located. This power was so strong that even the edges of the entire mirror space began to show worrying cracks, as if they were unable to withstand such a massive external power. However, the great summer god general merely snorted coldly, and the fire lotus that rose up from the ground grew rapidly, becoming extremely large and actually filling up the entire mirror space. The cracks in the mirror space were instantly healed by the fire lotus, and the presence of the fire lotus seemed to strengthen the stability of this space. Although the mirror image space was stabilized, the building boundary was enhanced by the power of those three figures and became even tougher, the great summer god general was unable to break through for a while. The monster nests under the ground were even more nourished, the speed of the mobs was faster and the quality of the soldiers was higher. Moreover, a frightening aura began to emanate from within these three nests. That was also god general level power, the nests were incubating the containers that would receive the demigod lords to descend. The operations of the big brothers, Lu Rui couldn't understand much now, he only knew that his white mist army might not be able to stop the enemy's strengthened army. The enemy has been strengthened too much. But the good thing is, Lu Rui is not alone now, the Dasha god general is already trying to break through the three demigod lords to strengthen the boundary, pulling the enemy's energy. The building boundary was certainly enhanced by external forces, but the great Xia god general's attack was useful, and the more the boundary cracks, the cracks in the boundary grew bigger and bigger, and as long as they waited for the boundary to open up a few mouths, the outer great Xiao warriors would be able to come in. The combat strength of the Dasha warriors were all level 20 or above, their combat strength was not bad, and their number was as high as 500. As long as they dragged, it would probably be enough to drag for a minute or so. However, Lu Rue is not the only one who realized that the situation has changed, it seems that the enemy also realized the crisis. Seeing that Lu Rue was a difficult bone to gnaw on, they were continuously depleting the monster's numbers and destroying the conditions for the demigod lords to descend. They couldn't afford to stalemate with Lu Rue. The pressure facing the White Mist Legion skyrocketed, and the defense line was in jeopardy. The monsters also seemed to have staged a decapitation operation, and a few fourth order monsters with extremely strong combat power and even three cultivators crossed over the White Mist Legion and headed straight for the 12th floor of the building where Lu Rue was. Uncle Wang, be careful, the enemy is coming, very strong. Lu Rue spoke out. His words had only fallen when the enemy had already broken into the 12th floor. Three cultist cultivators and three fourth rank monsters. These three cultivators, Lu Rue looked familiar at first glance, and after a little recollection, these three were officially wanted murderers. According to the information given by the official, the highest combat strength of these three people is only 19 level combat soldier, the highest reward has 800 contribution points. However, Lu Rue perceived that these three people are close to 28 level combat soldiers, they seem to have an external force, not only to strengthen themselves greatly, and even resist the effect of Lu Rue, Pale Scourge, White Mist. This kind of thing, Lu Rue currently only saw on the instructor Shi Wei, and that was still because Shi Wei used the War General to have the effect after the innate talent rune. At the moment, these three cult practitioners were likely to have been empowered by some of the powers of the demigod lords of the other realm, and only then did they possess powers that far exceeded their own level. They had human faces in human Yuanfu, representing the three attributes respectively, but their expressions revealed in human bloodlust and hideousness, as well as a hideous wildness that wanted to kill Lu Rue afterward. The six fourth rank monsters were Fierce Spiteful Spirit, Shadow Warrior, and Lady Rose, corresponding to Necrotic, Shadow, and Bloodnest respectively, with two of each type. These were all monsters that could be equated with level 20 battle soldiers. Any one of these enemies was not something that Wang Yue could handle. Lu Rue said in an indifferent tone. Uncle Wang, quickly leave this floor. Just after the words were said, the enemies launched an attack. The first to attack is the two fear of the spirit, their form is between illusion and substance, conventional physical blow to this form seems to have no effect, and the fear of the spirit start is its natural ability fear of whistling. The whistling that can stir up the ultimate fear in a living being's heart was unleashed, and even though Wang Yue was prepared for it, he was still struck. His entire face is bloodless, breathing and heartbeat are almost stagnant, completely lost the ability to act like. However, Lu Rue's spiritual will is like a rock, not moved at all. Lu Rue's spiritual attributes are very high, and, necromantic mind, broken limit, under the support, has a very high spiritual resistance and active dispersal of spiritual negative state effects, fear of the whistling of the ghosts to him and the sound of a child crying there is not much difference. Seeing that Wang Yue lost his power of action, Lu Rue was quick to control the force and lifted his leg, kicking him 90 meters away. The right amount of pain stimulated Wang Yue, allowing him to regain some sanity and to get out of the dangerous battlefield after being kicked away. 
Wan Yue got out of the crisis on the front foot, and enemy attacks came at Lu Rui one after another on the back foot. The fist swung by the Blood Nest cultists smashed towards Lu Rui with 28 tons of force. Blood Nest attribute realm power performance, to physical transformation, Blood Nest cultists by strengthening the body up to 6 meters, fist down the momentum is like a train head impact. Lu Rui's eyes condensed, backhanded a fist blasted out. His current strength attribute increased to 74 points, with Pale Scourge, all attributes increased by 40%, with Liquid Muscle, Corpse Strength, Flesh Expansion, 3 Power Talents support a total of 15 times the power enhancement, Jinjin additional one. 3 times the enhancement, his fist output power to reach a staggering 53 tons. With this punch, he not only blew up the fist of the Blood Nest lineage cultist, his terrifying strength even shattered the other party's fist with his arm, and even half of his chest and spine. With his spine shattered, the Blood Nest cultist lost his body support, and the 6 meter tall giant collapsed to the ground. The power of one punch directly incapacitated one of the enemy. The sneaky soul bodies used by demigod level lords of the necromancy system were not ordinary. This demigod class lord stared at the pale scourge, talent rune within Lu Rue's Yuan Fu. It and Lu Rue were both of the same origin and same type of necrotic attribute, and it had an instinct that Lu Rue's pale scourge, would be beneficial to it even if it was a demigod level existence itself. Therefore, unlike the other two demigod lords, the necromancer combined his own will through the power of the monster lair to descend a special soul body with a trace of his own demigod origin, which can be completely referred to as a demigod lord's bilocation. Compared to the other two lords, the necropolis lord had put forth more effort in order to plunder the pale scourge. However, the three lords just made a move, and were hit head-on by Lu Rue, and the necromancer lord was even taken care of by Lu Rue. The effect of Lu Rue's underworld wave this time is not like the last time, just let your way soul body and physical body Yuanfu contact briefly isolated, don't a second to regain that kind of. Lu Rue's spell is more powerful this time, and the target of the spell is also different. That necromancy demigod lord is across the spatial channel to manipulate the soul body detachment, the connection between the two is not close. After the sneaky soul body was severely injured by the 6000 soul burials, it had even less power to resist the impact of the underworld wave. The white mist turned into a cage and engulfed the demigod's body, dragging it into Lu Rue's Yuan Fu by a brutal force. His rune talent, Pale Scourge, Embrace of the Underworld, was more than just a control technique. The essence of this talent was to impact the target's soul with a powerful force, causing the target's spirit and flesh to separate, and dragging the target's soul into the underworld. Last time, Lu Rue faced Shur Wei, Shur Wei's spirit and flesh combination is tight, Lu Rue is not as strong as the present, so just shake Shur Wei's soul, let Shur Wei briefly lose the power of action. This time, Lu Rue is facing a soul body that carries some will of the demigod lord, this soul body does not have a carrier that can protect itself, but also by the 6000 souls burial break once hit hard, into a weak state. Lu Rue sees this opportunity to launch a more powerful underworld wave, dragging it into his Yuan Fu for suppression. This one soul body contained a strand of the demigod lord's consciousness and some demigod power. In the demigod lord's view, it was as if he had originally attempted to crush a bug, but instead of being able to crush it, he was counterattacked viciously by the bug, and even had a piece of flesh bitten off by this bug. This was the reason why the necromancy demigod lord lost its temper and raged. But after all, it completed the divine descent, and could only watch from afar through the spatial channel as Lu Rue devoured the soul body that carried one of its consciousnesses and powers, making it difficult to do anything and Lu Rue with a strong stance, one after another to repel the attack of the three great lords. But he has also played all the cards in his hand, both the soul burial break and the underworld wave need to accumulate a short period of time, and can't be used for a second time in a short period of time. More critically, he needed to spare a great deal of energy to suppress the necromantic demigod lord soul body branch that had been detained in the Yuan Fu. This necromancy demigod lord was not willing to be humiliated by a bug, and the resistance of his soul branch was extremely fierce, so Lu Rue's Yuan Fu power could only focus on suppressing the demigod branch, and was unable to provide battle power. Yuan Fu not only can not provide combat power, Lu Rue even. He had to constantly consume his own energy to maintain the suppression effect and avoid the demigod doppelganger from breaking the seal. This was a great burden, after all, Lu Rue was using a level 2 battle soldier to suppress a demigod level doppelganger, even if this doppelganger only had a wisp of the demigod lord's consciousness and a trace of the demigod's power. Lu Rue's main body energy was limited after all, and his energy was depleting fast. He no longer had any other summons and could provide energy to replenish the blood mist, and when the body's energy was depleted, that was the moment when the demigod doppelganger would break out of detention. Internally, and externally, the other two demigod lords hadn't been completely crushed. 6,000 soul burial breaks shattered the Shadow Lord's dark space and blew up dozens of the Blood Nest Lord's thick flesh and blood tentacles, but they still had power left. 
The Shadow Lord was rebuilding the dark space. The Blood Nest Lord still had 50 extremely thick flesh tentacles that resembled the steel cables of a cable stayed bridge, and each of them possessed a strength of more than 60 tons. Warriors below the level of general had no room for resistance against these monstrous tentacles, and could only flee and be crushed. The crisis is not over yet. Lu Rui maintained the necromantic mind state, enforcing calmness and taking stock of the situation. Since his own energy wasn't enough, he would suck others' energy. There was no sitting around waiting for death. Clad in armor, his hands gripping his weapon, his eyes pulsing with phosphorus fire, Lu Rui used only his own physical strength to launch an attack towards the Blood Nest Lord's flesh tentacles. His power attribute had now reached 117 points. His Yuan Fu was currently suppressing the Necropolis Lord's doppelganger at full power so he couldn't use, Pale Scourge. However, without the 40% extra attribute bonus provided by the White Mist domain, Lu Rue was able to output 60 tons of power with just his fists. His power is equal to the flesh and blood tentacles of the Blood Nest Lords, and after launching the Deadly Strike, he can still effectively cut through the flesh and blood tentacles, and launch the Scarlet Harvest, to absorb the opponent's flesh and blood energy to restore himself. But Lu Rue battle will not be easy, he did not have a trace of luck, he even used his most powerful weapon, Teeth. His mouth and teeth are even sharper and more powerful than the weapon, at the critical time, do not care about the image, directly open his mouth to tear the enemy flesh and blood. But in front of the enemy, this means still seems to be stretched. Lu Rue faced not one flesh tentacle, but fifty. Fifty flesh tentacles beat, attack density is like a torrential rain. Often Lu Rue with the hands of the blade and mouth teeth effectively attack the enemy three times, and with, super hearing, and up to 107 agility attribute in the high density of attacks in the flickering, over the enemy's 40 attacks, but the rest of the 7 attacks are unavoidable. The 60 tons of force of the meat contact slapped Lu Rue's body one after another. That is, he was wearing armor, plus the talent, energy absorption, has a 30% reduction of physical damage and energy conversion effect, and, flesh conversion, to heal the injuries, or else he and the Blood Nest Lord's flesh and blood tentacles will only be outnumbered in a physical fight. However, Lu Roy body armor is also in the rapid battle damage broken, just a few breaths of fighting, the armor is scarred, large areas of broken, exposed Lu Rui's flesh. Lu Rui's physical energy could be recovered by attacking the enemy, launching the Scarlet Harvest, or absorbing energy from a beating. But he also consumes energy quickly. Maintaining high-intensity melee combat, repairing physical injuries, transforming necromantic energy, and supplying Yuanfu to suppress the necromantic lord's strong resistance. He looked like he was dancing on a tightrope, as if he would fall to pieces if he was not careful. But in reality, Lu Rui was still gradually adapting, and had even unearthed another card in the midst of the intense battle. This kind of ultra-high intensity and high danger battle, quickly stimulated Lu Rue's talent matters of the daybreaking limit. Evolutionary value plus one. Evolution value plus one. Evolution value plus one. The race of things, breaking limits, evolutionary value, 88 slash 100. The evolution value was rapidly accumulating, and he was wrestling with two demigod lords at the same time. Even if these two demigod lords were only casting spells from a distance, this level of opponent was already far more than Instructor Shirway, who was a battle general. Lu Rue looked shaky under the high pressure and could die at any time, but if he was only facing two demigod lords, he still had the ability to fight back. However, there was another demigod lord present. While Lu Rue fought against the necromancers and the blood nest lords, the shadow lords manipulated the shadow power to build the dark space. Lu Rue's energies were all tied up by the other two demigod lords, and he couldn't have the extra energy to deal with the shadow lords' tactics. The moment the dark space was recompleted and constructed, it would most likely be the last straw that broke the camel's back. But fortunately, Lu Rue's persistence and counterattack against the demigod lords were meaningful, and he bought extremely valuable time. At the moment when the dark space was about to close, the power from the outside strongly blasted the shadow lord's means. Light shone into the battlefield where Lu Rue was, and the demigod boundary that enveloped the building shattered at this moment. The great Xia god general finally opened the demigod boundary. The 500 Dixia warriors outside came in. They were divided into two groups, one of them killed all the hostile monsters along the way, targeting the three major monster nests underground, and quickly advanced to attack the dragon. The other way was the rescue team, who used all sorts of marvelous abilities to temporarily strengthen the building to avoid collapsing, and searched for survivors along the floors upwards. As for the great summer god general himself, he flew towards the sky, eyeing the channel that connected the other dimension in mirror space, confronting those three great demigod lords through the layers of spatial barrier. Morisik, Seagram, and Skoda, the great summer will keep this account and settle it in the future. These were the names of those three demigod lords. After saying that, the great summer god general propped up his hands, and the huge green fire lotus that enveloped the entire mirror space bloomed, completely blocking the spatial passage. 
The three demigod lords had already sensed that the monster nest, which was the most crucial to completing the divine surrender, was already being destroyed by the great summer warriors. Seeing that the divine surrender could not be accomplished, the three demigod lords knew that the opportunity had been lost and stopped doing useless things. Only one of the demigod lords let out an angry hiss, and immediately after that, the great Sia god generals blocked the spatial channel, and the demigod lords could no longer affect everything on this side of the mirror space. Only after accomplishing this did the great summer god general let out a long sigh of relief, knowing that this terrifying crisis had subsided. He retracted his gaze from the heights and looked towards the building that was already in disrepair and on the verge of collapsing. The great summer god general raised his hand, creating a fire lotus with a radius of 300 meters, holding up the structure of the building. Only after doing so did he lock onto the 12th floor of the building and flew over without slowing down. And on Lu Rue's side, when the building's boundary shattered and the Shadow Lord's dark realm was torn apart, Lu Rue had already passed through the most critical moment. The power of the Grand Xiao Divine Generals destroyed the building, and the actions of the Grand Xiao Warriors were decisive and swift, quickly destroying the three major monster nests underground. When the nests were destroyed, it was difficult for the demigod lords to utilize their greatness within this mirror space across the passageway. The flailing flesh and blood tentacles shriveled up, no longer ferocious, turning into soft pieces of meat, their combat power plummeted by 80%. Lu Rue can easily treat these flesh and blood tentacles that have lost their source of power as instant noodles. More than 50 tentacles were quickly killed by him and converted into his own energy through Scarlet Harvest. And Lu Rue didn't need to spend a lot of physical strength to fight and repair his body, he only needed to focus on suppressing the demigod's soul body inside the Yuanfu. The pressure on Lu Rue was getting lighter and lighter. He could even put down the weapon in his hand and just sit on the ground with his knees crossed, then looked up to see the great Xia God General flying in from outside. This great Xia God General, at first glance, gave Lu Rue a sense of familiarity. He recalled that this great Xia Divine General was five or six points similar to Chen Fanyu, but the two had very different temperaments and auras, and the great Xia Divine General in front of him was much older, with a thick aura and a mellow temperament. Compared to Chen Fanyu's youthful sharpness, this Dasha God General was more elegant and friendly. Dasha's Divine Generals were all registered and their image names were open to the public, Lu Rui slightly recalled and knew the other party's title, Dao Chang. The name of the Dao Chang God General was Chen Shitong, a dual attribute God General. The first attribute is heaven's choice, the second attribute is from the Plain of Sin, the Battle of Fame was also fought during the Great Xiao's conquest of the Plain of Sin, and was enthroned as a divine general in the same year that the human race gained the Plain of Sin, which was 29 years ago. Chen Shitong did not unleash any strong man's pressure on Lu Rui, his eyes were warm and moist, like a handsome charming middle-aged warm man uncle. He looked Lu Rui up and down. The young man in front of him, at the moment bare-chested, bare muscles strong and powerful, the upper half of his body is affixed to the few remaining pieces of armor, only a pair of relatively complete arm armor on both arms. Just look at the dense cracks and gaps on his arm armor, as well as placed on the side of both hands, the long sides and heavy choppers with broken blades and missing teeth, one can imagine how intense the battle he had experienced earlier. This was just the outside. Chen Shitong could sense a soul body left behind by that demigod lord inside Lu Rue. The more its hack has been expelled, its will can no longer affect that soul body with demigod power in your body. As time passes, this demigod soul body will gradually fall into a deep sleep or even perish without being replenished with energy. Chen Shitong opened his mouth, his voice was warm and his tone was tinged with concern. He frowned slightly. But this soul body involves demigod lord power after all, although it's rare, but normally, it's not something that can be controlled at your level, and it's very likely that it will bring harm to you. But immediately afterward, like after sensing something, his slight frown loosened and a surprised expression flowed out. Child your Yuanfu seems to be more special. Eh? Powers involving demigod lords can actually be suppressed by you. This is the first time I've seen this as well, huh? The young man is really getting more and more powerful. Lu Rui listened to this god general's words, just as the god general said, when the spatial channel was closed, the demigod soul body that was suppressed by Lu Rui's Yuanfu was unable to get the support of the power of the necromantic demigod lords, and after this was cancelled out, it was gradually no longer able to struggle, and it fell into a state similar to a state of slumber. After the demigod soul body was completely suppressed, Lu Rui's last bit of burden was lifted. He didn't need to instill power into the Yuanfu anymore and maintained the special state of embrace of the underworld, allowing the Yuanfu to degenerate into a regular 18 prismatic crystal, and the Yuanfu entered the weak state as expected. The battle was over, and all the burdens were lifted. The many effects of the talent were lifted, and he simply maintained his necromantic endurance, to maintain his physical strength and not let the intense exhaustion wash over his spirit. Can I take a rest? Lu Rue directly laid down on the ground and said to Chen Shitong. Of course. Chen Shitong smiled faintly. 
At this time, there were already other De Xiao warriors coming to the 12th floor, thinking to report the battlefield situation to Chen Shitong. Chen Shitong turned his head to look at the warriors and said, Let's go elsewhere and let our young heroes rest for a while first. He led the warriors away. The god general had ordered that naturally, no other people would come to disturb Lu Rue. Lu Rue stared blankly at the ceiling, slowly recovering his body and mental state. Of course he wanted to close his eyes and just sleep, but the end of the battle is not really the end. Lu Rue didn't need to think much to know how big the battle would be in terms of causing an impact. Cult lurking, urban area attack, retaliatory action, citizens trapped, lords plotting, gods and generals striking. Lu Rue murmured softly, with every word he spat out, the subsequent impact of this battle went up a notch. He was also organizing his thoughts, thinking about what would happen to his life and cultivation after the battle ended. Would it be business as usual, or would it turn upside down? In the midst of his thoughts, he didn't know how much time had passed. When Lu Rue's vision refocused, a familiar and beautiful face entered his sight. The iconic Qi Lu Hai and the tear mole at the corner of her eyes, this was Han Mingjie. After determining that she had gained safety, the first person Han Mingjie went to was Lu Rue. At the moment, the entire 12-story building was a ruin of broken bricks and walls. When Lu Rue created the 6,000 soul burial breaks, the destructive power was absorbed by the Shadow Lord's dark space and the Blood Nest Lord's flesh and blood tentacles, or else the entire building would have collapsed, not to mention the 12th floor. Nonetheless, the 12th floor was still reduced to rubble, without even a normal place to land. Han Mingjie stepped on the uneven ruins and walked up to Lu Rue. Looking at him, he still had a breathing heartbeat, his eyes were wandering, and there was no obvious trauma on his exterior. Han Mingjie breathed a sigh of relief, then cared to ask with concern. How do you feel? Outside has come ambulance, if you have any uncomfortable place, I will immediately go to shout. This sister was also talking caring nonsense. Lu Rue shook his head and just asked. How are you doing? There are other people on the 17th floor. Han Mengjie sniffed and immediately said. I'm fine, the other people are also fine, after you left, there were no monsters breaking in, it's just that the building has been shaking, it's very scary, but fortunately outside rescue came in on time, everyone was unharmed. After she finished speaking, she paused, her tone gentle. Thank you. Then she had the afterthought of patting her chest. I can understand, this can be three demigod level lords at the same time, scared to death, I now feel that I can survive is still a little unbelievable. Lu Rue listened to her venting her repressed emotions, and suddenly asked, Then am I considered your savior? These kinds of words could easily make people think of other things. Han Mengjie froze, and immediately afterward, she seemed to fall into thought. Lu Rue heard her heartbeat accelerate, so he hurriedly said, Just kidding, I'm a little messed up in the head right now, and I'm still a little tired, so I can't talk out of my mouth. Oh, nothing, take a good rest first. Han Mengjie's face returned to normal. Then the two fell into a wordless silence. Lu Rue thought about the subsequent impact of this battle. Han Mengjie didn't seem to be going anywhere, so she just sat beside him, not knowing what she was thinking. After lying down for most of an hour, Lu Rue said, let's go down. He had also recovered some of his condition and stood up, the few remaining pieces of his tattered bone armor falling off piece by piece. Thankfully, the enemy attacks were all directed towards his head and chest, and his pants protected him, only shattering his shoes and shirt. Han Mengjie looked at his bare bladder and took the initiative to take off her jacket and give Lu Rue a ride. Her outfit today is a light blue punching jacket, an undershirt with a black background in pink stripes, and jeans that reveal a pair of long white legs and board shoes. After taking off her jacket, Han Mengjie reveals her rounded shoulders and bare arms, and her delicate collarbone that can support a goldfish. Lu Rue didn't treat her politely and directly put on her jacket. What's wrong with enjoying a bit of preferential treatment for your savior? Zipped up, hands in pockets, Lu Rue and Han Mingjie walked out of the building. As soon as he showed his face, he was greeted by Wang Yu Wei. Mr. Lu Rue, how are you feeling? Any physical problems? Wang Yu Wei tone with concern, color is not bad, does not seem to have suffered too much damage, Lu Rue at that time to protect him played a small role. Lu Rue originally wanted to shake his head to come but he thought for a second and said, quite tired, is there a surplus of stamina potion? Wang Yue heard immediately pulled Lu Rue to the person in charge of rescue medical. Lu Rue to the location, can see in this disaster, suffered serious injuries of ordinary people are not many, and basically are panicked when stepping in bumping injuries. Lu Rue's white mist has protected the vast majority of ordinary people, he himself is to attract the vast majority of firepower, but also Han Mingjie presided over the ordinary people to restore order, after he stood out, the ordinary people almost did not suffer any injuries, but the unfortunate people still have, Lu Rue saw some blood-stained shroud. The disaster erupted from the underground, this part of the people were basically those who were in the underground garage or the first and second floors at that time, 
They couldn't dodge and run away in time before they were mercilessly killed by the monsters, it was too late to save them. But overall, in this major city crisis involving three demigod lords' divine descents, just these casualties were already a blessing in misfortune. The post-disaster medical treatment was well organized. The medical personnel brought Lu Rue physical strength restoration items. However, Lu Rue's physical attributes now reached 111 points, the upper limit of physical energy is even higher, a breath of all back to full that may need about 22 liters of potions. However, the medical staff actually provides a higher level of physical strength cream, is for the general level involved in the use of recovery items, the appearance of the matcha colored chocolate, a standard piece of physical strength cream weighs 10 grams, but the effectiveness of the same quality of the physical strength potion 20 times. Lu Rue received 1 kilogram of strength cream, which could satisfy all his physical strength recovery needs. As he chewed on the cream, there was a refreshing flavor between his mouth and mouth. While resting, someone approached Lu Rue. It's Lu Rue student, right? How are you feeling? The one who spoke was a middle-aged man, dressed in the professional uniform of the public security department, the shoulder badge with so many patterns on it was quite imposing. However, when the middle-aged man was talking to Lu Rue, his tone was full of concern and kindness. Lu Rue had an impression of the middle-aged man, this was the director of the public security department who was the first to rush over to master the power of thunder when the disaster broke out, this was a battle general strongman. In addition, when observed up close, Lu Rui realized that the director of public security department's facial features seemed to have a slight sense of familiarity. Wang Yue hurriedly introduced Lu Rui. This is administrator Yu Hui Zhou, when the disaster broke out, he rushed over first. Hearing the surname, Lu Rui reacted to where this sense of familiarity came from. Good day administrator Yu. Lu Rue maintained his politeness. Yu Hui Zhoutsked and lamented. Well well well, heroes come out of the youth. Two hours have passed since the end of the battle, after the survivors described it. Yu Hui Zhou and other official people of course know Lu Rue's contribution in this battle, at least the merit of protecting hundreds of civilians is a nail in the coffin. The specific fighting process civilians did not witness, even the most intense white fog army and monsters killed, then in the building did not witness, not to mention the last moment of the battle, Lu Rue directly let the white fog army launch a large-scale self-explosion, but also let the pale scourge to absorb the energy of the remains of the enemy and ours, and even the bodies are drained into ash. There were very few remains of the white mist army left in the battlefield, and the professionals couldn't analyze how many necromongers Lu Rue had sent to block the attack and delay the three lords' divine descent in a short period of time. However, based on some traces, they could confirm that an extremely fierce and crucial battle had taken place on the third floor of the building. Without this blockade, the three demigod lords would have been able to complete their divine descent in time. In that case, not to mention whether the hundreds of survivors in the building could be preserved, even the god general Chen Shitan was also caught in a bitter battle, and not only was the aftermath of the demigod level battle intense, causing casualties estimated to be four digit to start with, and having an extremely bad impact on the city's security. And such a key block, is Lu Rue fight down. Rao Yu Huizhou has already been in a high position, with the strength of a war general level, but also to this kind of battle report also feel jaw-dropping. How did this child do it? Not to mention the commissioner of public security, when the news was uploaded level by level, a higher level officials were also shocked. The city where Lu Rue is located is the capital of Taixing province, Xianyan city. Yu Huizhou is the line provincial public security department director, is the second in command of the local management. Lu Rue consciously, this should be the second largest official he has seen so far, the first is still the Dao Chang God general, but it is such a level of existence, to Lu Rue hit the battlefield is also unimaginable. Yu Huizhou thought to himself, he a war general at that time to be in the building, may have to fight to the death to have some certainty to fight in Lu Rue the same battle performance. This is too exaggerated, according to the information provided by Tian First High School, Lu Rue is currently only a level 2 battle soldier Ah, As a local security bureau chief, Yu Huizhou necessary from the mouth of the person concerned to understand the specific situation. Lu Rue was also clear about the purpose of the other party's conversation, so he said, I was using white mist, that's what that is, administrator you should understand, right? Yu Huizhou nodded, of course he could know the gifted rune on Lu Rue at this level. This was information from the city's necromancy research institute's vice president Lilia's communication. According to Yu Huizhou's understanding, Lu Rue's necromancy talent rune was the latest discovery, and the related ability manifestation had not been thoroughly researched, but according to Dean Lai's evaluation, Lu Rue's talent was at the extraordinary grade level. Normally, the special level of talent, not through a few tests, or a few high-powered people endorsement can say that this is a special level of talent. A true extraordinary grade talent needed to be proven through notable battle results and outstanding contributions. The reason why a special talent was rated as such was because these talent runes had shown in many key battles or events for humanity in the past, 
and had made real contributions for humanity to fight against the enemy and open up the realm in order to be rated as a special talent. This is a kind of honor. If there was no notable contribution in history, or if the contribution was just a big blow, then in the official program, it could not be rated as a special talent, but it most could only be considered as to be observed. There will be corresponding cultivation resources, but there will be no corresponding honor. Yu Huizhou originally had the same attitude, but after Lu Rue used the body of a level 2 combat soldier to defend himself against thousands of monsters, hindered God's descent, and even fought with a demigod lord in space. Even the natural talent rune ability imprisoned a demigod level soul body. If this wasn't an extraordinary talent, Yu Huizhou would have eaten the baton. But even if it's a special talent, it doesn't mean everything. As far as Yu Huizhou understood, historically, other extraordinary talent rune possessors of the same level had not fought such an exaggerated battle like Lu Rue. Yu Huizhou knew that at that time, those three demigod lords were all casting spells through the air, not completing the divine descent, and a lot of their energy was used to maintain the boundary and fight against the Dao Chang god generals. But even if that was the case, the three demigod lords were under a lot of suppression and restraint, it shouldn't be something that a small level 2 battle soldier could resist. A mountain was a fist-sized rock that fell, that was enough to crush a tiny mole cricket. Even if Lu Rui's talent rune is also a top tier existence in the special class, then he should still have another rely on awe? And Lu Rui explained in response to these doubts. I received two battle skills from the school yesterday, Jin Jiejin and Sun Guiyan. These two battle skills allowed me to drastically increase my combat power. I fought with legions of enemy monsters and utilized them to accumulate the massive energy of Sun Guiyan. And when I faced the three great lords at the end, I was able to use them to build up the massive energy of Sun Guiyan. When I finally faced the three great lords, I relied on the Tsong Guiyan's blasting to buy me a lot of time. The effect of Jin Guijin is also very strong, allowing me to still have the power to fight back when facing strong enemies. Jin Guijin and Song Guiyan, these were both powerful battle techniques with a relatively outstanding reputation in the necromancy department. Based on Lu Rui's description, Yu Huizhou was indeed able to review the specific battle situation at that time, and also thought that there was no problem with Lu Rui's tactics. The only thing that surprised Yu Huizhou was that, these two battle techniques, Lu Rui had just received them yesterday, and today he was able to take them out to fight the three great lords. Yu Huizhou suddenly realized something. It wasn't because of awakening the extraordinary talent rune that Lu Rui was a genius. Rather, this child was already a top genius, and that special talent was just the icing on the cake. Lu Rui also continued to narrate that it was my participation in the research project in the institute yesterday. Because of the project, I happened to have hundreds of necromantic summons on me at that time. Plus the enemy attack wasn't strong at the very beginning, allowing me to use the few capitals on hand to snowball step by step, and finally have the strength to face the enemy head on. Speaking of this, Lu Rui said with a look of emotion. Looking back now, the situation at that time was really thrilling ah, uh, one mistake or omission, maybe all doom and gloom, right? His expression showed some tiredness and weariness. Yu Huizhou noticed and pursed his lips, similarly lamenting. It's really hard for you child, take a good rest, well... About two or three days, the school, the department, the city, the province, and the national level of medals and notices will come down, then you can play good spirit. There is merit must be rewarded, make a contribution, the great summer country will issue a matching reward. Especially Lu Rue this kind of make far more than their own rank and status can achieve merit. Yu Huizhou himself couldn't even imagine that this level of merit fell on a high school student. It is not too much to say that it is unprecedented, right? Yu Huizhou had already known all he needed to know and returned the time to Lu Rue. Lu Rue had recovered all of his physical strength by eating energy cream, and seeing that there was nothing for him to do around him, he walked out of the mirror space where the building was located under the guidance of a specific person. Accompanying him was Han Mengjie. A man and a woman stepped out of the mirror space in front of one foot, and then the camera of the reporter outside pointed at the two of them. It could be seen that in the real world, the entire building where the original property company was located had disappeared, along with the underground garage, leaving only a huge and regular cavity in its place. It was surrounded by a police cordon, with a large number of vigilantes keeping order outside of it and briefly explaining the situation to ordinary people. The disaster had subsided and most of the trapped people had been rescued. Lu Rue listened to the reactions of the people around him through his super hearing. He found that in this world, the invasion of otherworldly enemies is somewhat similar to the occurrence of earthquakes, floods, volcanic eruptions and other major natural disasters, property losses and even casualties are unavoidable, most of the ordinary people are praying for the people who were involved in the disaster can return safely, as well as more hate to bring harm to the community of compatriots otherworldly enemies. Lu Rue two people want to leave the scene of the sheriff's department people will not stop, the only reporter saw their two ordinary student appearance immediately up to ask the situation in the scene space. 
Looking at the camera lens, Lu Rui hindsight reaction, he seems to be on TV. Han Mengjie, on the other hand, reacted quickly and said, We need to rest now, and are very eager to have a family reunion, please don't disturb us. After saying that, she pulled Lu Rui out of the heavy siege of reporters. Han Mengjie's words were so, Lu Rui savored them for a moment or two, then reacted that he didn't seem to have any family in this world. But that didn't matter for the moment, because he found himself being pulled by Han Mengjie into the big mall on the shopping street. Change your clothes? She said. Lu Rue was currently either non-existent or tattered except for a jacket that was complete. And Lu Rue looked at the upscale men's clothing sign at the store. His eyes narrowed slightly, and the corners of his mouth rose slightly, then he pretended to be helpless and spread his hands and said, I don't have any money now. With such a fierce battle, Lu Rue was lucky to keep his pants, so he didn't expect to keep his cash and cell phone. Han Mengjie, on the other hand, said dryly, It's fine, I have money. The top 10 families of Kaiwan are not that bad, maybe they can't take out enough contribution points to exchange for a large number of cultivation items, but ordinary daily necessities are still affordable. Han Mengjie gave Lu Rui a change of clothes, and took back his own blue raincoat jacket, and incidentally also gave Lu Rui a cell phone. Lu Rui said a few words of thanks, did not excuse himself. Take the cell phone, rerun a phone card, boarding his social account. It was only at this time that Lu Rui saw that he had a large number of unread messages. There were from the school, from classmates, Chen Fan Yu, Yu Yi Lu, Shure Xian, and others in the same class. From the same year group, there were those who were also in the top 10 of Kaiyuan, even the defeated Qin Yang and Lin Yuan sent their concerns. These people seem to be the news channel, the disaster broke out less than 4 hours ago, the public is still half knowing when these people know that Lu Rui returned from the ghost gate. Old Wan, the class teacher, didn't need to say much. The three sisters of the necromancy department's research team were also the first to send their concern. Although Lu Rui had previously spat that he didn't have a family in this world, when he met something, there were really voices that cared about him. There were too many messages, Lu Rui uniformly replied that he was physically sound, able to run and jump and had no major problems. Among the many messages, Lu Rui noticed a message from Dean Lilia. Lu Rui, I received a message, according to the description, did you use the power of the gifted rune to seal the power soul body of a demigod lord in the Yuanfu during the battle? The thing is, cases like yours are too rare. Our necromancy department does have precedence of sealing powerful necromancy creatures inside our bodies, taming them, and borrowing their power to strengthen ourselves, but this case of you sealing the power of a demigod lord at the time of a level 2 battle soldier is unprecedented. We got the news here at the research institute, and the above is asking me to hurry up and set up a project to make an out report specifically for your kind of situation. Lu Rue read through a long string of information. Honestly speaking he was still quite kind to Dean Lee, after all, this vice dean provided him with quite a lot of resources and help, it could even be said that Lu Rue was able to fight against the three great demigod lords today in an unexpected situation, and the resources given by Dean Lee played a very important role. Li Lia's words, Lu Rue was willing to listen a little. He sensed the demigod's soul body suppressed within his Yuan Fu. His Yuan Fu was now in a weakened state after releasing a great move, while the demigod's soul body had lost contact with the demigod lords and was suppressed into a dormant state without a source of power. According to the description of, Pale Calamity, Embrace of the Underworld, the ability of the Underworld Wave was to rip out the souls of its people and detain and suppress them within their Yuan Fu. And what Dean Ri said, the necromancy department is there to obtain stronger power through special feats utilizing the sealing of necromantic creatures. For this to be placed on Lu Rue, did it mean that he could use the power of a demigod level through that lord's soul body that had some demigod power? Thinking of this, Lu Rue was motivated to cooperate with Lilia's research. And as far as the current process of Lu Rue's Necromancy Research Institute contact was concerned, he seemed to have gotten quite a lot of benefits every time. So then, he gave back the message. I also have this idea, I also intend to figure out the good and bad effects of the soul body. Lilia messaged back quickly. Do you have tonight? Free? The place is still at the school. Also quite urgent look. Lu Rue muttered in his heart, then replied. Tonight is fine. It's just that there's someone else besides you, Dean Ri? Dean Lilia seemed to have been paying attention to Lu Rue's message at this time, and replied in seconds. There's Dean Huang Huchuan, Imus. Yu Dan Qing, they are all scholars from the necromancy department that I'm familiar with. And then there's Xiao Ku and the few of them, you should be quite familiar with them, right? At night, I'll have Xiao Ku and the girls come to pick you up is all. Okay, I know. Lu Rue confirmed. After the messages were all replied to. Lifting his head, Lu Rue saw Han Mingjie. The girl reminded, it's almost dinner time, do you want to eat? Lu Rue arrived at the property at 8 in the morning. From the outbreak of the disaster to the end of the battle, the battle, although intense, was actually less than 20 minutes, Lu Rue rested for a few more hours after the battle, and by now it was already midday. 
He had no reason to deny his appetite, and happily agreed with Han Mengjie's opinion. To say in the choice of food, Han Mengjie is much more exquisite, taking Lu Rue to the high-grade restaurant there, at first glance seems to be the kind of per capita a small few thousand. I can say in advance, this meal I do not intend to pay money Al, the previous cell phone clothes plus this meal, I count you repay me for saving my life. Lu Rue is not polite. He is to give Han Mengjie a hostage to repay face. However, when he thought about how this man had previously made a way for the trapped people to survive in the midst of a nearly lifeless situation and resisted the three demigod lords, he said, I'm sorry, but I don't know what to say to you. If another man had said this kind of words, Han Mingjia would have felt more or less shrimp head. But if Lu Rue said it, she pursed her lips and couldn't help but smile at the corners of her mouth. Humming delicately, she muttered, A little money is just a little bit of money, look at your stingy look. The restaurant waiter brought the menu. Lu Rua swept a glance and found that the ingredients on the menu were actually from the other dimension, the taste and efficacy could not be compared to ordinary ingredients, and the price of a dish started at a thousand dollars. Seeing the price, Lu Rua suddenly hesitated when ordering food, although it does not hurt to spend other people's money, if a meal of a thousand out of the head, then Lu Rua can be a little casual, people can afford to repay the money. But if tens of thousands of words, people's wallets cannot withstand is another problem to consider. I haven't eaten here before, you recommend it. Lu Rue pushed the menu to Han Mingjie, but as the lord of the money, Han Mingjie out of the hand instead of a little concern, order a few big dishes, expenses on 10,000. After ordering the dishes, she also whispered an explanation. In fact, I also eat quite ordinary on weekdays, occasionally a few festivals will eat something good, and this time is a return from the dead, also suitable to break the bank to celebrate, right? Guests do as they please, and Lu Rue didn't say anything else. It had to be said that the consumption was quite good value for money and it could indeed be called a gourmet meal. Between meals, the two of them couldn't help but communicate. Lu Rue remembered how he was involved in the cause of this disaster, so he inquired. I came to this property company this morning because the water pipe in my house leaked yesterday and there was no one else at home, how about you? Han Mengjie nodded at his words and said. I'm about the same, I'm the only one at home, the same as the home infrastructure problems, only this morning to the property here, who knows this will happen. Lu Rue based on this bit of information, a little searching, it is presumed that these cultists have planned their actions and have done their research, those students with extraordinary potential but weak families are their priority targets. Orphans are indeed easy to be bullied, he did not see Chen Fan Yu and others appear here in the property company this morning. Lu Rue thought of this as a, and Han Mingjie was thinking about something else, she said. I'm a single parent family, my mom raised me to high school, it's not much care for me, she is busy with her career, I live by myself. Lu Rue sniffed, he can't possibly compare misery with others, right? Say you still have a mother, I don't even have parents in this world, right? After thinking about it, he used a bit of emotional intelligence and said, Then after auntie knows the news, she should be very concerned about your well-being, right? Han Mingjie thought for a moment, picked up her cell phone, flipped through the messages, and then said with an expressionless face, She did send me a message, but she asked me, Lu Rue you are not by my side. Ah, Lu Rue froze, a little puzzled. Han Mingjie blushed badly and explained in a muffled voice. She is from the propaganda department, I guess she probably wants to arrange an interview with you about your deeds and do a publicity report, that's her job. To do a special interview with me? Lu Rue was caught off guard. But his super hearing heard that Han Mengjie's mood wasn't quite right, and he reacted by saying, How is Andy thinking about this kind of thing ah, uh? shouldn't she be more concerned about you? When Lu Rue mentioned this, Han Mengjie didn't hide her emotions and spoke bluntly. You see, even you know that this time should care about their own daughter, my mom actually only care about her own things, one day I'm going to bring my boyfriend home to spend the night, she's afraid that she doesn't know, don't care. Lu Rue was speechless, this is not something that high school students should discuss, he hurriedly changed the topic and said, back to the special interview thing ah, uh, I actually do not intend to be too high profile, after all, I just messed with a cult organization and even three demigod lords. Lu Rue still remembered the sound of that necromancer lord's furious curses after having his soul body snatched away. The level involved was too high, it was no longer a high school student scuffle, Lu Rue really wanted to hold off and settle down for a while. And Han Mingjie is still a little emotional now, said. Yeah, don't answer it, ignore my mom, don't let her have her way. Upon noticing that she was a bit out of sorts, she apologized as an afterthought. Sorry, I'll go to the restroom first. A few moments later, Han Mingjie tidied up her emotions and resumed her decency and politeness when she reappeared in front of Lu Rue. She said, I'm a little conflicted with my mom, and I tend to get emotional when I mention her. But in terms of something like an interview report alone, I don't think there's any need for you to refuse. Lu Rue raised an eyebrow and asked, How? Han Mingjie pondered for a moment, and after organizing her words, she said, 
This is a bit more complicated, right, my mom used to be in the cultural troupe, she came into contact with people at a higher level, and I also learned from her about some of the thoughts of the people above her in previous occurrences that were not suitable for the public to know about secret stories. Among them, there is a point, there are some get national resources to cultivate the talents of the strong, after entering the battlefield of the heavens, out of the pursuit of power or other things, abandoned as humans, into the arms of other communities or forces, even our human hostile forces, the kind of traitors. According to my mom, this kind of thing happens quite a bit, and in some cases, it even causes major losses to our humans. Out of these considerations, the the people up there are very keen to cultivate talents or strong people who are more closely connected to the human society, and while these strong people have great power, they can also highly identify themselves as human beings. The fact that you are willing to give special interviews and show yourself in public is a sign of identifying with your self-identity. People are in need of heroes to boost the confidence and cohesive unity of their communities, and heroes should also enjoy the respect and love of others. People above are also relieved to entrust resources and power to such people. Han Mengjie's words made Lu Rui examine his own thoughts and actions from another angle. To be honest, just a sophomore before crossing over, Lu Rui didn't have much experience. In the face of a matter with wide-ranging influence, it was easy for him to consider it incompletely, thinking only of preserving himself and maximizing his own interests as much as possible. Han Mengjie, on the other hand, because of the influence of her parents, understood things more and more. Comprehensive. Lu Rui listened, pondered for a long while, and then summarized. That is to say, accepting the interview report, there are a lot of benefits for me. I feel like you're talking in an old-fashioned way. He flirted. Han Mengjie, on the other hand, rolled her eyes and puffed out her chest. Oomph, I call this maturity. Oh, the hair is not even long little girl, said she is mature. Lu Rui heart flirting. Words back to the topic, Lu Rue thoughtfully said, being valued by those cults, enemy demigod lords targeting. Dasha should not let the enemy bully me, right? Han Mengjie sniffed, her tone changed, pretending to be childish, and said in a delicate voice, I'm just a student eh, you should go ask the school and those adults ah, he he, little clip. Alright, I know. Lu Rue nodded. After this topic of conversation, Han Mengjie suddenly remembered something. Didn't we originally have training in the afternoon? Although today was Saturday, it wasn't a day off for motivated geniuses. The school arranged training programs for them, the top 10 of Kaiyuan, in the afternoon. I'm not going, I'm not in good shape. Lu Rue shook his head and said. It wasn't that he didn't want to go up, it was really that Yuan Fu wasn't in a good state, and after releasing the underworld wave, Yuan Fu went into a weakened state again, so he couldn't go all out. Moreover, he was also doubtful whether instructor Shi Wei could still provide him with the pressure to progress or not anymore, after all, compared to yesterday, Lu Rui's strength in just his physical body had increased by at least six times. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if he hammered the instructor in turn? Lu Rui's choice was such that he sent his thoughts on his cell phone to Old Wine, the class teacher, while Han Mingjie was different. Although she had also survived the disaster, she hadn't consumed much physical strength except for a bit of shock, plus she had personally experienced a life and death crisis, she didn't dare to be lazy and slack off. I'm in okay shape, and I'll still train at the school in the afternoon. She said so. After a lunch, the two of them each had their own place to go. Lu Rue's decision was understood by the school authorities, and he was given the afternoon off to rest, and the class teacher, Old Wang, even shushed him for a while. Lu Rue briefly replied, and then threw himself on the bed. He guessed that his life would change next, and sensed the situation of his Yuan Fu recovery. Gradually, he let himself fall asleep. When he woke up from his sleep, it was already 5 in the afternoon. Lu Rui knew that he still had to make a trip to the school in the evening to send a message to Mi Xiaoko to ascertain the situation. At the same time, Lu Rui's super hearing also heard voices coming from outside his house. That female neighbor of his, phoning. Lu Rui could hear the other party's physical condition through his hearing, she seemed to have been standing for more than a few hours and was still anxious. Her back was against the wall, the back of her head pressed against the wall, for a few minutes, it seemed that she was tired of standing so she squatted down, leaned against the wall, and rubbed her calf belly. After squatting for about the same amount of time, then sighed and stood up again, then stared blankly at the wall with both eyes. What the other party wanted, Lu Rue could probably guess. After observing for a while, seeing that Feng Ying did not want to leave, Lu Rue took the initiative to open the door. When the door opened, waiting for a long time Feng Ying seemed to come to life. Seeing Lu Rue, she did not have that look of muttering and pointing and complaining before. Her face was embarrassed, but she squeezed out a little smile with a pleasing meaning, her eyes were a little evasive but with a little hope. This time, she also waited for a long time, but there was no hint of impatience. Unconsciously bending her back and scrunching her neck, she used a pleasing tone and opened her mouth to test the waters. That, that. The more Feng Ying wanted to say, the more nervous she felt, looking at Lu Rue's slightly furrowed brows, 
she was even more flustered. Finally did not know what to say, she simply directly 90 degrees bent over and bowed, the speed of speech and movement flew fast and said, thank you very much for your willingness to step in this morning to save your life, very grateful, very grateful, very grateful. Lu Rue looked this female neighbor up and down for a few moments, the corners of his mouth rose. I still like the way you pointed your finger earlier. Thoughts bubbled up in his heart, Lu Rue then smiled, upturned his mouth and said, Sister, I remember a few days ago, you felt that I came home late at night, you said behind my back, no family discipline, but in fact that night I went out with my homeroom teacher to celebrate my grades, so I feel that you are quite impolite and make people feel uncomfortable. When these words came out, Foaming froze. He felt that I was impolite, he said that my words made people feel uncomfortable. Foaming had a dizzying feeling. Goodness, what exactly did I say at that time? She suddenly had an urge to travel back in time and ruthlessly slap herself a few times in the face at that time. I told you to talk too much at that time, I told you to chew your tongue behind your back, I told you to have eyes but not recognize gold and jade. But there is no medicine for regret in the world. Phoning can do now is to bend over 100 degrees bow, hurriedly apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said the wrong thing, I'm really sorry. Looking at Phoning emotional appearance, Lu Rue smashed his mouth, what kind of apology is the most sincere? He did not respond to Feng Ying's apology first, but took out his phone and saw the messages from Mi Xiao Ku and the others. After Feng Ying finished apologizing, she saw that Lu Rue didn't pay attention to her, and for a moment she was embarrassed and had no place to go. She wanted to leave, but didn't dare to go, with her hands behind her back and her head lowered, like a prisoner trembling with fear and trembling waiting to be sentenced. Lu Rue, on the other hand, read the messages one by one, knowing that about an hour later Mi Xiao Ku came to pick him up. Putting down his cell phone, Lu Rue's gaze was refocused on Feng Ying. After thinking about it, his tone then pretended to be dull and said, Sister, I'm just a student who doesn't have a family to take care of me. Your words at that time really quite hurt my heart. Feng Ying heard a thump in her heart, her hands and feet cold, secretly said that she is going to be remembered with hatred. But Lu Rue turned his words around and laughed again. But we are neighbors after all, right? We don't see each other. It's not good to have such a stiff relationship, right? This way I happen to be hungry. You treat me to a dinner, this matter is considered to be a page turner, right? Peak turnaround, ups and downs, Feng Ying's heart surged with surprise, excitedly said. Good good, dinner, dinner together. Lu Rue also did not dawdle, directly in Feng Ying to the outside. Roadside ordinary pavilion, consumption is not high, Lu Rue let go and ordered. It's not that he doesn't have money to eat, but there are grudges to pay for himself, that's cool. A small few hundred dollars of consumption, Feng Ying did not have the slightest complaint. After she saw Lu Rue move the chopsticks, she watched the awkward atmosphere pass, and then thanked Lu Rue for saving her life in the morning. Feng Ying is clear about what disaster she suffered this morning, that is into the ghost gate, on the bridge of hell, really dying, actually can be rescued back. Inside her heart is really a lot of fear and gratitude to Lu Rue. Feng Ying now also understand, Lu Rue on what school? Tian First High School. This is the province's key colleges and universities, can enter the school or one in a thousand, out of the students is the social elite. This is their own even did not finish school to run out to mix the internet can casually talk about it? The more Feng Ying thought, the more shame, really feel like a dog's eye view of others. How did he get into this bad habit? How did she get into this bad habit? The good thing is that people are broad-minded and say that they will not bother with her as long as she has a meal. But the more tolerant they are, the more Feng Ying feels bad. Lu Rue can hear the tangled Feng Ying heart, emotional ups and downs of people, the body issue to voice various details are not the same, somewhat similar to the Chinese medicine pulse. Lu Rue knows what Feng Ying's mood is, but he found it quite interesting, so he deliberately let her anxious. Life can be really interesting. A dinner meal, Lu Rue mood happy. Mi Xiao Ku and the others also drove to pick up people. Mi Xiao Ku sat in the main driver, driving a car that at first glance does not look cheap, the family is also very privileged look. The windows were lowered, and in the back seat were the two sisters, Wen Cheng and Wen Ya. Three women with a kind of look at the miracle, up and down to look at Lu Rue. Mi Xiao Ku said in a hushed tone. Get in the car. Lu Rue pulled open the passenger door and entered the car. Pulling on the seatbelt, the car started, the car formed a closed space. Mi Xiao Ku then couldn't help but ask. Lu Rue, are you alright? Just heard the news almost didn't scare me to death? Fortunately, not a single part of my body has fallen off. Lu Rue said and flirted. Afraid that I'll lose my person and the project will be yellow? Mi Xiao Ku sniffed and said without any good humor. Look at you say this, I can't be concerned about the project at the same time but also care about you? Can can can, of course can, Shao Ka's sister beautiful heart, hear me suffer great difficulties, must be anxious soul. Lu Rue laughed. 
It's not like that, our group stayed up all night last night processing data, and was still sleeping in the morning, and was only called up by Dean Lee at almost noon, and when I heard your news, you had already confirmed your safety. Mi Xiaoka muttered, adding, but it's still scary and frightening alright? That was a trap laid by three demigod lords. As she said that, the two backseat sisters chimed in. Right, right, demigod lords ah, or three, my father's generation said privately that when they were young and heard the news of the demigod level lords making trouble in the local area, that they were all scared out of their wits and said that the demigod lords were walking natural disasters, and that every time these plagues descended tens of thousands of people would have to die. The three girls were filled with the emotion of aftermath. It's not easy for you to survive, school brother. Wen Qing lamented. I'm alright. The timely rescue from our great summer country also played a very crucial role, otherwise I wouldn't have survived. Lu Rui said modestly and pragmatically. Mi Xiaoku, on the other hand, said. But I also heard Dean Li say that you played a very crucial role in this disaster, which was certified by the Dao Chang God General himself. Otherwise, the affected area would have been more than just that one building, half of the city would have been heavily damaged. According to Dean Li's words, you've become a hero. This word out, the two sisters in the back seat are surprised, always silent sister Wenya are surprised. School brother played a key role, what happened then? These two sisters and Mishauka grasp of information seems to be out of sync. Lu Rue sniffed and picked apart the situation at that time. Now the two sisters realized that Lu Rue was not only a survivor, but also the mainstay when disaster struck, without him the probability that the three demigod lords would have to wreak havoc on the city, killing and injuring thousands of people. The three women listened very fascinated, the morning disaster has been the province, even the country's headline news, the heat is extremely high. Now by Lu Rue this key witnesses to tell the specifics of the situation, they are listening side by side, the expression of change, emotionally indeterminate. And Lu Rue said at the end, slightly embarrassed tone said, originally used to experiment with those 50 poisonous swamp loudmouths and 50 chattering bone bats all destroyed in the battle, you may have to recollect data. Mi Shaoka sniffed and said, Compared to your fight against the demigod lords, a few experiments is just a big deal. Our project team will just apply to receive the stamina potion again, it's definitely enough. Then can we not have a stamina potion, but a stamina cream? It's really not very convenient to need a dozen liters of stamina potion every time. Lu Rue took the opportunity to offer his opinion. It shouldn't be a problem, let's apply for more this time. Mi Xiao nodded her head. While chatting, the car also drove into the campus and arrived at the area where the institute was located. Just after getting out of the car, Lu Rue saw two females and a middle-aged male standing at the entrance. The middle-aged male was Huang Huchuan, the main director of the Necromancy Research Institute, who was introduced on the school's bulletin board. He had decent features, fine crow's feet at the corners of his eyes, gray-black hair, combed into a big back head, looking quite strict and archaic. But he was wearing a business white suit, light blue undershirt, and red tie, and looked quite flamboyant. One woman was the rather plump and delicately dressed vice president, Lili Yalai. The other woman was tall, with a clean and sharp short diagonally cut hair, delicate appearance, but pale skin, bloodless lips, very thin appearance, she wore a dark colored high collar trench coat. Seeing Lu Rue arrive, Lilia greeted her and said with a smile. The last time we saw each other seems to be on Wednesday, they say that when a scholar is separated for three days, he should be impressed, you can really give me too big a surprise. She stretched out her right hand, Lu Rue shook hands with it. The feel of the hand is warm and still soft, can't leave the school and Dean Lee cultivation. Lu Rue replied. Li Lia smiled a little more, then she introduced Lu Rue to the other two people beside her. This is Dean Huang Huchuan, he was previously in Hong Yuan country for academic exchange, after understanding your matter, he immediately rushed back to the school in the afternoon. The school originally planned a growth program for you that is no longer applicable to your current situation, it needs to be adjusted from start to finish, and Dean Huang is here to do that. Huang Huchuan, who was dressed rather flirtatiously, smiled and nodded towards Lu Rue, raised his hand and waved and said, Hello fellow Lu Rue. Good day Dean. Lu Rue said politely. Lilia then introduced. This MS. Yu Dan Ching, she is a first tier explorer of the necromantic plane, a senior collaborator of our institute, honorary, battle ready kind, and the creator of that underworld viewing method you cultivate. You are in a special situation, with a demigod level soul body in your body, and MS. Yu Danqing's experience is similar to yours, she is quite knowledgeable in this area. Lu Rue froze at his words. There are similarities between her experience and mine? Lu Rue was quite surprised as he sized up Yu Danqing. Compared to Huang Huchuan, Yu Danqing appeared rather sullen. With her hands in her pockets, she just nodded her head and gave a hum first, then her voice was hoarse as she said. Your talent is very strong, I will make the demigod soul body in you as much of a help as possible. She paused and said in a solemn tone. I think you have the potential to become a god general. 
Divine General, Objects of Worship and Admiration for Billions of People, the Guardian Gods of Humanity. Yu Danqing couldn't be said to be too high in such an evaluation, and the two deans around them seemed to have no problem with this evaluation it seemed. Huan Hachuan's eyes and eyebrows smiled, and Lilia nodded and said, All come in first. The crowd sniffed, and a group of people all walked into the institute. After leaving the public place and entering a more enclosed space, only then did Lilia say as she walked. A Qing's situation is quite similar to Lu Rue's, about three years ago, when she was exploring that necrotic plane that we humans have now, she also coincidentally encountered a necrotic creature with the essence of a demigod, and A Qing was very lucky and took that necrotic creature into the Yuanfu. After being enlightened and cultivated, that necromantic spirit creature became a great help to her on her path of cultivation and exploration. Lu Rue, including Mi Xiao Ku and the other juniors were quite surprised to hear these things and looked at Yu Dan Qing. Yu Dan Qing only nodded slightly, then her hairy white lips lightly opened. Xiao Yan, come out and get acquainted with Lu Rue. As soon as these words came out, a large amount of dead spirit energy escaped from Yu Dan Qing's body, and in a way that could be seen by the naked eye, a floating figure dressed in white coalesced at her side. Her appearance was six times similar to Yu Dan Qing herself. In terms of appearance, it was a beauty with loose hair, a long flowing skirt, and a sickly look on her face. But the inhuman feeling was more prominent, her whole body was bloodless, pale like a corpse, her eyes were empty, her nails were black, and her way of existence was somewhere between an entity and a spirit body. She seemed to use the floating way to come to Lu Rue's body, and with the tip of the nose to the tip of the nose way, let a person feel cold said. Hello. As she spoke, a piercingly cool aura hit her face. The aura of a demigod level was still familiar to Lu Rue, and he was certain that this humanoid spirit creature Yu Danqing called Xiao Yan was in existence with the essence of a demigod, but the sense of oppression was far less than the three lords Lu Rue had encountered in the morning. Look at her relationship with Yu Danqing, Lu Rue muttered in his heart what kind of substitute messenger is this? On the other hand, he responded with a hello. Xiao Yan nodded and then floated back into Yu Danqing. Yu Danqing only told her to greet Lu Rue. The other three juniors including Mi Xiaoku were rather curious and surprised as they surveyed this so-called demigod-level necromancer existence. In the impression of young people like them, demigod-level existences were symbols of power and destruction, but miss. Yu Danqing Xiaoyan seemed to have a kindred spirit. Aside from the fact that her skin color was too white and inhuman, she actually looked like a beautiful female ghost. When Qing blinked her eyes and asked curiously, Is she MS? Use core contract messenger? Core contract messenger? Yu Danqing nodded and acknowledged. Yes, Xiaoyan is my core contract messenger, she is bound to my Yuanfu, I help her to open her mind, so that she can gradually recognize her existence, get rid of her obscurantism, and master her own power, while she provides me with power and cultivation feedback, giving me a great boost. Upon hearing the confirmation, Wen Qing marveled even more. MS. You actually managed to have a demigod level existence as a Yuanfu contract messenger, this is too incredible. Liliya heard her juniors marvel and also smiled and nodded her head. Ha, yeah, that's why Ah Qing is the most promising person in our generation to become a divine general. While they exchanged words, Lu Rui listened with a bit of confusion and asked in a puzzled tone. Core contract messenger? The crowd froze, and Ri Lia responded with an explanation. Lu Rui is a freshman in high school, it hasn't been long since he enrolled in school, it's true that he hasn't learned about this knowledge yet. The crowd suddenly realized. Then Ri Lia told Lu Rui about the knowledge of core contract messenger. Core contract servant belongs to the category of summoned beasts, but it's more advanced. Conventional summoned beasts are born through the power of the other dimension, they basically have no spiritual intelligence but only instincts, and they do not know how to actively grow and cultivate, they do not think and learn. They were born as power creatures, and at the beginning of their birth, they only had power and no intelligence. Usually, after a long period of time, this type of power creature would have a certain probability of autonomously opening up their spiritual intelligence and knowing how to think and learn. The opposite of power creatures is intelligent creatures, and we humans belong to the category of natural intelligent creatures. We are born with a very special kind of spiritual intelligence, and we can establish contact with other dimensions, and continuously cultivate and strengthen ourselves by absorbing the power of other dimensions. We human intelligent creatures can also give power creatures spiritual intelligence through some special means, so that they can skip the long time of enlightenment. One of the milder means is to allow power creatures to be deeply bound to our Yuanfu allowing them to gain wisdom through us humans over a period of time measured in years. Power creatures that are enlightened in this way will have their three views highly aligned with those of the human enlightened one, and are naturally close to us humans, they will see us as kindred spirits, and will have a life and spiritual connection to the enlightened one. This is the essence of the core servant. And we human practitioners can also make better use of dimensional power through core servants. It's a merger of two things for us humans and the other dimensional power beings. 
Lilia explained the concept of core servants. Towards the end she teased with a bit of a tearful smile. This course, our school should be opened in the second semester of senior high school. The first semester of senior high school students are mainly to lay the foundation. The homework is to open the yuan, master the battle skills, cultivate the mind in physical training. I just did not expect that you were actually so far ahead of your peers. Now is only the first week of the school year. Most of your classmates have not even completed the opening of the yuan. Lu Rui sniffed and realized, then asked. Then you guys are planning to train my demigod soul body within the Yuan Fu to become a core messenger as well? However you Dan Ching vetoed. No, your situation isn't quite the same as mine, that demigod soul body of yours can't be cultivated into a core contract messenger. Ha! Huh? This time Lu Rui couldn't understand again. The one doing the explaining was Dean Huang Huchuan, Lu Rui's attention was on the Dean, only to hear him say. There is a difference between MS. Use demigod emissary and your demigod soul body. Shoyan is a natural power creature. Shoyan hadn't come into contact with any intelligent beings before she came into contact with him as you, like a blank sheet of paper that can be painted. But yours is different. Your demigod soul body comes from a necromancer lord whose sins are too numerous to mention. Its name is Morisek, and this necromancer lord's way of opening up his mind is to devour intelligent creatures. Lu Rue sniffed and frowned. Yu Dan Chang added. Well, the way that Leah said earlier about enlightening power creatures is relatively gentle and beneficial and harmless to us humans. However, there exists another method that is painful and abhorrent to us humans, and that is devouring intelligent creatures. That monster, Mareshik, invaded our blue planet 50 years ago, creating a large number of calamities and devouring an unknown number of our compatriots, and after being expelled from our human homeland, Mareshik did not do anything to restrain itself and retreat, instead, it continued to encroach on our human development and manipulated the business of buying and selling human beings, making enemies of our humanity everywhere. As she spoke, she furrowed her brows and did not hide her killing intent. We humans have already gotten rid of what should be more than 30 demigod lord mortal enemies like it, right? It's almost time for its own turn. Yudanching's hostile aura seemed to have substance, causing the surrounding temperature to drop a few points. At the mention of such a thing, Lilia was no longer gentle either, and said with the same great disgust, The impact of this evil behavior of the Moritzhek is extremely bad, the object of its selling population will be some of the races of the heavens that we humans have not touched for the time being, and the Moritzhek will use us humans to help this type of race of the heavens to open up their minds. Regardless of whether those heavenly races actively or passively accept the human beings sold by Moritzhek, but devouring fellow human beings is our undeniable original sin, we human beings can't cooperate and develop with those cannibalistic monsters. The Morichik is killing our humans' potential cooperation partners, it is constantly setting up our humans as mortal enemies, and we've already suffered a lot of losses in this regard. Lilia's addition made Lowry realize more deeply the destructive power that human trafficking was causing to the human race, and he murmured, so that's how it is, then it's really its heart. No wonder human trafficking has to be cracked down on so harshly. Not to mention the monster of the other dimension, in Lu Rue cognition, even if it is a national treasure animal if it jeopardizes the lives of ordinary humans, feeding on humans, then it should be struck down must also be struck down, this is the bottom line of the race. Dean Huang Huchuan then said, Moritz Hick's position and thoughts are hostile to us humans, if ms. Yu Shayan is a piece of white paper, then Moritz Hick's demigod soul body is a piece of black paper full of evils. We hope that Lu Rue you can get a growth boost through the demigod soul body, but in a specific way, not to let this soul body become your core messenger, but to completely erase the soul body residual Morisek will, so that it becomes Lu Rue your servant, tool, incarnation. The conversation returned to Lu Rue himself. Lu Rue sniffed and asked thoughtfully, will it be troublesome? This question, the three elders present, could not give a clear answer for a while. In the end, it was Yu Danqing who said, when I met Shayan, Shayan was a complete but not yet enlightened demigod creature, while I was already at the level of a war general with a fully developed Yuanfu, but even so, my Yuanfu encountered great resistance in accommodating Shayan, and I couldn't even fully withstand Shayan's demigod power until now. But Shayan is a blank sheet of paper, and she instinctively desires to gain enlightenment from me, and she will actively cooperate with me, which makes me much less stressed. Yu Danqing spoke of her situation. It seemed to be just as she said herself, that the demigod creatures burdened her greatly, leaving her bloodless and with a gloomy aura, where bystanders were not allowed to enter. Then the words changed. And Lu Rue Yu, according to my current understanding, you seal the demigod soul body, only some of the power of the demigod lord, it has a demigod nature, and part of the will of the demigods, but in the end, it is not a complete demigod, and lost the connection of the main body of the main body of the Moritzek body which should be the reason why you can be able to use the level 2 battle weapon and the development of incomplete Yuanfu can suppress the demigod soul body. But this demigod soul body will instinctively rebel against everything you do against it. 
you, and it should be a relationship of life and death. This is where I think the difficulty lies. We can help you suppress the demigod soul body's rebellion, but you have to kill. We can help you suppress the demigod spirit body's rebellion, but if you want to kill its will and turn it to your own use, you can only face the demigod spirit will with the spirit will of a level 2 battle soldier, and it's difficult for us external forces to provide direct and effective assistance in this kind of will field battle. I am responsible in this regard, my original plan was to teach you some insights and then supplement the subsequent parts of your cultivation of Yuan Fu Gong Fu. The Yuan Fu Gong method that Lu Rui practiced, the underworld viewing thoughts, was created by Yu Dan Xing, and now that the original creator had come to provide guidance in a targeted manner, that effect was certainly something to look forward to. The group was walking and chatting, chatting this time, had already walked to the core of the institute. As the dean, Huang Huchuan stopped and turned around and said, Lu Rui students, our school, the institute, and the higher level, according to your current situation, we are planning to set up three projects on you, one of them is your talent rating, this is still given to the scientific research team that was originally in charge of this project under Dean Li. The second project is to be handled by MS, Yu Danqing, to look after and guide you in the development and use of your semi-divine soul body. The third project is your cultivation journey, you now level has exceeded your peers by a large margin, even the school to the top 10 layout of the training program is not applicable to you, in line with the purpose of tapping the potential of the talent, we are planning to take you to other places to cultivate and grow. The first two program contents Lu Rui were relatively clear, but after hearing the third program content, he asked, is that where you are going to take me, some kind of deep forest where people are rare? Huang Huchuan smiled and shook his head and explained. It's not a deep mountainous forest, it's still in the mainland, and it's still in the metropolis, but it's to the rainbow abyss country there, that is, out of the country, so that you can be an exchange student. Do you know the rainbow abyss country? If you are willing, we plan to take you there to carry out a study trip for about one or two months, I am in charge of this program. Rainbow abyss country, Lu Rue had heard of it quite a few times, it was the first place where human natives came into contact with the power of the necromancy, and many of the mature and powerful necromancy techniques and battle skills in circulation nowadays came from Rainbow Abyss Country. Even the local environment of Hong Yuan Country, because of the immersion of the power of the dead spirit for a long time, the environment has changed to a certain extent. Hearing that he wants to go abroad to practice, Lu Rui instinctively is a little resistant, after all, it is to run to a place where people are not born and not familiar with the place, and he has just shown his prominence in the school and the city, and recognized some friends, but not a few days before he has to run to another place. Although it is the pursuit of power, but still let Lu Rue more or less some reluctance. He was a bit hesitant, so he said, running away to a strange place? Huang Huchuan laughed at his words and said, Young people go outside more to expand their horizons, there is one of the nine wonders of the world, the sea of dead spirits, as well as the evil ghost float, which is said to be something that all necromancy practitioners have to see once in their lives, and the heaven stealing shrine. Heaven stealing shrine. These are places that can bring great benefits to necromancy cultivators. Those who are going there are not just you alone, some of your outstanding seniors and siblings from the second year of high school are also exchanging and studying there, and our three project leaders and project team are also going to follow you to the Rainbow Abyss country, so you won't be a stranger if you stay there for a few days and it won't be too long a time there. Lu Rue sniffed and quickly swept a glance at me Xiao Ko and the twin sisters. Oh, they're also following ah, that's fine. Alright then, I'll go. Lu Rue happily agreed. Ha, ah, this is how young people should be. Huang Huchuan laughed cheerfully. Going abroad to exchange and study was something that would happen after tomorrow, and this evening, Lu Rue also had to cooperate with the research institute, study the changes in the talent rune, test the demigod soul body situation, and try to turn it into his own. Both Ri Lia and Yu Dan Qing, the two people in charge, quickly devoted themselves to the project. Mi Xiao Ku and the others took the dean's approval and went to the logistics office of the research institute to give Lu Rue 10 kilograms of stamina cream which was equivalent to 2,000 units of stamina value. Because Lu Rue was a one-man affair, the three giants of the Necromancy Research Institute all had to surround him and all had to leave with him. Dean Huang Huchuan was going to make arrangements so that the institute could function normally when they, the leaders of the institute, were not at the school. Lai Lia and Yu Danqing were in charge of what Lu Rue would do next tonight. Because of the underworld wave that Lu Rue had used in the morning, the Yuan Fu was still in a weakened state by now so it was not good for him to use necromancy-related battle techniques and summoning techniques for the time being. However, based on his last experience, Lu Rue estimated that he would be able to recover in about four or five more hours. During this period, the two chief leaders in charge of the project, intended to give Lu Rue a measurement of the basic body values. 
However, Lu Rui himself remembered that when he trained with instructor Shi Wei yesterday, the maximum output power of his fists that he exhibited was around 12 tons, while this morning when he resisted the invasion of the demigod lords, his maximum fist power was 60 tons. Lu Rui was also self-aware. One day apart, there was a fivefold increase in power, saying that it was normal cultivation, others wouldn't believe it either. In the future, I'll have to find a suitable reason for my power surge, he muttered in his heart. Lu Rui even felt that his, pale calamity, talent rune was already not very good at explaining why he could become so powerful. After thinking about it so much, he found a more suitable object to take the blame. It was his own half-god soul body within his Yuan Fu. Lu Rui had already decided that after mastering this soul body, he would push the reason for his becoming stronger onto this half-god soul body. And right now, after careful calculations, he chose to display 25 tons of strength in the test. With a low numerical display, others wouldn't believe that this level could resist the invasion of three demigod lords. Lu Rui even said fervently in order to leave a little room for explanation. I feel out of shape, I can only play at this level at the moment. But despite this, the others were still surprised, especially those who participated in data collection yesterday such as Michao Ku. Senior, did you take some kind of strong medicine? Every other day, the power can skyrocket to this level. When Ching spat out, Lu Rui spread his hands and said playfully, I don't know, maybe I was born with divine power, and it's a good thing I have a talent for this, otherwise I might not survive today. Lilia, the chief project manager, raised an eyebrow after hearing this. She hugged her arms and pursed her lips before nodding and laughing. Well, it's fortunate that Lu Rue was able to tap into his potential at the critical moment, or else today's disaster wouldn't have ended so well. After Relia said so, Lu Rue also echoed, saying with a grateful face, Right, 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 fortunately I have this potential. Lai Lia sniffed, her eyebrows smiling even more. Yu Danqing raised his hand and rubbed his chin, watching Lu Rue test out the data, but seriously commented, By all rights, you have shown that your combat power should be no less than a senior war general, so this data is a bit. Before she finished speaking, Lilia elbowed Yu Danqing in the armpit, causing Yu Danqing to not say the rest of her words. Yu Danqing frowned and looked at Lilia in disbelief. Instead, Lilia said to Yu Danqing with a slight annoyance, Eh, didn't Lu Rue say that he was in bad shape? He only faced three demigod lords during the day. It's quite understandable that the state is not right, and displaying data that is not in line with expectations, isn't that normal? I'm worried about whether Lu Rue has left any PTSD. I think ah, uh, now measured data are inaccurate, cannot be used as valid data cannot be recorded in the file, to wait for 10 days and half a month later, his state of health then measured this part of the data, this is the right thing to do. Li Lia said, also toward the building Rui blinked left eye. Lu Rui received Ri Lia's eyes, the understanding of the cooperation, then said with a sad face. I'm indeed quite uncomfortable, and still have a bit of psychological shadow, those three demigod lords are just too terrifying, I'm scared even thinking about it now. Yu Danqing frowned tightly and pondered for a moment or two before nodding. Then we'll look at the data related to physical quality when the time comes. The two principals did not delve into Lu Rui's single combat performance for the time being. Instead, they would have to wait for Lu Rui's Yuan Fu to recover in order to measure the data of the talent runes and summons, as well as to test the demigod soul body. In the meantime, the two principals discussed a bit, then asked Lu Rui. Lu Rui ah, tell me, in the morning's battle, have you felt any strengths or shortcomings, we will give you reference for reference, make some improvements, try to make you can better utilize your strengths and enhance your shortcomings. Hearing this Lu Rui could came in the spirit, he directly said, my talent rune can be used to do a great job when commanding the legion in battle. As for the legion's coordinating battle technique Sang Ghost Flame, I played a miraculous effect in the morning's battle and was able to withstand the demigod lords for a moment. I want to utilize this aspect of my strengths, but my necromantic troopers, aside from the third order abomination, the first order poisonous swamp mouth and the chattering bone bat seem to be a bit unable to keep up with me. What Lu Rue meant was that it was time for him to update his necromantic troop types. Lu Rue also felt that it was reasonable to issue himself some powerful necromantic troop type summoning contracts after he had made such a great achievement, right? Lilia nodded as she sniffed. You need to utilize the strengths of the Legion Ah. First and second order necromantic creatures are indeed a bit insufficient for you. How about this, Xiao Kua, you use my permission to log into the database and pull out all the third to sixth order necromantic creature information. Mi Xiao Ko, as the dean's assistant, took Ri Lia's permission to call up many powerful necromantic creatures for Lu Rue. The number was in the hundreds, and it was overwhelming at a glance. Honestly, Lu Rue wanted to have all of them, but for the sake of efficiency, he had to prioritize the necromantic creatures with special and powerful talents. He had his own mind, while the others were giving their opinions from a different perspective. 
Conventionally speaking, a qualified and complete legion should have a variety of combat units, including but not limited to front row units, maneuver units, long range units, air control units, field control units, auxiliary units, transport units, logistic units, and engineer units. The necromantic creatures you currently have at your disposal only fulfill the needs of a front row unit. This was how Yu Danqing gave her advice. She was a frontline dimensional explorer, and battles were routine for her. Lu Rui sniffed and displayed a listening attitude. Seeing this, Yu Danqing continued. If you want to listen to my advice, the reference I gave was the third-ranked obscene earth lichen, fourth-ranked berserk werewolf, bipedal bone dragon, demon drinking goblin, death hunter, tier 5 fearful nightmare, skeleton giant, spell witch, pale priest, sixth-ranked necromantic mammoth. Without much thinking, she came up with a set of proven schemes for forming a necromantic legion. She came up with a program that had been tested on the battlefield and had been proven to be effective in actual combat, and she had seen the effects with her own eyes and used them personally. Lu Rue according to the name she reported, in hundreds of species of necromantic creatures, pulled out the information of these ten types of soldiers. These ten types of weapons rank from low to high, the first third ranked obscene earth lichen. In the database, filth lichen belonged to the engineer. Although it is a third order necromantic creature, it is a special kind of necromantic creature that can transform the environment, and its form of existence is somewhat similar to a fungus colony. A single individual is very small, but the reproduction ability is extremely strong, as long as there is enough energy, it can spread out dozens of square kilometers in a day. Filth lichen itself does not have any strong combat power, but it can change the ecological environment and create filth. The filthy earth would independently convert foreign energy into necrotic energy, supplying energy to the necrotic creatures walking on the filthy earth, which could function as both a generator and a storage battery. The existence of the filth also suppresses the state of non-necromantic beings, and allows necromantic creatures to feel comfortable and better utilize their abilities. And in the dead spirit filth on the destruction of the dead spirit creature, will return to the embrace of the filth, after a certain period of time to repair, will regain the power of action. Lu Rui understand filthy earth lichen, this dead spirit resurrection ability, immediately moved to the heart. The ability to restore the mobility of a destroyed necromantic creature. Could this ability be utilized in conjunction with, Ash Legacy? The first troop type choice Yu Danqing proposed made Lu Rui move hard, and he had an urge to include it under his command. And the obscene earth lichen was only one of the top 10 troop types. Then came the fourth order necromantic creatures, a section that would account for more than 60% of the total number of legions. Each of the troop types picked by Yu Danqing had outstanding specialties and unobtrusive shortcomings, and could compete with fifth order creatures in their areas of superiority without losing, yet they only had to pay the cost of a fourth order creature, which was very cost effective. And Lu Rue paid more attention to their talents. First, there was the berserk blooded werewolf, and in the institute's database, there were at least 15 types of werewolves, second order, third order, fourth order, and fifth order all. Werewolves all possessed an extraordinary sense of smell and extremely sensitive dexterity, steel skin and bones, as well as special hunting marks, and a certain curse ability. The most outstanding of the many werewolves, the berserk blood werewolf, is its explosive power. When a berserk werewolf devours enough flesh and blood, or at the cost of its own flesh and blood, it gains extremely high reinforcement for a short period of time, and this explosive reinforcement allows the berserk werewolf to compete with fifth order creatures, and even kill creatures that do not specialize in the fifth order of flesh and blood strength in a single combat situation. Considering the cost of summoning, the berserk werewolf was extremely cost effective, and could burst out with the combat power of a fifth order creature after meeting the conditions. Lu Rue looked at this description of explosive power and was also itching to take this talent for himself. The second one, which was also of the fourth rank, was demon drinking goblins. Goblins have the roles of air control, airborne troops, and front row, and are very resistant to being beaten up. The demon drinking goblin is special because of its energy absorbing talent, which can drastically reduce the damage it receives from spells and convert some of the spell damage into its own ability. It also has a certain banning ability, trapped by the demon drinking goblin mage type units, you have to pay several times the energy and time to play their own spells. Lu Roy already had the physical level energy absorption and damage reduction talents, if he had the demon drinking goblin talent, he even had the spell level damage absorption. The third bipedal bone dragon was a purely aerial unit, with the ability to fight on its own, specializing in various kinds of spitting. The third bipedal bone dragon is a purely aerial unit that has its own combat power, specializing in various kinds of breath, energy bombs, and the ability to bombard. It has a large size, with a head and tail length of 20 meters, and a hollow abdominal cavity with a large capacity, so it can be used as an airship to drop airborne troops. The fourth Death Hunter is a long-range unit, they have excellent vision, strong arms, and can use bows and arrows, with an opening power of up to 30 tons. 
Their bows can be adjusted and varied, ranging from short-range rapid-fire bows, nine-arrow bows, to long-range heavy bows. They have an effective range of 50 kilometers and can parry and flatten their arrows. Their arrows have magic properties, and the Death Hunters themselves can add armor-breaking, withering, violent death, sure shot, explosion, explosion, and so on to their arrows. Explosive and other effects. Lu Rue himself can also use a bow, he also thinks that the Death Hunter talent is quite useful to him. Each of the above four orders of soldiers had their own characteristics, and in their areas of superiority they were able to utilize a combat power not inferior to that of the fifth order of soldiers, while the cost of summoning and maintaining them was only that of the fourth order of soldiers. At the fifth level, the, the fearful nightmare possesses ranged force dream entry, mind control, and spirit killing. It also has a special vaporization effect, which can immunize most physical damage and hide its own aura. It is a battlefield assassin, responsible for assassinating the enemy's high-value strategic units on the battlefield. However, redeeming the fearful nightmare requires level 6 access, as well as two significant guarantors, and the signing of a series of restrictive legal clauses, after all, the fearful nightmare's ability would involve mind reading. According to the law, there are three conditions that must be met in order to use the ability to read minds on fellow citizens. The mind reading is done as a law enforcer, the legal process is correct, and the person being mind read is denied legal citizenship. This side of humanity puts some restrictions on mind reading related abilities for the maintenance of social stability. Who dares to use the ability to read people's minds illegally and get caught? Not only do I have to bear heavy irreparable punishment, even with the guarantor will have to suffer. This regulation Lu Rue can also understand, because he himself does not want to be read by someone's heart, see through his own little secret. He didn't want this kind of thing to happen to him, so he supported these regulations. But support being support, the fearful nightmare ability, Lu Rue also really wanted it. He raised his head and his gaze went to Lilia and Yu Dan Ching. According to the regulations, among the people Lu Rue knew, two people with weighty guarantees seemed to be these two. You want fearful nightmare? Lilia asked with a smile. Lu Rue nodded. Ri Lia nodded understandingly, her mouth recognizing it. The Dread Nightmare is indeed a necromantic soldier that can play a powerful role, and I think you can do a lot when you have it. She then agreed. I am able to provide a guarantee, and I am quite willing to trust Lu Rui that you can use the Dread Nightmare in the cause of benefiting humanity. She trusts me? Lu Rui pondered in his heart, his contact with Ri Lia was only the second time right now, and she decided to trust me? What's the reason? Although Lu Rui had puzzlement and speculation in his heart, on his lips, he still sincerely thanked Relia and said, Thank you for your trust, Dean. Lu Rue indeed did not think of using an ability like mind reading on ordinary people either, it's not like he needed to gain anything from ordinary people, when facing a rival on the human side, it might be more efficient for him to solve the problem with his fists. Relia smiled and nodded, she slightly tilted her head, her eyes looking at you dancing beside her, and asked, I'm quite optimistic about Lu Rue's future development, what do you think? Yu Danqing pondered for a moment, then gave a reply and said, I can also consider providing a guarantee, but it will be after you completely master Moritz X demigod soul body. Moreover, the more necromantic troop types are not the better, being greedy is not bad, you need to know how to operate with them, I listed 10 troop choices for you, you also need time to familiarize yourself with them one by one, the fearful nightmare can be put on the back burner for mastery. Yu Danqing chose to set conditions and reason. Lu Rue was also in contact with Yu Danqing for the first time, not knowing the other party's temperament. After pondering for a moment or two, he decided to respect the other party's arrangement. This was, after all, looking for someone to be a risk guarantor, it was still necessary to respect the other party's reasonable requirements. Moreover, the fearful nightmare of the ten major troop types, Lu Rue even if he couldn't obtain it for the time being, the other troop types were enough for him to sacrifice for a period of time and obtain many abilities. He didn't care too much about not being able to obtain the fearful nightmare as soon as possible. After looking at the fearful nightmare, Lu Rue then looked at the remaining three major types of necrotic troops. His eyes returned to the information of the top ten troop types. The skeleton giant, which was also a fourth-ranked necrotic creature, was a pure front row and meat shield, with a body height ranging from 10 meters to 100 meters, with strong resistance to injuries, and strong melee combat ability. 100 meter level skeleton giant, just with its fists can be a big mountain smashed into flat ground, the power of 50,000 tons to start. Tall physique is its strength and weakness, flexibility is its weakness, single means of attack, only fist output, role is to bear injuries and attack. It is a fifth order soldier with obvious advantages and shortcomings. But this extremely exaggerated and powerful, pure physical output power, made Lu Rue extremely heartfelt, secretly saying, the base power attribute of this 100 meter level skeleton giant shall not break a thousand? More importantly, the exchange of the skeleton giant did not require the restriction of a guarantor. 
When he looked at the skeleton giant's information, he clearly showed an eagerness that was different from that of other troop types. Lu Rui, on the other hand, continued to check the information and read the third type of fifth-ranked necromantic creature, the Spell Witch Demon. Spell Witch Demon is a mage type of soldier, they mastered all kinds of spells and curses, they can drive the necromantic creatures that are lower than their own rank, or batch create first and second rank necromantic creatures such as skeleton soldiers, ghouls, etc. One of its characteristics has its own form of existence. One of its characteristics has its own form of existence, the core of the spell which demon is a soul box, the soul box and its action body are separate, that is to say, even if the spell which demon body is destroyed, as long as the summoner holds the spell which demon soul box intact, it can be restored to the battlefield with as long as the summoner has the soul box of the spell which demon intact in his hand, he will be able to restore its combat power at a very low cost, and its ability to survive is extremely strong. It can be said that it is the cannon fodder of running water, but the witch demon of iron. As long as the summoner himself does not die, the soul box is guaranteed to be intact, the witch demon basically will not be completely destroyed. And the spell witch demon has another characteristic that cannot be ignored. It can turn the dead souls of the enemy into its own servants, so that the enemy becomes a dead creature, for their own drive, and the dead retain the vast majority of their life. And the dead retain most of their abilities and memories of life, the lack of emotion is serious, the combat power will be about 80% of life, there will be room for growth. This kind of transformation will be limited by the level, the lowest to the fourth level, the highest not more than the demigod level, and the length of the transformation time varies, the spell which demon can transform other realm creatures into the dead spirit creature. Lu Rue when reading this part of the information, noticed that although the spell which demons is a fifth order creature, but the conversion contract authority to be level 6, and also need 3 guarantors of sufficient weight, and sign a series of cannot be used spell which demons undead resurrection for fellow citizens. The spell which demons resurrection of the dead spell can't resurrect ordinary people, but high level war soldiers and even war generals can be resurrected, which likewise breeds something sinister. In terms of restricting its use, the spell which demon was even harsher than the dread nightmare and the guarantor required three bits. After Lu Rue finished reading the spell which demon information, he raised his head to look at the two elders present. Really appointed at herself and Yu Dancheng and laughed softly. Both of us are quite good at talking, as for the other guarantor. Dean Huang Huchuan is quite suitable, he is also quite good at talking, it's just that Dean Huang is a rather utilitarian person, good at face saving and loves to show off. He took you abroad to study in exchange, you may have to come up with some dazzling achievements before you can let him sign your guarantor's name for you. Lu Rue sniffed, pursed his lips and asked, What exactly? Really Yalu then said, The people there in the Rainbow Abyss country, quite love to brag, like to give themselves some talents with quite exaggerated names. In particular, some years ago, the local strongest necromancy domain high school student was evaluated, saying that he was not seen in the first 50 years, and did not come out in the next 50 years, and was not encountered in a hundred years, called Turbid Bone in Yuyasha, with an immeasurable windfall, and claimed to be the closest high school student to a god in the new generation. There are also the four venerable ones, the evil ghost crowd, the ten prison faces, and the eight families of the stolen heavens. Our country in the field of necromancy began to vigorously develop, is also nearly three years of things, accumulation is indeed inferior to the rainbow abyss country, this is to admit, we Huang Din often our big summer is responsible for foreign exchanges in the field of necromancy, in their own responsible field is not as good as other people, he in fact is also quite holding his breath. Want to come up with some results? If you want to give him a hard time earning face during your study period in the Rainbow Abyss country, he will definitely vouch for you. Mentioning this, the corner of Yu Danqing's mouth also whipped up a smile that seemed to have a mocking meaning. The people of the Rainbow Abyss country are quite interesting, their evaluation standard is to be a pure necromancy cultivator, someone like me who halfway switched to the necromancy department doesn't meet their evaluation standard. The strongest necromantic spirit cultivators in our Great Xia country now are basically converted from other lineages, with two Yuan Fu existing in their bodies. Like me, I'm a convert from the Molten Flame lineage to the Necromancy lineage, and Leah is a convert from the Blood Nest lineage to the Necromancy lineage. Privately, the Rainbow Abyss Kingdom scornfully calls us necromancy practitioners as foreign cultivators. It's Di Xia's current necromancy number one person, Jin Jail Divine General, the number one Yuan Fu is also of the Heavy Rock lineage, the Rainbow Abyss Kingdom doesn't compare themselves to those of us who have switched to the necromancy lineage, they only compare themselves to pure necromancy lineage practitioners. They won't even let our country's Xinjia Divine General spar with their three existing necromancy lineage divine generals. Lu Rue was speechless for a moment at his words, not knowing how to evaluate. When evaluating cultivators, wasn't battle strength prioritized or contribution prioritized? 
Moreover, occupying a necromancy realm was something that happened to humans within the last two years, before that, the Great Summer Kingdom was unable to naturally awaken necromancy practitioners in its homeland, which means that the Great Summer Kingdom only gave birth to necromancy practitioners in these two years, and only then did the Rainbow Abyss Kingdom recognize it as a purely necromancy practitioner. Sounds like a bit of self-deception. Lu Rue spat out. Lilia covered her lips and smiled. As long as you go and pick apart their strongest high school students and clans, they won't be able to deceive themselves and others anymore. Lu Rue ah, it's okay for you to help our institute earn some face, right? Can you do that? As a leader, Lilia didn't seem to have much of a stance towards Lu Rue. She blinked her eyes and even repeated her request twice rather playfully. All right, I'll give it a try. Lu Rue nodded in agreement. The thing about throwing in the towel, since the institute was willing to help him become stronger, then Lu Rue would also reciprocate. The top 10 troop types information, as well as the 5th ranked pale priest and the 6th ranked necromantic mammoth. The pale priest was also a mage type troop type, the. While the spell witch demon was an offensive type mage, the pale priest was a defensive type mage. The latter did not have forbidden type spells, and Lu Ri did not need a guarantor to obtain them. The pale priest excelled at creating necromancy buildings, combining the characteristics of a mage, a support, and an engineer. Its core building was the white. Bone Altar, during the time the Pale Priest presides over the altar, it will greatly strengthen the necromantic creations within range, extremely good at positional warfare, they can cooperate with many buildings to play multiple effects. The final troop type, on the other hand, is the Sixth Order Necromantic Mammoth. It has no forbidden abilities and does not require a guarantor to obtain, and is characterized by its extremely large size, ranging from 300 meters to 5000 meters tall at the shoulder, and is positioned as a troop carrier, a walking fortress, and a mobile strategic base. Its skeleton shell can hold tens of thousands of necromantic units, and rely on its body to build a war fortress. The necromantic mammoth itself was extremely powerful in battle. Sixth order creatures were already the limit of ordinary soldiers, and from the seventh order onwards, they were lord level creatures, corresponding to human cultivators of the war general class. According to the information, it must be a sixth order creature with intelligence to break through to the seventh order. The necromantic mammoth is a dominant creature in the sixth order, its body is extremely powerful, and when it runs at full speed, it moves extremely fast, as if it has a high speed mountain range, and it has many aspects of resistance, and its bloodstain is extremely thick. In addition to having no intelligence, purely in terms of body strength and spiritual strength, demigod level creatures may not be as powerful as a 3000 meter level necromantic mammoth. The necromantic mammoth was possessed of demigod level combat power. Just by looking at the description, Lu Rue was already unable to estimate how high the four basic attributes of a 3,000 meter tall necromantic mammoth were. Tens of thousands? Tens of thousands? If it's this kind of mountain-like necromantic creature, Lu Rue is a bit worried about how he should go about destroying it and use it to unleash the Ash Legacy. In short, after looking at all the ten major troop types, Lu Rue was already heart-pounding, and after putting down the information, he directly asked. In addition to the fearful nightmare and spell which demon that need to be restricted, the other eight troop types, when will I be able to obtain them? Lilia gave the reply. Hmm. Right now. Lu Rue wanted the ten major necromantic troop types, excluding the two restricted ones, to obtain them under normal circumstances would require level 6 permissions, as well as more than a hundred thousand contribution points. The third rank troop types required contribution points of 100 to 500, fourth rank was 500 to 3000, 5th rank was 3,000 to nearly 10,000, and 6th rank was over 10,000 contribution points. In particular, the necromantic soldier types that Yu Danqing picked out for Lu Rui were all of fine grade, basically the highest priced existence within the same rank. Especially the necromantic mammoth, its upper limit has a demigod level of combat power, the required contribution points as high as 500,000. The 8 major types of soldiers together will require 530,000 contribution points. Lu Rui did a little calculation. How could this be an amount that a high school student could raise in a short period of time? However, as a meritorious servant who played an important role in the plague created by the three demigod lords, Lu Rue demonstrated his potential and merit. This expense the Great Summer Kingdom could give him a full exemption, and the exchange privilege could be mentioned at level 6. Lu Rue didn't need to pay any price, just based on merit, he could pocket the 8 major soldier summoning contract. That is, three hours after Lu Rue determined the summoning contract he wanted, his cell phone received a notification that the process was all reviewed and confirmed, and the relevant summoning contract had been delivered to his door. Lu Rue also felt that his Yuan Fu had returned to normal from its weak state. After using the summoning contract, he felt that his Yuan Fu had recorded eight more dead spirit summons, which could be summoned out by consuming enough dead spirit energy. Lu Rue assessed his current blue bar and stamina, using the small skeleton as the standard unit, the total cap reached 263 points, 
and the recovery efficiency was 120 units per hour. This surprised Lu Rui a little, as his own blue bar recovery efficiency had doubled. As for why there was such an obvious change, he focused on the demigod's soul body suppressed within his Yuan Fu. When the Yuan Fu returned to normal, he could sense the existence of that demigod soul body extremely clearly. The white mist that symbolized the pale calamity was like a chain that pierced through its limbs and bones, wrapping and entangling it in layers so that it could not move. From the image, the demigod soul body held a long-handled scythe in its hand and wore a black robe and hood, under which was the face of a human skeleton, like a floating ghost. Form so, it also exudes a special atmosphere that symbolizes the gap between the essence of life, and Lu Rui previously met Xiaoyan consistent, this is the proof of the power of the demigods. And this demigod soul body has a strong aggression, Lu Rui Yuan Fu full of dead energy, this demigod soul body all the time do not want to occupy these dead energy, used to strengthen their own body, to be in the Lu Rui Yuan Fu chaos. Fortunately, this soul body demigod's power is not strong, Lu Rui's Yuan Fu and the talent rune, Pale Scourge, can maintain the effect of suppression on it. As long as the demigod's soul body didn't get replenished by external forces, it would remain subject to Lu Rui's suppression. Lu Rui also confirmed that maintaining suppression would increase the burden on Yuan Fu after sensing that 50% of Yuan Fu's power output would have to be used to suppress the demigod's soul body. This was a burden, while there were also benefits, while suppressing, Lu Rui was also able to detain the demigod's soul body and use its power. The panel popped up with a prompt. Moritz Hex Power Avatar, Strength 100, Agility 150, Physique 100, Spirit 300, Divinity 5. Embrace of the Underworld, Morisek, you have enslaved a power avatar of a demigod lord, you can drive this power avatar and make its power available to you. Demigod pressure, unleashes a sense of oppression that belongs solely to demigods. Any being with a life level lower than that of a demigod will be deterred, and all attributes will drop. Necromancer's dignity demigod, necromancers below the level of demigods will instinctively obey you. Necromantic affinity demigod, increases affinity to the necromantic plane and senses its own territory. Seize a demigod, seize another soul and body in soul form, taking everything from the target. Deathblade, each attack comes with the power of death, possessing the nature of a demigod's power, and can trigger a violent death when the target is attacked by enough deathblades. Necrotic curse, curses on the target in the form of a speech spirit, abilities include withering, decay, retardation, aberration, and ghosting. Death gaze, shrouds the target with the power of death, forcing shock and suppression. Servant Summoning, summons a number of dead creatures, reducing the amount of energy consumed by the summoning of the dead. Resurrection of the dead, rapidly transforms all corpses and souls within its range into senseless necromantic servants. The basic attributes of a demigod soul body had an extremely special divinity attribute on top of the four major attributes. Is this the difference between an ordinary creature and a demigod? Lu Rui muttered in his heart. This demigod soul body could bring about many abilities, and the specific effects needed to be tested in actual combat. The most direct enhancement was to increase Lu Rui's affinity for the necrotic plane by a large margin, allowing him to obtain power replenishment from the necrotic plane more efficiently and improve the efficiency of his blue bar recovery. In addition, he was able to use his demigod soul body to exert some demigod level pressure and the majesty of the demigod lords of the necromancy department, better controlling the necromancy units and increasing the upper limit of the army's control. Lu Rui sensed the condition of the demigod soul body and after confirming that it was still within his control, he spoke. Ms. Yu Dan Ching, I would like to release the demigod soul body within the Yuan Fu to see the situation. You try, I'll be watching from the side. Yu Dan Ching nodded her head. Hearing this, Lu Rui's mind moved. The next moment a pale white mist emerged around him, and within the mist, the ghostly figure with a hand holding a scythe cloaked in black robes, had both a demigod aura and was filled with thick malice. This demigod aura made a battle soldier level like Mi Shao Ko feel quite uncomfortable. Yu Danqing's brows tightened, and then an even more powerful demigod aura also appeared on her body, suppressing the black-robed ghostly shadow's aura and murmuring in an extremely disgusted tone. Moritz Hack. This necromantic demigod lord had committed a lot of blood debts against humans from the past to the present, and was an existence that made people's teeth itch with hatred at the mention of it. Lu Rui, on the other hand, seeing that the people around him had the ability to suppress the demigod soul body's rebellion, used the power of the demigod soul body with peace of mind. The mist of the Yi Pale Scourge acted as both a chain and a thread to manipulate the puppet, suppressing the demigod soul body while also allowing Lu Rui to manipulate the other party. He was using his mind to drive the demigod soul body to utilize its abilities. But all of a sudden, a thought from an extremely distant land crossed an unknown number of barriers and reached Lu Rui's consciousness. Mortal, you have stolen my power. The spiritual will represented by this voice was familiar to Lu Rui, and he had dealt with it in the morning, the more it's heck. It sent its intent to Lowry through a spiritual sense between the soul and itself. 
This sensing seemed to be a two-way street, and Lu Rue could also sense the other party's presence through this connection. The demigod lord was sitting on the skeleton throne, wearing the gorgeous armor of a general, with a noble demigod aura, looking down on the mortals from above. Lu Rue not only sensed the demigod lord himself, he also seemed to sense the other party's territory. How can a lord not have a territory? Lu Rue sensed the dead spirit territory held by Moritz Hick, this kind of territory sensing is relatively fuzzy, Lu Rue can roughly sense that the dead spirit territory has a huge like a big river and lake general dead spirit energy, and live in the territory of nearly a million dead spirit creatures. The dead spirit energy like a big river and lake is the private property of Moritz Hiker, and the millions of dead spirit creatures are the people of Moritz Hiker. Now, Lu Rue found that he could not only sense the territory of Morisik, but also seemed to be able to mobilize the power of Morisik's territory by driving the demigod's soul body and using the power of the demigod's soul body. Lu Rue just had this impulse, and on the other end of the distant space, there was a furious voice from Morisek. Mortal, you dare to covet my territory, you can hardly thank me for your death. Demigod Lord's furious voice is like a spiritual piercing, has the curse effect of words follow the law, but the good thing is that through the heavy space barrier greatly weakened the power. Lu Rue just felt noisy as well as upset, he did not try to mobilize the power of Morisek as a lord for the time being, and turned to focus on Morisek himself. Ever since Lu Rue came to this world, he felt self-conscious that he was still polite to the people around him. But when faced with Morisek, a human mortal enemy, then Lu Rue didn't need to be merciful with his mouth, just spray and be done with it, he responded to Morisek's ranting with his mental thoughts. Shut up, dog shit, what are you, a defeated dog barking through the wall. At these words, Morisek was silent. Half a dozen times it said, in 50 years, you are the first mortal, in front of me, who still dares to be this insolent. The demigod lord's tone did not contain a trace of annoyance at the moment, but the tone of the statement was as cold as bone-chilling air. It seemed to be quite confused about the question it had sent out, wanting Lu Rue to give an answer. Mortal, where is your bottom? Simple question, but the sense of oppression with even more. If Lu Rue can't answer, then the previous ridicule will become a bluff. Lu Rue's mind flickered, and then responded with a smile. You this monster to my human beings committed numerous crimes, I just want to take your head to worship my human beings killed souls. Ha! You're not the first to think such thoughts, unknowing brat. A voice of contempt came from Moritz Heck. That was the end of the verbal exchange, and Lowry's attention returned to the present as he addressed the crowd at the institute. I sensed the Moritz Heck itself and the territory it's in, and it just sent me a message to intimidate and threaten me. Mi Xiao Ko and the other latecomers were frightened at the words. However, Yu Danqing and the others were not surprised and seemed to have expected this, Yu Danqing said. It's not a problem, there is a barrier blocking the local area, in the absence of receiving, it can't break through the barrier to descend its power, what it can do now is just language to pass on the message, it can't do any harm to you. Lu Rui nodded as he sniffed, that was the truth, and Morris Chick was just putting out harsh words. But Yu Danqing, after pacifying, emphasized. When you hold this demigod soul body, you will establish a special sense with Morisik, and you will be able to sense its power and even use it. And it will be able to sense your presence as well, which is both a threat and possibly an opportunity for the Morsek. It will not wish to have the location of its own body and territory exposed and be hunted down by our human powers. And until you completely control this demigod power incarnation, then it may use this power incarnation to influence you, and in the worst case scenario, it will use you to unleash another divine descent and create a disaster. She made her words very clear, and Lu Rue sniffed and assured. I will take control of this demigod soul body as soon as possible. Yu Danqing looked at the confident Lu Rue and scrutinized him for a second before adding. Moreshik is not stupid, it has invaded the homeland and ruled the Rainbow Abyss country for decades together with several other lords, it knows humans very well, it is both brutal and cunning, you try not to communicate with it in depth, to avoid being compelled to fraud. Moreshi. Graham was the former lord of the Rainbow Abyss? No wonder the tone was so big, a mouthful of mortals. As for that, Morisik was cunning? Lu Rue raised an eyebrow, recalling his contact with this demigod lord, and spat out with a bit of a grin. Compared to being cunning, I would say that it's quite greedy, if it hadn't mistakenly left behind this power incarnation, then it wouldn't have been caught by us, would it? It could have avoided this dilemma. However, Yu Danqing's expression was slightly complicated when he saw Lu Rue's flirtatious demigod lord look, and then he slightly shook his head. This kind of action made Lu Rue notice something strange. Could it be that there was a hidden agenda? Just as he intended to pursue the question, Lyria laughed. Moritz Heck did make a stupid mistake this time, and caught us a break, Lu Rue ah you should master this power incarnation of it as soon as possible, if you can help get rid of Moritz Heck, that would be a great achievement. Lilia turned the topic back to Lu Rue, Yu Danqing sniffed to collect his own dissimilarity, and nodded his head. Right, first master at power incarnation, although Moritz Heck made a stupid mistake this time, 
but it doesn't mean it doesn't know how to utilize Lu Rue. Lu Rue mastering its power incarnation as soon as possible is also avoiding risks as soon as possible. Yu Danqing saw that Lu Rue's Yuanfu was back to normal, and she didn't drag her feet. Glancing at Lu Rue's demigod soul body, she said, I'll go and organize some information about the Mauricial hiker and some means to deal with it, as well as historical cases of practitioners harnessing powerful and hostile necromantic creatures, I'll take it to Lu Rue as a reference in a little while, see you in a while. See you in a while. Li Lia nodded her head. After Yu Danqing left for the time being, Li Lia clapped her hands. Regarding Lu Rue's talent rune test that hasn't been conducted yet, since Lu Rue has already gotten those eight necromantic creature summoning contracts, while La Qing goes to make the preparations, let's test that part first. At these words, Lu Rue immediately came into the spirit. The level of scheming and calculating of a demigod was still a bit foggy for Lu Rue to read. But if the part about summoned objects was mentioned, Lu Rue would be delighted to see it. The research team took out the pre-prepared stamina cream, when Chang and when your two sisters are responsible for taking turns to feed, not enough to continue to receive. Lu Rue began to summon a large number of necromantic creatures when he had enough energy to replenish them. Filth Lycan, Strength 1, Agility 1, Physique 1, Spirit 724. Summoned an amount of 100 square meters, consuming 60 points of energy from Lu Rue. The moment it was summoned, the floor of the lab looked like it was covered in a layer of chalky soil, lacking in vitality and bloomy. The obscene earth lichen would actively absorb external energy, and when Lu Rue summoned it, as long as Lu Rue didn't actively restrict its expansion, it would spontaneously absorb the surrounding energy to grow its own volume. It's just that the energy in the lab environment isn't much, and the obscene earth lichen doesn't grow very fast. Berserk Blood Werewolf, Strength 124, Agility 144, Constitution 124, Spirit 94. This is a 3 meter tall upright werewolf clad in dark red wolf hair, with a pair of vermilion eyes as big as bronze bells, thick and sharp claws and teeth, and filled with the aura of the dead, it can take the initiative to converge its aura, and can remain silent during high speed movement. Bipedal Bone Dragon, Strength 134. Bipedal Bone Dragon, Strength 134, Agility 164, Physique 114, Spirit 104. A bone dragon with a head and tail length of 20 meters, four limbs or bone wings with a wingspan of 60 meters, a pair of hind limbs, a hollow abdominal cavity, and only a clean white skeleton, with a fist-sized ghostly fire pulsing in the two eye socket holes of the cranium. Demon Drinking Goblin, Strength 104, Agility 104, Physique 154, Spirit 154. The body has an obsidian texture, filled with dark purple magnificent pattern, back body wings, wingspan of 20 meters, height of 2 meters 4, ugly and hideous face. Death Hunter, 164 Strength, 124 Agility, 114 Constitution, 124 Mental. Humanoid necromantic creatures with a slender and graceful body conforming to human aesthetics, using leather and bandages as clothing, with obvious gender traits, pale and bloodless bare skin, breathless, and at first glance looking like a beautiful corpse. Their limbs were slender but powerful, holding exquisite and gorgeous longbows, with horns with mysterious patterns, metal chains and short swords hanging from their belts. Summoning six of each of the fourth-ranked troop types consumes a total of 864 energy points from Lu Rue. Skeleton Giant, 1024 Strength, 124 Agility, 824 Physique, 324 Spirit. 10 meters high, the whole body is made of 100,000 pieces of bones of different sizes to form a skeleton giant, just the fist is the size of the front of a car, and the full force of a blow can reach 5,000 tons of force. Pale Priest, Strength 284, Agility 374, Physique 324, Spirit 824. A humanoid necromancer dressed in a luxurious white gold costume, wearing a tall crown and holding a strange jeweled scepter. Each of the fifth order troop types summons three heads each, consuming a total of 864 energy points. The eight necromantic troop types, in addition to the necromantic mammoth's size was too big and consumed too much, the shortest necromantic mammoth's shoulder height was also 300 meters, the institute couldn't put it in at all, it was inconvenient. Lu Rue consumed a total of 1,788 energy, swallowed nearly 8 kilograms of stamina cream, and removed the obscene earth lichen, summoning a total of 30 necromantic creatures. The four major attributes of these necromantic creatures all added up to 25,000 attributes. In addition to just obtaining the seven necrotic soldiers, Lu Rue hadn't forgotten that he had used Little Skeleton, Chattering Bone Bat, Poison Swamp Mouth and Abomination before. Lu Rue summoned them as well, and all four of these troop types changed significantly. The small skeleton soldiers that were less than a meter tall now had the physique of an adult, wearing armor and holding blades, their strength exceeded the limits of ordinary humans, and their movement and reaction speeds had been significantly strengthened, and they were at the level of one that could fight five ordinary adults. Chattering bone bats and poison swamp mouths have also grown in size, and all of their values have increased significantly. 
The abomination was originally too, too tall, and after this summoning, its height skyrocketed to two, six meters, becoming even more hideous and vicious, with sharp barbs all over its limbs. According to the panel data, skeleton soldier, strength 24, agility 24, physique 24, spirit 24, chattering bone bat, strength 26, agility 32, constitution 26, spirit 27, poison swamp mouth, strength 34, agility 25, constitution 28, spirit 25, abomination, strength 54, agility 44, constitution 54, spirit 34. After Lu Roy obtained a demigod soul body, the basic attributes of these original necromantic soldiers were also significantly strengthened, and the power of the demigods could enhance the quality of the summoned soldiers. The scientific research team recorded these data one by one. The next test by the scientific research team was the same as the previous one. It was still testing Lu Rui's manipulation limit, Yuan Fu capacity, the strengthening effect of the troop types, and finally conducting destructive experiments to collect data on the manipulation limit. Lilia said that normally a level 30 war soldier could manipulate and command three fifth order troop types to fight at the same time. Beyond this number, unless gifted, it would be very strenuous, affecting actual combat play. Lu Rue was a level 2 war soldier, normally a level 2 war soldier would be able to manipulate first order soldiers and would not exceed 5 in number. However, before obtaining the demigod soul body, Lu Rue was able to manipulate the number of first order soldiers had exceeded 500 units. After obtaining a demigod soul body, with the help of the aura of a demigod of the necromatic system, he could easily command 6 5th order soldiers, and at the same time command a number of 3rd order and 4th order soldiers, with plenty of strength left. Lu Rue's upper limit of command and control was at the level of a senior general, and he could use the aura of a demigod as an explanation. As for the upper limit of the Yuanfu's capacity, thanks to the demigod's breath, the upper limit of his Yuanfu's capacity was greatly strengthened. The research team took out more stamina cream, allowing Lu Rue to summon more necromantic units. After testing, it was confirmed that the capacity of his Yuanfu was 12 5th order soldiers and 48 4th order soldiers, equivalent to 1200 1st order soldiers, and Lu Rue was already a humanoid barracks. Finally, the destructive test that Lu Rue was looking forward to. The research team used all kinds of extreme means to test half of the number of necromantic soldiers summoned by Lu Rue to collect data. Lu Rue only had to watch from the sidelines, letting the scientific research team and Lilia destroy his summons. Based on his observations, Lu Rue was able to determine that most of the 4th order troop types would not have a maximum physical wound-bearing capacity of more than 30 tons, with only the Berserk Blood Werewolf's maximum physical wound-bearing capacity reaching the 50-ton level after its outbreak. In the 5th order troop types, the Pale Priest's wound-bearing ability was relatively weak, and it did not have a physical strengthening talent. Body strengthening talent, 30 tons of force can hammer it, but the Pale Priest is characterized by summoning special buildings and casting spells, the Pale Priest's own wound-bearing ability is not good, but it can summon a strong wall, physical wound-bearing ability is very strong, can withstand more than 100 tons of blows. And all of the above were still necromantic soldiers that Lu Rue could destroy with his own hands. But when it comes to the skeleton giant level, Lu Rue can't do it himself. The maximum fist output of a 10 meter level skeleton giant was 5000 tons. Its skeleton torso consists of hundreds of thousands of bones, each bone has the ability to withstand hundreds of tons of physical damage, under the special giant body frame, the skeleton giant can meet tons of impact. Lu Rue himself could not use his fist to break the skeleton giant. However, this is such a skeleton giant, Li Lia just stretched out her right hand toward the skeleton giant a grip, the mighty body of the skeleton giant, 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 the skeleton giant. The skeleton giant's mighty body trembled, the ghost fire in its eye sockets suddenly went out, and its huge body collapsed to the ground, triggering Lu Rue's, Ash Legacy, talent. The skeleton giant was thus damaged. Lu Rue could sense that Lilia used this move as a means of spiritual impact. It was as if Lilia had unleashed an invisible torrent that washed the skeleton giant's spirit away. Its weakness lies in its lack of flexibility, as well as a weak spiritual realm, so as long as it is flexible enough it can avoid its attacks and use spirit-based attacks to inflict effective damage on it. That's why when commanding it in battle, you have to pair it with the ability of the Pale Priest, who establishes a prayer altar that can add spiritual blessings to all friendly troops within range. Liliya gave Lu Rue a demonstration, and she also took the opportunity of the test to teach Lu Rue how to use it. Teaching in person, Lu Rue sort of understood the main points of using Skeleton Giant. During the test, Lilia also took the opportunity to play, showing Lu Rue the strengths and weaknesses of the seven major types of soldiers, as well as how to match the use of soldiers to avoid their strengths and weaknesses. For example, bipedal bone dragon, the advantage is the air flight, and the flight speed is very fast, although it is an air unit, but the attack distance is not long, 
it spits the ability to kill the effective range of 80 meters, which in the air-to-ground or air-to-air -air battle is very disadvantageous. It's a good idea to pair it with a Death Hunter to extend its range. Another example is the Death Hunter, which has a special ability to summon a projection of the God of Death Hunting through a ritual, which will allow it to fire even more powerful shots. Normally, summoning a projection takes a long time, and during the summoning period, the Death Hunter is unable to provide combat power, and can be easily targeted. However, if you pair the Death Hunter with the Pale Priest, the latter can greatly speed up the summoning efficiency of the Death Hunter, and the Pale Priest can also provide shelter by building defensive structures. All these tips can only be understood after the actual battle, and Liliya will teach these tips to Lu Rue when he has not yet experienced the actual battle. Lu Rue earnestly learned, these are things that can be used. Liliya could also notice Lu Rue's learning attitude. It could be seen that whenever a necromantic soldier of notable combat power and value was destroyed during the testing and teaching, Lu Rue's face took on a few more shades of joy, as if he was benefiting from Liliya's teachings. Liliya commented in her heart. This child, even though he has just recently repelled the joint invasion of the demigod lords and made great achievements, he still manages to not be arrogant or impatient, and is still willing to learn and make progress in an open-minded manner. She recognized this student. And in fact, Lu Rue was indeed happy from the bottom of his heart, because with every summon he destroyed, his attributes would skyrocket and he would also gain new talents. The 3rd-ranked obscene earth lichen, 24 4th-ranked soldiers, and 6 3rd-ranked soldiers were all destroyed and Lu Rui's panel showed attribute changes in many talent acquisitions. Strength plus 22. 8. Agility plus 20. 5. Physique plus 26. 5. Spirit plus 26. 3. Strength, 140. 1. Agility, 127. 5. Physique, 137. 9. Spirit, 149. 2. Acquired talents, obscene sleep, hunt and sniff, demon dringer's body, frost death spit, death hunting eyes, giant strength, ode to death chant. The quality of fourth and fifth order soldiers was obviously much higher than first and third order soldiers, just sacrificing 30 units gave Lu Roy a full attribute boost of about a fifth. The full attribute boost was considered an expected gain, and the many talents were the focus. Obscured earth sleep, with the nature of the obscene earth of the dead, all the destroyed dead creatures will be slowly revived in your body. This is the talent of Filth Lycan, giving the body of Lu Rui the nature of filth, and any dead creatures stored in Lu Rui's Yuanfu can be recovered from the state of destruction by absorbing Lu Rui's energy. Pursuit Sense of Scent possesses a werewolf's extraordinary sense of smell, allowing him to track down targets by capturing their scent. This is the talent of a wild-blooded werewolf, after obtaining it, Lu Rui discovered that the smells sensed by this extraordinary sense of smell were not only conventional smells, but also included the special smells of some transcendental and mystical realms. This talent strengthens Lu Rue's perception ability. Demon Drinking Body converts 40% of damage from spells into its own energy. This was the ability of the Demon Drinking Ghoul, and Lu Rue gains spell energy absorption on top of physical energy absorption. Frost Death Spit uses Frost Spit with the power of death. Bipedal Bone Dragon Talent Spell Damage After activation Lu Rue can transform the necromantic power in his body into Bone Dragon Spit. Eyes of Death Hunting Transcendent Vision Launching hunting on the target by means of sighting planting a hunting mark, within a hunting range of 50 kilometers, the hunting mark will continue to expose the target's location until the target is killed before the mark can disappear. Death Hunter's natural ability, strength and vision, not only can see the hairs on the legs of mosquitoes 10 kilometers away clearly, but also has a special eye insertion ability. Within range, prey tag with a hunting mark will be continuously exposed to the gaze of the eyes of Death Hunter. Giant's power, active, transforms into a skeletal giant, 600 times more powerful, automatically deactivates when energy is depleted. From the skeleton giant natural ability, the description and effects were extremely simple and crude, with strength directly strengthened by 600 times. The only problem is that it needs to be actively stimulated, and there is also a transformation effect, it is not an ability that can be used under normal circumstances. Lu Rui knew that this talent would be very powerful, but due to the restrictions of the venue and outsiders watching, he was not in a good position to use it directly now. O to the dead chant, strengthen necromancy spellcasting talent, can strengthen the effects of all types of necromancy spells by means of chanting. The talent came from the pale priests, this talent didn't seem to directly provide special abilities or combat power, but rather strengthen Lu Rui's learning power and spellcasting ability. Especially learning some necromancy spell type battle techniques, with this talent, Lu Rui will get twice the results with half the effort. Sacrificing 30 necromantic soldiers in addition to newly obtaining these talents, also gave Lu Rui's original necromantic talents a strengthening, such as, necromantic mind, necromantic endurance, dimensional affinity, skeletal creation, spiritual impact, these old acquaintances. 
especially, necromantic mind breaking limits, 94 out of 100, necromantic endurance breaking limits, 92 out of 100, the reinforcement progress is almost completed, entering the next stage. All of the above are things that only Lu Ruei himself knew the harvest. Lilia led the research team to complete the data collection, and also left the same number of 4th order and 5th order soldiers in Lu Rui's Yuanfu to be used for control tests. Not long after Lilia's side of the project finished collecting data, Yu Danqing's side was ready. Lu Rui was informed to go to another training ground. As soon as he entered, Yu Danqing slipped him two merit stones and an electronic tablet. Yu Danqing explained. Two feats, one is the underworld viewing method, dispatch of generals and the other is the cultivation of Yuan method, the art of chopping god and breaking error. These are both battle general level techniques, the one you are practicing is my underworld viewing technique, which I created by taking the rainbow abyss kingdom's traditional ghost pillar technique and eliminating some of the extreme parts of it, then combining it with our great Xia kingdom's divine palace technique, and blending it with my own perceptions. The one you practiced earlier is the basic chapter, which is for cultivators at the level of warrior soldier and is used for laying the foundation for gradually polishing the Yuanfu into an underworld that can contain and suppress powerful necromantic creatures. The demobilizing chapter that I am giving you now is the advanced version, it was originally given to the war general level, I have made some adjustments based on the original version, along with the fact that you are rather special, you can start practicing it now, the effect of which is to efficiently mobilize the power of the dead spirit creatures housed within the underworld mansion, so that it can be driven for you. Yu Danqing is the Gongfu creator, she could easily adjust the content of the Gongfu according to the specific conditions, belonging to the customization of Lu Rui's body. Lu Rui heard this and first said thank you, and in her heart, she sighed that Yu Danqing should be that kind of supreme genius, who could fuse the previous person's sensibility with her own, following the past and creating a new Gong method. No wonder she was said by Dean Ri Lia to be the most likely existence to become a divine general in their generation. After making a slight evaluation in his heart, he then absorbed the feet stone that represented the demilitarization chapter. Compared to the basic chapter, in addition to the basic features of the technique, such as balanced strengthening of physical quality, emphasizing on spiritual strength, and increasing the capacity of the Yuanfu, the generalship chapter had two new abilities, soul detaining chains, and the generalship underworld coffin. Every time a node is ignited, an additional soul restraining chain will be created within the Yuanfu, which is an offensive ability that has a strong suppressive power over all souls and all dead creatures. The soul restraining coffin is a special summoning contract that creates a coffin with soul restoring and soul nourishing properties, which can be used to contain powerful necromantic creatures that have been restrained. Chains and coffins are used together. But that wasn't enough, Yu Danqing said. My severance psalm is enough to face ordinary necromantic lords below demigods, but you're facing a special soul body with demigod power, so just mastering the severance psalm isn't enough. That power incarnation has the will of a demigod and possesses a little bit of divinity. Conventional means cannot break through a spirit will that possesses divinity. The ranks of the other worldly creatures, from 1 to 6 ranks corresponded to human level 1 to 32 war soldiers. Human war soldiers corresponded to the ordinary lords of the other worldly plane. Moritzak, on the other hand, was a lord with demigod power, which corresponded to a human god general. Yu Danqing told Lu Rui that creatures starting from demigods possessed extraordinary divine power. Creatures with divinity will have an extremely long lifespan, which is the characteristic of longevity given by divinity. Demigod creatures could be killed, but their divinity would not die out. The divine nature that had been born would vanish into the void or be transferred to other creatures after it lost its bearer. The power of divinity protects the soul or body that carries it, and only demigods or generals with the power of divinity, as well as powers of a nature close to divinity, can pierce through the divinity and destroy the soul or body that is protected by the divinity. Souls with divinity could sleep and be suppressed, but they would not perish. The Book of Generals is only a war general level technique, it can detain and drive ordinary lords, but it can't target the special divinity in the demigod's soul body, and Lu Rui himself doesn't have the power of divinity either. So Yu Danqing added, if you want to take this demigod soul body as your own without any hidden problems, you still need to learn the cultivation of Yuan technique, the art of chopping god and breaking error. This technique was pioneered by the Kaiyuan Divine General, and has the power to overcome strength with weakness in desperate situations by melting the essence and spirit into a special Yuan power, which is also known as the God-slaying power. Warlords will gain power infinitely close to divinity after burning Yuan power, possessing the ability to kill a god, and you can attempt to crush the spiritual will of the Moritzak protected by divinity in the demigod's soul body by mastering this power. Cultivation of Yuan F.A., the art of decimating the gods and breaking the doom. After Lu Rui crushed the second merit stone, the special battle technique cultivation feeling was imprinted into his mind. 
The specific cultivation process was rather complicated, the general principle was to run the Yuanfu according to a special route, so that the Yuanfu absorbed the cultivator's own essence and melted it into a special Yuanqi, and after igniting the Yuanqi, it could explode with the power of piercing through divinity. This was a battle skill at the level of battle general, with no attribute limitations, and the threshold of cultivation was not low, with high requirements for the cultivator's essence and Yuanfu strength, and most cultivators had to reach the level of battle general before they could learn and master it. Although the battle technique is complex, but not obscure and difficult to understand, the difficulty of cultivation is all in the threshold of the battle general, as well as the side effects that cannot be ignored. Lu Rui's mental attribute was very strong, entering the state of necromantic mind, his learning ability would be greatly strengthened, and mastering this battle skill was not difficult for him. Yu Danqing also explained the part of the side effects of the battle technique for him. The side effects of the divine beheading and destruction technique are extremely great, normally, when a general is fully utilizing this technique, he will be weakened for a hundred days and will not be able to fight again, and if he is seriously affected, his Yuanfu will collapse and his body and mind will be crippled and even perish. However, you are only dealing with a semi-divine soul that has been suppressed, so you don't have to go all out. As long as you condense some Yuan Qi every day in a way that doesn't hinder your own cultivation progress, you can use the method of water dripping over a stone to wear down the spiritual will of the Moritzek little by little. Yu Danqing was teaching him ways to circumvent the side effects. Lu Rui also raised his own question after understanding. This kind of water grinding work, roughly how long will it take to wear down the spiritual will of Morisek within the soul? Yu Danqing raised a slender index finger. About a month, a little faster words three weeks, this time is estimated based on the progress of your cultivation of the underworld observation method, the better the native kung fu is cultivated, the faster it can obliterate the spiritual will of the Morisek. One month ah. Lu Roy bit his lip. Honestly, he was too slow, all along he had been driving in the fast lane, his cultivation progress was measured in days, and it was the first time he encountered a cultivation program that was measured in months. But this was only Yu Danqing estimating the cultivation time. When the class teacher Wang Yenshan on Lu Roy biggest expectation is only a Kaiyuan top 10, but this is not even half a week, Lu Roy and other Kaiyuan top 10 has opened a huge gap, is the kind of taillights cannot see the level. Lu Roy is trying to try to break the perception of others again. After getting the required merit method, he began to concentrate on cultivation. Entering the state of, dead spirit mind. First, it was the underworld viewing technique, advancing from the basic chapter to the dispatch chapter. Lu Rue cultivated the two nodes in his Yuanfu into two soul detaining chains. These two chains are not symbols of nothingness, they can be materialized into visible, touchable, and sensible entities. From the appearance, it looks like a greenish golden metal forged into a chain, emitting a dark light, the size and length can be changed according to the mind but will not exceed a limit. Lu Rue temporarily do not know this chain drawn to the human body will be what killing power, but used to suppress the demigod soul body effect is immediate. Two soul arresting chains in an X-shaped way will be half god soul body, with a pale plague of fog suppression, Lu Rue. Rue Yuanfu pressure suddenly reduced, the original need to Yuanfu with half of the power to suppress the demigod soul body, but in the soul lock chain support, only 30% of the power is enough to suppress the demigod soul body. The effect was so obvious that Lu Rui struck while the iron was hot, and went on to cultivate the underworld coffin of generals. It was a black coffin that could be externalized in a physical way and also stored in the Yuan Fu. Mr. Lu Rui built the demobilized general's underworld coffin little by little according to the Gong Fu. However, just at this time, Moritz Hiker sent a mental language across the distance. Mortal, do you want to bind my soul for your use, or do you covet my divine power? Morisek could sense what was happening to this incarnation of himself. It still maintained its condescending and arrogant tone. Lowry sniffed, then returned a comment. I heard that you had ruled the Rainbow Abyss Kingdom for a while, so I wonder if you've heard of the proverb I am the chopping board, you are the fish and meat? Since I've become a fish and meat on the chopping board, how to take care of you is my business, so don't make any noise. Oh, I fed on people decades ago, but after decades I've even become meat for people? Morisek let out a question as if he was angry and laughing. It's good to have self-knowledge. After saying this, Lu Rue focused on repairing the underworld coffin. Moritzek seemed to be silent for a while, and after a few breaths, its tone suddenly became solemn and said, No, you are not human. Moreshik opened its mouth to strike out Lu Rue's human registration, and then said, You are not at all the same as your frail kinsman, the first time I saw you, I was attracted by the qualities of your body, and I couldn't help but strike out, that thing is of great benefit to demigods like me. Moritzek was referring to Lu Rue's talent rune. Its tone was tinged with greed, but immediately afterward, it seemed to be confused as it asked. I have heard of a proverb of you humans, a child holding gold over the marketplace. 
I am also now beginning to feel strange that such a precious treasure could be placed in your possession by humans with peace of mind. If this is a bait for me then it is too much. Or are those humans too stupid to realize how precious you are? Oblivious to the fact that this treasure is what keeps you in your grasp. Moritz X words, Lu Rue can hear, Lu Rue can even hear Moritz X words a little teasing meaning. This kind of teasing makes people feel uncomfortable. But the good thing was that Lu Rue was in the state of, necromantic mind, and had no emotions at all. Thinking in a rational state, Lu Rue realized that Morisek might be deliberately trying to communicate with him. What was the purpose? After a moment's thought, Lu Rue was indifferent and focused on practicing the underworld coffin. This silence lasted for 40 minutes, when Lu Rue was about to repair the coffin, Morisek finally did not hold back, it said. Mortal, you human should have a proverb called a man who is not guilty is guilty of harboring the wrong thing. When Lu Rue heard this, he let out a contemptuous laugh and mocked. Hee hee, I thought that you could learn something from humans by ruling the divine rainbow kingdom for decades, but I didn't expect it to be nothing more than a small trick to sow discord. Pitbulls are not guilty of harboring a small amount of money. This reasoning Lu Rue of course understand ah, but on the people and things that he has come into contact with so far, he can judge that at least the human camp on this side of the great summer country is tolerant of people and will vigorously cultivate talents. So when he heard the words that Moritzek provoked, Lu Rue instinctively felt a little ridiculous and sneered. Are you thinking of humans as too stupid? Stupid? The Morsek responded, and it actually laughed. No, you say that I don't understand human intelligence, but I understand more about the greedy desires that are engraved in the bones of humans. Human wisdom and greed are not in conflict, wisdom can serve greed, they just don't realize the value of the treasure you possess. Mortal, you don't really think that with your apparent strength as a level 2 combat soldier, being able to escape from death under the siege of three demigod lords and detaining a soul with divine power can be a reasonable thing that won't arouse suspicion, do you? Perhaps those who were lucky and blinded by greed were not the only ones who left an avatar of power behind at that time. At these words, Lu Rue frowned slightly. With the body of a level 2 combat soldier in the morning in such a dangerous environment to survive, but also to prevent the three demigod lords to descend, and even snatched a demigod power soul body. Lu Rue was aware of the reason for his power, it was the Ash Legacy power, that was not known to outsiders. Lu Rue himself is clear, replaced by other people of the same age in his position at that time, the probability is 10 deaths, not to mention can also be achieved. It seems to be a very possible thing that others will explore the reason for Lu Rue's strength. Lu Rue then thought of the previous test of personal physical qualities, Yu Danqing's skeptical attitude towards his display of physical qualities. I also take a chance, and was blinded by greed? Lu Rue just popped up this thought, then remembered the cover that Dean Lilia had given him earlier on his physical data. Perhaps, they were seeing something slightly extraordinary about Lu Rue, but their choice was to support it. Lu Rue's slightly shaken mind instantly regained its equanimity. And just such a moment's mind shaking made Lu Rue realize the reason why Yu Danqing had used the word cunning when he had described this demigod lord earlier. Moritz Heck was arrogant, but it didn't mean that it didn't understand the human heart. However, this also made Lu Rue curious. What was the fundamental purpose of Morisek saying these words? Was it just to provoke his relationship with the human camp? Lu Rue had the intention to test the mind of this demigod monster, and after thinking about it, he snorted. Morisek, are you in fear of me? Fear? A demigod fearing a mortal? If it was any other human who said this to Morisek, it would have scoffed, but if it was Lu Rue, imagine, this mortal had shown combat prowess at the level 2 battle soldier stage, if he was allowed to continue growing. Morisek sneered. Oh, mortal, it looks like you are well aware of the extraordinary potential you yourself possess. It recognized Lu Rue's potential. But then, it turned its words around and said in an indifferent tone. Mortal, your potential has caused demigods to covet and fear, and your kind will also fear and covet your potential like I do. Hearing this demigod monster stirring up trouble again, Lu Rue had the urge to roll his eyes and. He felt that although this monster knew how to stir up trouble, it seemed like this was all it could do. However, Moritz Heck added. You have no idea what crazy behavior your clan will do for the sake of interests, I have ruled in your world over a territory, I have seen how crazy your clan can kill and frame each other for the sake of power. This kind of killing is not only to satisfy one's own selfish desires, but also in your human mouth so-called noble can be the continuation of the community and do not hesitate to sacrifice the individual. You think that as long as you are a human being, your tribe will accept and protect you and allow you to hold that treasure? No, you should have no idea of the predicament that you humans are in on the battlefields of the heavens, right? The crisis of extinction that your race is experiencing. Humanity's predicament on the battlefield of the heavens? The extermination crisis? Lu Rue frowned slightly when he heard this. He only knew that humans occupied 13 realms and there were many human gods and generals. 
Although the front line was tense, at least here in the homeland, the Great Xia Kingdom was still in peace and society was functioning normally. Since the war hadn't reached the homeland, then it wasn't particularly critical. However, Morris Hack said, Mortal, do you think that the power you humans currently possess is enough to gain a foothold in the heavens? You don't think that the so-called human gods and generals, as well as lords like me who have barely crossed the gate of divinity, can reign supreme in the heavens, do you? Its tone was actually no longer arrogant, but rather sighing and heavy. Lu Rui knew that this demigod monster was teasing his emotions, but he really wanted to know what exactly was the human's position on the battlefield of the heavens. Moritzak let out a hoarse laugh. Saint ruler, you humans are facing eight saint rulers. You humans may have 50 or 60 god generals, but saint rulers are existences above god generals, and you humans simply don't have any strong people who can equal saint rulers, and I, Moritzak, am just a demigod lord who works under one of the saint rulers. Hearing the existence of a realm above that of a god general, Lu Rue was distracted and pursued the question, is a saint ruler a higher level than a demigod? However, Moritz Hack said, saint rulers are also demigods, but more powerful demigods. You human god generals, and demigod lords like me, are like weak children in front of the holy monarch. Demigod holy monarch. Lu Rue chewed on the deep meaning that this title represented. Lu Rue had self-awareness, he was clear that he was able to snatch an avatar of power with divinity from the hands of a demigod lord with a large component of luck, and if it was the demigod lord himself directly in front of him, Lu Rue definitely didn't have the capital to compete with him at the moment. And a demigod lord above a demigod lord? If what Moritz said was true, a demigod god sovereign would be an extremely powerful and terrifying existence. However, Lu Rue also felt curious, what was the purpose of Moritz Hiker saying these words to himself, it couldn't be a nagging, could it? Lu Rue took the rare initiative to ask, what are you trying to express? Morisik laughed. Eight holy kings ah, mortal, you should not have experienced, directly facing those eight adults from the soul trembling, right? You humans can expel demigod lords like me from your human world, but in the face of the holy monarchs, all you humans can do is cower in a corner. Not everyone is willing to face an enemy they can't defeat for the sake of their community. Those who have pushed open the door of divinity, those transcendent gods and generals, if they are far from the war they can enjoy thousands of years of life and style, but if they are facing the power of the holy monarchs, in your human language it's called a mantis, flying dust and annihilation, and there is nothing left. There are some diehard human beings, but there are also many sensible people who can weigh the pros and cons. I still know those sensible people, and even have a good friendship, most of them in the heavens are living a very prosperous life. They gave up just their own packs and unbeatable foes, and embraced the vastness of the heavens and the infinite future. When Moritzek's words came to this point, Lu Rue finally tasted the other party's deeper meaning. Failure to intimidate, change to provoke. If provocation doesn't work, change to persuasion, right? No wonder you want to bring out the name of the half-sacred monarch, so it's to scare me, Lu Rue said in his heart. He also recalled talking to Han Mengjie earlier. From Han Mengjie's mouth, Lu Rue was aware of the existence of the human side betraying their own race to turn to the enemy human traitors, so hearing Moritz Hicks' words, Lu Rue did not feel surprised or unacceptable. Lu Rue of course will not be even seen the half of the holy monarch to scare, as for defection from the human what benefits Lu Rue is not clear, he only knows that the human side to give him a lot of benefits, Moritz Hickok simply cannot even draw a pie. Moreover, Lu Rue also sensed the loopholes in Moritz Hicks' words. Morichik, you said that the saint rulers are terrifying, but so far, we humans are still here in the homeland, and we haven't heard those eight saint rulers in your mouth break through the front line and kill us humans in the homeland ah? Lu Rue asked with a smile. Battle power can be blown, Lu Rue also has a mouth, he can also blow himself invincible. But the battle line won't lie. If the eight saint rulers were really that terrifying, then the human homeland as a large rear would definitely not be as stable as it currently was. In the face of questioning, Moritzak just laughed grimly, avoided talking about it, and turned to say, Mortal, as I said, you are different from your kind, your potential is destined to make you transcendent. You are a lion cub born into a flock, and as you grow, you will realize that your kindred can only provide you with grass, you are destined to eat meat. And your kinsmen will one day realize how inhuman you are, and at that time, they will fear your claws and teeth and covet your power. Your kinsmen cannot tolerate you. Lowry listened to the words of Morisek's compulsion, but was unimpressed. It was a fact that Lu Rue was strong and had a lot of potential. Based on this, this demigod monster was secretly touting Lu Rue while at the same time creating trust anxiety for Lu Rue, stirring up his inner insecurity. But who told Lu Rue to maintain the state of, necromantic mind, now? His heart wouldn't be rippled at all by Morichik's words. No matter what Moriziak said, Lu Rue was not affected, he concentrated on cultivating the, underworld coffin. But after this black coffin was cultivated, Lu Rue sealed the demigod's soul body into the coffin. 
The coffin had the effect of calming and suppressing the soul, and the demigod's soul body was forced to go dormant, and Morisek could not speak gradually. Before its power incarnation fell into slumber, Moreshik said at last, I also have some human friends that I note here in the human homeland, they seem to have a low status, in the next few days, they should come to you. Morisek's human friends? Human traitors. Lu Rue ventriloquized. With the dispatch of the coffin of the underworld after the completion of the repair, the demigod's soul body was completely suppressed into slumber, as long as Lu Rue does not take the initiative to open the coffin to use the soul body power, Moritzek cannot communicate with him. However, Lu Rue can still use the demigod's soul body to sense Moritz Hick's territory, and Moritz Hick can also sense Lu Rue's position very vaguely through the soul body connection. This was a kind of range sensing, which could probably only lock onto the city where Lu Rue was located, but not Lu Rue's specific location. And at the same time that he completed the cultivation of the dispatch chapter, Yu Danqing also sensed it. She silently estimated the time. Three hours of time to complete the introductory cultivation of the battle general level technique. With this kind of efficiency, Yu Danqing could be certain that Lu Rue was an unabashedly supreme genius. Of course geniuses grow through cultivation and guidance before they can become talented. Seeing Lu Rue complete his cultivation, Yu Danqing began to ask Lu Rue how he felt during his cultivation. There wasn't much that Lu Rue could say about his cultivation experience, what he cared more about was the important information that he had gained from talking to Moritz. M.S. Yu Dan Cheng. You can call me Sister Ching. Sister Cheng. Lu Rue changed his tone and went on to say that he was having problems. I had a conversation with Moritz Hick during my cultivation, the demigod monster mentioned that we humans are currently facing problems, it said that we humans are facing a threat from 8 saint ruler level, that's a powerhouse above the divine generals, and that the divine generals are not saint ruler's opponents at all, and that Moritz Hick said that we humans are in a perilous situation. When Yu Danqing heard this, he wasn't much surprised, instead, he nodded in anticipation. That villain really does talk to you about these things. Then she organized her words and said, it's true that we humans are facing eight saint ruler powerhouses, and it's also true that the strongest combatant on our human side is a divine general, and in these 50 years, hundreds of divine general powerhouses have emerged in our human race, but no saint ruler level powerhouses have been born yet, and all these things said by Moritz Hick are the truth. That demigod monster actually spoke the truth? Lu Rue was a bit surprised, but at the same time, he was also puzzled. Since there were no saint ruler powerhouses on the human side, what made them able to defend against Saint Ruler powerhouses and protect the safety of the homeland? Yu Danqing also saw Lu Rui's confusion and explained. The battlefield of the heavens is very complex, there are hundreds of forces, we humans are not fighting alone, we do know how to find allies to ally against the enemy, and the enemy is similarly embracing the group. We humans don't have Saint Ruler powerhouses, but our allies do, and our allies will hold the enemy Saint Ruler powerhouses in check, this is one aspect. On the other hand, although we humans don't have saint ruler powerhouses, our god generals are capable of exploding with strength capable of heavily hitting saint ruler powerhouses. It is the art of divine slaying and breaking the doom that I just handed over to you. War generals can master the power of regicide after using it, and god generals have the power to heavily damage a saint ruler after using it. However, the cost of heavily damaging a saint ruler powerhouse is also very heavy. Basically every time it is used, our human side will have to fall a divine general, and in some cases even three. Ah, God General falling? Lu Rue couldn't help but be shocked at his words, by this time he had already lifted the necromantic mind, and was rich in emotions. Yu Danqing nodded rather heavily. I have witnessed it twice. However, this is also exchanged for the deterrence of our human's force at the Saint Ruler level, the essence of war is still profit plundering, every Saint Ruler will weigh the pros and cons before striking out. When they think that the gain is not as great as the loss brought about by the death of the Divine Generals, they will naturally be jealous and not dare to act rashly. It is also because of the price of life paid by those god generals who are willing to go through fire and water that we have a peaceful environment to grow up in. Speaking here, Yu Danqing's eyes looked straight at Lu Rue, bloodless lips lightly opened. Don't waste your talent, cultivate hard, whether it's in life or in cultivation that you encounter difficulties, you can look for us. Lu Rue sniffed, pursed his lips and nodded. I will. Morichik's provocation looked a bit ridiculous to Lu Rue at this moment. In the next few hours, Lu Rui began to learn to master the cultivation of Yuan technique. After realizing that this technique was capable of killing a god at the battle general level, and heavily hitting a saint ruler at the divine general level, Lu Rui's motivation to cultivate was extremely high. Yu Danqing guided from the side. After spending about an hour learning and mastering the battle technique, Lu Rui cultivated the first strand of Yuan Qi. This is a very special energy, will melt the cultivator's essence, it is extremely unstable, cannot be preserved can only be refined on the spot on the spot use. 
Lu Rue has the gift of blood blue body three transformations, he consumed the essence can be replenished through external forces, about every 100 points of energy Lu Rue consumed to refine a strand of Yuan Qi. And when this wisp of Yuan Qi acts on the demigod soul body, the Yuan Qi strikes through the protection of the soul body divine power, grinding a small part of the spiritual will within the soul body, according to the panel. Incarnation of the Power of Moritz Heck, Spirit 299, Divinity 5. The spiritual attributes of the demigod soul body were worn out by one unit, it is really as Yu Danqing estimated, if there is no external support, Lu Rui may really need a month's time before the demigod soul body can be completely brought under control. However, Lu Rui has logistical support, he applied for 500 grams of physical strength cream to replenish the consumed energy, and then refined a strand of Yuan Qi to continue to wear out the demigod soul body's spiritual will. By the time it was 7 o'clock in the morning, Lu Rui had refined a total of 10 strands of Yuan Qi, which corresponded to wearing out 10 units of the demigod soul body's spiritual attributes. Lu Rui was trying to strike while the iron was hot, but Yu Danqing inquired. It's morning, are you in the habit of eating breakfast? Lu Rui froze, then nodded. Yes. What do you want to eat? I'll bring you some, Yu Danqing said. Lu Rui reported the name of the dish. Yu Danqing then added. You can choose to rest if you feel tired, you organize your own time. Lu Rui nodded, it looked like they didn't treat Lu Rui as a tireless cultivation machine. Liliya Yu Danqing and the others still took care of Lu Rui's feelings. Lu Rui spent the whole day on Sunday practicing at the Necromancy Research Institute. His cultivation program included refining Yuan Qi to wear down the demigod's will, cultivating life skills, igniting Yuan Fu nodes, and strengthening basic values, summoning necromantic soldiers, ostensibly to fit in with the research team's experiments, but in reality destroying the summon objects and using them as sacrifices to absorb talents and attributes. With enough logistical resources, Lu Rui wore out 15 points of spiritual will of the demigod soul body throughout the day. With the power of the demigod soul body, his progress in igniting the Yuan Fu node was also much faster, and was completed within a day. Igniting the nodes also brought about a basic attribute boost. Strength plus 5, agility plus 5, physique plus 5, spirit plus 10. The strengthening of the Yuan Fu also strengthened the quality of the summons, Lu Rui made all the summons, and the four basic attributes were all raised by 12 units. Cultivating Yuan Fu gained benefits like this. And in terms of sacrificing summons, Lu Rui planned to prioritize getting all the natural abilities of one troop type before going to sacrifice the second troop type. His first choice of necromantic troop type was the Berserk Blood Werewolf. With logistical support and his own superb recovery, Lu Rui summoned 54th rank Berserk Blood Werewolves in a day. After the sacrifice, his full attributes increased. Strength plus 22. 1. Agility plus 26. 8. Physique plus 22. 4. Spirit plus 11. 1. And gained more berserk blood werewolf talents. Killing instinct, proficient in killing, increased mental resistance, instinctive sense of approaching crisis. Silent predation, walks and runs silently under normal circumstances. Werewolf strength, increases strength by 20 times under normal circumstances, dramatically increases running speed. Copper skin and steel bone, increases resistance to blows. Tearing scratch, attacks have a tearing effect. Curse of blood, attacks with cursed power that can cause the target to weaken and decay. Blood curse, attacks with a cursed power that causes the target to weaken and decay. Blood frenzy, after drawing enough blood, transforms, increasing all attributes by 100%. When the blood energy is depleted, the transformation will be lifted. Fear shock, lets out a mental shocking howl, causing the target to fall into fear. Among the many talents, there are some talents that have duplicate and redundant effects. Lu Rue was most concerned about power leveling, and the Berserk Blood Werewolf provided two power talents. Among them, Werewolf Power is the same reinforcement zone as Liquid Muscle, Corpse Power, Flesh Expansion. As a fourth order soldier talent, Werewolf Strength provided a large increase in strength. The original three strength talents that Lu Rue had could only provide 15 times reinforcement combined, while Werewolf Strength alone could give Lu Rue 20 times reinforcement. The combined effect of these four talents was 35 times the strength enhancement. The second power talent, Berserk Blood Body, was an active transformation ability that seemed to change appearance to a certain extent, and the effect was simple and brutal when the conditions were met to stimulate it, with the full attributes boosted by 100%. This kind of strengthening is the strengthening of the basic attributes. Lu Rue's current strength attribute is 167. 2 inch, after the strengthening of Berserker's body, it will be temporarily increased to 334. 4 inch, after the strength and strength attribute, and then strengthened by 35 times the strength talent, the berserk blood body, is a twice the role of a super amplifier. In addition to cultivation, Lu Rue also had times when he was busy. 
Ever since the disaster happened yesterday, Lu Rui's cell phone received a large number of messages from people around him. A large portion of yesterday's messages were hush-hush, and by today, the content of the messages had changed a bit. Chen Fanyu asked him if he was going to cultivate there in the Rainbow Abyss Kingdom after the next few days. In his heart, Lu Rui also spat out that these people were really well informed. After chatting for a while, Lu Rui realized that Chen Fanyu was planning to fight him at full strength before he left. Chen Fanyu wanted to experience firsthand just how much strength Lu Rui had. I heard the elders of my family mention that you made a great contribution to yesterday's disaster, and even faced the demigod lord straight on. Well, I want to see how much of a gap there is between me and you now. This was what Chen Fanhua said, and his tone was complicated. A bit bitter, a bit anxious, and a bit. And the Lu Rui sniffed and after thinking about it, he agreed. Okay, when? Your schedule may be very rushed, just tomorrow afternoon. Chen Fan Yu said. Not long after Lu Rui agreed to this sparring match, the other Kaiyuan top 10, especially the few who had previously had a date with Lu Rui, also sent in their date messages. They were now actually grouping together to spar with Lu Rui. At first, Lu Rui was still a bit confused, or Han Mingjie sent him a message to explain. They all think that it is definitely impossible to beat you, the difference is how to lose, the question of whether the loss is good or not. You can get involved in a battle involving a demigod lord now and get out in one piece, and when you go to the Rainbow Abyss Kingdom to cultivate for a month, the odds are that the gap is getting bigger and bigger, and they don't want to be facing you in a month's time. So while it's still early, they want to hurry up and get rid of that little conflict with you. Lu Rue cried and laughed a little after listening to the explanation, it looked like his strength had deterred even the best of his peers. All these requests from his classmates to cut up the competition, Lu Rue followed all of them. Then during lunch, he also brought along the three sisters of the research team to chat, especially the twin sister Wenya, praised her for designing that set of bone armor styling thieves, and used a set of them when confronting the three demigod lords. Of course the sisters in the research team were busy with their projects, Lu Rue spent more time at the institute communicating with Lilia and Yu Danqing. In addition to some cultivation and life matters, Lu Rue also mentioned one more thing. Earlier when Moritz Hick communicated with me, it revealed that it has human insiders here in the homeland with a low status, and those human rates will come to me in the next. To be honest, Lu Rue's self-perception was quite good now, he felt that now he was able to try and surround himself with a war general level powerhouse, and if the battle conditions were favorable, he even had the certainty of winning the battle. However, if a demigod level powerhouse directly attacked him, Lu Rue was not even sure of escaping. Lilia and the others also knew about his concerns, so they clarified. Don't worry, in the next month, the three of us from the institute will be by your side, while A Qing will be at the level of a god general if he goes all out, we're not afraid even if a demigod lord comes. The three from the research institute were all at the level of senior battle generals, and with Yu Dan Qing, a powerful person with the power of a demigod, they could completely provide protection at the level of a god general. Not only was the bodyguard lineup like this, Yu Dan Qing also mentioned. Our research institute has booked a mirror space with the relevant department in the city, which is used to facilitate summoning the necromantic mammoth for you, the necromantic mammoth is a lord level 6th order creature. The smallest size of necromantic mammoth has a shoulder height of 300 meters, most of the battle generals can't do much with such a necromantic mammoth, even if it faces the full force of a demigod lord's attack, it can still hold out for 3 to 4 minutes, which is enough for you to hold out until you are backed up when you are attacked. Lilia then added. About your talent rune rating project has already been reported to the fast review channel, it is according to the specifications of this special class rune to arrange talent training support for you, one of the items is that you will be issued with a protective treasure. One of the items is that you will be given a protective treasure. That protective treasure when activated will release an attack that is equivalent to the power of a god general powerhouse's full force strike, and the number of times it can be used should be 3, and with that treasure to protect you, you'll have the means to fight back even if you're faced with an attack from a demigod lord. Obviously, the few people from the research institute had already taken Lu Rui's safety into consideration. Since there was a means to counter the demigod lord's attack, Lu Rui wasn't too worried about the issue of his own safety and could safely set off for the Rainbow Abyss Kingdom. Greetings. It's on the shelves, it's on the shelves. After 45 days of serialization and close to 220,000 words of free content, it's finally time to hit the shelves. Today, February 21st, at 12 o'clock noon, that is, this Wednesday at 12 o'clock noon, the book is officially on the shelves. The latest chapters will be released at around 12.05 p.m. The first day's update should be around 10,000 words to 15,000 words, please ask for a first booking. I'm begging for a first booking. Ahem. I, about the plot. For those of you who are following along, you should be able to see that today's free update is 4 chapters totaling 8,000 words. Generally speaking, authors only used to update 4,000 words a day even if it is enough to pass the line, not to say that the author does not want to make money. 
It's not that the author doesn't want to make money. It's not that the author doesn't want to make money. It's just that the content of these chapters are all padding transition chapters, and even the content of this recent week's chapters are all padding transition. The author himself is a bit of bungboo live. Really want to take these padding content to shelves, to readers to pay words. Frankly speaking, the author is a little bit too much, afraid of being pointed out. So, these padding and transition contents simply put all in the free chapter part. Convenient VIP chapter can directly into the core plot. The author is certainly wanting to show sewers Lu Bhutan Pa share, writing a book is certainly a hobby interest, but for the love of power generation is not very realistic. So I'm begging for a first booking, I'm begging for a first booking, I'm begging for a first booking. Subscription is very important, this is the book can continue to write the key, especially the first subscription, in the shelves, B, and then on the shelves of the additional part, the normal update, the daily update of 6,000 words. 1. If the first booking can break 2,000, I will add 4,000 words. Then on top of the 2,000 subscribers, I'll add 2,000 words for every 100 subscribers. 2. This is the average booking increase. If the average booking can reach 1,600, I will increase 4,000 words. On top of that, I'll add 2,000 more words for every 100 more averages. 3. Monthly votes plus more, every 500 monthly votes, the author plus more 4,000 words, at present there should be 500 votes, the author also wants to recommend the votes, every 2 months, the author will add more words. Recommendation votes author also want, every 2,000 recommendation votes, the author plus 2,000 words, currently there are 5,000 out of the beginning of the recommendation votes. 4. Bounty plus more, we look at it, every 10,000 bounty, the author plus more 5,000 words, there should be about 4,000 bounty at present. Five. The specific number of additional and so on the first day after the booking, and then report to the readers, the first booking after the update time should be fixed in the early morning 001 minutes or so, in case of trouble will be in advance leave. Then the author may be more glass hearted, it is easy because of the extreme comments and feel headache, so after the shelves will consider opening one fan comment limit. See, now it's time to recommend, and offer up, a friend's book. I'll Never Die by the Guillotine, by Scarlet Echo. This is a chimera author, I can't refuse ta request. I'm a villain, not a demon by boiling water doesn't breathe. A friend's book, fine badge, quality assurance. Tokyo villain starts by subduing a demon girl, by Ailey's pigeon breeder. Tokyo text, my friend helped a lot with this book, so I'll recommend it to my friend. What about the just auxiliary ability? By double dog eclipse, previously recommended by a friend.